Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Dreaming of a crafty world. Dorothy and Wasabi slumber. Hachanda's fifth birthday will be a time of wonder. Zuri, LeBlanche and Orland create. Wow and Rowan Dean, it's going to be great. Sentimentally yours, Clarity and John next door. Pink Frog and Daisy Chain, who could ask for more? We'll credit your account with £5 to spend. Seven days of celebrations. The fun will never end. One day specials with all your favourite guests. All at a socially respectful distance from the Wicked Witch of the Haley West. From fabric to paper to glitter and pencils. Pens and stamps, inks and stencils. Join us in August. Nowhere will be grander. Happy fifth birthday. There's no place like a gender. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dies that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies. We have colouring daubers. We have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on the channel. Hi, my name is Catherine Sturrock and I work in collaboration with FMM. FMM creates some wonderful cake decorating cutters. We've brought them to a chander and used them with air dry clay to create some beautiful flowers, leaves and other florals. We use them then to decorate various products such as laser cut designs, mixed media, card making and many other items. So join me on a chanda and let me guide you through the process of putting together various flowers such as roses, peonies and lots more besides. we have a musical extravaganza for you uh, because we've got some brand brand new dies and stamps and stencils and whatnot and it's all musical themed uh, now without further ado though let me introduce you to our lovely Lou hello Lou good morning good morning <laughs> yes Lou is the conductor for the hour oh I'd, lo I'd love to do that I've yeah. always wanted to do that but yeah it wouldn't, it wouldn't be... sound very good <laughs> <laughs> you never know this you never know this right so we've got some uh, as I said brand new dies musical themed Mm -hmm. And they're really cool, aren't they? And you are actually getting quite a lot of dyes together. You're getting an awful lot of dyes here. I love this because whatever type of music you're into, um, you've got the perfect dye here or stamp or embossing folder, as you said. But I think if you're stuck for a card, mm -hmm. particularly for gentlemen as well, when we sort of what, what should we put on a card? Yeah. A musical instrument, you can never ever go wrong, can you? I agree. Do you know, it's interesting chatting about gents' cards because somebody once said to me, it's like, 
Why do they think that men only either play golf, fish, or drink red wine or beer? Yes, exactly. You know exactly. What I mean? <laughs> um, and many of them, and most of us listen to music yeah. of one sort or another. And I think whatever the genre that we listen to and we love, um, or even if we go and watch watch um, concerts and things like that, obviously not at the minute, unfortunately, <laughs> might be missing them. These are going to be perfect. Absolutely. Now look at all of these dies. We've got them on the board. So we've got a harp. Do you know, I once uh, worked on a cruise ship and there was a harpist, if that's the right term there, um, uh, a lady that played the harp and it was just, I thought, I'd love to learn that. But I know oh, it takes stunning. a lot of skill. But Absolutely. Mm. But they are stunning to listen to. Yeah. And I think that very much, for me, signifies weddings and things. Yes. So you could have that there. Um, you've got in here things like your cellos, your um, trumpets and things. I mean, everything. Really, It really does cover mm -hmm. every musical type that you can possibly think of. They're flutes, clarinets. I mean, you're not just talking about birthday cards or cards for men here, are uh -huh. you? I mean, children who love their musical instruments. I learned to play recorder and clarinet in school. Yeah. My son's, he's played violin in school. It uh -huh. was absolutely horrendous. The concert, <laughs> the concert, honestly, was sitting there cringing. Can you please be over? Because they were about five years old. Going, yeah. But, you know, a card at that time with the violin on, he'd have absolutely loved. I love that, too. There you go. So you can see you've literally got a whole orchestra here. Oh, Meg's asking if I played. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I played the recorder, obs. I tried to teach myself the flute, and the only thing I managed to play very badly was um, the theme tune of Schindler's List. <laughs> other films available. No, it was bad, though. It was bad. I tried to audition with it. It was bad. And the other thing that I tried to play, well, I didn't. My parents pushed me to try and play the cello, because we had a, ch um, oh, okay. a cello teacher at, mm -hmm. at school, and basically I didn't practice, and she was fuming with me. So, there so you go. not the best memories. <laughs> <laughs> but, at the same but. time, they're, they're cut they are kind of fun memories yeah. so that's what we're talking about here it's going to evoke memories for other people it is absolutely Indeed. definitely and i think like i say you're just always going to find um an an element of this that will match each person perfectly uh, exactly so i like this now each die set should be 12 i mean look at that should be 12.99 so you're nearly getting one of these for nothing so there you go so it's 28 pounds and 97 pence you've got a 10 pound saving 039116 then we've got the grand piano now what a card this makes i adore this one i think it's so different it's so unique and um, be able to be able to create a card that is shaped like a piano yeah so then even have the lid that lifts up that you can pop a message inside or flowers underneath and things like that i mean we've just got pretty paper under there but it's absolutely gorgeous and you've got lots of elements as well included mm. that you can add in like those musical notes that you can um, put in sort of the it, it looks like the, it's swaying in the air what's the yeah. word sort of flo oh. floating in the air the yeah. musical notes and things just absolutely gorgeous and I'm going to be demonstrating this one first lovely so again you can see you've got the actual uh, piano keys there I I love the panel as well uh, I've got a few more samples here so this is just so unusual and I like it and the, the thing is that we've all got our essentials now haven't we if you're a seasoned crafter you've got tons of essentials you know matting and layering dies why not get something in your crafty stash that is that little bit different definitely absolutely and these tie in really well as well with those panels so those panels are the the keys and then the musical notes yeah and um, they're actually quite large they're they're larger than you see on the packaging as with all of these dies that we're seeing today uh -huh. um, so they'll fill almost fill a card base as a beautiful border so you can have them so that they cut into the card yeah. so you can peek through right or you can then cut them out with the frame you get the outside die as well mm -hmm. so you've got lots of versatility with this set this is probably you shouldn't have favorites this is probably one of my favorites in the whole show it is really super cool i mean just look at this i mean it's just too cool beautiful samples as well let me show you the actual dies again you've got a really full set of dies here there you go fills this entire plate i really like this as a panel yes so that will cut into your cardstock it's very clever they've um created it so that you can cut the music notes so they sit in your cardstock cut out so little nice. peek throughs um but alternatively you have the music notes that fall out of the die then that you uh -huh. can use of course and then around that keyboard you notice there's a rectangle frame that's separate around the the piano oh, keys this there one. oh yeah yeah yep, so there's a separate die around that as the border and that can be used on both of those border that'll panels that'll fit 
so that will fit either or there. yeah so oh, you can I cut see. that out as a panel as well so there's so much versatility mm. um fingers crossed second demonstration i'll be using those panels that those piano key panels lovely uh, so that is 23 pounds and 98 pence six pounds saving uh six three nine five six two then we've got our jazz band so we've got all sorts of different figures again this for me evokes so many different yeah. memories yeah, you know? so, I mean, there are things like weddings, there's concerts, maybe you've played in a school band, mm. things like that, or in university or wherever it may be. Uh, there's people singing, so think of the theatre as well. Yes. Yeah. So you could do big theatre scenes. I just think it's absolutely brilliant. It, it, it is. And it can bring in so many memories. I mean, there's the gentleman there sitting on the chair playing. That can actually, for me, conjure up quite almost sad memories of his sitting on his own. So think of sympathy cards and things yeah. like that. Um, and then you've got the fun ones, um, you've got weddings, you've got the lady singing with the microphone in her beautiful evening gown. Yeah. So think of um, posh evenings out down a, a really nice club where you've got the sort of like the um, the, the jazz band and the singing, just, just so many occasions. I love it. Yeah, I'm literally flooded with memories. It's so cool. Look at this sample. How cool is this? They're nice in the black as a silhouette, actually. I love them as a silhouette. It's probably my favourite way to do them, actually, because there's so much detail in the diet. I mean, that, that gentleman playing the drums, the detail in there is mm. amazing. You don't even need your gilding wax. You don't need to go in with your colouring pencils or anything. Yeah. Just that on its own against a brighter colour background and you've got a perfect card. It really works, doesn't it? And just to show you again the dies, here they are, uh, because you've got so many again in this collection. You literally have the full band, the full thing. I love that they've put the chair in so that one of them can sit down. I think that's fab. <laughs> uh, £26.98, and pence, one seven two eight two five. Now, I know you want to see Lou's demo, so have a look at the website and then you can shop ahead because we've also got some stamps, some embossing folders, all wonderfully musically um, coordinated, shall we say. You can also give us a call if you want to place your order that way. 01733602000. So without further ado, I'm going to hand over to you, Lou. Thank you very much. So the first thing I'm going to do is that grand piano die, and I'm going to be using the largest die in the set, and I'm going to be cutting a card base. So I've taken, this was originally a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. I like to have these in my stash because they make the larger card bases. So I've just folded it in half, and I'm going to lay the largest die over the top, but I'm just going to keep it free from this edge here. So I'm not going to quite go up to the edge. So I've got a little bit of a gap, and that's just going to make my card base for me. So tag these two down with a bit of tape and I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine. Now while I run that through this is going through two layers so I will go backwards and forwards a couple of times just to make sure that cuts perfectly. So I turn my die over so that I've got the paper on top of the die. I always find that gets a better cut. Now these dies I've found I've had absolutely no problem cutting through two, two layers of cardstock despite the noises my machine's making. <laughs> I think it's just waking up isn't it? It's a bit creaky in the morning like me. <laughs> so as you can see through two layers there, absolutely no problem at all. That's cut away beautifully. Um, when I'm doing large card bases like this, what I often like to do as well is keep the excess because you've got your ivory coloured card base here. And if I want to stamp a sentiment or something, I'd usually like to bring in the same sort of cardstock rather than always just go for bright white. So I'll keep these scraps. And if I want to stamp a sentiment later or something like that, add a panel or an embellishment on top, I've got the same colour cardstock. So the next layer that I'm going to do, I'll just show you this actually. So you can see that's, I haven't there. Uh, I've got a dirty plate. I clearly haven't cleaned, <laughs> cleaned my die cutting plates. If that's the case, cover it over with paper or clean your die cutting plates. Um, but you can see there, I've now got a card base that stands yep. perfectly. Um, so I now need to be matting and layering on top of this. So I'm going to take the next size die down. So there's three that are similar shapes, this sort of shape. But when you look at them, you'll see they do fit inside each other and they are ever so slightly different at the bottom. So I'm taking the middle one and I'm going to cut this from a dark brown cardstock. Now this cardstock, I'm not sure where I got it from, but it's got a slight shimmer to it. It's really, really pretty. Mm. Um, so I'm going to pop that on there. But what I can do at the same time, and I usually don't do this together, so I'll run this through a couple of times. But I've got the keys. Now this will cut into the cardstock but it won't cut it away. Okay, so we'll just have the keys in there. So just have a look at this and make sure you're popping it the right way up. Mm -hmm. um, so the, the black keys would be at the top and that should just fit inside of there. But like I say, I will 
uh, run this through a couple of times just because I've got two dies in there, but that sits nicely there. Pop another bit of tape on there. There we go. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going straight to my plates up because I think they were going in slightly on the skewer. Uh, on the wonk. Yep. And then run these through again. So pop that in once and then I'll take the outer border away and I'll run the keys through again if I need to. Okay. There we go. So you can feel the pressure when it goes over the keys because we've got um, more die cutting that needs doing there. So what that's done is just cut the outside border for me. Take away my tape again. Keep all my scraps until I've finished my card, just oh, yeah. in case. You never know when you might need them again. No waste. <laughs> never waste anything. My mm -hmm. husband does call me a hoarder when it comes to crafting. <laughs> so what I've done there, perfectly um, marked out by almost embossing with the die, is the keys. So now what I can do is just wiggle this back in place because I've got the embossed lines. Yep. If I give that a wiggle, that will then slot back in place so I know that will fit right in the middle and I'm going to run this through this time I'm going to run it through in a different direction okay so that will be going through so that the keys we're almost die cutting one key at a time and that will get us a perfect cut it's about so. the pressure points isn't it exactly mm. so the the um, more amount of pressure that you can get on any one part of the die at a time uh, the better so that means cutting as little of any die at a time as possible um, so if you can it's, it's like if I'm cutting a square I'll always turn it so that it's a diamond shape as it goes through yeah so it's not doing a whole edge at once and the same oh look at that that's just absolutely beautiful so that's come away perfectly now when I, you really see this now when I lay that mm. over there so you can really see those keys there so I'm going to glue that in a moment what I'm going to do now is I've taken this smaller die, so the third die. So it's really easy. We're just layering up your colours, and you can opt to to use or not use any of these layers if you want to. You don't have to use everything together. So I've got a flowery layer there. Now I've chosen that with my cardstock, so it's just something I had again in my scrap scraps or stash. Mm -hmm. Trying not to say the two words together. <laughs> um, so using just flowery paper that's laying, laying around and of course if you're doing this for a gentleman or a teenager or whoever you can make the paper so it's, it yeah. suits their style more and then I'm just going to cut a second layer of this smaller die I say smaller it's only ever so slightly smaller but when it comes to the layers this is the one that sits in the middle yeah so I'm actually going to have sort of four layers to the front of this card take all my tape off there and keep that again not throwing anything away mm -hmm. so they're the three dies I've used and that's just layered everything up like so so that will sit over the top and that will be a lid ah okay. excellent so now I need to just start gluing these on and because there's so many layers I'm actually going to glue a lot of it on with um, a, a wet glue a mm -hmm. flat glue so I don't get too much dimension here because I want to have that lid so it's kind of lifting up a little bit. Yeah. Um, if I've got that and then I've got lots of layers of foam tape as well, that's just going to really make my card bulky. So I just want to keep quite a few of these layers nice and flat. I want to be able to send it through the post too. Exactly, yeah. yes. And with this, you can really have some fun with this lid and different ways of having it lift up or um, you can, I mean, you can attach it so it stays up all the time, but then you'd probably need to create a box to put this in yeah. rather than an envelope. But you can have it so it lifts up and it hinges maybe. Um, we've actually got the hinge included in here and oh, I'll show you that in a second. So that is this die and this is... Um, this is really clever actually so the die is made so the width either fits the section here or it fits the straight edge here oh, so right. wherever you want the hinge to be you can do that because I know some people would like it to to be upright and side it depends what card you're making what orientation you're doing whether you're doing an easel card or a gatefold card or whatever you want to do so you'll want it in different directions so that's really clever so I've just cut this out once from the brown card stock that I used for the lid um, it's really clever because it cuts the perfect size but it also puts a score line down the middle for you mm. so I just fold that with my fingers um, really easy to do but it's nice to have that die that fits perfectly 
So I've just folded that in the middle and then I'm just going to glue that. Now I'm going to use a hot glue, um, but I'd usually use either a tape, like a red line tape or a wet glue, but the hot glue just means that I don't have to wait quite so long for it to set. So a little bit of glue, whoops, I've got some stringy bits. A little bit of glue just along one edge first. I'm going to put that just inside of my pattern paper there wait for that to set for a moment and then I'm folding that back down on itself mm -hmm. and then the second bit of glue so have this have this panel ready and oh I see how it comes together yeah. really really quick and easy yeah. so a little bit of glue along there like I say wet glue is preferable but it does take a little bit longer to dry and then press that down whoops my glue guns trying to walk off the edge there so any any bits of glue once they're dry you can pop them off by using a, a hot glue here I've then got dimension here so it will fold flat in an envelope mm -hmm. if I want it to but it sits open at a nice angle and if you want to you can run a line of hot glue or, or any dimensional glue under there if you want to or even a piece of foam tape oh, to hold idea. it open yeah yeah um, it's entirely up to you it depends how you want the card <laughs> to sort of be finished off now, before I add any more decoration, I'm going to um, do some stamping. So I'm going to bring in one of the stamp sets. Now, I adore these because they have so much, um, so many different sentiments. And they're sentiments that I wouldn't usually think to use. So they're really unique. Perfect for all occasions as well. So What's I've this got... One this one is Sing Like No One Is Listening. Yeah. Um, it's in a swirly line. When we look a little bit later on the counter at the, uh, some of the embossing folders, one of them has this swirl running through them, through the middle. And this fits absolutely perfectly ah, in brilliant. that. So it all works really well together. But I love as well that it also fits quite well here. Now, I'm going to just adjust the angle of this ever so slightly. So I'm going to lift the word sing up. And I can do that on my cling um, acry acrylic block here. Sorry, I can just lift that ever so slightly so it sits on that curve really mm. nicely there. Okay, so I'm just going to do this with embossing powder. In fact, before I do that, I'm going to use my anti-static bag. And this just prevents, because I do have um, hand cream and things on. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't usually at home, but I do here. <laughs> I have hand cream on. And if you, if you generally have oily skin, it's always a good idea to do this before embossing anyway. So just use that bag and then I'm going to do my um, embossing ink onto my stamp here. Oh, so you're using a distress ink? Yeah, it's just an embossing ink. It's just yeah. that brand, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I've got so many different embossing inks. They all work very, very similar. I sort of grab the one. So any embossing ink will work. And I'm just going to sit that as best I can so it sort of flows with the curve mm. of the piano there. And obviously you're not going to see that at the moment, but I will do... I'll just use this little bit of card here, tip that onto. So I've got a white embossing powder. And I'm just going to pop that over there. And tap that off as best I can. It's all gone on my mat instead, of course. But save, save what I can. Since it's sing like no one is listening. And of course, when Beautiful. I heat that... The heat, font is fabulous. It's gorgeous, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's really, really nice. Pretty. And the same with all of them. They're all, uh, most of them are a quite similar font. Uh -huh. um, and they're very, very readable, but again, very elegant as well. Yes. Uh, my favourite thing ever embossing. Oh, do you like watching it? Th this got yeah. me into crafting. Yeah. This is the, well, the first time I ever saw this. was same on air. Me. Oh, was it? It was on air, yeah, because basically when the, the channel launched, because we launched quite quickly, yes. um, the only crafting I did was sort of cross-stitch and colouring. Oh, okay. And Very different. So, I mean, I literally learned about all of these different things on air. And, yeah, like I said, the first time I saw this, I just went, oh, my gosh, this is alchemy magic. It is, isn't it? Yeah. You can be like a magician at home. It's yeah. amazing. Um, I was the same. I was in a, in a shop, and they had these this sort of in-store in demonstration one day. And I've always loved crafting. Yeah. Uh, but I hadn't discovered heat embossing I wasn't yet card making really and I sort of saw it and thought oh that's it and of course straight away you want to buy everything oh my and gosh yes silly, I did <laughs> yes yeah, well silly me I didn't think to ask the lady what do I need to buy I thought I know what I need I'll go and buy 
ink pads and I'll yeah. go and buy one of these heaty gunny thingies and these <laughs> heaty yeah. gunny thingies. <laughs> um, and of course it didn't always go to plan because I didn't buy the correct inks. So that's one thing definitely buy the correct inks and make sure it's a heat gunner, not a hairdryer or anything like that. Yeah. Um, so I've then got to do some embellishments and I'm going to do these musical notes um, out of a gold mirror card here. It's a matte mirror card, really, really pretty. Um, so it's not too shiny. I'm just going to die cut these. So I've just got two, but you can really go to town because within this grand piano set, you've got lots of different mm. musical notes um, and elements that you can add in. Um, there's just so something so pretty about yeah. um, the scores and everything. This really elegant. I think you can really get away with black and white cards with yeah, these as well. Oh, definitely monochrome. Yes, yes, if yes. You, yeah, if you like monochrome, music is definitely one of the ways to go. So just check that's all cut beautifully. So pop this out. And see that, look at that, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Uh, I've got a few tiny bits there. I'm just going to pop those out with my pokey tool. There These could be a really nice mu um, wedding card, couldn't they? They are invites, perfect, yeah. absolutely. Mm. Especially if you are going to have someone like a, um, a harp player yeah. at your wedding, an invitation with this on. And then you could bring these into the table decorations. Um, obviously, you've got save the dates, thank you notes. Mm. Um, what else do you have? Yeah, place table settings, oh, yeah. name Lovely settings. Idea. Oh, or different words for them. Um, so these are going to sit on there, but I need to pop some flowers on. I love my flower. I love three-dimensional flowers mm -hmm. to finish a card off. And I've got, actually got some quite large ones here. So again, using bringing in my hot glue, and I'm going to start putting the flowers down on here. Starting with the largest ones first. Yep. I always do the biggest ones first, and then I work my way out getting smaller and smaller. I like you've got different textures there. Yes. Got a bit of hessian, I think. Yeah, I don't know where that flower came from. These are ones I just sort of have in my stash and I grab them. I just have buckets of flowers. <laughs> um, I've always loved a paper flower. I love making them as well. Yeah. Um, when I get the time. I was going to say. Yeah. It's about time, isn't it? <laughs> but it is, but then uh, it's, there's a lot on the market you can buy as well, isn't there? So. Yeah. So if you don't have the time, you can still have lovely flowers on. So just being careful that I'm not gluing um, to the base card there along this edge. So uh, if I want to, I can still open and close that. Um, just bringing in a few different colours, mm -hmm. but the colours I've chosen are all sort of these muted tones. Yeah, it tones really well. Yeah, mm -hmm. nothing to stand out. But I do think very often, even if you're doing like your browns, your sepias, whatever colours you're doing, I think it's always good to have one colour in there. Mm -hmm. um, and for this one, I've chosen the red. So I've got one more of the red flower. It catches the yeah. eye. Yeah, yeah, I think you just, you need one. It's almost a contrasting colour uh -huh. to bring that out. So. I've got those there and then I'm just going to have the musical notes just peeking out here. I'm making sure that although I'm going to stick them here, I'm going to make sure that they don't come lower than the base of the card. So when it's stood up, yep. um, you can still see exactly, whoops, sorry, you can still stand up. You can see it all. So just popping that in there like so. And then lastly, just to finish off, I'm going to put this one up here as if it's coming out of the flowers there. And then I'll hold that up. It's lovely and fine, isn't it? It is very fine. And I like to just glue them down at the bottom there yeah. and nowhere else. So these, they do have a little bit of movement yeah. there. So if I just hold this up for you. So um, you could, if you wanted to, pop a message inside the mm. card. So, I mean, you've got beautiful card. It will stand on its own, of course, because you've created that card base. You can pop an extra message or a photo or a, it could be a little tag for a, a gift card or something in yes. there. And then, of course, you've got all the space to stamp in, to write your sentiment in and things. But I love that. And I love that we've got, as well, the keys underneath. They yeah. just look really pretty. They do. Yeah. I love that. Thank you very much, You're Lee. very welcome. Uh, right, I'm going to do a recap and also show you some things that you haven't yet seen. So, I mean, here we are. We've been super busy for these. I think you're liking this because, like we were saying at the beginning, it's different and it evokes lovely memories of, you know, either childhood or whatever. You know, so it's, it's lovely and also great for gents, for ladies, for all sorts of different occasions. Even it's quite romantic, isn't it? I mean, just a note. I like the just a note. Boom, boom. Uh, <laughs> so uh, let me show you all of these dies again. 
uh, nice and comprehensive so you've, you can create the whole card uh, and of course you've got all the extra embellishments I do really like this panel <coughs> uh, so it's 23 pounds and 98 pence 639562 is the item number oh yes more samples apologies I forgot uh, so you can see you can stand it up should you wish there you go and then have a little look here so all of these notes they fall out from the the panel here sorry if I just bring this in this this panel here so that's clever so you've got all of those little extras and then you can pop them inside also liking that you can see all the little notes it's cute isn't it so this one you can make to stand up that way or this way so this is a version of the one that Lou has just done and then we've also got this beautiful card as well I mean they're all absolutely stunning aren't they there you go I'm trying to um, fingers and thumbs one second there you go look at this isn't that absolutely stunning so we are super super busy for this one uh, let me just pop that back right it is 23 pounds and 98 pence item number is 639562 now we've got some stamps which is excellent uh, it also comes with the stencil and the embossing folder. So I would say if you can stretch to it, get the, the piano and get this because then you've got the whole shebang that all works together fantastically. Now this one is called set one. You can see you've got all of those beautiful stamps, all of those musical notes. You've got some sentiments in there. Uh, you've got much love. You've got make your own kind of music. I like that. Uh, the perfect harmony is there, gorgeous. And then you can see you've got your violin, uh, you've got your. I love the I love the motion of it. Do you know what I mean? The swirl of the stamps. I think that's really pleasing to the eye. And then you've got your stencil with all of your different musical notes on there, quavers and things. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then you've also got your embossing folder, which is cool. This is nice. So as Lou suggested, some of the sentiments will fit perfectly in that gap. And then we can see we have got a lovely sample teaming it with the piano. I just wondered if you could see the embossing folder the air, there at the bottom. And then you can see you've also got that... Uh, lovely sentiment so it all works together in harmony 15 pounds and 97 pence item number is 959851 then we've got set two so again we've got stamps and your stencil and another embossing folder that embossing folder is cool so the sentiments here include just a note uh, forget your trebles. <laughs> That's clever. You are the music in my heart. When words fail, music speaks. Ah. And then there's that sing like no one is listening. Uh, and then we've got the lovely embossing folder. Again, there's loads of movement in that. It's really pretty. The embossing folder, I'm really drawn to that. I think that's make, that will make such a great background for your matting and layering. Very nice indeed. And here we've got another wonderful example, I think. Ah, yes, the embossing folder has been used on the front there. That's clever, isn't it? And again, though, you can see it's teaming it with all of those lovely items. I love it. These are, it's not an exploding box, is it? I've forgotten what they're called, but a uh, pop-up box. Brilliant stuff. Uh, £15.97. pence. Item number is 934394. And then a back by popular demand, we have this one, which is your quintessential conservatory. Ah, that's cool. See, they work brilliantly again. You can put all the people, all the jazz musicians or whatever, in the conservatory. How clever is that? Here are the uh, dies. So we've got your... There we go. You can see there. And you've all got your... Um, actual base to create the card and then you've got all those extra elements I think that's brilliant that sample I think that is just awesome I'm loving that it's like a theatre it's wonderful 21 pounds and 99 pence uh, 622003 uh, we've got some seven day savers to add to your baskets also uh, these launched on Sunday are we on Tuesday now oh yeah I don't know what day it is. <laughs> right, so we have got the Christmas card collection from Jellybean Crafts. 
red, white, green, silver and gold, 70 sheets in total. You can see they've got a nice um, texture there. Uh, £21 saving, really good. It's 9 dollars 083717. We've also got some clarity paper pads. Now these are, have been really busy because they are four for the price of three, £18 saving. Uh, so you've got Northern Lights, Shenandoah, Indian Summer and Rainbow River. 48 sheets in each one. Uh, you can spread the cost, two payments of £26.98, 508728. One more to add to your basket. Uh, these are the All and Create stamps. You've got some beautiful flowers, the florals there, and some gorgeous script. £7 saving, it's ten ninety nine. Item number is 963677. All you need to do is give us a call, 01733 or go to our website. Here you go, Luke. Back Thank to you, you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> So I'm going to be working, as I said, with this um, beautiful panel, first of all, and then one of the embossing folders. Um, I love the size of this because it will fit perfectly across a 6x6 card or a 5x7, whatever you want to fit it onto with your matting and layering. Um, but I love as well the versatility because it cuts into the card, but you can also cut it away using the extra border. But I'm going to cut it into a card. So I have already cut a panel of black cardstock, and that perfectly fits my card base with a little bit in for the matting and layering so the keys will just about overlap a little bit on each side so i'm going to put that around about a third of the way up the card and i'm just going to tag that down there mm -hmm. on both sides and then i'm going to run this through now I just made sure of course as you look at it that you've got those top black keys in the right place because the number of times i've done this the wrong <laughs> way around but it's okay if you do it the wrong way around they'll just be on the top rather than on the bottom. Yeah. So I'm going to run this through. Now again, I'm going to run this through so that the die goes through with the smallest amount being cut at any one time. So this is going in horizontally. And while I'm doing this, I haven't actually mentioned um, the, the, the brand Paper Discovery. Yeah. Oh, there's lots of cracking, isn't it? <laughs> Don't worry. I love the noise, um, but it's not a problem. It's not a damaging machine at all. That's what I thought when I first heard it. I know, yeah. no, it's absolutely fine. It's a good noise. So the brand Paper Discovery is all designed by its lovely lady and it's Olga Direktorenko. Now, yeah. Olga has been here with us before but she lives in the Ukraine so of course at the moment coming over isn't quite so easy um, but absolutely amazing designs. She's so unique in what she does. She's a lovely lovely person, a beautiful mm. demonstrator as well um, but I just have to give her a mention and a little shout out because she can't oh, yes. be here and she has created these amazing designs. Will she be so. watching do you reckon? I hope so. Yes, yeah. I think so. There is two. She's two hours ahead of us. Okay. So she should be definitely be up. If we're up, she should be up. <laughs> so now I've cut. As you can see, I cut that, and that's all popped away beautifully. I mean, how gorgeous is that? Mm. You can have the one piece. You could do a really long border if you're you do your scrapbooking, for example. You can repeat this. Yeah. Or you could have it one on top of the other. You could do the. Oh, you could do this, yeah. and you could have rainbow keys or rainbow oh, colours yeah. behind. How amazing would that be? That'd be cool. But talking about the black and white, I'm just making sure I've got that with the spine at the top. Look at that. Once it sits on that white cardstock, that Perfect. really stands out, doesn't it? It's absolutely fantastic. Now, before I put that on there, I want to do some embossing. Now, I have got the 5x7 embossing folder, but my panel of cardstock is a little bit bigger for that. You see, I, could, I wouldn't be able to do the whole thing. So what I'm going to do is run this through twice. I'm going to put the paper in, first of all, in this way and then I'm going to run it through a second time and do the bottom panel in a similar way cool. so I still get everything embossed I'm just lining that up because I don't want to emboss into the top of the keys the reason being when you emboss that can, that makes the paper because you're bending and compressing the paper can make it a little bit weaker and if you've got a very small area like this it could potentially break some of these little bars here so I'm just staying a, a few millimeters away from those keys there I'm going to run this through my machine mm -hmm. um, now with this particular machine I know lots of people have this one but with others as well usually what we need to do is um, just take a plate out to allow for the embossing folder to go in. If you're new to die cutting and embossing, that's the way to do it. So it, usually you've got instructions, like an instruction manual with your machine. So just set up your plates ready for embossing. I'm going to run this through. And again, I'm going to run this through. I'm going to put that through that way, make sure that fits. Mm -hmm. I've got a lot of static in there, I can feel it. Yeah. And my hair might just start doing this in a moment. <laughs> 
100%. Like with blue. Do you know what? While you were doing the um, the the grand piano, mm -hmm. I was also thinking about again ev evoking memories. You remember that famous sketch from Morecambe and Wise? Oh. When they're playing the piano yep, yep. and playing all the right notes, but just not necessarily in the right order. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, everyone's been introduced to music in one way or yeah. another, haven't they? Whether mm. it's recently or in childhood. Um, and I think memories with this is yeah. absolutely wonderful. So I played recorder and clarinet, like I say, and um, they were good times. They were really <laughs> good times. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to emboss the base here as well. I'm using quite a thin, it's almost a paper. Mm. So I've got a little bit of um, breaking there. But oh, if you, the stronger your cardstock, the thicker your cardstock, the less chance of that happening. But it's all remained intact. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to run my die cutting machine just over the folder to the keys and back again because mm -hmm. I don't want to flatten any of this top bit here yep. too much so just just run that forwards and backwards um, and that will prevent the, what we've just done kind of getting squished too much <laughs> and if you're embossing you want to keep it nice yeah. and embossed don't you so pop this out so that is absolutely gorgeous and we've still managed to um, emboss the entire panel even though the embossing folder was too small for it yeah so now you can probably only just see that because it's black on black but it is really really pretty in fact if I just hold that up for you yeah that's you can cool see, it's really gorgeous I love all the different musical instruments and then in the gaps you've got the notes but what I'm going to do and again this is one that I'll have to hold up for you is I'm going to take an embossing uh, sorry an embossing pad embossing ink and just to sort of drag that across the top of some of the raised elements okay um, this is a really subtle technique I found that I do when I've got a plain cardstock and mm -hmm. it really makes that cardstock uh, look expensive okay because it reminds me of some papers I used to work in a craft shop did you uh, yeah years ago um, I worked there for four or five years and the I bet you bought everything <laughs> ev oh, my wages were gone before I even <laughs> yeah. had them um, I already knew what I was going to be getting. Um, but the cardstock, sort of, you've got your plain cardstock, then you've got your, your thicker ones, you've got your coated ones. But the ones that were embossed, but with that shine over the embossing, um, with the gloss on them, mm. they were always the most expensive ones. So really, that's what I'm just re recreating here. Yeah. So I'm just giving them a bit of a shine. I'm just taking some of the excess off. So just tap that away. I'm just going to heat set that. So uh, the powder will blow away in most areas, but it will sit where I've just put it. Mm. Put it and it'll add, add a shine to it and add a gloss to it, particularly on those raised up areas. Yep. So just get this. Of course, it's going to go clear and it'll be sort of, oh, I can't see anything. But when you hold it up to the light, um, that's where we start to see the embossing in the right places. Nice. So I'll whiz over this. Um, I've got a second setting. It's a little bit louder, so I'll whiz it or whack it on that. That's all right. For you. Excuse me. It's a lot quicker. <laughs> Whee, look at yeah. that go. I love chasing it around. Yeah, so the, a lot of the powder on the underneath is actually blowing away uh -huh. because the ink's not holding it there. And then on the raised areas where the ink's sitting, the powder's melting. Mm -hmm. And you'll see, you get that gloss finish on the instruments and on the music notes. Nice. And like I say, it's very subtle, but it's a lovely effect to give like an expensive cardstock look to <laughs> really a plain piece of paper no it's nice it's a good tip i'm going to do that myself at home so if i just hold that up i'm hoping we can just catch the light on yeah some of you can see some of the instruments there that looks very nice cool. and glossy and it's also a bit of a distressed look as well mm. um obviously the deeper you're embossed the better the effect you're going to get with that um and don't press too hard with your embossing pad because if you press too hard you'll risk catching the paper in the background as well um, and then you're just getting clear embossing yeah. everywhere. Um, just while you emboss that second bit then, mm -hmm. uh, we're just going to give you a quick reminder of what we've got on the show. We've got lots of new today's. So here we have um, the set where you can find this embossing folder that Lou is using. Uh, you've also got stamps and you've got a stencil. And it's £15.97, £4 saving. That's good, isn't it? £15.97. You've got all those stamps, all those elements and the stencil and the embossing for really good uh, 934394 that was set 2 we also have set 1 and again you've got stamps a fabulous embossing folder 
and the stencil. £15.97 once more, 959851. And then we are super busy. I think the grand piano is the star of the show, actually. Uh, here it is, all of those dies, 15 dies in total, £23.98, £6 saving, 639562 is the item number. Uh, back to you, Lou. Lovely, I've just finished, thank yes. you. <laughs> so, not the whole card, don't worry, I've just finished the embossing. Yeah. Um, so, I'm going to pop some foam tape now on, that on the background here. So just lift it up, because then we'll have a nice bit of dimension just under the keys here. So I'm going to pop the strip across the top, across the bottom. Oh, I've just realised. What, what? So my son has, uh, I haven't got my scissors on me today. Okay. My son has been getting into crafting more and more lately. Oh, lovely. But he borrows things. Oh. I know. <laughs> um, How old is he? He's 12. Right. He's just actually got into spray paint art. Oh. We've seen them. Now, I used to only see this when I was on holiday. Oh, what? Sorry. Spray paint oh, art. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I was on holiday, I only used to see them, these artists are sort of on the street yeah. selling their work and doing them live as such. Um, but he's just seen these videos and he's decided to order lots of spray paint and start doing them and it's absolutely fantastic. Oh, good for him. It's very clever. Oh. But he's been borrowing things out of my craft tote and Including I just got here this, scissors. Yeah, just got here this morning <laughs> and realised I don't have any scissors. So I'm tearing my foam tape, which is not something I'd usually do. I'd usually cut it with sticky scissors. Um, but when I pop this down, I just, I'm just going to pop my head above here so I can really line not up. Not a problem. And just see, just check whether my roots are me doing it. <laughs> Don't um, worry, we didn't catch you there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, so there we've just got a very slight shadow. You probably yeah. can't quite see that, but by lifting up with foam tape, we've got that shadow underneath the keys there. It's really mm -hmm. pretty. The next stage, I've cut the lady. Now, I love this lady. She's from the jazz band. She's just singing away. She's got her evening gown mm. on as well. Yeah. Um, I just think a lovely bright red or a sparkly dress oh yeah oh, glitter okay. red glitter card. yeah that would look amazing any actually any color glitter card because yeah. there's royal blue and gold mm. really really pretty you could have two or three of these ladies as yeah. well stood all singing together you then have the microphone as well so i've cut the lady from like a skin tone color ah. um, and i've used an alcohol pen to color in her hair brown yeah and her shoes in black and I've just brushed a little bit of brown distress ink around the edges to kind of show shadows then I've recut the entire die again from this this uh, holographic card mm -hmm. here um, and you can just see on the die there is a score line ah. that shows where the edge of the dress is right so it's really easy for you to snip out the dress so we can lay look that over that. Glam, it's glam. going to look amazing um, I would love a dress like this <laughs> I just love anything holographic not that I ever go anywhere to wear a holographic dress but you know uh, walking the dog maybe <laughs> <laughs> that's about as far as I get out and here I don't think the cameras would love me wearing one here would they I don't know actually <laughs> It might be a bit bright. What did our Holly just say? Oh, right. Holly said she'd be up for it. Yeah. She's our director. Next, Next time. time, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get a long holographic evening gown. <laughs> Blimey, I'm trying to think what I'm, when I'm next in. How long have I got to get that? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, that just, she looks fantastic, yeah. doesn't she? So I'm going to pop her on again with some foam tape. Um, within her skirt as well, we even have the... Um, embossing detail so where the slit would be in her skirt you could cut that out as well if yep, you wanted lovely. to um, give her a little bit of leg peeking out there so I'm going to pop her over the keys and then I've got the microphone as well just cut from silver mirror card here uh -huh. and I love because her hand is out now she could be dancing she could. she could be holding a flute of champagne or something couldn't she or of course she could be holding her microphone so I'm just going to pop this down over her hand. So if I put the foot so it's level with the stand, the bottom of the stand there, her hand will sit nicely just underneath the microphone. Yes, that it's looks all really good. Perfectly to scale. Just holding that down there. Really clever. And then lastly, I've just got some silver. Now, I'm not putting a sentiment on this because I think you could put so many different sentiments with it. You could. Of course, you've got all of that stamp set. I'm just going to put a bit of silver at the top here and tie this off to finish it off. Um, and the silver, of course, will echo the silver in her dress. But then I'm putting the bow on the opposite side, and that kind of pulls your 
eye from one edge of the card round to the other. Of course, I've got no scissors to cut this off, have I? So oh. mm. I'm just going to I'm just going to hold it, and you can just imagine that yes. the the ribbon's just being cut off there. I'm sure I'll have to borrow some scissors for the <laughs> Not next a show. <laughs> Bless you, that looks absolutely fabulous, doesn't it? Look at all that detail with the embossing, the keys. She looks amazing. And then, of course, you, like you said, you've got those sentiments in the stamps on the show yeah. that you can pop maybe on the inside. Yes, absolutely. You've got all the space, of course, on the inside. Yeah. And you can do borders and things with those mm. stamps as well on the inside. Fabulous. Uh, right then, thank you very much, Lou. You're very welcome. Time for a recap. If you're just joining us, because um, it is early, then we have got some brilliant brand new dies on the show well not just dies but we've got stamps and boxing folders stencils uh, by paper discovery and as Lou said uh, it's Olga um, who has designed these and invented them now it's all about the lovely musical theme so you can see we've got clarinet we've got all the woodwind we've got the saxophone all of the different brass section and then we go to the um, violins and cellos and I love the fact that we've got the harp in there um, have a little look at all of these dies. I mean, you are getting a lot of dies. Gosh, I can't even count them. I don't know. Because even... I don't, oh, there's 20. Oh, I should look at the screen, shouldn't I? <laughs> there's 20 in total. But look at the detail. It's so exquisite. Look at all the different, you know, the, the holes for your flute. Um, you've got so much detail in the um, ooh, la, 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 saxophone. I used to date a saxophonist. It's very nice. Anyway, <laughs> I hope the other half's not watching. Uh, so you've got all of that. You've got your guitar there. Really, really cool. So really, really good for, you know, gents cards, for maybe you've got um, children or grandchildren who've um, taken musical exams. So it could be a congratulations. I mean, how cool is this? So you're teaming up. You can see how all of the dies actually and stamps and whatnot on the show work together because this is from the next set. Um, but they really do. Um, they are just beautiful, beautiful dies. £28.97 and you've got a £10 saving on this set. 039116. So with this price, it's because they're, they're £12.99 each, I believe. So you've so nearly got one that you're not paying for. Uh, then we move on to, I think, the star of the show, the Grand Piano. Everybody's been loving these. So you're getting, the um, obviously, the piano itself, and it will create a brilliant card. Plus, you're getting that panel. Have a look at all of these dies. And there's real undulation to everything that's in this. There really is. So you've got all of those different swirls and whatnot. Um, and then, let me show you the lovely samples take a little look at this you can stand it up like so and then you can see all of those musical notes that's nice because you've given it a little bit of a drop shadow isn't that cool look at all of those musical notes because those musical notes have fallen out of this panel so you can use the actual panel but then gosh don't throw away all the bits that fall out oh yeah Meg's just had a brilliant idea was that Meg or was that Holly that was me. Uh, about using all of the musical notes that drop out to make a shaker card, because you know I'm a massive fan of those. So have a little look. Isn't that cool? We've also got this stencil on the show that's been inked through. That's in a different set, though. But then we've got um, these wonderful cards. Have a look at this with the florals. Isn't that pretty? Oh, if you want to see this one being made, Lou did this at the start of the show, so do catch up on Rewind. And we've got another one here. I mean, again... Look at all of this teaming up. It's just so pretty. And last but not least, let me show you this one. Oh, yeah, so you can make an easel card as well. I mean, there's so many different possibilities that you can do with this um, lovely uh, die set. £23.98, 639562 is the item number. Then we've got our jazz band or orchestra or however you like to... Or pop band it could be, it doesn't matter. But you've got all of these different figures. I love that they are all in those different positions. I mean, they really, they look so real, don't they? I mean, Olga's really taking the time to research. I mean, look at him. Like, he's really passionate, do you know what I mean? So let me show you all of the dies. Um, you've got, you know, your drummer. You've got your singer, which we love. Uh, guy playing the trumpet. 
too cool. So there's a lot of dyes there, 17 in fact in total. And I've got a nice sample here. Take a little look at this. Oh, Meg's had another good idea. Um, she's saying you could, probably you could is cut some of the instruments out, you know, fussy cut them and then get, you know, so let's say that lady holding one of them or something like that. So you can sort of change the position. I'm just looking to see if we've got, yes, here's another sample. So that is so simple, but so effective, isn't it? Nice inky background. And then you've got our uh, saxophonist there. And is this a sample as well? So it's just because I can't see, are they on there? Excellent. Let me bring this one up. Uh, so again, we've got our drummer. He's really going for it, isn't he? That is so super cool. Seven pounds saving. It's twenty six pounds and ninety eight pence. Item number is one seven two eight two five. Then we go for set one. Uh, here you have got your stamps, stencil, and also your embossing folder. Um, again, you can see all of those wonderful musical notes that are undulating. Very cool. Now. I'm going to have to pick this up to read it, sorry. Uh, so you've got on here, make your own kind of music in perfect harmony, much love and on your special day. Beautiful. Love all of that. And then have a look at the stencil and embossing folder. Really fabulous, aren't they? They all work together in literally perfect harmony. Boom, boom. And then I'll just pick this one up because I want you to see the embossing a little bit better. But look at that. Isn't that cool? It's really cool. And then you've also got the words as well. Uh, when words fail, music speaks, which I think is in the next one we're going to see. This is £15.97, a £4 pound saving, 959851. Then we go over to set two. And in here, again, you've got lots of different stamps, a different stencil, a different embossing folder. And this embossing folder Lou just used in her second demonstration. Uh, very pretty. So here we've got Sing Like No One's Listening. What else have we got? I might have to pick it up again. Sorry. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> just a note. I love Forget Your Trebles. That one is possibly my favourite. Uh, you are the music in my heart. When words fail, music speaks. Sing like no one is listening. I think that's a really important one, that one. And again, you just get those little workers as well. Those little worker stamps that you can fill in a, a really nice background. Um, and on here, this is a lovely sample showing the embossing folder. But again, sort of, um, you can see how well it all works fantastically with the rest of it. I love these cut out in the gold. That looks really cool, doesn't it? Lovely. £15.97, uh, £4 saving. Item number is 934394. And then last but not least, we've got the conservatory. I just think this is brilliant. Do you know what I'm seeing, actually? I think um, Paper Discovery, very good company here, because, look, they, they show you what it coordinates with. Now, we don't have these on the show, but I just thought I'd point that out, that I think, I think that's a really good way to go there. Um, here are the dies for the conservatory. So you can create this make it look like a stage look at all the swirls in there as well it's very very elegant isn't it and of course they all coordinate all the swirls and everything coordinate with this set so it's really cool and then just to finish off i've got to bring this in i just think this is awesome so i'm really pleased whoops she says so i'm really pleased that they put this on the show the conservatory because it absolutely works in tandem fantastically with all of these um, characters there uh, but you can see all of that detail it's really beautiful I love the chandelier as well it's really really pretty 21 pounds and 99 pence if you would like to go for this you've got 16 dies in total item number is 622003 you can give us a call 01733 or of course you can go to the website at hachanda.com uh, so Lou thank you very much you're very welcome. Yeah, lovely. And what time are you back this today? Um, I am going to be back at 10, I think. 10 o'clock. What, what, what do you fancy um, working with on that show? I'll show you the Grand Piano Easel card yeah. and then we'll do some quick cards as well. Oh, that sounds very, very good. All right then. So I'm going to hand the reins over to Rachel. She's in today. And of course, with our Leone for the one day special. I think it's time for a cup of tea and some brekkie now. We'll see you after this short break.
Now, Leone is working with the Happy Planners for the one-day special. Following that, we've got Karen Pens, which um, Lou is absolutely, uh, an absolute fan of. Uh, and after that, it is Paper Discovery. <laughs> Hi, my name's Leona. I've been into crafting for many years now. Um, as a little girl, I'd craft with mum and dad, but then obviously it stuck with me um, that much that it became my, my career. Uh, I think for me, crafting's so fun because there's always something new to learn. There's always something new to play with, and um, it's such a rewarding hobby as well. That's why I absolutely love it and recommend it to so many people. I'm really thrilled to be part of the Hachanda family. Really excited about seeing how it's grown, seeing how it's developed so far, and all the brand new things that I know we've got coming up. I'm really passionate about getting back into demonstrating on TV as well, and actually sharing uh, techniques with you, products with you that I personally love. I hope you can tune into my shows here live at Hachanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week, using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now, simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember, it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter, all work in the company, and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have. So we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we're going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. This is why I enjoy being part of the Hochanda family, because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Hochanda.
Hello and good morning. It's lovely to have your company. Um, we are talking about the one day special. Now, obviously, it's not just me in the, the studio. Oh, Kev's in. Oh, Rachel. <laughs> we haven't seen our Kev in ages. You can hear her giggling away or cackling because... That's all they said. Giggling away in the corner. Um, our Rachel will be taking you down country in a little while. But, of course, I'm opening the show because I want to show you these fantastic stickers that are one day special. Now, the Happy Planner, it's an amazing system. If you're already hooked, if you're already part of it, you will understand why we are so excited about this. If you're not, then stay tuned because it is about really enjoying the process of planning your life, which actually is quite fabulous, you know, and a, a lot of us, we, we kind of need to do it, but even if you feel like you're, you're organised, actually planning it, but bringing the, the creativity invo into it as well, is just so satisfying. It's definitely got that mindful buzz about it, definitely. Um, this is so satisfying because you're buying three of these, but you're actually only paying for two and the choice is yours. So I love that. You can choose. We haven't decided on the bundles for you. It is up to you. So it's the things that will fit best into your life and into your planner. Right, what I'm going to do is just take you through a little hint of the top counter and then our rate range comes down bottom, um, comes down counter, we'll take you through some of the ones on the bottom. So the first one, and obviously I'm not going to go through the full thing because you have got a lot of stickers. In fact, in this book alone let me just see how many it's got 907 stickers in this one um so this is choose happy um and they're beautiful i mean straight away you've got color you know you've got loads of beautiful color tones in there um now this one is going to fit in your mini i love the fact that you've got them for all the different sizes so it'll fit in your mini mini your petite tall one as well um but the thing is Obviously, it's also going to fit in the horizontal. So if you've got um, one of the, um, the horizontal planners, it's going to fit in there. Of course, you'll still put these in your classic. You know, you're still going to put them in your notepad. So it's great that it'll fit in your minute, but it is going to work in your others. I love these, your little to-do tick-offs. I think they're fabulous. You've got florals in here. You've got loads of gorgeous sentiments. And of course, loads of fabulous open spaces for you to write all your notes. I love that. I love them all. I mean, I love them all, but that is gorgeous. It's bright. It's happy, is that one. So that's your first one. That's a little bit of choose happy. Um, the next one that we've got for you, um, which again, absolutely bumper pack. Now, I love this one, this product productivity. I've used this a lot. We've had this one on before, but this is one that I've um, really gone to, to be honest, because of these kind of things. Oh, your to-do lists. So you can write your to-do list down. You've got your appointments in there. You've got all your, your projects in there. I really like these. I really like the little prompts, you know, because it's like, okay, I need to get myself really organized and do that. And, and I find this is really helpful. You know, actually plan in it by the hour especially when i don't know about you but when my head's properly full of just stuff and i really need and i get like that a lot it's that full of stuff i just forget what i'm meant to be doing because i've got too much to do and i love that planning it by the hour i really find that helps and not necessarily stick to it but at least it helps actually having those plans. I really like this one because you've got a lot of those and I find those dead helpful. That one, 985 in there. Um, and again, that's your productivity. Really like that one. That one's a handy one. Now, next one we've got for you. I might not spend all my time sticking these back up again. Um, okay, next one is travel. Now, I know at the minute travel is a little bit trickier than normal. However, it might still be that you're going, you know, you're just going camping in England because let's face it, um, we've got a lot of beautiful places to visit. It might be, I mean, I'm going home at the weekend. It might be that you're just traveling home and you need to do your packing list. I really like things like this as well because you might not be using these for your planners you might actually be using these for for your memory keepers you might be mixing these up with your 
um, you know, your scrapbooking. It might actually, I mean, things like this are just so cute. It might be your diary. You know, it might be your bullet journal that you're using these for. I do love these. And obviously, you've got stickers in there for when we are able to, to travel freely, as the case may be. Really like that one. That's your travel one. Now, next we've got for you, um, we're here, my favourite, Sassy. How's Sassy doing, Meg? Mm, this has been really busy. OK, I'll tell you for why. Um, this has been really busy because, um, oh, my gosh, this is my life. I've got 99 bobby pins and I can't find a single one. Seriously, have you seen this? It's like, where did I put my clips? This is my life. Oops, it happened again. <laughs> um, maybe if we all sit extremely still, Monday won't be able to see us. <laughs> um, Friday is my second favourite F word. <laughs> my favourite is, and then there's a blank space so you can fill that in. I mean, it might be... Fries? <laughs> Foxy. Foxy. It might be flipping heck. <laughs> I'm allowed to say that one, aren't I? Um, classic, but... Oh, I can't read that because of my hair. Um, I dusted once. It all came back. I'm not falling for that again. <laughs> There's some really funny ones. I'm not reading that one out in case I do say it wrong. <laughs> uh, that's a picture of Fox. No, and then a fox, and then given. Yeah. So Sassy is is a little... This one's funny. So let me read you these. So this one's funny. So you've got your little tick list, and your winning one, I'll say things like winning, crushed it, na made it, worked it, found it, said it. Okay, so really positive. But then, oops, forgot it. <laughs> Drank it, ate it. <laughs> Love it. That's my favourite. Sassy is the best ever. And you need these, don't you? Because not all days are positive. Not all days are shiny, happy and bright. And I know it's good to look at your, your positive stuff and get your gratitude list. I know that actually works. However, every now and again, we don't want to. We want to say, you know, oh, fox to it all. <laughs> now, I love this one. This is an absolute favourite of mine, the florals. Um, I absolutely adore this one. I mean, it's literally a book full of really pretty flowers. You've got um, foiled ones in there. You've got beautiful leaves. You've got a lot that are the clear stickers so you can see through them. Really pretty. I mean, you've got 431 stickers in there. That is an essential absolute essential and you will get through that one so if you bought that in the past you'll probably need to buy that one again because you'll use everything in there right i'm having trouble <laughs> sorry shauna i knew i won't be able to carry on uh, i won't carry on now this is another favorite the doodles this is well cool so you've got beautiful doodles you might be coloring these in and um, you've got some foiling but there's just some really cute little doodles in here yeah, the proper sweet. Um, you've got your florals, but then you've got like, yeah, and I like them because obviously you can fill these in. You know, I mean, the day might be, yeah, number one, smashing it, but it might be, hmm, this day is number 533. Um, I love these as well, just making your, your page look interesting. Aren't they cool? Cassettes. Um, I just, yeah, love that one. That's your doodles, really different as well. Very cool indeed. And then the last one I'm going to show you live. Now, this one's fabulous. This is, again, it'll fit in your minute, but there's loads that won't just be a minute. Your numbers. Now, if you've got a notebook, if you haven't got a planner yet, you've actually got six months worth of um, numbers there. So you can literally use a notebook and make a planner for six months just with this pad. I think that is quite fabulous, actually. Um, you've then got loads of little things. I love this one, you hydrate, just to make you mindful of how much you're actually drinking. Because I don't know about you, but I know I don't drink enough water. There's days I'll have a cracking headache, and it's literally because I've had, like, two cups of coffee. Um, really, really cool. And I do think the fact that you've got these for your minute is brilliant, because I know a lot of us have either got the mini journals, um, uh, planners, sorry, or we've got the mini notepad. So really nice. You've got tons in there. In fact, you've got 1,768 pieces in there. So that is massive. Now, that's the top row. You've also, of course, got your choices on the bottom row. 
Um, so you have got your um, your farmer's market, which is gorgeous, really pretty. Household, that's good. That's all about, you know, all your chores, like, is it washing day? Is it ironing day? And it just makes those chore days, they don't look as boring on your page because uh, you've got a cute sticker. Uh, your mum, that's a little bit chorey as well, not going to lie. Um, but it's all about reminding you to, you know, your bills and all that malarkey. Uh, your colourful's beautiful. Um, actually, colourful boxes, that's another one of my favourites. Favorite. If I were picking three, mine would be your colourful boxes, your flowers and your sassy. Definitely. I really like that one. And then my next three would be your productivity, your gold. I really like the gold. Just some good ones in there. And then I go for the doodles. I love the doodles. Colour story. That's beautiful. I love these. You've got loads of stickers that look like um, the, the balloons, the helium balloons, which is well cool. And then your seasonal, as it suggests, there's something for all your different seasons in there all packed into one now it is a pick and mix it is your choice if you just want three florals you can do it if you want three sasses because uh, you just want to fill your book with a bit of sass then you can do that all you need to do is scroll on the website click what you'd fancy pop it in your basket um, so you will just scoot down add to your basket and then think there we go um, now you have got a timer on your basket that you need to check out you'll basically you'll pay for two of those one of them you're getting absolutely free and that's your one day special now we've got more for you i know this was extremely busy yesterday and i know a lot of the individuals have sold out with this one you're 20 quid saving you're essentially getting two of your notepads for free that's your 20 quid saving straight away you can get them individual they are on the website so this one your first planners if you will the notebooks but notebooks are brilliant because they can be whatever you want them to be. It's all the the all the happy planner system is all the disc, disc system that allows you to make them really individual. It also means you can take your pages out without ripping, but it also means you can add your pages in. So it allows you to completely personalize the system. That's what makes this so special and so cool. Now your notebook, it's got your laminated page protector at first, which is beautiful. It's your plan of babe. Um, of course, then you've got your, um, your little dividers and they have got the tabs on the side, which are laminated. And then you've got your pages and your pages have got um, your little dot system, dot and line system going on there. It's what you want it to be. So you've got the classic size planner and then you've got one of your um, nice slim planners and with this one or notebooks I should say notebooks again really really handy it again it's what you want it to be it might just be lists and lists and lists it might be um, I don't know it might be um, might be your food tracker it might be your your water tracker you know what I mean it could be whatever you want it to be you've got your adding pages so you've got for your classic that will go in the slim because the, the actual punches are exactly the same width. That is genius. It means that they'll all coordinate. So it will go in there, you just need to fold your page. So you've got your extra pages there, and I do believe you've got some more extra pages, but I'll take you through. You've then got some of your stickers. Now the stickers in this one are different to the stickers in your accessory kit. And do you know what? There's tons in here, 1,164 stickers in there. It's huge. And again, it's really nice. Planner Baby's lovely because it's really bright. It's a lovely colour palette again. And you've got tons there. Vacation vibes. Um, and look, road trip. See, that's what I'm planning to do in September. I'm planning to hire a camper van and me and Dave the dog are heading off into the sunset. I know. I haven't booked it yet. <laughs> I, I'm terrible. I don't book anything till last minute and then wonder why there's nothing available. <laughs> Surprise, surprise. Now, accessory kit. Um, you can still get this individually, I do believe. So if you do want this individually, it is on the website. Um, and I love this. This is what I mean about the planners, happy planners being genius. That will fit in your planner. It'll fit in your notebook, so you're not going to lose it. Genius. These are all little stickers. Oh, they're so cute. Um, now, not only are they cute, but... So, when you're filling in your planner, um, 
if you've got, say, something that hasn't been um, set yet, so, you know, it might be you're going out for dinner or, you know, you're meant to be you're meant to be going to dentist, but you don't know if it's going to happen. You should be going to hairdressers, but you don't know if it's going to happen. You can write it on there, put it in your planner, but it means you're not going to mess up your planner. So then when you, it is happening or it's happened, then you can write it in, in pen. So it's kind of handy. I really like them and they're very cute. You've also got your little page uh, dividers, but these have got your little tabs. They're really, really handy. You've got stickers in here. You've got refill pages in here, which are really handy. And obviously you use these for all sorts, not just the planner, babe. It'll be whatever. Um, you've got your pockets. These these are really handy and you've actually got two pockets there the double sided so you've got pockets on each side I use these I use these for keeping you know I was saying yesterday the letters that you know when you you're having trouble say with your your mobile phone provider and you need to keep <laughs> no I'm sorted now I'm sorted now but you need to keep the letters so you've got all your account numbers so you don't have to rummage for them every time they're well handy <laughs> Just saying. That's what I've been using mine for. Practical. Now, half of the stock of the bundle, is that? Half of the stock of the bundle has gone. You've also got in this bundle, and I know these are sold out individual. These, again, are your dividers. They've got the tab on. These will fit in your classic, um, and they're really handy. I love them as well because they're clear. It does allow you to decorate them with your stickers, which, again, you can personalise everything. The best bit, my favourite bit, I love these. The little wallets. Look, the proper little envelopes. The proper cute. Um, they are definitely sold out individually. Thing is with these, they'll fit in your classic. They'll also fit in the large as well. But, yeah, they are seriously super cute. Aren't they fabulous? So that's cinema tickets. It's, you know, it's things, it's also, it's not just things that you don't want to lose. Like, how many of us have put concert tickets in a safe place and never found them? And then before the event, you're running around like an idiot trying to find them. Um, these, it's not just things you have to remember, but it's also memorabilia. You know, the things that you don't want to lose because you want to keep forever. I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. And they've been designed so you can put your stickers on. Uh, they're just fabulous. Now, this whole bundle saving £20 and you've got your two flexes, £26.97. 524238. Now, it is coming from America. Happy Planner is American. So it is going to be dispatched from the 25th, did you say? Sorry, love. 25th of August. Thing is, it's coming from America, but you're not paying American postage. You're paying UK postage, which is an absolute... Um, it's a winner because basically I know a lot of people who bought from Happy Planner. Obviously, they're paying that, that postage, of course, because they want it. So you happily pay the postage. With us, it's only our 2 95 or whatever it is. Unless you're part of Freedom, if you're a Freedom member, you don't pay postage. So it's definitely something to look into. And if you're a Freedom member, something like this, you get a discount on as well, because this has got a Freedom discount. In fact, Freedom members, you're saving £17.59 on this. And look, you're actually getting two stickers. That, that is basically £19.99 worth of stickers. You're almost getting that, one of those for free. You know, £17.59, you're paying a few quid for that. OK, let me take you through. So, first of all, you have got loads of stickers, and this is well cool. So you've got loads of gorgeous stickers, but then you've got loads of your little notes as well, which are fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Look at these. This is my favourite bit in these. These are your, your little flip cards. Look, so the stickers, but look at those. I mean, seriously, they're so cute. Isn't that cute? Oh, th this is any stationary addicts, this just ticks that box. You know, if you've always been into really pretty stationery, it ticks. Up. I love it because it's, it's your stationery, it's your mindfulness, it's your planning, it's actually doing something constructive and it's your creativity. It ticks so many boxes. That's why I'm so into this system. And I'm into it as well because it's clever. The way everything mixes and matches. I mean, I was saying to our Rach earlier on, slightly jealous as well, I really wish I'd come up with this concept because it's just genius, quite frankly. Um, now, this one, this is for your mini. 
uh, your mini petite um, and it is just again beautiful so it's gonna fit in your mini like that one that'll fit in your mini planners but of course you'll use it for your other ones as well and there's tons in there 1311 stickers in there absolutely gorgeous you've then got in this one you have got let me reach over um one of your fantastic little um notebooks but look at the set look at that how cute is that write it down isn't that sweet and these are lovely so you have got really nice um inspirational quotes in there you've got filler pages so you've got the ones with the little hearts you've got the nice slim ones and i mean we share these in our, our little hot desk and obviously you'll use these for all sorts it won't just be for your slim ones you'll mix and match it up you've got now this well crew these are all your sticky labels and again it's been designed so it'll fit into your planner genius just genius love 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 that it's well cute and then you've got a massive pad now i do believe it's um is it 100 sheets no it's 50 sheets isn't it i think um that is your massive to-do plaid i really like this one this is like your desk pad so you know when you wake up first thing in the morning and you just need to write everything down before it all goes that's the one <laughs> <laughs> that is you see this is exactly what I did this morning I wake up I need to buy some bleach today I need to do that today I need to do this today that pad that should be next to your bed or it should be next to the kettle or next to the toilet is that no too too much Leona sharing too much <laughs> Where's your thinking space, though? Is it while you're brushing your teeth? I need to do that. Do you know what I mean? When is it that everything runs through your mind? In the sassy one, it says, um, my brain, as soon as I'm going to sleep, that's when I think about all the things I need to do. <laughs> mm. um, that's so the pad next to your bed, essentially. OK, if you want this bundle, it is fabulous. You've got a massive saving if you're a Freedom member. £17.59, two payments, £34.17. Now, storage. Not only only do a happy planner do brilliant stickers fantastic planners they do really gorgeous station um, storage I mean it just it's just beautiful isn't it it's also really well made um, really strong uh, sewing there so you know it's gonna last you've got enough space in here so that's gonna fit your planners it's gonna fit your notebooks um, the classic size I don't know if it'll fit your large let me just have a little look see so that's your large it won't fit your large but the thing is with this you can actually you know if you want to put your your big ones in there you can actually move these um take these out um so it is up to you if you do want to do that but it's going to fit all your stickers in there well as i say all possibly not all it depends on your store your um sticker collection but it will fit your stickers in there absolutely beautifully and um, the thing is with that it's fantastic if you've got your planner stuff and say you're going away for the weekend you want to take your planner stuff or i was saying yesterday you know the planners it's nice to just sit chill out it might be sitting in front of tv it's a definitely the kind of craft you can do in front of tv that will not look it won't look bad in your living room will it do you know because it looks beautiful so it's really pretty wherever you're crafting it looks nice really like that only 39 pounds and 99 pounds very well made comes flat pack for you but it's dead quick and easy to put together two payments 20 pounds that's 710896 now these are huge um these are your bumper stickers now i know you might have seen seasonal before we've had seasonal before um but the other three are new to us now this one all in the season as the name suggests it's going to take you through lots of different um lots of different things that are going on throughout the year you've got your alphabet you've got christmas in here you've obviously got summer you've got autumn um i love the little ice skaters it's funny right i've gone through this so many times and I always seem to land on the same pages what is that about um, you've got loads of little Christmassy ones loads of alphabets in here um, I love it because you've got picnics but then you've got your trick-or-treat so of course you've got um, Halloween in there 
tons and tons of Christmassy ones. Um, you've got some lovely little sentiments as well. But it is different, um, all the different seasons. So let me show you some from the other side. Because, look, you have got um, sort of summer. You've got spring in there as well. Really, really beautiful all-season ones. Lots and lots of alphabets. Something for Valentine's Day or anniversaries or weddings. And then, obviously, your spring and summer ones as well. So there's a real host of stickers in there. In fact, in that one, there's 3,281 stickers. These are mega. I mean, they're absolutely huge. So that's your season ones. The next one that we've got is your um, your lovely pastels. And these, again, absolutely gorgeous. I love on this side. Look at them. Aren't they pretty? I just think that we're halfway through already nearly. Always, always. It takes me 30 minutes to get down this counter. You've got all sorts in here. Look at the colours. It's just so beautiful, is that one. So that one's just filled with prettiness, quite frankly. Loads of gorgeous flowers, loads of um, those big spaces for you to do all your, all your lists. Oh, your lists. <laughs> um, so that's your pastels. We've then got the brights. So same kind of thing, but your beautiful bright ones. In fact, let me just find, hold on a minute. Where were the animals? You've got some animal ones and they're proper cute. I don't know where, they oh, I love those. I, I like anything with the open spaces for all the lists. I like a good list. I mean, I never, I never remember to look at my list. But I love a good list. And even them clean the house. Do you know what I mean? I think that's quite nice. I don't know where the little animals are. So you've got really handy ones in there as well. I love them. It looks like a full page. It has got little triangles cut out on there. But obviously you can peel the, the whole thing off and use the whole page. Aren't they different as well? Really beautiful. So that's your brights. Absolutely gorgeous. The last one in the bumper stickers is your um, uh, greatest hits. This is a cracker. They're all good. They're all good. And you've got in this one, let me see if I can find the little uh, characters in this one. So, I mean, there's tons. Look at the size of it. You've got so many stickers in these. Let me just show you this side as well a little bit. Look, aren't they cute? I really like those. I think they're so sweet. So you've got loads of fabulous little characters in there. Yeah, love it. And, of course, you have got all these beautiful positive quotes as well, which are just fabulous. Love, love, love them. Um, now, if you do want them, again, these are huge. I mean, that one alone has got 3,210 stickers in it. Uh, two payments, £21.50. pence. Massive. 792125 is your item number. You're right there, are Kev. <laughs> Kev's like, what am I doing? Sitting down, chilling out. <laughs> oh, trippy nose. Um, now, next, need. These are fabulous, and they're only £9.99. Pence. I mean, this is such a bargain. So these are your wraparounds. Now, you've got your different sizes, and you've got your different colours. So you've got the ones for your mini. Please check out the website, and it'll scroll down. That's how you find your different sizes. So you've got your mini. You've then got the classic. I mean, look at these. These are a thing of beauty. They're not just beautiful on the outside, but they're quite beautiful on the inside. So you look inside, look at the colours. Look at the colour! And then you've even got pockets on both sides as well. I love that bright yellow. I just think that is fabulous. So you've got your classic, and then you've also got um, the big as well. Fantastic. So whichever planner size or notebook size, these are going to fit. They just make it look professional. If you're buying these as a gift, oh my gosh. I mean, for a tenner, they're amazing. Um, have a look on the website. So you see where it says gold mini size? That's where you scroll down and it'll give you all your different options. We've got loads of options and they are all absolutely beautiful. So please have a little look on them because, yeah, they're fabulous. Um, if you do want one of those, it's 264-800, your item number. Highly recommend those. All the girls went for one of these when we um, had these in. Now, 
8800 is your item number. We've got pictures. Thank you, everyone, for sending your thoughts in. Who's this one, our Meg? Kathy. Oh, Kathy, that's amazing. She says, I am thrilled that Achanda have brought um, the happy planners to us. She said, so here's a few of my layouts. Do you know what? They're lovely. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, they're gorgeous. See, that's from the flower one there. I uh, See, this is why I love the flower one. Doesn't it look pretty? It almost looks like she's stamped all over the page. That is gorgeous. That's before the pen. Beautiful. Thank you ever so much. I love that. And do you know what? What's really interesting about this, as you as you go through with your planners, it'll always every you know you'll change as you go through. You'll change the way you do your planner. It's really nice seeing how you evolve. You will evolve. Oh look, I pop I I pop some of these in. You know, I had the Ali Edwards uh, show the other day. I obviously put these in because that's going to be my holiday month. So this is me going traveling. Oh, I think fabulous. So anyway, <laughs> uh, getting ahead of myself. Now, obviously there's loads that you can do. This is my second one. I've got two because, because you want to. Um, one of them's my work one. I want three. My third one I'm going to get in September. We've got another one day special. All the new planners. Oh, can't wait. I'm going to get a big one in that. I, I already got it planned. That one's going to be my proper work one. That one's going to be my frank and plan that I change. Now, this one has got the snap-on covers. You can get the snap-on covers as well. These are a hard cover. You take the proper cover off and you put the snap-on covers on. I've got the stickers. So I've got all the stickers in there. This one, I've put the extra sheets in. And this one is um, food. So when I've cooked, I actually put what I've cooked and where I've actually saved the recipe. Because there's a lot of times I'll cook some, I absolutely forget it, want to find it again and ha won't have a clue where I've put it. So that's in there. Obviously, it's nice and empty, ready to go. And then just ready to fill in. I love these tabs. I think these tabs are amazing. So so this one is your um, the the horizontal. So you get different ones. That one's a horizontal. Let me show you some of the girls because we have got different ones filled in. Now, obviously, sometimes you get the notebook ones. Okay, so we've got the notebook ones in the planner babes today. This is our lovely Katie, and Katie, you'll be able to find her on what Katie knits. And this is beautiful. She's used hers for a little notebook um, on her knitting. And I love this because she's got a sampler of a knit. She's really good, isn't she? She's really good as Katie. Have you seen some of her stuff that she's knitted? And I'm talking to you girls in my head. Honestly, she's, she's, she'll wear stuff and it'll be like, my gosh, I would absolutely buy that. So I really like the way she's used it because she's kept her yarns, you know, she's kept so she remembers which one she's used. She's got her idea list in here as well. Isn't it beautiful? So this is what I mean. Your notebook can be anything. So that's our Katie's. That's what she's doing with your notebook. Let me show you. Um, one of other ones. So this is our Luz, um, Luzanne. Now, this is wonderful because what she's doing is I, she's actually doing this as a real um, as a real positive journal you know so what she's doing she's putting loads of gorgeous stickers in but she's also doing loads of sort of really positive thinking things rise above the storm and you will find the sunshine it's okay just forget um it's okay you just forgot who you are welcome back i love things like that so it's not she's not using hers as an actual planner as in a today after do this today after do that she's using hers as a really nice sort of positivity journal which i love and that's the thing you'll use yours for whatever you want now what i'm gonna do let's do a layout so um i'm gonna do i'm gonna skip ahead this i'm gonna skip ahead i'm in september but that's cool so i've got a little bit of washy on this one because it's my birthday so it's cocktails cocktails um but i'm gonna skip ahead and i'm gonna do um a clean page okay now this is what I love about the whole system. This is a, a really nice clean page, but this time the horizontal. So some you get vertical, some you get horizontal. You can use them for horizontal. Now, what you've got, of course, 
You've got some of them that are for your minis, uh, but just just play, just play. Now, I must admit, I love the greatest hit ones. I think that is absolutely beautiful. It's a really cool little planner, is that? Now, as you're checking out your basket, it'll say, hey, would you like one of these? Now, we have got some sticker planning guides. These are a really nice idea. In this one, you've got something for vertical, you've got something for your dashboard layout, horizontal, monthly, but then your custom. So that can be whatever you want it to be. So what you could do is get your, so for this one, it's obviously my horizontal layout. So you pop your little thing in like this, and it's got one for each side. Come on, kid. Sorry, I've not got my disc lined up proper. Come on, that's it. I'm I'm there now, cooking on gas. So, <laughs> and the other one goes in that side. But then, I love this because then you can plan and put your stickers on here before you put them on the page, which is quite fabulous. If you do want some of these, um, on the website where you'll find these is there now see so as you're checking your basket out it'll say do you want one of them so that is your planning guide so that's your classic planning guide which is this size size but then you have got the smaller one as well so do make sure you get the right one because the smaller one is um obviously for your your minis so you have got that so make sure if you're going for classic go for the right size now i'm just going to go for it i'm not going to do my sticker thing because of time so what i love this is one of my favorite things at the minute is blocking so and overlaying your stickers so i'm going for that really nice solid one really bright one i love this Hello, weekend. Now, the other thing about your sticker guides, what I really like is, so when you're going through your sticker pad, you might not, you might not be actually planning, you know, on this one, but you might just be getting the stickers out because as you're going through, you, you love them, but then when you go through again, you can't find them. Do you know what I mean? So you might be actually using this to actually just put your stickers on so you you know where they are, if you know what I mean. So, I mean, I've picked three out already and it's already like easy. It's easy how everything comes together. So there's a nice one here, treat yourself. And I love that. See, so I haven't stuck these to my page yet. It's just building up. And these are quite fabulous. Um, you've also got, let's have a little look, see. See, you've got dinner plans in here. You've got total calories. So if you're doing your, if you're doing your food planning, you know, if you're counting your calories, that's fantastic. And again, you've got lunch, you've got dinner, you've got all sorts. Your workout logo, um, log, sorry. So it might be, oh, look at all of them. Aren't they cute? I really like that. And that's like, hooray to, uh-uh. <laughs> I love that. Find your happy life is good. Yay! Oh, see, you just end up going through this and looking at the pretty pictures, which is what it's all about, quite frankly. They're just fantastic. Um, right, let's have another colour in there. So let's put this in here i'm going to transfer these over right we've had a nice email so kelly jean what a fabulous name so uh kelly jean says my enthusiasm is contagious thank you kelly um she says i've looked at them before but i wasn't really sure even though i am an avid what is she an avid list maker yay she said she's made the leap She's going for it, and it is thanks to me. Really looking forward to it. Do you know what? No word of a lie. They're absolutely fabulous. And it's it's that mix of colour and just stickers. I mean, we've all... How many of us just love stickers? And this just gives you a plan to play. You're physically... And look how easy they peel off there. You're physically playing, but you're creating something that looks beautiful. I mean, and the thing is... 
Have you kept your diaries from years ago? My mum writes everything on her calendars, and I used to actually, and keep the calendars. And then it, it's something you go back on, isn't it? And you're like, oh, yeah, I did that then, I did this. Do you know what I mean? These, you can keep these and look back on them, but when you look back on them, they're absolutely gorgeous. See, I love this. At the minute, that's what I'm really liking, blocking my stickers. I think that looks beautiful. But then, how I'd finish that, let me just find some flowers, because I want flowers. Oh, I do like the little... I like the girls, though. Oh, and I haven't used any of them on any of my pages. These are cute. So I'm going to have... <laughs> oh, these are really cute. Look, I'm going to have her sat on there. Look at that. Isn't that just so sweet? Isn't it cute? OK, I'm happy with that. <laughs> See, it just makes you happy. Um, and even if, right, so even if Saturday I do nothing, Saturday looks like it were a good day. <laughs> do you know what I mean? If literally all you've done is sat in front of the telly, boom, plans, just sit in front of the telly. It doesn't matter because it looks fabulous. And I love it because that's a vertical layout. Never think that your layout can only work with vertical stickers. You're mixing it up. You're making it whatever you want it to be. Um, right, I'm just going to play with stickers. Look at my stickers. Um, now, please check the website out. Shop by brand. The Happy Planner is fabulous. We have got storage for you. We have got so many goodies for you. Remember the covers. The covers are are fabulous and the covers do make your planners look really nice I mean they do look professional and you know what they look beautiful when they're on your table or if they're all um, lined up you know if you've got all those bright colors oh they look stunning um, okay that's enough of me for five minutes Kevin over to you Kev hey! <laughs> thanks <our> Kev. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you know what? I agreed with that lady when she wrote in and she said that um, she's so enthusiastic, Harleyoni. She absolutely is, isn't she? Because I was watching her going down the counter thinking, yep, want that, yep, want that, yep, want that. I don't want to go, oh, I just want to literally get a big bag and just go down this counter and shove it all in and run out of that door past security <laughs> before they find me. Anyway, um, this is your one. Thank you very much, Leonie, for a brilliant job. This is your one day special in front of us here. We are talking about all of these amazing amazing stickers I've been looking through them some of them are just so funny there's one that says get your hustle on come on girl you can do it girl I do love all these kind of motivational things but as Leonie was saying it's also about uh, kind of clearing the mind really you know getting everything listed down um, I, you know I've been watching a program at the moment I've totally forgotten her name what's the name of the lady that does the tidying something condo cut cut that's it Maria condo and she is amazing. And what she talks about is if you just get things organized, it really helps up here. And I think this is a very similar thing. It's about getting organized, but at the same time, it's having fun. And like Leonie just said there with that Saturday night, it looks fantastic. So when you look at your planners and your diary, it makes you look happier and feel happier when you see all of these fantastic, fun stickers. Um, so I think you can sort of create some nice memories as well with these things. So when you look there, you can see how you can incorporate your photographs and your favorite sayings and and things like that uh, but also as we say do those organizational things like pay bills oh we don't want to do that at the moment do we or oh, cleaning now um Ali only went through the top let's go through the bottom row here and have a look at what we have got here and the names are all on the front covers for you but like i say i've been looking through them and they are absolutely great fun so let's start here with this first one uh first of all if you have a look um, and that one is called seasonal so you can see here you've got all your seasons I was having a look through you've got lots of I mean obviously it's been an American company they've got lots of fun Halloween things in there but you could use them as kind of autumnal things as well so if you want to bring you know if you're looking ahead now into the autumn we are racing towards it aren't we and you could sort of do lots of planning for them but you've got your Christmas and things like that should we have a little um a little a little pick and flick. I love these little bands at the bottom as well that keep everything nice and tidy. Um, let's have a look. I'm going to put my glasses on because I'm pretending I can see and I can't see anymore. I just I can't see anymore, love. I'm pretending. Do you know what? I can't even see the dials on my car anymore at the front. That's really horrifying. That's why I drive at 130 miles an hour everywhere. I'm sorry. I just can't see the speed. It's not true. It's not true. I do obey the speed limits. I do. 
I do. Um, <laughs> right. So let's have a look here. Remember to do, so you've got to do this, you've got your love, little love hearts and things and arrows. But look, you've got fun things like your sunglasses there. Uh, today will be great. So you can look at it and go, yes, it absolutely will be. Um, have a backyard camp out. Oh, that's what my daughter wants this weekend for a birthday party. Yeah. Aww. I have no tent or camping facilities, <laughs> so I don't know how she's going to do that. Um, <laughs> yeah, just literally. She said, we'll sleep on the trampoline. It's like, you will not sleep on the trampoline. Under the trampoline. Oh, be fine. Under the trampoline. She suggested that as well. Anyway, look, so you've got your seasons in there as well. You can see how the colour themes are going with the seasons. So that is the kind of thing that you can get here. All these wonderful, wonderful stickers. Now, you've got a whole range to choose from here, but what you do is you choose any three of those, and that comes to 90... Sorry, uh, I can't... Sorry, sorry, hang on, put the elastic on the front. Pop it in there like that, that's it. Right, get nice and tidy. Um, OK, so it is 39.97 instead of nearly £60, and you've got your fantastic FlexPay as well, which is brilliant. So £19.99 and pence today, your first of two interest-free flexible payments. And what you do is you choose any three. Pick a mix, choose any three. You could, of course, have six. You could have nine. You don't have to just stick to the three. Right, let's have a look at the next one. So this one is called Hello! It's called hello, isn't it? No, it's not. It's called, where, where am I looking? On oh, the banner. Colour story. Yeah, colour story, but it's called hello. <laughs> it's not, but it's called, anyway, it's there. You got me, you got me, I saw that. Um, but hello, so you've got hugs and weekends in there. These are lovely colours. You've got lovely pastels in here. Do what makes your soul shine. And then you'll be shiny. Uh, then you've got lovely florals in there as well and your little labels to stick in. I mean, you could sit and play with these for hours, for hours. And I'm sure that you absolutely do. Uh, you can really create some fantastic pages here in your planners. And look, also talking about value for money, look at how many stickers you are getting. When they told me the pricing today for stickers, I was like, OK. OK, well, they better be good and there better be a lot of them. Well, they absolutely are, because there are a lot of stickers here and they are really, really well designed. Every single one is really well thought out in terms of colour and fonts. So there you are, look. So that's that one. Let's put a little band round so we keep it all nice and neat and tidy. And let's pop that back in. Let's go through the next one now. So this one is called Gold Star Quotes. Oh, this is going to be fun. Leonie likes this one. So you look, you've got Hey Girl, Celebi, Adult ish yes that's definitely uh, me uh, a letter to write so you could do that do better at or call a friend or send a card today so you see you really are sort of planning your life here look at those there's millions on there well a slight exaggeration uh, but try 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 again make smart goals just start out dream yourself that's a great one uh, then you've got your little round doors there as well you did it just start it's about time yay um, then you've got live life in color it's all good keeping it together expect the unexpected always stay positive uh, then you have got more hip hip hooray let's parody uh, sweater weather uh, without before you know it and look carries on as well through to there so so many in there to play with as well so many to uh, sit. I mean you could don't forget as well, we've been talking about the, using these as planners. You could use these in your card making, if that's what you're into, or your scrapbooking, or whatever it is, if you want to make gifts with them. This one's called Colourful Boxes, and it is what it says. You have got different boxes there in your foils, different sizes, um, and you can literally write in those. You could use other little um, letters and put those in there. You could put other stickers in these boxes as well. You could use them as frames. I mean, the big ones, you can even put some little pictures in there if you wanted to, couldn't you? So that is your uh, colourful boxes. OK, let's move along to our next one now. And this is your mum. And they've also called it Mamo and a Mama. So if you have a look here. Um, so you've got um, coffee, spirit animal, hello Friday, uh, date nights here. You have got ain't no shame in that minivan game. <laughs> Uh, so there you are, look, all of these fantastic things to play with here. So there you go, that is that one. And then we'll have a look at the next front covers for you instead of flicking through them. So we've got this one, which is your household. So you've got all of your household things to do. And then here you have got your uh, farmhouse. 
So you can see there on the front there the sorts of things. And you've got little animals there as well. So those are all of your fantastic sticker books. All you have to do is choose which three or six or nine or get them all. And then you will be able to uh, basically get the three for that fantastic payment today. And when you get three, you are saving. It's about £20, isn't it? Um, 622-142, your item number. And then just choose any three. Go to the website. It is, of course, so chandler.com. And you can get hold of them there. Also on the website, storage for your stickers. Because I think you're going to want so many stickers, you're going to need the storage. And you can certainly get that here. Look. So 025076 is your item number if you would like to get to your storage with four sticker value packs as well. Oh, brilliant year you are getting. Watercolour as well. Colourful boxes, which we just went through. And Gold Star Quotes, which is one of Leone's favourites there. And you've got two flexible payments on that as well. £35 today, £35 in a month's time there. So 025076 is your item number. I think, quite frankly, I've worked hard enough. I've done at least seven <laughs> minutes of live television. I need to go now and be fanned. Well you know, done, darling. On a sofa and be Someone some will grapes. peel some grapes for you. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I've done, um, this is actually the planner bib, uh, but I've used um, I've used my papers from the from Stamperia um, to actually decorate the front. So you can change it; it becomes your own. I've also put it in one of the the covers. All you need to do, you put the hard cover, so you'll have the hard cover that slips in the back pocket, and that's ready to go. So you're keeping the front front cover and then you've got all these extra little pockets now what I'm gonna do this is lovely because this becomes your own it's your bullet journal and your bullet journals it can be whatever you want it to be you know it might be your diary it might be a list for all your goals it might be your food tracker and um, that is a sleep not a sheep tracker <laughs> He doesn't like sheep tracker, does it? Sheep tracker. Um, it might be literally your hour by hour. It is, and that's the lovely thing when you've got a big open space, it's what you want. These, if you're wondering what they are, when you check your basket out, it's going to go, ooh, do you want one of these? And these are stencils. Let me just put a bit of white card behind it. So look, you can get frames in there, you can do banners in there, you can do lists. So the actual stencils are fabulous. Check them out when you're looking through. So I've already filled that one in. So that's just a literal, um, what I have to do. So a really quick one, you know, not faff, just a really quick one. This one is a meal planner for Dave the dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dave needs specific meals these days. Thanks, Dave. Um, so at the minute, and I'm going away at the weekend and my mate's looking after him. So I'm having to cook for Dave, but I'm having to cook and freeze stuff for Dave now. <laughs> the meals I am cooking. And I mean, for a, I'm having to buy chicken. Oh, but Jesus. Okay, so it is worth it, though. But I might want to put in, because it's for my Dave the dog, I might want to put a picture of beautiful Dave the dog in there because why not? So this is a lovely thing about the punch. Now, the punches are brilliant. We've got the black punch in stock. Now, it is the same size as the pink one. So if you've already got the pink one, you won't need the black one. Uh, but the lovely thing is you've got a color choice. Now, why do I adore these? Because this will go right into the big one. So the max size, your classic and then your mini. So it'll go through the whole spectrum. That's the wonderful thing about this system. The actual width is exactly the same in every system it's genius that's genius it allows you to use them all in the you know everything basically in the system now what I have discovered is if you pop it down just like this and I'll show you on a scrap piece of card let me just find really quickly a scrap piece of card so if you popped it just at the bottom there so on the bottom line and punch it look it's not quite even can you see? Now, that, that would irritate me. I need it to be even. So what I physically do is just see where it's actually punching and eyeball it. Now, that is ridiculously easy. You can see exactly where it's going and because it's um, the punches are squared up it allows you to, to visually oops a daisy it allows you to visually see um, to eyeball it hold on about there perfect perfect see dink lovely so now that now can just sit in wherever I want it to go 
isn't that cute so now i've got my meal planner for dave yep i have to plan and actually i actually do have to plan his meals because i like to mix up the vegetables so he's not getting the same vegetables every time <laughs> Oh, yeah, he does eat better than me. me do oh, I forgot to tell my dog walker that this food's in the fridge. Literally, every time I do these hours, I remember what I forgot to tell the dog walker. Oh, poor Isaac. But, yeah, I think that's wonderful because I do physically prep it. I, I prep it and I have to remember what I'm buying for Dave the dog, so I haven't got two cauliflowers in my fridge at the time. <laughs> um, you can also, of course, stamp into it. Um, the stamping, we had questions yesterday on stamping. The inks for stamping into it. So I've got this little stamp. This was... Um, on the other day in the Alley Edwards, how long have I got? One minute. Okay, the story. So, if I get my ink, so the ink I've been using is my archival. And this is lovely because you will get that perfect print. 45 seconds. So, I've got the story. Dink which I really like. I really like this one. And then I can just do whatever I want with this. You know, I can absolutely make it my own. It could be whatever story you want it to be. Okay, folks, happy planners, the ace. Um, please check your basket. I, I'll go and look for my bobby pins. I've got one on my desk. Where did the other 503 go? Um, please check your basket. So it's an amazing one day special, but everything else is fabulous as well. Um, we do want to see pictures. We're back up at 12 o'clock. So send pictures of your layouts because we love to inspire each other. And thank you ever so much. Enjoy your happy planning. See you at 12. But there is plenty more to come before then. Thank you very much, Leonie, for that fantastic hour. We've got Karen Pens coming up. After that, we've got Paper Discovery and later Fabrics with the Mill Shop Online, all to come live on Hochanda. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina. This is Josie. And this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy V shows on Hachanda. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Branche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products, we have also shrink sleeves, for your jars, glasses, we have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and Crafting with La Blanche. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, 
we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hi, I'm Tracy from Paratex UK. Paratex is um, a non-toxic, water-based fabric hardener. Whether you're making a sculpture, creating a fantastic canvas, we've got products that can help you to do that. We can all use it. You can craft with your children. It doesn't matter what age you are or what ability. When we bring the product to Hachanda, you will see the possibilities are absolutely endless. family-run business, we love being part of the Hachanda family. So watch the Paratex shows on Hachanda for some fantastic creative fun. And good morning. Now, we've got something new for you here. Uh, Karen Pens. Now, when I was on with Lou earlier, Lou Collins, she said, Karen Pens, I love these. Um, they are a fantastic brand, but don't let me tell you about them. I'm going to now run, because here's Paula. Hello. <laughs> Hello, thank you, Alex. Thank you so much. Uh, right, I'm um, Karen. Karen, Karen, Karen. Uh, there's many ways of pronouncing them, the name, but uh, what it says, um, it stands, it still stands, is the fact they are fabulous pens. Uh, Karen, I'll call them Karen uh, pens. Is a uh, kind of a company that has been doing a stationery in Poland since 1989, I believe that's the date. So they have been there for quite a while. Now, these pens are phenomenal. The ones that we are looking at now they are the markers. Uh, they are the metallic ones. Now, they are the deco brush. Let me tell you, the nib on them is phenomenal. Also, throughout everything that we are going to see be seen do it today, they are going to have that nib. Now, if I open it, you can see that is a nylon nib. It's a Japanese made nylon nib. And that means that there is a lot of different things you can do. It's very fine pointed. So detail coloring is perfect. Brush lettering, absolutely phenomenal. Our look colors has already used them and is a fan of them. The other thing that you have got is also a transparent barrel. That transparent barrel means that you can see exactly the whole ink that you have got in there. Also, it, may, it has got a liquid ink technology, which means that it's more efficient and you are using up to the last drop of ink in there. Also, the other thing is that you can drop uh, colors. So you could say, for instance, I'm not going to do it because this one's out of the pack shop, but you can drop the ink from the gold to the silver and then create a brand new color within the nib. And you can see it here, how well it's built. The ink will never travel inward, so it would not contaminate inside it. That technology is not only in the metallics, but all in the neons and the other colors that we are going to have a look. Metallics are pigment in this one, so you have got more opacity, but they also are water-based, which means that you can actually bring dilute them and create watercolor techniques for instance we have got here all the, the beautiful colors that you are getting and you can see the opacity over black and onto white they can't keep their color and the metallic luster is rich in there look at the silver the intensity and opacity of that silver is beautiful the, the pinks and the purples and the blues they make so well also another thing with karen 
is that they are set out into, um, you know, into the order, the right sort of order. I mean, there are other ways that you can mix it up. However, this is a guidance on the colors that kind of will blend together well, so you know how you can see them here. Another thing about Canon is the storage. Now I'm going to hold it, open it, because look at that beautiful tin. Now this tin is also it's a storage and it's pretty, but also it tells you how to store them. You want to store the metallic ones because they have got that pigment in it flat and like this. This is how you keep them flat. That means that the pigment will set throughout the whole barrel, not at the bottom. So when it comes to use them, you just shake them up a little bit and it will mix. And you can see it here, how the, the pigment, if I pick that one, can you see it? And it has got sedimented. So you just shake it and then you kind of shake it and you can shake it and then it kind of bit, it starts mixing it up. Okay, so this is why you want to keep them flat so that the pigment is sedimented. Now you can see it here, for instance, that sample that I made. Uh, now you can see how the intensity, I watercolor them. So this is the metallics, you have got very little shimmer because I diluted with water. But see, in here you have got the metallic nature in there, just tiny details. Look at this little tiny um, you know, legs of the, I don't know what it is, a beetle. Yeah, a beetle. Then you can dilute them. Also, the other thing you can do is splatters. Splatters of colors. So there is, oh, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know my insects. You know, but this is a butterfly, this I know. But you can see that you can create, dilute them and create those splatters and still you will have a little bit of that metallic through. If you want more intense, what you do is you bring it directly from the pen. Now, we are busy. Now, if you want the set of 10 metallic deco brush markers, a third of the stock has already got 22 pounds and 99 pence is the price. Extended delivery means that it will be dispatched from the 25th of August, 040600. Now, we are going into a smaller, uh, well, the colors. Now, we have got the, br the brush markers pro. We have got three different options. I will say neons. I'm not necessarily a fan of neons, except these pens are just phenomenal. You are getting 12 bright, cheerful, you know, full of vibrancy colors in there. Now they come, and you can see in these storage boxes as well. Can you see they are up, up uh, you know, they are upright. And the reason is because the color ones, you want to store them upright. The reason being is because they have been designed. So you open them like this, you can ask, you can take them out from here and then put them back. These boxes also will, uh, you can actually put them together if you wanted to, but uh, it's up to you. Now you have got options. You have got the neon option, you have got the skins and then the basics. Personally, I would say go for the neons in this and go for one of the bigger sets of the, of the colors if you can go for it because they are phenomenal. Now, if you want to go for a try me, do go for the basics ones. If you like to color in little animals or uh, little people or, you know, the stance images, I would go for the skins. Right. Let's go through the colors that you are getting. Now, uh, I have made some charts that I will put on my Facebook. Uh, so if you look for me on Facebook, uh, both, uh, tr I'll try to do it on the Hotanga page as well, uh, but just look for the Pasquale on Facebook because I will put the downloads for these boards so then you can color in which whatever you have bought. Uh, so you can see here, these are the 12 colors from the neon range. Can I say that in real life, they have got even more vibrancy. Now we are busy for them. 20% of the neon has already gone. Please do check out your baskets for them. It's 19 pounds and 99 pence for 12 fabulous pens. Let me show you as well how they are. Because I kind of, if I show you, let's go for, I like the green. Now, can you see, there is a little bit of difference. I want to make the uh, make point out here that you have got the black uh, border here. So that's a neon. You can still see the transparent barrel. And if I open it up, you have got that nylon Japanese nib. You have got the uh, kind of no contamination kind of area here as well. So even if you had uh, put a little bit of color on the tip, it wouldn't transfer down. The other thing, again, that liquid ink technology. These are dye-based, which means that they have got that transparent 
translucent nature, which means that the onto white heart, it will reflect that light much more. Also, I like that it come in with the label here, so you know exactly what color it is. Uh, and of course, they are non-toxic, also I should mention. Uh, let, ooh, let's put it back. Well, you can keep it out or in. I'm just gonna put it there. And you can see how vibrant the colors are. You can mix them together. You can do watercolor washes, or you can do a smooth blends if you want to do. It's up to you how you bring them in. You can mix and match, and they are fabulous. They are water-based as well. So if you know. Now, the next option is the skeins one. So you have right here the skeins and those neutral tones perfect for coloring uh, you know stamps images that are more of people but also of little animals here you have got all 12 beautiful browns and kind of cinnamons and almonds there in here then finally you have got the basics so now if you haven't uh, if you want to experiment with Karen uh, I would definitely recommend to go for the basics the basics give you a rainbow, so you have got the yellows, the oranges, the pinks, the reds, the greens, the blues, the purples, that brown that you can dilute for skin color as well as a black. Again, they start upright and it means that you have them always there for you to use. 656272 is your item number. 19 pounds and 99 pence for your choice of the brush market pros. Now, then we are going on to the boxes and I do love it. Now, there is two options that we have got for you. We have got the first option of the 26 or then we have got a bigger option so uh, bear with now here we have got a 26 options now these boxes look at the beauty of them look how nice they look they look professional they look smart also they are very handy because when you get them you store them like this you keep them upright you can find exactly the colors now how they come to you is how Karen has decided that uh, it's they work really well as blending so you know those two colors will blend very well but so these two so these two so these two so it creates a full rainbow you also are getting grays which is great to add shading to add those little details in there as well you are getting a skin color a brown so you can darken and that blush as well for the cheeks as well so you have got here a kind of a step up from the basics but still is phenomenal and look at the vibrancy of the colors that you can achieve look even when it dilutes this is amazing but look at that box it's just phenomenal keep them there so you have got them store them upright and it's a good reminder and it looks so good doesn't it I, and it has got that magnetic clasp it's quality and you can feel it 13 oh, approaching 20 percent of the stock as well and this one 39 pounds and 99 pence is the price three three one four six three oh and there is a flexi fabulous uh, two payments of 20 pounds for it uh, and then the mega now, if you can afford it at already, we have got how much? 20% of this has already gone. Now, this is, to me, something of beauty. Here you have got all the brush marker pearl colors except the neons. So if you want to have the whole collection of the brush marker pearls, uh, I would go for this box, the neon, and then I would add the metallics if you can. Because they are bird. This is just phenomenal. If you like a brush lettering, look, I need to show you what Lou Collins has made. I mean, isn't she talented? She's so talented. But you can see the brush lettering. How good those curves go. And that's courtesy of that uh, Japanese nylon nib that bends perfectly that kind of curves that gives you just you know the wider strokes and the thinner strokes as well and that ink that vibrant watercolor dye base ink that gives you the intensity of color but also the fluidity now I have got I'm going to show you the uh, swatch now again this is the one of the swatches I have uh, designed so if you I put them on my the link on my Facebook uh, you can see it here I, I recommend to print it out with whatever coloring paper you like to use I recommend to use watercolor card because obviously they are watercolor ink inside of them. So it means that the better the watercolor card, the more they're going, the ink is going to freely blend in. The card always makes a difference. You have got all beautiful 60 colors and you also have got those blenders. Now the blenders is a very cool technique that you can do in here. 
uh, because you have got that nylon nib so you can bring in a little bit of the color from the previous color and then create more of a pastel diluted but of course using that nylon nib now you have got three of them but then you have got all those beautiful grays the warm the cool ones you have got yellows you have got rich different purples in here and again you know that those two are going to work those two are going to work and so on and so forth what can you do well even i want to show you this sample because it showcases how fine you can do and i have to say i did this very quickly but you can see i used the um, box itself how it's organized to know whichever colors i needed and kind of blend them from there and you can see it's a proper mosaic of rainbow of colors but if you like to color in with soft details, you can do that. Blend those colors together. Blend and dilute them with water and create the backgrounds as well. Over a quarter of the stock of the uh, box of Sexy is already gone. Please do check out your baskets if you want it. Uh, I'm going to try to do as many techniques as possible, but I also wanted to mention that uh, on the online, there is a massive resource. If you go to a, a search engine and you put Karen Marcus videos, there is so many tutorials about it is incredible 090248 is the item number for the box 89 pounds and 99 pence is the price with a set 10 pounds saving and also a flexi buy option of two payments of 45 pounds let's jump ahead to the website to see exactly what we have seen in here and you can see all those beautiful options that you have got in there for them. And it is incredible, amazing, beautiful. If, you know, go for your favorite. Go see, think what, you know, if your budget allows for the set of 12, go for the set of 12. If you can stretch to more, then go for it. In my opinion, uh, these pants are just so much fun and so much vibrant. That you got. Uh, now, the metallics, I need to leave, have the stock has already gone. They are extraordinary pants. So you are not gonna shall I start with those ones then because I kind of thinking uh, oh we are also busy for the uh, make uh, the uh, the mega box we're very busy so please do check out your baskets straight away right right I'm gonna start on with with what I was gonna do uh, just kind of coloring an image and the most basic now I want to do a sort of rainbow and what I wanted to show look at that look at the fluidity and look at that can you see the color so what i'm going to do is going to put the colors in here so you can look at that the richness of that look how it flickers as well how nice it does so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just kind of go in and i'm going to go in like this you can see that you can go in very carefully or not so carefully but can you see the difference i have got all the control if i wanted to just say for instance here can you see there very simply there so i can go with the most delicate elements of the net and kind of color there then i'm gonna take the red and can you see how it blends in perfectly now that is because of the pens also i'm using uh, if you want to know um watercolor card i'm using pink frog now if you it really does make a difference with watercoloring if you are using a watercolor card the blendability is going to be phenomenal however i have used super smooth and it has blended beautifully but of course it will depend the better the better the car stock the more the blending um, ability that you're going to get can you see how i'm mixing now look at that how can you see how gorgeous the vibrancy that it is and I'm using the, by the way, I'm using the, the set of 60, but I believe um, you can do things like this with even the 12. See, I'm going to go in. Can you see how, look at that. You could even go for the mini box because you will have 12 colors. You will have a red, you will have a pink, you will have a green. So you could do that. Uh, then there is a Pro Mini of 26 as well, which you have got enough in there to create these effects. So just go, like literally, see, you know, look at your budget and go for it because look at this. I mean, look how juicy it is. Look how beautiful it is and how they blend. 
this and then you can go back in now they are water based watercolors so you don't want to go too much over the same area while it's wet because obviously you know what happens with water water and paper it kind of kind of you know blends in the fibers a little bit too much but you can do it enough to blend them perfectly see you can go in there now I'm just just kind of, this kind of showing the ray of the beautiful colors and that soft nerve in there. And I have to say my eyesight is not what I used to be and I have, so if I go over the lines don't you know don't hold it against me. But you can see there. Look how quickly I have achieved that gradient in there. Look at that. Just kind of blend those lines in there. Now this is like this, you can then bring water to it and kind of create a little bit of the distress effect. The other thing I wanted to do is I love the water, you know, the watercolor uh, bleed of colors. So I'm going to do it, it's going to do, look at that, look at that, isn't that amazing? The color, so I'm kind of doing two strokes with the same color and overlapping. The reason I'm not changing the color is just for the speed of the demo. You could do it more. Now here, I haven't cleaned my nib, so there is a little bit, but see? Now it's clean again. So I have packed it up and then kind of blend them in perfectly. If you want to keep the nibs perfectly clean, what you do is you have got a little uh, paper tissue in here and then you clean it up there. And look at that. Kind of bring in a little bit of the lighter green and blend those colors in then bring in the lighter blue in here we are 40 percent of the mega box the one that contains all the colors the uh, colors 60 colors in total look at that isn't that beautiful now what i'm going to do i mean obviously at home i would be a little bit more careful but you have got that now what i want you to do is with the spritz of color and i'm going to do it vertically uh, hopefully like this is going to be the perfect way i'm going to put it like that so i have got a card that i can do so I'm go i don't want to hit the water at the top part i want it more uh, alongside there look at that look at that privacy look at those colors look at come on come on you you there it is now look at that i love that now you can let it dry or you can this uh, dry it yourself also this makes a cool thing like that as well you can see the drippage here this one that i did earlier isn't that cool and this is just the drips of it now what you do of course you take that and you let it dry. I'm going to put that in here. So let's put it there. Put that because we are not throwing anything away. So I'm going to put that aside as well. I don't want to. And then now we have got bits like this as, as, that you can pick it up. It does work really well to have a glass mat because that kind of picks it up. And I use those ones all the time because then you have got the perfect background and for, you know, other stuff that you can do. What I have done then for this card here is the one that I already done, I kind of kept it like this, there it is. Then I have trimmed it along and then I have put it into the, can you see it, what I meant? So you can use this bed here, the very vibrant, as well as the drippage in there. So this is one idea. So we do another a way that you can color in. Right, so we have got in here, I'm gonna, gonna do a couple of colors, lighter colors, uh, where, where we are. Uh, let's gonna do this one, this one, and then we have got green, and we have got lilac in here. So another way that you can color it is to use your glass mask or anything that is uh, glossy, uh, non-porous. Uh, non so you can use it as a mat. So you can scribble your pens into them and then what you can bring in is your water brush so here i have got an image from a skulls and cr uh, cross buns and you can see how i'm going to do a pink um you can see how lovely those colors are how well they blend and you see the watercolor effects in here you can do perfect shading as well so you can do high intense color vibrant elements as well as completely soft you know pastel shades with perfect shading i am not 
and I would say the world's perfect coloring is. I don't spend hours and hours coloring in, although I do love it. I just kind of want very quick results as well as professional results when I want them, when I need them. And this is why Karen pen markers give me, give me, because a look at that. Now, the other thing you can do is these ones are, of course, you know, colors. They don't have, the ones that I'm using are the not, they are not the metallic ones, but they, if you want to add some sparkle to it, what you can do is use a sparkle pen and then bring in, can you see, the sparkle from the sparkle pen. So that way you also can have a sparkling details into here. So it's up to you how you do it. Remember that, oh, I need a yellow soup. And that's the thing, you have got plenty of yellows to choose from. And look at that, I love this. Look, let's have a little bit here. And then, once it dries, you can see the one in the blue. If I tilt it, you can see it, that you will have the softer. So from intense color to soft watercolor effect, it's just so easy, so beautiful. Now, of course, uh, remember that you have got uh, different options. You can have got the 60 box, you have got the 26 box, you have got the 12 as well. So it depends. Now, Alex is going to recap while I clean this area and I set for the next demonstration. Lovely. So we have got your Brush Marker Pro. This is your mega bundle. You are seeing how beautiful these pens are and actually how professional the case looks. Very, very nice. We are 60% of these absolutely beautiful, high intensity pens gone. The actual nibs are so beautiful, so fine. I mean, I love that Lou did this. The brush lettering, how cool is that? If you're into brush lettering, but even if you just want to use them for coloring, absolutely wonderful. The colors are so rich and vibrant. Uh, now, Paula has done this fabulous chart which as she was saying, she's going to pop it on uh, uh, Facebook and whatnot. There you go. Look at all of the lipstick red. I totally agree. Um, so you've got the lilacs, the plums, and they all work so beautifully. But it's the intensity, the brush nib that you get such professional results with these beautiful, beautiful pens. So uh, we, are, we are selling these fast. If you do want them, please go for them. We are now two thirds of the stock gone. They are absolutely flying out the door. You can also spread the cost, which is also marvelous. Uh, two payments of £45 if you want to go for those. 090248. Now, uh, we're calling this the mini box, but it's not really that mini. It's got 26 colors in. So if you just want to dip your toe into the world of our lovely coloring and get that high intensity, then you can. Uh, again, let me show you the chart. It's a really, really pretty set of colors. And you can see how they go in that lovely rainbow effect. And then into your greens and your blues and then your pinks. So you've got some skin tones there and then into the grays. So if you do just want to dip your toe, it's $39.99. Or if you do want to spread the cost, that's still available for you. There you go. Uh, two payments of £20. 331463 and we are approaching half of the stock gone on this collection. Um, right, then next up we've got some little mini boxes for you should you wish to go for them. Now these are sets of 12. Uh, you've got your three different options here. So we've got our lovely brights. Aren't they fabulous? Loving those. Uh, oh, by the way, I just need to mention everything's dispatched from the 25th of August. So again, have a little look at the colour swatch here. Really, really intense. Look at that vibrancy. And again, you're going to get that fabulous brush lettering nib. So those are your brights. Then, now the skin tones. Skin tone. So if you are um, wanting these, again, the details are on screen. We go right the way through all the different skin tones that uh, you can. And also you can blend as well. And obviously, uh, 19 99 for this set. Um, and then the neon. These are really busy. Oh, you're liking the bright. Lovely. Uh, neon over 70% of the stock gone. Do you know what I'm thinking? That maybe everybody's going for the mega bundle. And these, because these aren't in the mega bundle, so you're going for the neon, so you get absolutely everything. Lovely. Let me show you again that lovely colour swatch. 
I mean, they are so bright. And of course, you can water them out if you want. Uh, not a problem there. So gorgeous, gorgeous neons. 19.99 for any of these options, these three options. Item number is 656272. And then, now you know I'm going to love these. I love anything shiny, anything metallic. These are beautiful. Oh, so do our viewers. You're right, okay, how Charlotte said. 70% of the stock gone. So basically, if you can go for it, go for the Mega Bundle, go for the Neons, and go for these, and then you literally have it all, which is fabulous. But look again at this um, lovely, lovely swatch that Paola's done for us. So you can see it on the black. And you can see, it. what's up? No, no, it was Molly. I don't want to like to take credit for that swatch. Oh, it was Molly, was it? Oh, yeah. sorry, Molly. Sorry, Molly. Yeah. <laughs> Molly did the swatches. Oh. Uh, so there we go. You can see it on the black and you can see it on the white. 70% has gone. £22.99 is the price. Item number is 040600. Now, yes, <laughs> we have to say, Leonie wants a word, please. Yes, indeed, because she is going to tell you about Flexi Order in case you're new to us here at Hachanda. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for a Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Well, we are very, very busy, so I need to tell you, please do check out your baskets. The mega box of Sexy, over 80% of the stock has already gone, so please, if you want it, go ahead and check out those baskets. That is all the colors of Brush Marker Pro, except the neons. Uh, right, I'm going to show you uh, also how it works with the neons and the um, colors that are included in the Brush Marker Pro. Now, you can see the side by side, the neons have got the black lid here and the the black um, elements in here they are both transparent so you can see that the all the ink that liquid ink technology that means that it's super efficient it's both of them uh, you can see that the um, brush marker pros have got the silver barrel and the transparent also uh, kind of uh, can you kind of clip? That has got also the, the idea it's not only that you can clip it is that it doesn't roll away as well Right, I'm using Super Smooth, so the blend is not going to be as even as if it's on a watercolor card. But I wanted to just show you. Now, oh, I believe we are so busy. 80% um, of the neons are already gone. Now, this one I'm using, can you see, it's just a beautiful orangey red. Um, more orange than red, I would say. I'm not going that careful about because these images, this one, by the way, is dark room door. Uh, the previous um, images that I had were from um, Tracy Hay, uh, Alpaca Pals. Now, the neon. You can see here, look at that. Look how it blends as well with the non neon color, but you can see that it's so much vibrant in there. Now, I can tell you that in real life, the vibrancy of the neons is even bigger than you can see it on the screen. The camera, I'm sorry to say, does not do it justice. Now, you can blend it in if you wanted to, but in this case, because I'm using Super Smooth and because of the effect I wanted, I wanted more of a strokey feeling rather than actual perfect blend. And this is what a testament of the quality of the nymphs as well, that you can go in and blend those lines if you wanted to. If you wanted to do a perfect blend, then you go more even with a, uh, we're gonna go for maybe a little bit more of a watercolor card. The better card, as I was mentioning, the kind of more blending ability you have got but you can see in here that I'm layering a little bit more in here and I'm adding the yellow centers as well now when it dries you can see it here it's a little bit more vibrant even more 
can just uh, just the camera does not do it to it just says i mean it's so neon in real life and then uh, but let me tell you they are so amazing these pens right that was just i wanted to show you that art on super smooth and neon now the neon are now limited if you want them please do check out your baskets for that now shall we do the metallics metallics they are they are also limited right i want to show you a couple of demos uh we are trying to get uh, if we can get more stock gonna quickly show you so look at that look at the richness again that japanese nylon tip look at that and being water-based means that it has got no other it you know some people have got issues with mm, you know markers that are solvent based these ones are water water based so they have got no odor whatsoever but look at that how rich is that silver look at the luster look at the metallic look how you can layer them together look at that look at that isn't that gorgeous isn't that absolutely gorgeous now that's a little uh, just swatch but i want to show you as well the richness of this color i'm gonna go in shall i go for pink i'm gonna go for pink it's a more purpley pink than now i'm gonna wet this watercolor card really you can see it is i spritz a lot of water and then look at that look at that isn't that amazing look at that look at that can you see how rich is that i just love that but look at that isn't that rich i'm just kind of go this is the rich the richness of that now with this you can create little borders in here so for instance in this card that i made you can see it here that i just used it there can you see how gorgeous that look? Just that border there, just something a little bit different. Think about your art journals. Think about your, um, you know, things that uh, your cars, quick and easy color impact. Now, the other thing I'm gonna do is gonna do a little bit of lit, uh, lit tenue. Yeah, oh, the, the metallic half technical sleeves are allowed, but I wanted to do a demo with them. Okay. Uh, the Pro Mega Box also is limited stock. We are trying if we can get some more. Can I just quickly do a demo with the metallic? Just one tiny one. Oh, quickly. Oh, uh, okay. Well, just, just, yeah, just kind of put a little bit of color. Just, this is as quickly goes. Look at that. Look at that. How intense that color is. All right, so this is what you can do quickly and easily with the intense metallics. All right, so I'm gonna set up for the next demonstration, but I believe, uh, just please check out your baskets. We are incredibly busy. Uh, now Janice is telling you about Freedom next. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom, you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members, and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member, which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts. They tell me when everything's happening. So if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888. So, 
Don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge, and members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hochanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hochanda family. It has gone nuts, seriously. Right, the metallics at the moment, technically they have sold out. Like we've been saying, uh, people are running around scrambling to see if we can find some more for you because you clearly are liking these. So they have technically gone. The neons, these have also technically sold out. Again, we're running around like mad. Well, the buyers are. Um, now we still have the skin colours. Here we are. Let me just grab the swatch. Uh, so we still got some of these, like so. Uh, and we still have some of the basics, which they get. So it's all about this intensity of colour. The brush nib is fantastic if you just want to use them for colouring or for your brush lettering. These are just awesome, awesome pens. Lou Collins was raving about them as well. She loves them. Uh, the two options we've got left for now are both 19.99. Item number is 656272. Oh yeah, I must remember to tell you that it's um, the 25th of August that it'll be uh, everything here will be dispatched from. Then we've got the Pro Mini Box. 70% of the stock has gone. You've got 26 beautiful, beautiful colours. Um, have a little look at the swatch. There you go. And they look so professional in the box, don't they? Uh, so you have got this wonderful swatch. I think that is absolutely fabulous. Look at that. Um, it is two payments of £20 if you do want to spread the cost. 331463. Okay. So a couple, a couple have bounced back. Why didn't you check out your baskets? Check out your baskets. So it's still limited stock, but you're getting then all 60 of these fabulous, fabulous pens. And then take a look at the swatch. Have a little look. Look at all those beautiful, intense, wonderful, vibrant colours. You go through the greys, you go through the yellow. Basically, you go through the um, lovely, lovely rainbow of colours. I've got some... Here are some of the samples that... Um, Paul has been working on so you can see that look at the blend as well with them how cool they are so intense so beautiful but of course you could add water to them you can see you can you can um, make them a, a bit paler should you wish so we've got this here and then look at our little friends aren't they so so sweet so you can see you can make them lighter oh and this this brush lettering I'm pretty sure Lou did this actually for Paula yes yeah, yeah. So she's brilliant at a brush lettering, oh, she, isn't she? she? She's an amazing uh, brush lettering artist. Yeah. Well. yeah. Look at that. But look it's at talented. the colours. Absolutely stunning. Um, and again, let's have a look here. See, you can get the finest detail, the finest detail, because those nibs are just superb, aren't they? They really go into the finest point. Okay, we have now technically sold out of these. If they're in your basket, I think you have about seven-ish minutes to check out to make sure it's yours. Two payments are £45 if you do want to spread the cost. 090248 is the item number. Um, to place your order, 01733602000 or check out hachanda.com uh, where you can see everything, well, that we've sort of got left on the show. Uh, we've still got the Pro Mini Box in the, yes, 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 with the 20, 26, not 24, 26 colours. They're there for you. Um, and the blender brush. I forgot to mention that. You do get that brush as well. All right, then. Uh, so I'm going to uh, hand back to Paula. Hello. Sorry, here something had fallen off, so I kind of was rummaging. Uh, right, I'm going to show you a couple of techniques that I like to do. So, uh, just going to, this is kind of pick up, uh, Leone does it, Julie Hickey does it, and I think Tracy Hay has done it as well. But my take on it is the acetate bringing color to an area to make it that kind of blended watercolor, very soft effect. So, I have gone ahead and I use uh, one of Tracy Hay's Life is a Canvas stamps, and I have a stamp 
stamped it as well on acetate. I recommend printable acetate because it kind of stands better and using a stamp platform also helps. So what I have put is color this side. So I have cut it stamped onto watercolor cards and onto acetate. And I'm going to go in for, so shall I go vibrant greens and teals? So kind of go in for these colors. Now I can uh, in the box of the 26. I think they are they are. But if not, you can always use two different colors. So for instance, if I wanted to have that lime green uh, and I didn't have it, don't worry. Use a lighter, uh, darker green and a yellow. So for instance. Now, uh, the bars of 26, 80% of the stock has already gone. So what you do is, for instance, I'm going to go in and add a little bit of color in here. So I'm coloring in with, I know exactly where I'm putting the ink. So I'm you want a mist rather than a spray that has got a lot of big blobs. And then you turn it over and you can position it exactly where you want it. So that will be, can you see, that soft effect, but in the right area. So again, you can wipe it clean because it's acetate. So now I'm going to bring in, I think I'm going to go in for yellow. Oh, maybe, yeah, uh, just bright yellow, actually. Now I'm kind of going to go in, in here. And then there. And then spritz water here. And then... Yeah. Oh, uh, well, the box of 26 is now over 80% of the stock is already gone. And we had a confirm we cannot get any more stock of anything, I believe. Uh, not for today, anyway. So please do check out your baskets if you want it. Uh, they are trying. I can hear the buyer, our lovely Caroline, who is an amazing woman as well. Uh, she's like, I'm trying. I'm trying uh, but you can see in here look at the vibrancy in here look at the gorgeous so again so for instance if I want it uh, maybe uh, shall we go in for a little bit of blue I'm kind of just gonna mix the colors in here um, kind of gonna bring in in there and again that gives me quite a lot of control by having the acetate printed because then I can put it there and you can see in there now one of the re the great things about these inks is that because it's wet it's water-based I can go in and while it's clean I can lift off with a clean look at that I love that I love this now I want a pink body um, so I'm gonna go with Cerise um, and again, any color that you go for, uh, any selection, you are going to enjoy working with these ones because they have got that glorious color, the Japanese uh, nylon nib. Uh, also, the, the inks are made in, in Europe as well. The Pro Minis is now limited stock. So please do check out. That's the set of uh, 26. But look at that. Can you see even diluted the color? of that is just absolutely amazing i absolutely love it all right and then another technique so this you could go and then you have got another technique there other things that you can do with with um these markers of course is to a die cut i have used one of my bright rosa um, backgrounds and then kind of go in so i have die cut it into black and then the outer out of white uh, um, White, what is it? Uh, watercolor card. I'm just using water in here, so I'm going to put a little bit so it creates like a pool. Think about stamping and embossing into white and then bringing your beautiful kind of look at that. Look how it kind of just kind of go in your beautiful colors and mix them out like that. And then you can blend them if you wanted to. And look at that. I love that. And we have had a question. So about the skin colors, so what colors uh, they are? So I, uh, yeah, um, Charlotte, can you give them so? Uh, the skin color, yeah, so. I, I kind of do a demo with those ones next, actually. I have got, yeah. Right, so you can see how you can create that sort of watercolor effect in there. And you can go back again if you wanted to with a darker color and then blend it in. Now, can you see how well they blend? 
how you know they disappear because I had quite a white watercolor base in there so that's what you can do in there as well so you can revisit the areas as well don't overdo it obviously but you can do at least twice and let it dry when you want before you want to go again also the other thing that you can do is you can do the, the full bleaching technique as well right we have wanted to a uh, question about the skin colors right so uh, right so what we have got in here is the skin color so let me grab the open see I, I don't have these boxes I have got all the colors so I'm kind of still a little bit um, yeah you, you, you can put it back this is kind of fun. anyway you can see there it's kind of just put it back in here it kind of works like that as well i don't know i'm a little bit heavy-handed i blame my my uh, origin um, my country of origin uh what colors you have got in here well you have got soft peach one you have got here the pale pink you have got the soft peach number two do you want to do it and then let's do a swatch that kind of thing so you can see this now for instance for him i wanted to go more of a um, more brownie color so pale pink soft peach soft peach too then we have got also almond so that one will create a lovely skin color in here you can see there then we have got blush we have got rosewood which is oh, I love that that's a beautiful color and then we have got ochre so that's kind of now you can see how it will blend really well with those colors they when it dries also it will dry slightly different so this is why making a, uh, um, a swatch is so important now you can start seeing the difference be between it pale orange then you have got proline so i like proline oh that did. then we have got here sandstone which is i uh, love that gorgeous and then we have got uh, sepia so it's a darker tone that more of a cool brown and then we have got henna as well so you have got different colors i'm going to go in for praline in here so what i'm going to do is going to go in and color it in like that just adding a little bit of coloring around the edges now this one is again by uh, this image is by tracy hay and I think it's blooming blooming gorgeous or something like that see you can see how I'm blending in and you need to make sure that you kind of activate the whole area of the ink now if you want it if you can see there is a little bit of you know the more that you work it up the more that those lines are going to disappear but you can go again if you wanted to and then kind of add and then it will feather a little bit in there and then kind of go in and then look at it and then i'm gonna go in with soft page in here so kind of gonna bring in and then kind of go in there and maybe a little bit of the darker one. Oh, look at that isn't that cool so you can see how you can blend those colors as well and you can create a perfect skin tone if you wanted to i mean yeah that's pretty you know <laughs> a little bit lighter than my own skin tone but you can see right i believe uh, I believe we are incredibly busy, so please do check out your baskets if you have got anything in the stock. Uh, thank you so much. I think Alex is going to uh, give you an update. Yeah. Then. Right then, so we have got our set of 26. Do we still actually? All oh, right, we've still got a few. We are limited stock. I can't believe how many sellouts we've had. That is crazy. So limited now. Let's open this very professional box let's show you these aren't they beautiful colors well I'll, they are beautiful colors because I'll show you the swatch again have a little look but obviously you know that Karen is um, a really fabulous fabulous brand uh, so you've got your brush marker pro it's your well they're calling it mini like I said but you've still got 26 and you've got the blender I'm not sure where the blender is is it in there that's the one that's the blender there it is thought it was separate so you have got the blender right okay the pro mega box what what's going on here some of them have jumped out no you need to check out your baskets as I was saying earlier um, you basically you have about seven ish minutes I think 
to check out otherwise it kicks it out of your basket so please do go for your mega bundle it's fastest fingers first as Yanis likes to say it is limited stock you've got that £10 saving 89.99 or you can spread the cost on flexi buy check out your basket Two payments of £45, 090248. Uh, okay, incredibly limited for back to the 26. Single figures we are talking now. Single figures. Again, I'm just going to show you the uh, colour swatch. So you can see that beautiful intensity of colour. And of course, you have got the... Um, the, the brush nib that is so, so fine. Two payments of £20, limited, limited, limited. <laughs> and it's 331463. Then we've got our sets of 12. Oh, of this one. All right, right. So we've got two options left. Uh, we have got our basics. Here is the swatch for this. Hang on a second. Lovely. And look at all of those wonderful, wonderful colours. I love it even on the packaging, it's fab. Um, so these are 1999, 656272. And then under the same item number, you have got the skin colours. And once more, let me show you the swatch. So there we go. And that was really nice to see um, Paula demo those. Fabulous. I'm just going to go grab this. Because Lou did this and she's coming up next as well. And we were, so, we were so impressed with it because it's just superb. Superb. Just look at what you can be doing with these. <laughs> Charlotte wants to have a little go. Um, so absolutely stunning. Okay, back to the Pro Mini box. I feel like a yo-yo. Um, this is technically gone. Uh, so all the stock is in baskets. You just need to check out to make sure you get it. There you go, all of those fabulous colours. $39.99, or you can spread the cost. Two payments of, I think, 19, oh, two payments of £20 then. Item number is 331463. You can give us a call, of course, 01733602000, or go to our website at techanda.com. Well, Paula, I bet you're exhausted now. I am, but I am so uh, pleased that uh, you have at home. I have loved them as much as I've done because they are beautiful. They are, aren't they? Absolutely stunning. It's that intensity, isn't it? Is. it? Yeah. It is. It's just the vibrancy and that nip, yes. that Japanese nip. Uh, wonderful. Now, as ever, we've got a jam-packed day ahead. Lou is coming up next. Uh, we've got Joe after that, of course. Um, Joe from Mill Shop Online. Yay, I get to work with him, albeit a social distance, but I get to work with Joe as well. Uh, but please don't go anywhere. It's a lovely, crafty day ahead. Now, Lou is bringing for us Paper Discovery. They are a fantastic set of dies, stamps, stencils and embossing folders, all to do with music. It's a really, really fabulous show. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftoscope.
Flexi order has arrived at her chanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexi buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexi buy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family-run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda. Hello, I'm Barbara and I'm Julie and together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business, been in business for two years and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on Achanda. Well, hello, a very good morning to you. How are you? This is Hachanda. My name is Rachel. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Lovely, as always, to have your company. It's lovely to be back, doing a little bit of telework, as you do on a Tuesday morning. Uh, anyway, we've got a lovely show for you now. We launched this show, actually, uh, an hour or so ago. It was with our Alex at 7 o'clock. Uh, and our lovely, should we say hello, our lovely Lou. Ms. <laughs> Ms. Lou is in the house. Good morning. No. <laughs> so, I've not been back for ages. I and I come back in to see you. It's like Yay. old times. It's like old times. It is very nice. Last time I saw you, you were on a Skype call, weren't you? Yes. Yes. Yes, we were. We were talking by it's not Skype. The same, is it's it? not the no. same. We like having our lovely ladies back into the studio. Anyway, so Lou and our Alex this morning were talking about this lovely collection here, brand new from Paper Discovery. And it's all about music. It's all about musical instruments um, and really lovely things for you to make and I think bring joy to a lot of people because I think a lot of people love music and they all like a range of instruments and that is what you've got here. Uh, I'm not going to name all of these uh, instruments because I will mistake them but it, trumpets, <laughs> trombone type things, wind things, uh, we've got cellos and violins there, a, a little guitar, I know that's a harp. I definitely know that's a harp. And I know there's a clarinet in there as well. Is there a recorder? I remember playing the recorder at primary school. Drove my mother absolutely nuts with it. I did. Uh, I think we all do, don't we, as kids with the recorder? But anyway, these are nice, peaceful, silent instruments. Now, if you want to get that uh, collection there of 20 dice, shall I show you them? Because they're actually 
a very nice size as well. Here we are. Now, if you think about what you could be using these for in terms of your card making, I reckon you could be doing invites. So if you've got a bit of a party or a celebration, great. Um, you know, even if you're sort of doing a, a wedding thing and you're talking about the evening do or something, you could be like, come on, let's go and party. If it's someone's birthday or if someone is into their musical, uh, you know, uh, items like this, I think that will be a fantastic collection of things to use for them. Uh, but, yeah, really, really nice. And uh, also, as we say, very well made and a nice size of die as well. And lots of dies for that price, £28.97 instead of nearly £40. Now, uh, they should be £12.99 each. It's almost like you're getting one of those packets for free, which is a nice little deal indeed. So 039116 is your item number if you would like to get hold of all those three, as we say, nearly one for free. Let's move along now. This has been the bestseller of the previous hour and this is the Grand Piano. My friend has got a Grand Piano in her house. She has and she's uh, learned to tinkle on it. Um, that sounds bad. Uh, <laughs> Tinkle the ivories is what I mean. <laughs> but her husband was in a band, so that's why they've got the piano. It's not just for her to tinkle the ivories, he just sit down and play properly. Anyway, it's beautiful, and these are lovely. Now, what I like about the grand piano, I think, is, yes, obviously it's a musical instrument, so as we were just saying there, for people who like music or were saying there for celebrations, but there's something of the romance, I think, about the grand piano, isn't there? And there's also something of that kind of classic sort of 1940s film era as well, or, you know, in the 20s, you would have the people standing around the piano having a fantastic, you know, celebration. So I do think that these uh, grand pianos actually go across a whole variety of ages and celebrations and for people. So if I just show you an example of, of how um, big they are in my hands, you can see nice size and great fun because you can write your messages in there. And of course, you've got that facility there if you want to make something like that to stand it up. So it is like the grand piano, you know, with the, uh, the top that opens up there. So that is one way of using it. Show you another way as well here, because you've got the panels, of course, you've got the keyboard if you want to use it like that. So you don't have to go for the whole piano if you don't want to. And I'm just going to show you as well these. This is right, isn't it, for these? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So have a look. Yeah, because of course the, the, um, that is the, the piano bit there. And then you've got all the bits inside there. So you've got your keyboards. Musical notes. Love musical notes on cards. I don't know what it is, but uh, if you add a musical note to something, it's kind of like you're bringing someone joy. It's like you're you know, bringing music to their lives. So that's a very nice set indeed as well. Great value again, 23 98 instead of nearly £30 there. And that is 639562 as an item number if you would like to get hold of those. Let's move along now to the band members because if you're going to have music, you're going to need some musicians. And we have now got our jazz band members here. Now, I think this is great if you've got weddings and celebrations because, let's face it, a lot of people have live bands, don't they? But if you want to just have a nice kind of classic card as well, you've got some nice kind of figures there, I think, to play with. Um, and they're all, as you can see, playing their music. That reminds me a bit of the sound of music there, doesn't it? Yeah, the hills are alive with the sound of music. <laughs> I don't know who inhabited me then. I don't know who it was from the spirit world, but someone clearly did. <laughs> it wasn't, that's not my normal singing voice. Um, but you have got all of those lovely people there to play with. Now, 17 dies in total. I shall show you them again because once again, I think sometimes the packaging just sort of deceives because you don't realize how big the dies are. But you can see there, look, they are a, that's a good size die there and very detailed. I love this drum kit. That's absolutely fabulous. Um, just thinking as well, you know, about um, teenage cards and things, that drum kit would be great with that person, wouldn't it? Yeah, so if you were doing something like that, really good. Uh, 172825, your item number there, £26.98. And, and let's have a look at some lovely samples in front of us here. Um, should you look at this one? Yeah, because you can't see all of it because it's sitting there. So you see, nice in silhouette. So if you are looking at those characters as well, thinking, oh, I've got to then dress them and, you know, put clothes on them, colour them, you absolutely don't have to. You can see here how you can just use them as a silhouette like that. He's really cool, isn't he, with his bowler hat on. That's very sort of 
you, you can you can actually see the smoky air and you can hear the jazz band playing can't you, you really can when you look at that but as i say that's quite funky so if you have got you know a kind of teenager or someone who's into drumming absolutely brilliant there for them uh, let's have a look at this one as well if I pick this up so if you want to once again take it down a notch just use an element of it then you absolutely can make your own kind of music yeah that's what we should all be doing in life and uh, that is one of the sentiments on the stamps that are coming up in a second it's all mixing and matching so if you want to get hold of that collection the band members to play their instruments it is 172825 26 pounds and 98 pence is what you will pay those stamps and other things are on the website so you can have a look there it is hochanda.com and you can find lots of lovely things on there as i say it was a very very popular show this morning a lot of people went into that website had a good old route around and left with very very full baskets indeed so have a look do have a look at that Freedom Member as well um, there that's on the screen. If you are a Freedom Member Club, you get free packaging and posting on your items. You pay six nine to seven for the month. Whatever you order is free PP. You also get great discounts on lots of products as well. So do think about becoming a Freedom Member. Okay, well, here is my, um, my co-band co member. That's not the right. What is it? What is it when you just say? Band member. Band member. Band member. The, 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 the. It's a yeah, band mate. member. You're just yeah, my mate. Me and you. We just need a couple more and we could, re we could reform the Spice Girls. But you you don't want to hear me sing. No way. They can't sing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I did not say that. Um, I didn't hear that. No, my opinion only. You might think they're fabulous. Uh, who would you be? Sporty? Would you be scary? Baby? Posh? I think I'd probably be sporty, wouldn't I? You, yes, yeah. you would. I've seen your activities outside. I'm always in tracksuit bottoms. Place, yes. <laughs> I would, yeah, you're sporty. That's I think one. I'll be posh. Yes, you would be, with the hair especially. Yes, you'd be very posh. <laughs> anyway, back to anyway, crafting, Lou. Absolutely. So, I have um, I did a card very similar with this die earlier in the earlier show this morning. But I want to show you as well. We've got three nesting dies within the grand piano set. And you don't have to use them all, of course. But one of the essentials is to use one of the larger two. Because the smaller one is the lid. So you can't really fit the keys on there. With these ones, once you cut the keys, you can fit them on either or. But I like to use both of them together so I get lots of matting and layering built up. So I can build up lots of colours on my card. So I've used the larger one to cut a panel of white. And that's going to be my piano base. I'm then going to cut the second largest one just from blue cardstock here and just run that through. Now usually I'd take that down, I'd use like the tiniest corner of the, of the paper and then I'd have lots of um, excess to use later on, so saving on paper, but I'm just going to whack it through today while I'm here. Um, I'll still use the excess. Love that cracking noise on my die cutting machine, I never ever worry about that. It's actually um, one of those noises that I look for, I try and get, because I just it's, it, there's something really comforting about it. Like it's definitely cutting through. So what you'll see is the nesting dies. Well, they're not actually nesting dies, but I, if you look at them as nesting dies, you'll see what I mean by them getting smaller and smaller. The shapes are slightly different in them. So that's going to fit really nicely on there. I'm just going to glue that straight down. Now, you can put these down with foam tape and things, but it depends whether you want to be then popping them into an envelope and sending them, because, of course, then you've got to have the worry about the extra thickness. So with the flat glue, we're going to be putting a few layers on this, and I'm going to be putting lots of dimensional flowers and things on in the end. So I'm just keeping it quite flat to start with, so there's not too much thickness there. So the next panel for me is then cut from this smaller die here and I've cut a patterned paper. Now just a random patterned paper, I couldn't tell you the brand or anything at the moment because I can't remember. It's just one that was in my stash but I've cut it from a contrasting colour to the cardstock I've used but it still has this teal in there. So blue and yellow are going to be my two colours that I'm using. So I've inked around the edge with a yellow there. And then I've also taken this die. So this die is, that it's, it looks quite funny actually, um, but it's actually piano keys. You can see where I used it the last show and didn't clean it out. But if you cut this from a black cardstock, what you'll end up with is the piano keys cut out. But they will be see-through, so you can actually cut those into your cardstock and have that as a nice little border that's actually an aperture if you want to, so you can see behind it. Or as I have, I've just then glued it onto a piece of white cardstock and cut it out to create those keys. It's entirely up to you which route you take with that. I've just popped some foam tape on these 
So I'm going to pop them down and make sure your black keys, of course, are at the top. And that sits absolutely perfectly on the base there, as if it was made to go together, of course. So then I've taken this same die, the smaller nesting die as such, and I cut the same colour cardstock as I did that middle base there. And before I um, stick this on, I'm going to do some embossing, but my embossing folder here, I've chosen to use the 6x6 six six one. The 6x6 six six one doesn't quite fit, okay, so it's just a little bit too short. So I'm going to show you, you can easily get away with that just by running it through twice. So I'm just going to open the folder. I'm going to pop the base in there first of all and I'm just going to just emboss as much as I can with the first go so run that through my machine and in my machine I need to take one of my plates out for that to fit through so pop that to the side actually I better not put that over there because it will fall off and then I'll be hunting around for it later on so run this one through here. While I'm running this through, actually, I need to give a little bit of a shout out, if that's okay, Rachel, to um, Olga Derektorenko. So she's the designer of uh, Paper Discovery. Um, Olga lives over in the Ukraine, and she has been on her channel before, but she has travelled over, obviously, at the minute. That's a little more difficult. Um, but she's just done such an amazing job with this new collection. I absolutely love it. And it does tie in so well with her previous collection. So if you uh, search for Paper Discovery, you'll see she's had lots of other collections and themes before but look at that you can really see that detail in there it's absolutely beautiful all of those musical notes there and you've got that wave through the center now the wave through the center I know we didn't look at them but there are some stamp sets on the show that I'm sure Rachel will go through later with you that have that wave that fits absolutely perfectly with this embossing folder and just to finish off the embossing I'm just going to trap the very end I say trap I'm going to encase the end with the embossing folder there just to catch that little bit run that through again um, just so that that little bit embosses as well and then I haven't got a plain bit at the top and that's you can obviously do that for a larger piece panel if you've missed a larger piece this is only a tiny little bit but if you've got a really long say a, a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock or something you can still emboss it in the same way so run that through there we go so now I've got a completely embossed panel using the 6 by 6 embossing folder there it's really gorgeous I just think that's such a deep emboss and of course you've always got the option of using the deboss as well so you can ink you can ink the folders you can ink the paper then so that's going to be the lid for my piano so that will sit perfectly over the top there now we've got two options we have another die in the set that cuts out a rectangle with a score line down the center and that's going to be the hinge for our lid so this has been made so it will either fit perfectly across the bottom here or it will also fit perfectly across here so whichever way you'd like the lid to lift up and of course you don't have to put it so it moves and lifts you can just have it stuck flat down if you want to or just not have the lid at all but I like to have something peeking from underneath so I'm going to put the lid this way along here now I'm going to use uh, a hot glue but I would recommend a wet glue actually um, you've got a little bit of wiggle room there so you've got time if you need to just to move it around but um, or otherwise a tape something like a red line tape that's nice and strong I'm just using this because during the demonstrations you don't want to see me holding for five minutes a piece of paper to glue it in place so just attaching the bottom of this hinge or one one side of it to my patterned paper there I'm folding it over and then I'm going to apply the glue along this edge and pop my lid on top okay so hot glue you still have a few seconds to move things around but not nowhere near as long as you would with a cold wet glue so what I'm going to do is butt this up against it this way and fold it over just so it hits and very quickly make sure when it lays flat that it's in place with the pattern paper there we go so now I've got that there and that will hinge open you can you can like I say you can secure it closed if you want to or just a centimeter open or you can have it so it really opens up so that's the front there and I'll do some more decoration in a moment but before I do that I want to build up my easel card so I've taken a panel of cardstock here. Now I've got these scored lines. This is just a scrap of cardstock that I had. I've made sure that the base is just ever so slightly smaller than the piano width there. So it's just under six inches. 
These are three inches, sorry, I lied, two inches deep each. So it's two inches, two inches. And I believe this was three inches from when I um, measured it. And then I've just inked around this larger three inch panel here. And I've folded them so with the score lines you get that sort of that tenth fold, that A fold there. You can see. So that creates the base for our easel. So now I need to glue this panel here onto the base of my card. Um, I'm going to do that with a wet glue just so I've got that wiggle room or wiggle time rather just to make sure it's nice and straight and flat. So popping the card onto the glue and then I'm just going to stand that up oops, before it's dry and make sure it's all sitting straight. There, yeah, and then I can press that down when I'm happy that it's in the right place. So at the moment, so far, we already have this piano that's standing up, and I just love that that lid just hangs open a little bit. You can, of course, like I say, you can score that even stronger so it holds closed more, or you can support it so it's more open. It's entirely up to you. You've got so many options with this. What I'd love to do one day, actually, is create the top of the piano with the lid open and then create instead some little feet or legs so it actually stands as a card like this maybe some wooden spools or something like yeah. that like cotton spools that'd be really cool as little legs there to make a three-dimensional piano but that's me get, getting carried away because I think the set is so versatile to bring in the base I've got some matting and layering that matches the pattern paper inside so I'm just going to attach that to the base as well so it all just works together so well and there's so much you can do with this set and our lovely producer just suggested yes our mug she just suggested that um if you had some um, vintage uh, mu uh musical sheets you could you know use oh, these with that that would look nice they would look mm. beautiful absolutely i'm sure there's uh download and things you can get at the moment to print off musical yeah. sheets yeah um, absolutely, and there's pattern papers you can buy with them on as well, but yeah. certainly proper old vintage ones would or be amazing. Or if you made a box to keep those musical sheets in, and then you did the piano on top, put the little feet on top, and kind of mod podged it, mod -podged yeah. it and made it, you know, a real kind of thing, a real box, a musical box thing. That might be a nice that idea. That would be gorgeous, that mm. really would. So just clearing up, I've got some flowers, some paper flowers under here. I love my paper flowers, and as I said earlier, I do love to make flowers as well. Um, but what I'm going to do is just have some flowers under here. So it's a little bit of a, a peak, so we'll just see them under there. So again, I'm going to start with my bigger ones. And I'm not going to go right into the corner. It seems a waste to me. If you come right into the corner, you're not going to see them. What I'm going to do instead is just pop them along the edge here and then I'll glue the lid so that they sit just on top of those flowers so you can see them um, and you can appreciate them but it looks as if the piano is full of flowers whereas in fact you've actually only filled a little bit of it if that makes sense there so you'll you'll be able to see them just peeking out but not not needing to waste lots of paper flowers by filling it that's like when you put cream into a cake just around and the you edge. put it around <laughs> the edges mostly, don't you? Yes, yeah. you do. And then it well, looks like you've... To really... me, it just doesn't seem ne necessary to fill it with all these beautiful flowers that you're not going to see. You're only going to see the ones on the edge, aren't you? Unlike cake, that you really do need to fill it with cream. I, I mean, think you do. So. I mean, that's just cheating. Yeah, you need to I think really so. shove it in there. Definitely. <laughs> I haven't been baking cakes, no. The sourdough was a thing, wasn't it, in lockdown? Everybody was making sourdough. I did not. So just tell me the day about you have to keep it alive, the sourdough, by starting, yeah. taking away. I'm like, and, and the thing is, he lives in London. I was like, why don't you just go to a really nice deli and just buy it? Or patisserie. Because <laughs> he was like, keep this thing alive. <laughs> so I've just run a drizzle of hot glue along the edge of those flowers then just press that lid into them ever so gently so oops you can see that's still wet so we'll just get that those flowers peeking out inside there inside the lid that will hold there we go that's holding now so that will stay upright like so just to finish this off to give this a stopper I'm going to do a couple of things so I'm going to place my just a note sentiment here down here or actually I might change my mind I can change my mind can't I, Rachel? always Lou I can always. change my mind so I can put my sentiment with foam tape on the panel here and then I'm going to put some music notes down the bottom um, again I've <laughs> I've not got my scissors with me today Oliver's been playing I think uh. and 
borrowed them. Yes. Like everything else he borrows from me. So just popping the stamp sentiments. That comes from one of the stamp sets there. I'm going to have these music notes. I absolutely love the movement that we have with these. Um, and you can place them almost anywhere on a card. I'm going to have these ones just coming out from under there. Now, bear in mind, if you're putting this into an envelope, your envelope is likely to be, if I just fold this, it's likely to be a rectangle-shaped envelope. So you've got all of this space here to play with having elements overlapping without worrying about them fitting in the envelope there. So, um, so don't worry about having things overhanging. You can absolutely get away with that. Doing this upside down, I have to keep checking that the notes are in the right place. So a couple of different notes here. My, um, my cousin plays the piano, mm -hmm. or certainly used to. When I was little, I used to go around there, and we weren't allowed to play until she'd done her hour's practice for the day or whatever. Um, but she, she actually commented when I first, she's not a crafter, but when I first put photos of the, this collection online, her first thing was, I love this. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I think for any musician mm. or budding musician or someone who even loves the theatre and things, yeah. they are going to really thoroughly enjoy this. So just taking the treble clef here, um, I've just folded it slightly and I'm putting some hot glue for dimension onto the base here. And I'm not going to press that down, I'm going to allow that to sit. But that, with the top of it lifted up, would act as a stopper. I'll just hold that while it's still drying. But that would act as a stopper for your card. So you've got the flowers peeking inside there. And you could put some more flowers down the bottom as a stopper if you wanted to. There's lots of different options. But you've also got lots of blank space on the back to write a message in. Or you could leave the lid so it opens up. And you could put a message in there as well. So there's, there's just so much versatility with this set. Yeah, that is lovely, actually, isn't it? Mm. Think about it as well. We've probably been to so many occasions or places where there has been a piano. You know, if you've had a really nice evening in a restaurant, mm. there's been a nice piano yeah. in the corner. Or you've been to a wedding and there's been a piano. Um, yeah. Or a church ceremony with a piano. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it would be yeah. relevant to a lot of people, I think. It really would. Not just people who played the piano. Oh, no, no absolutely not. No. Yeah. So, and it's a really nice vintage look as well. Yes, Things very like much uh, so. pianos, cameras, typewriters. We use yeah. them just for a vintage look, don't we? Yeah. Nice, and that's lovely with the little flowers peeking out. Top tip there, don't shove them all into the corner, just put them on the edge, nobody will know. Well, if you would like to be able to get hold of the dies to make that wonderful piano uh, like our Lou has, it is 639562, your item number, 2398 instead of nearly £30 there. Nice little saving. Um, and you are, of course, getting both of those sets there, so you're getting the piano itself, but you're also getting the, the keyboard as well. Uh, let's have a look at some samples for you. So, following the kind of theme, uh, that we just had there with that open piano there. I think that's so clever look that you, you can actually stand it up like that, like a proper grand piano. But of course, if you didn't want to and you wanted to just have it as a normal card, you absolutely could. If you want to just use the keyboard, not a problem. You could just use that and put the lady, one of our jazz singers, what a fabulous dress that is. Um, so you could be um, using that. That just reminds me of the film, which I've never seen, but I've seen the clip from um, Michelle Pfeiffer when she lays on the piano and sings. Or was that Fabulous Baker Boys? Do you remember that one? You're probably all too young. You're all too young. Yeah, I remember in a dress laying on the piano. Uh, that Look at that. Now that is gorgeous with all those lovely flowers. I love it in those chocolate browns. That's really great. And that is using a double layer there as well and then making that into a card. So that is very pretty. And then we've got this one here. It was the Baker Boys, yeah, my memory serves me well. Um, and there you have, your, you have your flowers flowers inside that you can see through that strip that has been cut out. So once again, really, I love this keyboard here. Uh, I keep trying to play it, yeah. The only thing I can play is, ready? I'll just play it for you. Do do do, bum bum, ba da bum, bum bum, ba da bum, bum bum, bum bum, bum, bum. chopsticks. I know, you can't do that. See, so yeah, well, <laughs> I can do it badly badly but that's the only thing that if people play a lot of people play i'd like to, be able to sit down and just play the piano i really would when i went to drama school there was always someone playing the piano in the drama school i used to be so envious they'd just sit there and play and i was like why can't i do that all I can do is just make noise. Uh, can't play an instrument. Um, anyway, there's another one there for you. So you can see now that's the easel stopper there with those flowers. So absolutely fantastic. But once again, see, it's this multi-layering, isn't it? You've got that, 
but then you've got all this and you could make it into a card as we just saw there and open it up so i think it's just Olga's done very well, and she's a lovely lady. I worked with her when she came into Ho-Chan the last time. In fact, then she was dashing off, had to get a plane, something, of, I don't know, some timing mistake thing or something, so she had to literally leave the show halfway through and run out of the door to get back. Um, but she is a lovely lady, a very lovely designer, and I think this is really clever because it's multidimensional. So 639562, your item number. Nearly half the stock has gone. You are loving this collection, so I would grab that as quickly as you can. So we talked about this one before, didn't we, the, um, the band members, and we've just seen one of them in her shiny dress. You can grab those on the website right now. Um, let's have a look at uh, these as well, because we are now talking about embossings, uh, embossing folders, um, always overlooked, I feel, and stamps as well, uh, because uh, if you want to sort of really embellish and really layer up uh, with the dies that we're just talking about there, this is the way to go. So this is set one, and you get your six by six stencil and your six by six wavy embossing folder that's what you're getting in here and then you can make your own kind of music there so and in perfect harmony unlike me when I sit and play chopsticks that's not in perfect harmony so you can see there you have got uh, your sentiments so you've got much love and you've got on your special day and then you've got those uh, musical notes there as well and um, the I want to say violin it looks like a violin to me I think it is. Or is it a cello? Violin? No, it's not a cello. It's too small. It's a violin. And then you've got your musical notes there on your embossing folder in the middle there. And um, you've also got, sorry, that was at the end. And then here you've got your stencil. So you've got a stencil in the middle, you've got your embossing folder on the end, and you've got your stamps as well. So 1997, and your set one is your 6x6 stencil and your 6x6 wavy embossing folder. And if we have a look, you can see here, look at this, talk about embossing, serious detail there, look at that, beautiful. I do love it when you emboss mirror card, because it, it, it does look like metal then, doesn't it? It looks like it has been sort of, um, I was going to say engraved, but you don't engra well, you do engrave metal, but do you know what I mean? It just looks like it's been put on there by some heavy duty machinery. Um, it, it transforms a piece of mirror card or mirror board into something really quite special. So you can see there that embossing detail works absolutely perfectly. No hot spots, no missed bits there. So that is 959851, your item number, if you would like to get hold of that set there for £15.97 there. And set two is also available. Uh, let's move along now to this collection in front of me here. I do you know, I think it all works so perfectly well together, doesn't it? Anyway, this is your set two. So you once again are getting those stamps and you're getting the embossing folder and you're getting the stencil as well. And you can see here you've got the keyboard this time. You've got more sentiments. You've got your musical notes and you get your treble uh, in there as well. And I love that um, the uh, stencil here you could use this with texture paste, couldn't you? Because I love texture paste, as you know, but I think that if you would just do that swoosh with the texture paste down the middle, that would look really, really nice, in my humble opinion. Um, and then you've got your musical instruments there with your stamps as well. So, you know, just a simple, you could mask off, you know, whatever you wanted, and just one simple instrument stamped with a sentiment. Make your own music, have a lovely day, happy birthday, whatever. Uh, you know, I think that is a very, very simple and nice, uh, effective way to go. Uh, 934394, your item number. 1597 for those three items. As I say, stencils, embossing folders, I think sometimes overlooked in the crafting world, but not today. We're proud of them. They're out there, they're bold, and they're fabulous. So 934394 is your item number. And then let's move along to the conservatory. Now, this has been seen before, because we should say that everything else is new and was launched new this morning. We have seen this before, this conservatory. However, can you see what we did? We've made it into a theatre. Um, because you can see now your players are all standing there on their stage. So this conservatory suddenly becomes a stage. Maybe there are other things you could think. Do you know, I think actually, nothing to do with music, but I think you could make that conservatory into a shop window as well. So it could be a shop window, it could be a conservatory, it could be a stage, and I'm sure you might think of other things as well. Yes, it could be a theatre with curtains. You could make it into some kind of cinema. 
So you could put some like little boxes of popcorn there or something and a movie. That would be really cool. So you could, I think you could really play with that and actually make a fantastic scene builder. So $21.99 if you want to get hold of the conservatory uh, dies there, 16 dies in total. That is 622003, your item number. And uh, we've got more. There's more. There's always more here at Hochanda. Have a look on the website because you can see your seven day savers. They are launched on a Sunday morning. They finish on a Sunday morning. That is seven days. And you get savings basically with these items. So here, I mean, this is an essential. You've got your great glue gum there with 24. <gasps> Someone said the word. Christmas glitter sticks. Do you know it's going to get to Christmas, isn't it? We're going to feel like, did we actually have a year? Did we dream it? Did we dream it? bit of a nightmare isn't it? It's a bit of a nightmare <laughs> but we start again uh, 411 100 is your item number 11.99 and we've got more as well for you uh, we have got some stamps for you from All and Create um, and that is your stamp set there Just Grow it's called five stamps and you can see the botanical uh, theme running through there for £10.99 there and one more of our seven day savers uh, some designer papers and you can see they are fabulous lovely bright colours there four for the price of three it's good job it's not the wrong with the other way around three for the price of four that's not a great deal but four for the price of three is good and it's on flexi payments as well so 26.98 your first of two interest free flexi payments to get all of those four lovely you've got northern lights you've got um shenandoah indian summer and rainbow river as well so all of those lovely paper pads available there for you 508 728 that was the end of uh, Lou's number I gave you there. 508 728. No. Don't tell her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lovely Lou. So, I'm going to be using a stencil next because we don't, as you said, we don't use stencils as much as we should. And this is one of my favourite techniques to do with a stencil. So, I've cut my cardstock down to size and I've I'm just placing my mask over. Now, I have allowed for my stencil to be slightly larger just so that I can attach a little bit of tape and prevent it moving too much. Now I'm not going to do the entire piece here, I've got one that I have already done, uh, but I just want to show you the technique. So I'm just bringing in an embossing ink and it can be absolutely any embossing ink. If you don't have a clear embossing ink it doesn't really matter, just something that's slow enough drying for you to emboss with. And I'm taking a foam applicator, um, this has had colour on in the past, again that doesn't matter too much, ideally a clean one just so it doesn't interfere with the powder, but it won't do much because the powder over the top will cover any colour that you put through. So in just the same way as you would with any colour, I'm just going to press into the music notes, into little circles, working into the stencil. I wouldn't suggest using your brand new foam applicators for this because the edges of the stencils can sometimes catch on the foam a little bit and can give it, put little tears and things in there. So um, probably use an old foam applicator if you've got one that hasn't had too much dark or bright color on it, um, which is exactly what I'm doing here. So just working your way into the stencil, like I say, at all angles by going in circles. When you lift that up, you'll just be able to see that's a little bit darker. You can't see it too much, but I'm going to bring in a gold embossing powder. Okay, I absolutely love this. Any colour will work and I've got a, I'm remembering this time I've got a sheet of cardstock or a plain piece of paper to catch the powder in afterwards and then I can sprinkle it all over and just have those elements there embossed which is really really pretty. Okay, I'll heat emboss those but like I said tapping off the excess there I'll pop the heat gun on those but I have got a panel that I've already done the entire panel of but I know everyone loves to see heat embossing in action I'll just pop that to the side so just let let that heat up which takes a moment once it starts so the great thing is here where I had my sticky tape the powder has caught on the edge but because I made this panel slightly larger to allow for that I'll trim that off afterwards let's start here and just hold that as soon as that starts melting you can move along I just love I mean I love the look of the gold on this teal color as well it's really really pretty but it's just a way that I wouldn't usually use stencils because usually with ink through them or spritz through them or even use them in your die cutting machine as well you can see there they just 
A absolutely beautiful. Really nice, uh, sophisticated look. As you can see there. So I'll just, just lift that up so you can see. There. Gorgeous. Mm, that looks lovely. Isn't it beautiful? It yeah. makes it, a panel of cards sort of look a lot more expensive. It does, yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah. So then what I've done is I've bought, so I've done an entire panel and then I've bought it in a dark blue. So it's just a darker colour of whatever your base cardstock is. And just gone around the edge, quite dark, and then blended that in as well once the ink has come off the sponge quite a bit, using a different sponge this time, just so you know. And I've worked at that. So the embossing powder will resist. Let me just get you the, the light on there again so you can see it. But oh, there, there you go. So you can see the embossing powder resists the ink. So if I bring in this panel that I'm finishing off, so I'm just going around the edge with the darker blue and bringing it in ever so slightly, but leaving the centre in that lovely uh, teal colour. So we've got like a, an ombre effect from the dark blue into the teal and the gold all over. And it just makes a beautiful panel of cardstock there. As you can see, let's lift that up. Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? And that started off like that. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? So, yeah, I love embossing powder anyway, but when you can start adding it in shapes like that without having to individually stamp everything, yeah. a stencil has just made that so, so much quicker for me. So I'm just going to pop my things away because I do tidy up as I go and if I don't put the powder away I will knock it everywhere so pop them that's my card base as well so I need that <laughs> so I have cut a piece of gold mirror card and I've made it so it just fits one way or the other there we go so it just fits around the edge of that panel I mean that just looks like a patterned paper now doesn't it but the beauty of that is you've got that raised element to it I'm just going to use, oops, I've caught on here, a foam tape to pop those layers down. So I've got um, some dimension between them. Of course, my foam I'm having to tear still. I forgot to pick up a pair of scissors off of somebody. Mind you, there aren't many other crafters in today, are there? No. Oh, yeah, I've, I've seen, oh, Paula's obviously been yeah. um, demonstrating, but... Yeah, and Leonie is next door. Yeah, I haven't seen her because she's in the other studio. She was with me. Yeah, I did all away. of about three minutes on air. <laughs> oh, it's fun though, isn't it? I wasn't complaining. Was <laughs> she was sitting having a cup of tea, really. Yeah. <laughs> Cocktails, <laughs> grapes. Yeah, been fed to me. <laughs> I did fanned. joke at the end. I said, well, I've done my three minutes of live TV. I think I need to go and have a rest now. <laughs> That's not the Rachel I know. <laughs> so just popping that into the middle there. Do you want scissors? Because... Uh, our Molly's got some. No, she's fine. She's fine. fine. I'm sorry, thank you. I'm just <laughs> oh, Molly. She well, ran in I there like, like an excitable yes. little puppy going, I've got them, I've got them, I've got them. Oh. oh, and we just said, get down, get down, get down from the sofa. <laughs> oh. I need to find an excuse now. I need to find a reason she's to need those She's whimpering now in the corner like a little puppy oh, on she's love. She's not, she's not. She's okay. <laughs> She'll forgive me. <laughs> so, just trying to find my uh, musical instrument die now, which I think I've put away. I was going to die cut it live, but I think I've put it back in the packet. So, the saxophone cut out from Miracard looks absolutely phenomenal. Now, with all of these dies, I'll just bring in one of the packets as an example. With all of the dies, um, many of them have embossing detail on them and that is actually shown on the front of the packet with the darker grey elements so if i bring in actually you can see there's darker grey elements on there and then if i show you this die you can just see that detail on the actual die i mean this is how much larger the dies are than the packaging so you really are getting a lot of metal for your money there but you can see you've got embossing detail as well and that's happened the same this is a saxophone isn't it you know when you do you second guess yourself it is it is isn't it yes. <laughs> Just, i mean it, i could look at a cat and oh, that is a cat isn't it yeah you have that moment so definitely a saxophone all of the detail down here where the keys are i'm guessing they're called keys, keys? oh i don't know that was a complete mm. guess but mm. you yeah no, we'll so see. yeah we'll go with that that's all embossed on there as well. So it looks so realistic, and especially on the mirror card. One pass through, I didn't emboss that either. I just die cut it, and the embossing is put in as you run it through as a die cut. So that's going to go on my card. And then I've just taken a sentiment. 
that I've stamped from one of the stamp sets and I'm just going to run a little bit of blue ink around the very edge so it ties in just so it's not too bright and too sort of stark against the background. I'm just going to tuck that in there like so. So the saxophone is going to go down with a foam tape. I could have used the scissors there, couldn't I? I could have asked for for them. Just Too to, late now. Yeah. You I don't think she'd them. I don't think she'd offer them to me again. No, now. I wouldn't if I were <laughs> offered them once. Once you rejected. <laughs> That's my chance. Don't go back. And then a little bit of glue just to the straight end. So I just hand cut this banner. Um, and I'm just going to pop that behind there and lift up the tails of the banner there. And that's a wet glue, so that takes a little bit longer to um, dry. And from the grand piano set, I have some music notes here. I'm just going to have these. Now, this is really clever. Okay, but I'll need to show you my pokey tool. There's actually a little cut line in the top here. Can you see that? Into the top of the saxophone. So you can tuck some musical notes into there. So they're just peeking out. So, I mean, that treble clef is on its side now, but you can you can work with that and play with it. So we've got all of the music coming out there now. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on there. And I'd probably put a few blobs of hot glue on this as well. Um, just underneath some of the larger areas here. But you've got all of your music notes coming out of there. If I just stand that up, yes, yeah, so you can really see the, the heat embossing there. Isn't that just lovely? That is lovely, isn't it? Using that stencil, you can see the shine of the embossing powder there. Yeah, it's really uh, nice with those notes coming out. You can, you know, you can imagine it, can't you? It's that movement, that's what, yeah, isn't it's it? that movement, mm. it's that swoosh. Yeah, very nice. Thank you. Trying, trying to think of a famous. Oh, I know a famous saxophone song. Do 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 do. Yeah, that one. Yes. Baker Street. You say so. I know it, but I don't know it. That one. Yeah, that's enough. Don't see anymore. Yeah, that's a that's a famous sax. Very sexy, very sexy. <laughs> that's my impression of a saxophone. So that wasn't very sexy. Um, it's a very sexy instrument. The, the saxophone, I think. It's got a lovely sound to it. It is. It's it's quite calming as well. I think. Yeah. It's very calming. But yeah. jazz is, isn't jazz, it? Jazz. Yeah. 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 Nice. Anyway, who plays it? Does she? Molly, Molly, the rejected one with the scissors here. Is, is she a good? Is she a good saxophone player? Oh, that's good because it could be if she wasn't. <laughs> anyway, we digress. Should we talk about all these lovely dies? Um, so, if you would like to get yourself a saxophone, and I would hesitate to say that this is a slightly uh, less expensive saxophone than perhaps Molly's sister's saxophone because they can be expensive those instruments um, well you can get them here on these dies so you can see that we've definitely got a clarinet and we've definitely got a saxophone I couldn't name anything else one of those a what an oboe oboe trombones trumpets 76 trombones went marching and we've got a harp we've got guitars we've got cellos violins a, a bassoon French horn got loads of things in there <laughs> that's the way to say it loads of instruments in there now half the stock has gone so if you would like to get hold of all those other instruments at uh, 28.97 instead of 38.97 so that is a nice 10 pound saving which is like getting one of those packets for free almost yeah, 12.99 each, so almost. Um, so that's nice, isn't it? Uh, 039116 is your item number. And as we were saying, you can uh, really play with those instruments. You can see it on the sample here. Look how you can play. So we've got the harp on there. We've got a saxophone in there. I think that is a maybe a trombone in there or a trumpet. I'm not sure. You've got your musical notes in there as well. So I think it doesn't have to be for people who just like music. I mean, great if you do know someone who knows music, but I think music is just a kind of... It, music follows us around everywhere in our lives, doesn't it? So I just think it is a kind of regular occurrence and it's a celebratory thing and memories are definitely linked to music as well so uh, yeah I think it's just nice to send musical annotations to people 039116 your item number if you'd like to get hold of those with that £10 saving then we've got our lovely grand piano there uh, nearly 60% of this stock has gone a lot of people liking the possibilities with this uh, as we were saying I think there's a kind of almost like an art deco sort of feel to this uh, piano isn't it so it's of those times so I think it's a nice kind of 
vintage style card to send but there's a romantic side to it as well so if you are doing weddings and things like that I think this would work I think for anybody who likes music this would work but really really lovely lovely dies there to have and really clever because if you were to put your little stand in there then it becomes a stand that you would get on your piano but you don't have to you could just do a flat card if you want to just use the keyboard you could just use the keyboard like that and then if you really want to go to town you can multi-layer so you've got your piano there as you imagine but then you've got your card so you can see how you can really and there's the keyboard again <laughs> so I am a natural so there you are that is your fantastic piano there and that is 639562 your item number 23 pounds and 98 pence We've got our people. Hey, talking about our people, our people upstairs, our call centre, sent a message saying they don't know if they're having a few little problems on the phones. They don't know. We haven't noticed any difference in people being able to buy and check out, so there might not be a problem. But if there is and you can't get through, you can always go to the website, hochanda.com. Uh, these are our other people. These are the ones playing musical instruments there and singing, although I'd like to imagine our call centre is like that upstairs. I'd like to imagine that they're just sort of, you know, playing instruments while they're answering the phones, like a jazz band. Wait, wait a minute, we've got an order coming in. I think we have a few more orders than that, though. They wouldn't get much music played. Um, but there you are. You've got all your lovely band there. As we were saying, teenager cards, great here, because you've got your drum kit there. And you don't have to sort of dress these people up and think about their costumes. I mean, we did have a lady in a fabulous, sparkly dress, as you can see there. But if you want to just do them in silhouette, then you can. So you don't have to actually be a, a great artist or great with colouring or paper piecing. You can just literally do them as a silhouette. So that is your 17 dies, your 17 piece band in total there. 172825 is your item number. They'd cost a fortune to hire a wedding, wouldn't they? All those people turning up. It's like UB40. Remember how many people were in UB40? Or oh, Madness. Or another big band that we can't think of at the moment. But yeah. Like diversity, the dance crew. Millions of them, weren't they? All over the stage. Um, right, 172825 is your item number if you'd like to get hold of that band there for £26.98. pence. You can hop onto the website right now, hochanda.com. And have a look at everything else. Do have a look at the stencils and the stamps and the embossing folders. They are definitely worth adding that extra finishing touch to the projects that you're making. So do please have a look at those. Now, Lou has been using those as well. It's all there on the website, hochanda.com. Talking about Lou, here she is again for the final part of the show. What you got? So I'm going to be using, I'm making a really, really quick card now um, using a variety of the different products. So uh, it's actually that spotlight card that's been on the show. I've just cut a, um, a triangle of yellow cardstock here, just a pale yellow cardstock. And I'm matting it onto a darker background. The colours on the background are irrelevant as long as they're sort of quite a dark colour. But I'm just going to glue that down here now. Um, confession, I probably did need scissors here, but I'm going to be really stubborn and not use them and use my craft knife because I dare and ask if I can have them. So I'm going to get away with it. Just popping that across the cardstock there and then I'm going to use this and cut away all of the excess back to my rectangle. Now the rectangle of red has already been trimmed to size to fit my card base um, and then I can emboss all of this together so that spotlight just looks like it's sort of fading into the background looking really really clever so just it's been ages since I've used a craft knife and a ruler it used to be my go-to for cutting but scissors are so much quicker so just whip round there there we go so now I've got my spotlight coming across the page. That's, That's really effective, that, isn't it, that spotlight? Just like really that good. it is anyway, yeah. isn't it? But then if we bring in the embossing folder, so pop this in, uh, that fits perfectly because this is a 5 by 7 embossing folder, so it fits that perfectly. Again, I'm going to have to take uh, a plate out of my machine just to allow for embossing. And then run this through quickly. I'm just going to run it through the once. Now, the cardstock or the paper that I've used, the red one, is very thin. It is a paper and it's a white core. So with a uh, high pressure embossing like this, it's going to get a little bit cracked and you're going to see a little bit of the inside of um, the paper there. Or just The white will just show through there a little bit. But that's fine. I quite like that effect. I don't mind that at all. And as I carefully just peel this off, 
um, you can see we've got the emboss that side and then the deboss on this side and I would happily use either of those just to blend the two in together a little bit more I'm just going to use a black I'm just going to very lightly blend it in to the very edge of that spotlight just so it's kind of fading out on the edge and not not got that such a harsh line there like so so quickly just so I know we haven't got very long Rachel so quickly to pop this card together I'm just going to use a wet glue because usually I'd use my foam tape and things but that will take me a little while without scissors <laughs> so popping that onto the card base there and there's nothing wrong with sometimes leaving a big board a big white border like that particularly if you're using a lot of dark colors that will really make um, make this stand out in the center of the card I know sometimes we feel like we need to mat and layer right up to the edge but I quite like a nice border like that and then I have already oh no I haven't die cut out I apologize I thought I'd already die cut it out but I've got the drummer or the yeah that is right isn't it the drummer yeah um, but you can cut any musician here and I really like the idea of having this as a teenage card yeah um, if somebody loves is into their music and their drumming and things my son my son's into rap at the moment I don't really I don't really know what you would put on for someone who likes rap music don't I know. guess the mu just music headphones headphones yeah but I guess just music notes would work wouldn't they for anything whatever mm. style of music it is Mm. So just running this through, um, die cutting it, but at the same time as die cutting, it's also embossing. So I'm not using an extra embossing mat or anything like that. But just release this quickly and all the little pieces out of the middle here. Just pop that away with my fingers and in there. So we've got a fantastic, got a bit of glue or something on there, fantastic silhouette. But in where the drum kit is... Um, I don't know what they are. I call them the clangers on the top, but I don't think that's the proper name <laughs> for them. Symbols. Yeah, thank you very the much. The clangers, aren't they cartoon characters? Yeah, they are. <laughs> but you can see there where that embossing sits inside. So that's just from die cutting. That's not even from using an embossing um, mat or anything afterwards. And he's just going to sit there in the spotlight or with the spotlight behind him, just lighting him up, making him the centre of attention there. And then just to finish this card off, I mean, you could put some, some sparkles if you wanted to around it, really make it sort of look starry like he's the star of the show. And just to finish that off, and I will use my phone tape for this bit because I think it needs it, I've got a stamp sentiment. I think it's make your own, yep, make your own kind of music. So from one of those stamp sets. And I've actually hand cut it out in that swirly shape yep. as well. And pop this onto the top of the card. Whoops try peeling both sides off there so popping that across there and I think that would perfectly do anyone who's in a band who loves to go and see the bands who maybe just has a drum kit at home yeah um, even down to sort of five four five-year-olds when the parents make that awful decision to just gonna yeah. say the <laughs> best kind of drum kit to get for a four or five year old is those electronic ones and they sit there with their headphones on yes and they don't make any noise yes it they're, just the goes through the, they're the ones you mm. need <laughs> Lovely, Lou. Thank you very much. Thank you very that much. That is your last That's live fun. hour. That is. I'm home again now. Where are you next in? I'm not sure. But she will Sorry. be back. <laughs> she will be back. Well, thank you very much. If you want to go to the website now, have a good look around her channel.com. Grab yourself some musical items and make some beautiful music of your own. There is plenty more to come though because right now we're talking fabrics with Mill Shop Online. After that it's the Happy Planet with myself and Leone, probably mostly Leone to be honest. And then it's Pink Ink Designs all to come live. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dyes, we have coloring daubers, 
we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping molds where you can make easy, quick, three dimensional flowers which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on the Chanda. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning, and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey's taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands, such as 2J Stamps, press cut and the craft artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box, which is ribbon tied, and we hope that by receiving this box, you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the Craftbox shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Pete from Artisan Design. We're a family-run company uh, from the Midlands um, and we have been going for around about a year now. We design handcrafted stamps, stencils and designer papers. Personally, uh, I love crafts and I've loved crafts from uh, childhood, right from when I first won an art competition when I was five years old. I love to inspire. And what, what my aim is, is to get the crafters um, to see their own potential. I like them to be uh, in charge of their own creativity. What I hope is that our images um, provide the kickstart to your mojo and help you create your own works of art. Tune into our Chanda, be part of the artisan design world and come and join me on this creative path. Hi, I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use, only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope we've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Hachanda. Good morning, it is still good morning, don't know what time of day it is. Uh, we have got some fabulous fabrics on the show for you and Joe is here, hello Joe. Hi Alex, hello, hi everybody. <laughs> so Joe, obviously Mill Shop Online. Now we've got some lovely stash bags, some crafty stash bags filled with gorgeous fabric. Um, so we're putting them, you've put them for us in, in colour order. Yeah, so they're, they're great. So these variety bags are all, what you see is what you get in the bag. Okay, good. So you know what, exactly what you're getting, but it is one of those that I had great fun putting the colours together. So you've got a different theme in each bag with a colour theme running through that you can see in front of you. Yeah, nice. Oh, and do we, does it come in one Obviously of it bags? comes in a lovely bag as well. Lovely. Well, let's run through this. So you've also popped in some, like, trim for There's us. There's all sorts of goodies. So yeah, this is the sunshine 
sunshine one. So I absolutely love this one because you've got all those vibrant colours in there. There's the trimmings. There's everything from organza. There's raw silk. Oh, there's okay. cotton. There's so much in there. But it's just a really vibrant. Some are still here. So we've got to, we've got to use this one, definitely. Absolutely. I love it. Look at that. that. I think that'll make a nice picnic. Well, that's an that outdoor one. fabric, so it is wipeable as oh, well. It? So we can use that. I've used that on picnic blankets and all sorts of things. So it's a really good heavyweight fabric, that one. Excellent. And this one? This yes, is Yes, that's a, a denim. Oh, is it denim? That's a denim, yes. You've got a, they're all half meter pieces, so they're good sized pieces. So if you pull them out, yep, like, you'll see that, that they're a full width for 54 inch width. So, yeah, let's have a look. So it's a good size. So we're not uh, giving you little scraps. No, you're not. <laughs> so they're all this size, right? They are. Ah, yes. Well, could you imagine some some denim shorts in yellow? I'm not sure yellow's my colour, Alice. Oh, all right, all right. Not for you. <laughs> Maybe for me. Uh, but you've got um, a really nice... And it's a good weight, isn't it? It is a good weight, yeah. It's a lovely weight. Mm -hmm. uh, right, let me just fold Great this Great for bag making as well. Yes. It's, it's good for embroidering. It is such a good weight in cotton. Obviously, 100% cotton, but it is that denim finish on there as well. Excellent. Right, let's put this back under. Okay, and then what what fabric is that's this? That's raw silk. This is raw yeah, silk. Yeah, so that's a really soft, yellowy colour there, like a straw colour. Yeah. But it's a raw silk. So before a silk is actually processed to be that flat silk that we all know, yeah. that's what it would look like. How interesting. I'm learning stuff. Then is this organza? That's organza, yeah. yeah. Lovely. This one? And a cotton. A nice cotton. A nice plain cotton. This one? That is 100% silk. So Lovely. that is your finished silk. Yes. So that's the Dupion silk that you would we all know uh -huh. for clothing and bags and linings. That's your silk there as well. Amazing. This one? You've got the stripe, a cotton stripe. Cotton stripe. And you've got a poplin, so a quilting poplin, yeah. a lighter one there. And some trimming as well that we can cut up and make things and mix media and all sorts of things. Amazing. And don't forget, and obviously it'll a bag. come to you in the bag. Um, now, this is half price, pretty much. It's $19.99 for this whole bundle here. So that is your summer option. Next up, we've got the red option. So we've got, do we, is this the organza? The organza as well Look in there. That, that's you've posh, got, isn't again, it? Again, we've got different fabrics in there, yeah. but they're all that theme of that red theme running through there. So we can use it for the projects and combine it with different things as well. Excellent. So and then... Got a hundred percent velvet. Oh, yeah. So obviously, lovely. that festive season is coming. Yeah. Well, as crafters, it comes a lot earlier than we anticipate. But Indeed. The red velvet is beautiful. Oh, really nice. Red velvet skirt. You've got a stripy canvas there. Yep. So mm. a nice deck chair canvas. Lovely. A nice and picnic then. check. A hundred percent cotton. Excellent. You've got a lighter weight stripe. Yeah. A lovely piece of a hundred percent leather. So a leather square Pure in there. Pure leather. Pure leather. Yep. You've got some soft check. Yeah. Really super soft cotton check. It is, check. actually. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. And that's a little bit wider, so that's 150 centimetres wide. Shall I open this one? So that is really nice. And it, the drape in it is lovely as well. So the rest are half metres, are they? They're or all half got... metres, but this one's just a little bit wider. Okay. So this is a lovely piece as well. No, hang on a second. Oh, it's so soft. It's soft, isn't it? It is. You know, I'm thinking... You're going to wrap that round yourself, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. You're a bit chilly. <laughs> I'm always chilly. <laughs> hang on a second. But that is a nice piece. Actually, go with my outfit. Um, that is a really nice piece. Do you know, I mean, I know we can't say about kids, but really nice for um, uh, pyjamas and things. Yes, yes. Yeah. It is almost feels like you're terry toweling, doesn't it? Yeah, it Do does. you remember that sort of... I love that as well, the softness of it as well. It's so Indeed. usable. And then... You've got a lovely little um, picnic check there, a gingham. Gingham. Yeah, you've got some nice quilting poplin again. Yep. 100% cotton and some trimming. Let's look, how much trim do we get? A couple of metres. Cool, look at that, isn't that pretty? Um, you were really liking the red option. It's lovely, it's isn't it? the velvet. It? Do you think Definitely it is? Definitely the velvet. Uh, again, <laughs> 19.99. Then we move on to the blue option. So here again. Again, you've got the variety in there. So you've got some organzas, you've got some denim, you've got a nice lightweight cotton in a stripe. Uh -huh. You've got the super soft in blue. Yes. You've got some ticking stripe there, which ticking stripe is yeah. traditionally mattresses. Oh, is it? So traditionally your old mattress would be in a ticking stripe, but it's a really, really good cotton. I love it for cushions, bag making and stuff yeah. as well, because it's just not too heavy, not too light. I love your knowledge. <laughs> got some elephants. That's cute. Yeah, that it's cute, cotton? isn't it? That's a poplin, yes. Yeah, so that's a quilting cotton, nice lightweight there for um, your quilters. Then we've got some checks. And some ginghams in Gingham. there. 
Lovely. And then this one here. So you've got, an, again, a lovely little fat quarter there with the blue. And we've found something different in there to show you a new product with the zip. Oh, yes, with the zip, the blue zip. So you've the got a zip, zip there as well. It's a continuous zip. So you get two metres in there. Great stuff. With the heads as well. And there I'll show are. you a little bit later how we put the heads on as well, because some people think, how do I do it? Yeah, absolutely. You know? So in this one, have we got a mixture then of half metres and fat quarters? Yes, there is. Yeah, yeah. excellent. Then we move on to our pinky... Pink and purple. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, another velvet there. Oh, so I got a bit carried away with this one. I couldn't decide whether to go pink or purple, so I thought Went I'd just both. throw them to go so well together. Yeah. So, so we, again, that velvet, a beautiful, lush. that's 100% cotton velvet. Cotton so velvet. So it's very, very luxurious, and the feel of it is beautiful as what, well. What different types of velvet can you get then? So you get a polyester velvet. Oh, yeah. And a cotton velvet. So traditionally, a cotton velvet would be. It does get a little bit more crease in it. Right. So the polyester velvet obviously is a little bit more durable. Okay. But it's so much softer on the cotton velvet as well. Yeah, it has, so I keep stroking <laughs> it. Then what's this material? So you've got a lightweight cotton. Lovely. You've and got there again as well. a lightweight cotton in a stripe. Yep. This has a texture to it. It this has. One. It is a cotton, yeah. but it's a textured medium white cotton as Ooh, well. And it's strobing because of the stripes. <laughs> and then what's the pinky the one? Plain pink is another cotton in there. So yeah. all cotton's running through. Yeah. Lovely canvas striped cotton there as well. Nice heavyweight. Lovely. And then have we got a fat quarter? We've got here? some fat quarters there in the pink. Yeah. And the elephants and the stars. Yeah. And some lovely little purple trim there. I, I love like, that trim. This is really nice. I mean, I would isn't it? cut all those little pieces off, and we've got millions of little projects. You have. That's fabulous. Wonderful for a cushion. And then we have a green option. Oh, so is this that's leather? That's in it. Yeah, you've got some leather in the green option. Nice. So you've got that variety in there. So it's a square. This one. It's a lovely square. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. I love the back as well as the front. That's a gorgeous colour, that one. Uh, and then we've got your organza again. Organza in there. You've the got some lovely lining there in the green. Yeah. You've got the, is it a stripe? Yeah. Yep, a cotton stripe. Nice. You've got the check. Check. Again, they're lighter weight cottons, yep. so we can use them for various projects. They're great fun to use. Lovely. Then we go lightweight with nice the gingham. Nice gingham, lightweight yeah. gingham. And again, in the slightly different green. Yeah, I like those greens. Oh, that's that pyjama material. That's super soft. <laughs> yeah. super and again, soft. if you imagine the green with the red bag, mm. you've got so much Christmas projects involved there. Yeah. That we can combine it with a bit of hessian. Ooh. You've got that real natural feel. So nice. A lovely project to do. What material? Is this silk? That is embroidered silk. That's embroidered worth getting out silk. that one, Alex. Yeah, so, shall I? Yeah. Definitely. This is okay. stunning. So this is 100% embroidered silk. Wow. So it gives you something a little Hang bit on. different. And obviously at the meal shop we always like to bring something a little bit different and this is stunning this is so beautiful look at that it is gosh what would you make out of it i, I just want to look at it yeah to be honest <laughs> just stroke it and look at it yeah. that's what fabric's for isn't it yeah that is gorgeous <laughs> Um, so let me pop that back and then you've popped um, a green zip in there's green zip in there and some trim Trimming. Yes, I'll trimming. just pick those up for you so you can see. So here's your green zip. You can see it's an, sort of a bit of a mossy colour, wasn't it? There you go, isn't it? There you go. And then look at that green trim. Oh, look at it sparkle. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, loving that. £20 saving. It's nineteen ninety nine for any of those options. 133874 um, is the item number. OK, currently the pink and purple... And the red are in the lead with a third of the stock gone. Wow. Do check out your baskets. Yeah, Do I've got to say the pink and purple. That's why I went for both colours in the end, because yeah. I couldn't decide myself, so I thought I'd mix in the two. Yeah, lovely. And then we've got some zips here. Uh, these are a pick and mix. So, I mean, if you wanted, you could choose any five. Uh, you could get sort of one of each colour, or you could get five of the same colour. You could as well. And it would be cut in a continuous length. So, right. with the zip in, it is unusual because some people, obviously, you buy a zip with a zipper head already on it. Yeah. So, with the continuous zip, it means that you can get lots of zip in. Yeah. So, I've got a piece here. So, you can cut it to whatever size you want and then put your heads on. Right. So, if you want, Shall I show how yeah. to do that? Oh, oh, oh. Shall we do that? Yeah, is that all right? Yeah. I'll make... So is everybody has an idea? Yeah, yes, yeah. Fine. Let's Sorry. go for it. <laughs> okay, so we've got a little bit here you can see straight away that I've got my zipper head on. So I've got my continuous length without the zipper head. I'll get a little zipper head here. We give three zipper heads as well for every metre. Uh -huh. So you get a lot of projects out there, whether you're doing pencil case, bags, and all sorts of things. So all I'm going to do is open it up, my zip. And if I hold it down, I'm going to get my lovely little scissors. 
and I want to cut a V into the zip. We'll show you in a second. So I'll hold it up there. So all we've done is cut a little V, you can just see there, okay, in the top. Because these are things that we need to hold on to. I'm going to pop those down. I'm going to get my zipper head and the curved end of your zipper yep. goes on one side. And we put, this is no pressure now. Okay. If this works. All right. And then we put the other side in and the V that we've cut, we hold and we can pull the zipper head. Yes. Phew. Open that up and you can see now I can pull that zipper head to wherever I want it. Yeah. Say I want to do a little pencil case. I'm going to snip it off there. So I've got my zip, the exact size that I want. Yeah. As long as I'm sewing in my edges so I don't lose my zipper head, we can then cut it to size. Yeah. And that's the value that it gives you, Alex. So, you Marvelous. know, be able to get that. Because zips are expensive. Yeah, yeah, You know, exactly. so to get it on a continuous length is great for projects. Great. Thank you, Joe. Uh, so the different colour options, you've got your terracotta at the top. There you are. Then you've got your navy. Here's the wine. Rouge. And then chocolate. Brilliant colours. So, yep, any five for eleven ninety nine. whether you want to go for a mixture of colours or go for just one. Uh, your item number is 609619. Then we're already busy for Stitch the Dog. What do we get in the kit then, Joe? So the kit is great. It, this is something that, um, there was a lovely lady made a comment on my Facebook page, on yeah. Shop Joe actually, and I will reply to her. Uh, when I first came to Ho Chanda, yep. I actually designed this with Lily the little Stitch the Dog kit. So I absolutely love it. So this is my third, one of my first ever shows of Ho Chanda, Aww. and I wanted to share it again in a different format. Yeah. So in this kit, mm -hmm. you get all the components that you need. So you get your stuffing. Yeah. Okay, but what I've done, I've put enough in there to make four Stitch the Dogs. Oh, excellent. So you get okay. enough to make four. You get your fuser web. Okay. You get bonded interlining. Yep. You get a line in and you get eight buttons. Oh, here, here so are the buttons. So your eyes for Stitch the Dog and you get your full instructions. So in, in your instructions you get yeah. a lovely little sheet on the back with a step-by-step -step guide. And then inside is your template that we'll show it shortly in demonstration of how we use it and what we do with it. Lovely. So all you need to do then is purchase some lovely fabric yeah. to go with your kit and make your own Stitch the Dog. Do, is Stitch the Dog in, the, in his is. little kennel? He's here. He's uh, here. I, maybe we could... I'm definitely not Shall directing... I'm definitely not directing here from the floor. <laughs> <laughs> his little Stitch. Cute! He's cute, isn't he? Yeah. You know, he's great. So he's a good size as well, but he sits nicely. So he sits on your little desk there. I made yeah. him a little kennel. He had to have a little kennel, so we put him there. Amazing. But he's a great <laughs> little kit that we can use and do different things with as well. Yeah. Just fun. Uh, it is very, very fun. 999, item number is 703062. Uh, do have a look on our website because we've got lots more materials from uh, for you. You can get some uh, pre-shrunk um, interlining. You can get some fused fuser web. Hessian you can get, 100% cotton calico, PVC, there's loads on there. So have a look on the website and top up on your crafty stash of fabulous fabrics. Okay, right, so now, um, are we doing a bucket? We are indeed. We can't be out of a, out of a purple bucket, yeah. can we, Alex? So yeah. here we go, let me bring it over. So this is obviously the infamous purple bucket. So one lucky customer who makes a purchase within the hour what we're going to do is when I get back and do the orders, I'm going to just randomly pull a sheet yes. out and you get this beautiful content. And it is full. <laughs> it is full of beautiful fabrics. So all sorts of goodies in there. So it is something that I like to give back because crafters, when you get this through the door, do send me a picture because I absolutely love it. And nice. I've been seeing lots more pictures coming through and seeing people making goodies out of them. Uh -huh. There's a lovely lady, Helen, she's been making... Um, uh, animal beds for oh. sheltered animals and it's absolutely brilliant yeah. so I made sure I put a few extra bits in there for her as well so fabulous right what would you like to demo so should we go through stitch the dog so stitch the dog as I said you get all your components in there yeah but what we've done today we've brought the lovely variety bag here so the variety bag is our fat quarters that you get any 10 fat quarters and it is a complete variety so you never know what you're going to get you'll get 10 different variety fat quarters in a bag which are great to use 
in your stitch project. Right. Okay. So with the stitch project itself, you the instructions in there very very simple. Okay. Obviously, like I said, designing this with my daughter, and at the time, obviously, she was only nine, mm -hmm. I believe. So mm -hmm. this is great. So it is very user friendly, and we've had a play with it, and we've developed it a little bit more. So with the instructions themselves, so we have the step-by-step -step guide. There's little handy hints on there as well, and we have our template. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to show a little idea of how we start this up. Yep. Um, for once, I'm not using my big scissors. What? What? Dun, dun, dun. Paper scissors. Uh -huh. Because we can't use the fabric scissors you on can't, paper. No, to be fair. I will be told off. Lily will tell me off when I get home, and I know a lot of viewers will say the same. Oh, yes. What's he doing? So we've got some paper scissors there, and I'm going to cut out. It, it tells you on the actual template how many you need of each piece as well, which is great. So I'm going to cut out the head piece, just to give you an idea. Once you've cut these out, I actually, because I made quite a few at home, I actually put them onto card and made some templates out of card so it's nice and easy. So I'm going to cut that piece out, just to give you an idea of what we're going to achieve with our lovely little stitched dog, like so. Pop that there. I've chosen some spotty fabric here. So I love this. So this is in our pick and mix range um, of quilting cottons there, and we've got the spots and the planes. And out of my variety bag, I have this beautiful vintage floral, which I absolutely love. And as you can see here, it just, love it goes so well together so all the components are in your kit yeah what we've got with the head here what I've started to do this is my little handy hint mm. we've all got a little uh, glue stick at home so because I'm all fingers and thumbs yeah. and I find when I put a pin in something I do generally get blood yeah we do not want this <laughs> so I don't want to use that so I this is my little handy hint not, not too much on the back of your template, but just a little bit on there. And all that does is keep it all in place. It doesn't ruin the fabric at all while you're cutting out. Fab. So literally, I've put all my little components on there. Now I get my lovely fabric scissors. Okay, and we're going to cut that little piece out. The thing I love about Stitch is that it is one of those projects that's not being the greatest sewer, and I'm never going to admit to being the greatest sewer, but I love sewing. And I love just creating little projects. You don't have to be the best cutter in the world. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be the best sewer in the world. Just have fun with it, young and old, and create your own little stitch out of all your little fabrics. And the fabrics, obviously, the quilting fabrics we do in the stash bag yep. are actually perfect for it. There we go. So I've cut my head out. I want to move that to one side. So I've got all my components here. And it's about layering up. So we layer up all the different components. So what we're going to do first is show you an ear in this first stage. Cool. I just need to let you know at home we are 40% of stitch gone. Oh. Uh, and here he is. Stitch. Here's Stitch. You can have <laughs> lots him. of fun. Mate. You can have a family of stitches because you can you make can four. You can indeed, yeah. That's lovely. And don't worry because there are other projects coming. Oh. There are indeed. You heard it here first. Yeah. That's what Lily's at home for. <laughs> so what I've done here, I've actually cut out my ear, okay, and in the pack you have your bonded interlining. So the bonded interlining is great, and I have heard actually that um, my friend, Mil uh, Weatherman Joe, oh yes, he, Weatherman he's Joe. joining us later, he is? and he might explain a little bit more about the bonded okay. interlining because he knows he knows everything. Special I think appearance. I'm redundant now, so. Oh, but the appearance. bonded interlining is great because it gives you a little bit of weight, a little bit of stiffness that we need. And as you can see here with the ears, they're nice and stiff and they don't fall over, so it gives that rigidity. Love that word. <laughs> rigidity. Rigidity. <laughs> so I'm going to cut again my ear. I've marked out on the bonded interlining. I'm going to cut that out. And it's great because we're using my number one favourite is the fuser web as well which keeps all our project together okay so I'll pop that to one side so I've had my ear I have a little bit of fuser web so the fuser web obviously we have the Gore-Tex side which is the glue side and we've got our fabric and we've got our bonded interlining I've then on your template have your middle ear so you've got another little from the template and another bit of fuser web yep. and we're going to put all these components together to give you a first idea of what we're going to do so the key is to iron our fabric onto our fuser web. It won't take long. It's quite a thin, because it's a quilting fabric, yeah. it's a little bit lighter. I have turned it on, which is good, he says. Oh, is it not on? Yeah, there we are. 
There we go. Okay. So we're going to pop that on there, get some heat on it. Yep. The key with the fuser web, any project you're doing, if it's not stuck, just give it a little bit more heat. Mm -hmm. Obviously, my iron's just turned on because I hadn't pushed the plug in far enough. There we go. So that's in. And then we can peel the back off. And what you should be left with, if it hasn't stuck, put it down and do it again. Yeah. But you should be left with, he says. There you we need go. nails, Joe. I oh, know. <laughs> scrunchy piece of paper so you know then that there's no glue on there it's all done it's all gone yeah and it's stuck well so we've got our bonded interlining which is a lined finished side and a fluffy side the fluffy side is going down and our layer of fuser web and fabric is going right on the top and we're gonna again iron that straight on it's one of those lovely little projects as well that you can come back to you can do bits to it mm. My TV project, I call it. Yeah, that's a good yeah, idea. So watching TV, do a little bit. Could a beginner do it? Oh, definitely. Uh -huh. I, well, I cast myself as a beginner. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then we want to do our middle ear. So we've got our main ear there. It's a nice, nice and stiff. We've got a lovely little bit of fuser web again, and our middle ear, which is going to go in there. That beautiful floral, and we're going to do the same with the fuser web there. Okay. And then literally peel that paper off using my non-nails <laughs> <laughs> and again we've got a crunchy piece of paper uh -huh. so our little middle ear is going inside oh that's cute and then we're going to iron that on doesn't need a lot of heat and straight away there you can start to see the little ear that we've created that on this head you can see straight away there. Yeah. There we go. Aww. So it's a nice and simple process. It's a step-by-step -step guide. We will do a little bit more shortly okay, and yep. show you with the stuffing element as well and what we get in the kit. But he's taking shape already. He is indeed. <laughs> Lovely stuff. So I will just do a quick recap. No. Okay. Um, we are now limited stock on Stitch. Limited stock. Uh, so you get in, in here enough to make four stitches. Uh, four stitches, you know what I mean. Here's, here's a version of Stitch. Of course, you can use up your scraps and things. Uh, but he looks pretty. I like the fabric that's been used to sti uh, for Stitch. To Stitch Stitch. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, and then we've also got, of course, the template. You're basically getting everything that you need uh, to make him, really, apart from your fabric. There we go, full instructions, and you'll even get the buttons. And, of course, it will come in, uh, well, not come in, but it, you will also receive the famous Mill Shop Online fabric cr um, bag. It's really cool. No! <clears throat> He's sold out, right? We'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. Bye, Stitch. <laughs> it's too cute. Now, we've got zips here. Uh, we've got five different options for you, and you're picking five on a pick and mix, but you could choose just the one option. So we've got our terracotta, navy, the wine, rouge, or chocolate, if you're looking for them on the website. And as um, Joe said, if you decide to buy all five of the same colour, it will come on one continuous zip. Is it, how many, how long is this? It's a metre. This is a metre, so each is a metre, each is a metre, not easy for me to say. <laughs> uh, 11.99, and your item number is 609619. Right, the stash bags have been really, really busy. Which end shall I start? The green one. Okay, fine. So, in here, a variety of fabrics, a uh, bit of faux leather in the green. Um, you'll get some lovely trim. There's some scissors. And what you see here is what you will get. There's the beautiful, beautiful silk, embroidered silk. You've got your, what did we call this again, um, Joe? The soft... Soft cotton. Soft cotton, soft cotton. <laughs> and it's really, really gorgeous. You're getting some lightweight pieces of your, not gingham. Yeah, gingham. Yes. Yeah, yeah it is gingham. And then some check in a cotton. Lovely cottons. There we go. And then, of course, you've got some gorgeous organza. So two-thirds of the green have gone. So in this particular one, you've got half metres, and some of them are like your fat quarters, and you've got the square of the leather. Then we have our gre um, green, this is clearly not green, <laughs> pink and purple option. Two thirds of the stock has gone here. So you've got your cotton velvet. It's so plush. 
Uh, then we are going into some cottons, like so. This one's got like a texture to it. Loving that. Um, that's pretty, isn't it? Uh, and then we're going into some more, like, cotton poplin, we call it. Um, yeah. yeah, so you've got the lightweight cotton there, like yeah. quilting cottons. Nice. And then the purple trim. Oh, just love listening to it jangle. <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got the blue. Half the stock of blue has gone. Uh, so in here we've got your organza. Is this denim, Joe? That this is one? a denim in yes, there, yes. Lovely. It's a beautiful blue denim in there. Nice. Some cottons. There's that soft, soft cotton again. And there's more. Then we've got some of the poplin cottons in these colours. And this one will come with a zip, a couple of metres on there, with your heads. <laughs> well, your zips, you know what I mean. Uh, and then the red option. Uh, red option is limited. We've got good choice, good taste. Uh, you've got the organza, you've got the velvet. Ooh, it's so strokeable. Uh, <laughs> um, and then we've got the... Now, is this the canvas, this one? That's the canvas, yes. yeah. So that's a nice deck chair canvas. It's it. Actually, that would make a great deck yeah, chair. Yeah, so if you're doing outside cushions mm. or if you're repairing a chair, be perfect for that. It's a great Lovely. way. Lovely. Then we go on to our cottons again. Look at those. Bit of faux leather you'll get. That soft cotton and then we've got the poplin cottons and again the red trim and last but not least <coughs> we have got the summer option so we've got the organza I've forgotten again which one this one is Can so you that's see? the outdoor check outdoor check because it's heavier weight it's isn't heavier it? weight and yeah. it is wipeable so it's not waterproof but it is wipeable got you a bit of yellow denim for my shorts yeah <laughs> <laughs> raw silk I never, I've never seen it's that. It's bizarre, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a really, it's a beautiful product. Even a few, when I first saw it a few years ago now, probably about five, six years ago, yeah. and a colleague of mine at the mill shop was explaining to me, it's fascinating because it, I would never have seen it silk, you know, being around fabrics for most of my life. Yeah. I, I didn't know anything about it, and it is beautiful, but that feel of it as well. Yeah. Do you, did they, did, do you know how they turn it from this? To this so at it's all? in a process, so it'll be in like a, a, a process machine that will just process oh. it through to get into that finish. Amazing. Oh, and you've also got organza in there, some more cottons. You see those colours? Lovely. And of course, this gorgeous trim. It's kind of a ye orangey yellow, isn't it, this one? It is, yeah. 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 Lovely. Uh, each option then is 19.99. Item number is 133874. Now, something else that we've got. The Fat Quarters Stash Bag. You are getting 10 in total, uh, and it's 24.99, 10 pound saving, 705651. Something else? Okay, the staple gun. Uh, it also comes with a pack of staples, so you don't need to go out and get them separately, which is good. 19.99, five pound saving, 909986 is the item number. Okay, stitch. We can get some more. Boom. Now, of course, they are on extended delivery. It's going to be dispatched from the 24th of August. There you go. So here you're getting enough stuffing to make... I can't help but it's so tactile. <laughs> um, enough stuffing to make four. Uh, and then, of course, you've got your instructions, the buttons, and then... Remind me what these materials are. So you've got your bonded interlining, okay. fuser web, yep. and some lining in there as well. Excellent. Lovely. Uh, 9.99. Dispatch from the 24th of August, 703062. Right, back to you, Jay. So, actually, while you were there looking at the organzas, this is some, Ooh. as you do at breakfast time in my house, yeah. I'm creating something or trying to do something. So there's a little bit of cardboard that I started creating here yep. and literally just cut a circle of card and got the organzas from the variety bags and started tying them around yep. this, this circle to make my little Christmas wreath. Or it would make a very, very fancy hat. Head it, it would indeed. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Beautifully modelled, Joe. <laughs> but the key with this as well, that we can put in different fabrics. So in your variety bag, you've got the lightweight ginghams as well. Mm. So all I've done is cut some little pieces there and it just shows you the different things that we can do with it. And all I'm doing is literally going round my actual circle itself of cardboard. So it's not an expensive piece of kit, just no. any old scrap piece of card. And I'm tying my bits of fabric round. And you can go 
as many or as little as you like. If you like it really full, we keep going. So I'm going to pop these around here a little bit more. Just to let you know at through. home, uh, the red option of the stash bag, that's gone. Oh. You liked that velvet. Mm. <laughs> and then we're going to go round and round the circle just to put a little bit of colour in there. And I love these reefs as well because we've made them in my household for not just for Christmas, yeah. but you can use the summer one for an, almost an autumnal look there if we throw a little bit yeah. of brown into it. A bit of orange and yeah, stuff definitely. and definitely. You know, you can do a fireworks one, Halloween one. We can do all sorts of different things. So they're not just for Christmas, but it's all those little pieces and you use so much little fabric that you've still got lots for different projects as well. So I'm going to do one more in there. And then we're going to just have a little look at it and the last little detail. Okay, I could keep going, but I really like that. That's nice. Okay, so all I've done there is tied a little bit longer there so I can hang it there. I'm going to have a little look at it and just give it a little trim so to get the shape right. I think it's fabulous, your organza. It's great, isn't it? So it's a really simple little make using very little fabric from your variety bag, yeah. but combining those colours and those different textures in there as well. So it's a beautiful little make for our door. And do you know what we're going to do with this? What are we going to do with this? <gasps> Put it in the bucket! It goes in the bucket. So somebody <laughs> will be receiving this and then you have to put it on your head as well. <laughs> and send a picture. Yes, send a picture. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, right, um, are we just to check? Oh, oh right, that is what we're doing. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Uh, right, we're just going to um, uh, kind of hand over to Janice because she is going to tell you a little bit about freedom. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members, and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member, which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts. They tell me when everything's happening. So if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888. So don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family now we have a very 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 special guest in the studio but before we go over to this very very special person then uh, we're just going to have a quick recap of our options we have got the summer option of the stash bags this is limited stock on the summer option. Uh, then the blue option, two thirds of the stock has gone. Lovely. Look at that. Uh, then the pink option, this one is also limited stock. Lovely, 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 lovely velvet. And then we've got the green option, um, and you will be getting the lovely embroidered raw silk. Basically, what you see, everything you're seeing here you're going to be getting lovely. Okay, so each option is 19.99. is your item number. Uh, now you can find the essentials on the website. There we go. Uh, so uh, 
what sort of things do we have now? We've got the um, bonded interlining, uh, fuser web, mm, what else? Wadding is on there, so there's loads. There's Hessian. Um, and to tell us more about it next, and can I just say, very special guest, he's cost us a fortune to get him in here, but it's worth it. It is Weatherman Joe. Hi, hi Alex. Hi. hi Joe. How are you doing? Yeah, I saw him on the way here, so did you? he did persuade me to come back um, and explain about the essentials. So the essentials, obviously Joe's lovely essentials bag, mm -hmm. which I've got here, which is great, because you get a fat quarter uh -huh. of all the different essentials in there as well. So all those things that Joe was using in the demonstration with Stitch the Dog, you can buy in a bigger piece and it's all there to go. But I'm here today because there is a weather front coming through, so I'll push that out of the way. And this is great because at the moment we have seen a lot of water We've seen the rain coming down, but it doesn't matter because Joe's got his PVC and this PVC. So that water that we've seen down in the south, because I saw it myself the other week. Did you? Is going to protect us from getting our surfaces all wet. The PVC is there. It is perfect for keeping our surfaces dry. Joe's number one, the fuser web. Right. Little bit sticky. So when we've got that ice cream, don't worry. This is <laughs> stickier than the ice cream, Alex. So down at the south coast there. Down in Cornwall, we've got our fuser web. That'll stick anything. Beats ice cream okay. all day. Then we've got the natural Hessian. Love this product as well. I know Joe uses this a lot for decorating chairs, a natural product. That's coming in from uh, on the east there. There we go. It's coming in from the east. And we've got our calico, 100% cotton calico. This stuff is brilliant. If we want to print, we want to embroider, it is perfect for all those projects. That's coming in from Northern Ireland. It's got the beautiful calico today. But I have heard there is some heat coming. So don't worry. We've got the heat resistant table detector. That will save us from burning. I know Joe gets his iron out, uses the iron. This will not burn your table. This is perfect, Alex. So we need to use this. And that sunshine is coming in from the north at the moment. So we're getting a little bit of sun. They are getting <laughs> sun today, which is great. But I have heard it's a little bit chilly on the east coast there. So we've got our pre-shrunk interlining. This is pre-washed, 100% cotton. We don't have to wash it. All our quilting projects, that's coming in from the east. And then on the west, it's not as cold, but still got a bit of a breeze coming in there. So we've got the deluxe interlining, 100% cotton. This works for our quilting projects. All you patchworkers and quilters you will love that then the bonded interlining lovely stitch the dog love him uh -huh. so well done joe with stitch but that bonded interlining is perfect we've got the finished side and then we've got the fluffy side bunting perfect for that and the bunting is definitely definitely down in sussex there so we're making our bunting we've then got the cotton lining again this is great i have to say this two meters of this in the essentials range or in the bag masks right perfect for your mask it uh -huh. really is and that's coming from the northwest but breaking news once again unfortunately the highlands there is a storm coming of wadding this wadding is perfect for your stuffing stitch the dog obviously he needs plenty of this guys i'm weatherman joe i will see you all soon take care bye <laughs> oh i'm a bit starstruck of weatherman joe i really really am Whew, right. <laughs> Have a look at the essentials that we've got for you on the website. Where you're picking any two. Again, you can, um, what was I going to say, if you want two of the same thing, of course, that's not a problem for you to do that. Uh, what's Meg putting in the basket? Oh, she's popping in heat resistant table protector and the interlining she's popped in. So you're getting any two for, is that right, 16.98? lovely stuff um right then uh, you can of course check out on the website or go to the phone lines so just don't know where that came from um <laughs> we're going to recap the stash bag then uh, so we have got the summer option oh we don't it's gone <laughs> i was getting all ahead of myself Right, our, our blue is limited. Uh, so in here, that will look, I love the change, like it's changing colour it's almost. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so it's almost got a denim and a red running through it as yeah. well. Yeah, really nice. Very posh. Uh, speaking of denim, that's in there. Uh, we've got some cotton, the soft cotton. 
and more cotton and then cotton poplin so you've got a mixture here of half meters and fat quarters and you're also getting these um, scissors no the zip <laughs> I don't know where that came from I have no idea no idea um, and it does have the the actual zip heads on there 19.99 20 pound saving under the same option item number sorry um, you've got the pink which is limited so that might be the next one to go uh, so it's super super soft and that's our velvet and then we've got the cottons look at that I love that uh, so it's pinks and purples I love that it looks really bright isn't it and then again some little cotton poplins and the purple trim I just like making that noise <laughs> it's satisfying and then the green option this is also limited and from what I understand, we cannot get any more. Uh, we've got um, the organza, couldn't think of the word. Beautiful, more of the cottons, different weight of cottons. Lovely soft cotton, that wonderful embroidered silk. Ooh. Uh, you get a leather square in green. You're also getting your green trim and your zip, lovely. Okay, um, 19.99. You've got a 20 pound saving. 133.874 is the item number. Whew. Our zips are coming up next. There we go. I love the way they've been displayed. You can choose any five on your pick and mix. You've got the terracotta, the navy, the wine, the rouge, and the chocolate uh, 11.99 609.619 is the item number Meg's asking me what color I would go for well because of the things that I like to wear um, I um, yeah, <laughs> the, yeah obvious the rouge and I might do I might do two rouge one wine and two navy on my pick and mix they're, they're my colors because they're from the same no that uh, two two rouge two wine one navy no the other way around sorry one wine two navy i'm getting myself all befuddled now <laughs> i've not been on the wine no right 11.99 item number is 609619 right i'll stitch the dog he is on extended delivery uh, he did sell out, uh, so he's being dispatched from the 24th, I think, 24th of August. And again, you'll get your instructions. Uh, the only thing you need to add is literally your own material. And you've got enough to make four of these fabulous stitches. Love it. He's 9.99. Item number is 703062. So he's a lovely little project for all the family to do. Um, if you want to stock up on your essentials, we've got the variety bag. And here it is. Nine fat quarters, uh, hessian, fuser web, heat resistant, uh, bonded interlining, pre-shrunk interlining, PVC, calico, all sorts. 19.99, Okay, and now I'm going to hand back to you, Joe. Thanks, Alex. You're welcome. I have to say, that weatherman, Joe. I know. What a star. What a star. <laughs> I'm redundant. That's it. I'm gone. <laughs> no, it's a pleasure to see, see him. So. Yes. Very nice chat. So <laughs> what we were saying with the Stitch the Dog kit, so we will show the next components there, but the only thing you have to add into there is obviously your cotton. So it is a lightweight cotton that we're using, which is in the variety bag, which I've got a selection here to show you. So the variety bag obviously comes in a bag, Alex, because we do like bags. Yeah. There's a few of these around Hochander, I think. There is. <laughs> so, and in there you get a mixture. You get ten. You're not, you won't get all of these. Okay, this is a variety to give you an idea. But what I will do, I will make sure that there's ten different fabrics in your bag. And I will throw in a couple of spots in there. And maybe one plain as well. So you've got a good variety. But you can see the type in there. I mean, lovely. Look at these. You've got the seasidey ones there. You've got some florals there that obviously I've been using, this real vintage floral. I'm loving this. The old bicycles. Yeah. And the little vintage labels. 
you've got so much in there. So this gives you a, a good idea of the types of fabrics that you'll get in this bag. And we put a great saving on it today because you get 10 in there. So it is lovely. And it is that element that I stay with a lot of my bags, uh -huh. Alex, that when you get it at home, it's nice sometimes not to know exactly what you'll get it. Yeah, Because like you Christmas. might get that, that, that. So it is like Christmas. Yeah. It is that gift. It's my button jar experience that I always say uh -huh. that as a child going around fairs and things with my mum and if she found a little button jar she wouldn't look at it until she got home so she'd have mm. a little look then so uh, that's the concept there so if we add that to our stitch kit yep. then we've got everything that we need to be making our stitch the dogs and obviously there's f enough to make four in your kit so what we're going to do now is concentrate a little bit on his head to give you a little more idea of what we're doing here oh obviously, joe sorry to interrupt they got stitch has now gone limited on oh. extended delivery poor stitch but we can keep going. <laughs> so we cut out the head earlier and I also cut out the spotty side. So I've got both sides different there. And on the template there of the head, you'll see that the muzzle sides are his, around his mouth area is a slightly different section, which what I've done here is cut in the fuser web. So I know Weatherman Joe is explaining about the fuser web. It is really sticky. So if we're going to stick fabric to fabric, fabric to card, fabric to wood, this is the key. This is a great product. It really is. So I'm going to get my plain lining that's in the kit, which is a little piece there, and we're going to iron into the corner so I don't waste any. My muzzle for my little stitch, the dog. Okay, get some heat on there. Before I peel it off, what I'm going to then do is cut that out with my fabric scissors. Indeed. And not my paper scissors. So we're going to cut that round. Gives us a nice little template then to cut round without it moving around. So it's a good way of doing it. I mean, there's no right or wrong way. The little instructions are just a guideline to give you an idea. Okay, so we'll cut that all the way around there. Oh, our stitch is technically sold out. Thank technically. you very much. Yeah. Bless him. But we're all right because <laughs> you're using the fat quarter. So. so straight away, we've got our fine, uh, plain line in there. We're going to take off the backing. Again, we should be left with a crispy piece of paper, he says, the fiddly bit. There we go. So a crunchy piece of paper. And we've got a bottom of Stitch's head. So we're going to iron that on like so. Okay. And I've also then got prepared his little nose that we're going to do. So his little nose is here that I've cut out. And again with my fuser web, very, very simple. We're going to iron those together. There we go. Mm -hmm. It's great because we ha actually haven't done any sewing yet. So we can put all the components, we can make all the components up, and then when we get to it, we do the sewing element at the end. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to again pull off the back of that, try and create his little face so we can see. What we must remember when we start to do this, that we do it in the stages because we want to put the button eyes on before we start filling it of full of stuff yeah okay so that does show you in the guide there so i'm going to iron his little nose on there and then we're going to start it's starting to take shape so we can start to see this taking shape i'm going to grab a little button there two little buttons and we can see now i'm going to sew these on you'll get your variety of button in the kit so you will get eight there will be a variety of colors i quite like having two different buttons i think it's quite quirky because he is fun, Stitch the Dog. So all I'm going to do is very quickly sew one of these buttons on. Again, it's the first sewing element we've done before we attach it all together. So we must put our buttons on before we uh, fill it all up because it is quite tricky, Rouse. Okay, just very quickly going to pop that on there just to show you the look that we've got. There we go. Nice, nice and easy. Very simple. Yeah. If I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to snip that off at the back. Okay, so straight away we can see his little eye, one-eyed stitch at the moment. Okay, and he's ready then, once we've done that next button, that we can have a look at stitching these two sides together. And all I've done is a literally, it can be as rough as it is, it is here, because that's the, the look of stitch. So yeah. if we bring this head in here, we've got Stitch's head. You can see here starting to take shape. And obviously, the more we stitch around, he starts to create his shape as well. And what I've done here is a lovely little mouse. We could use a little marker pen if we wanted to. Yeah. But I've actually used just a little running stitch in a different coloured thread that we've all got in our stash at home. I've used the same buttons here, but I quite like using different buttons. So I think the pink one <laughs> would look quite good, which is like patch. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. I like that. And then we've got our little ears that we sew on the back. 
Now it's ready for the stuffing. So the stuffing is very, very dense. When we're using it, I always try to find that when I start, I need to get a pencil. So I'll get a little pencil just to oh. shove it right into the okay, corners yeah. and get in there. So a little hint there just to get it right in, okay, when we've stitched that head around. And it is fun, and you will start then to see its little shape. So I push the first bit in. Don't scrimp on the wadding. You know, there's plenty there. Yeah. So literally just push it in so it's nice and tight on his head. A little bit more at the top. Okay, obviously I don't want to push my pencil too hard and make a hole in lovely little stitch. Okay, a little bit more in there. Love this. This is where I concentrate and I'm sticking my tongue uh, out. I do that all the time, like when I'm colouring <laughs> I'm not really stuff. sticking my tongue out, but yeah. I am concentrating. That's all right. <laughs> well, I tell you what, if you want to go for those fat quarters, uh, you're getting 10 in total, £24.99 with a £10 saving. Item number is 705651. There Lovely. we go. So you can see straight away his lovely little head. <laughs> he's great, isn't he? He's cute. So his components there. And the same process is mm -hmm. with the legs as well. So with the legs here, you can see them in a flat formation there. And all the little pieces that we put on so, for example, the legs there, we're fusing these on before we stitch around the outside. Yeah. And then we've got our three components. So we've got our front legs and our back legs. So whichever way you want them round. I've, <laughs> I've actually put, obviously, the two fabrics, but we could do one fabric. We don't have to use two. And they all come together and then our head together as well. What we do first is we sew our legs together first. So I'm literally going to, if we've got time to do that, just going to pop a little stitch in there just to show you. Yep. Okay, through the back there as well. And like I said, it is one of those, you use so little fabric, but you create something quite special. Mm. And I'm just enjoying making little kits at the yeah. moment as well. So it's really nice. Something a little bit different to use and with you your fabrics. And you can do fabrics. it with the kids, like we said. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. definitely. So I'm going to pop one straight through there. Okay. And as that needle comes through, move that out of the way. So our legs are together. We're going to grab our little head. I'm going to pop him on there. Obviously, I'm doing it quite rushed. So I would spend a little bit more time at home. I'm going to pop that in there just to hold him in place for you. So you can have a little look at him. <laughs> Here he goes with his bobbly head. Okay, I'm going to put another little stitch at the back. There we go. Just to hold him in place so you can have a little look. And straight away you can start seeing, obviously when I'll finish this one off tonight, and I'll post a little picture of him all finished, but there's our lovely little green and pink vintage floral stitch. Yay, he's gorgeous. He's Thank beautiful, you, isn't Joe. he? I love him. Love him. Lovely. <laughs> Just for the last couple of minutes then, uh, well, no, hardly any time, um, you've got your different options here. We've had two sellouts. Uh, these might go as well after the hour because they're all limited stock. You have got your blue, lovely blue option. You'll get um, lots of um, half metres of different fabrics and you've also got some fat quarters. And in the blue option, you'll get the zip. Did you say that's like two metres on there? Two metres on there. Yeah, one. nice. Uh, then we've got our pinky option, where this is where you'll get that lovely velvet. It is stunning. You've got cottons in here, different types of cottons, cotton poplin, uh, and then you've also got the fabulous purple trim. Love that. And then in the green option, you've got organzas. Again, different weights of cottons. Uh, there's that lovely soft cotton, uh, what have we got, embroidered silk, leather, zips and trim. 19.99 with a £20 saving. Each one is limited, 133874. Thank you very much, Joe. Thank you, Alex. Oh, and, and thanks, thanks, Weatherman Joe. Thanks, Weatherman Joe. He's I just, think he's gone, isn't he? No, uh, well, no, he's just... Signing autographs. He's signing autographs, yeah. that's what he's doing, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Weatherman Joe has just driven off in his Porsche. Right, so we'll see you again, Joe. Take care. See Bye. you soon. Next up, we, we are with, put my teeth back in, our Leone for the Happy Planner One Day Special. Uh, and then we've got Kathy and Mel for Pink Ink Designs. And following that, Doodle Craft Designs. Hello, everyone. I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hachanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hachanda Freedom, you could be saving on your deliveries every month? 
For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 10,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. It's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that are, give you a nice discount off, sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it, or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds, it doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888. So, don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and a members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. Hi, I'm Joe from The Mill Shop Online. Welcome to The Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss the Mill Shop Online shows on Hotanda. Dreaming of a crafty world, Dorothy and Wasabi slumber. Hachanda's fifth birthday will be a time of wonder. Zuri, LeBlanche and Orland create. Wow and Rowan Dean, it's going to be great. Sentimentally yours, Clarity and John next door. Pink Frog and Daisy Chain, who could ask for more? We'll credit your account with £5 to spend. Seven days of celebrations, the fun will never end. One day specials with all your favourite guests. All at a socially respectful distance from the Wicked Witch of the Haley West. From fabric to paper, to glitter and pencils, pens and stamps, inks and stencils. Join us in August. Nowhere will be grander. Happy fifth birthday. There's no place like a chander. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand drawn by me, they're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture of this shows on Achanda. Hello and welcome. <laughs> Did that come quite early? We're going happy planner really quite loud. Yes, thank you. 
Um, now, this is um, your one day special. It is the Happy Planner and we love it. Um, I mean, the cool, the fun, the fantastic to do, the fantastic to actually get things planned, get them all written down, put all your lists, all the appointments, all the stuff that you've got lined up, even the boring bits, the boring bits like the ironing, which I still haven't done, like the, the you know, all the shopping, like have you drunk enough water, all that stuff, but actually it's your checklist, it's your prompts, it is your reminders, but making it fun and making it crazy creative that's what we're talking about with the happy planet now you one day special is fabulous because you're buying two of these and you're getting one for free yay um they should be 19 pounds 99 pence each but you're getting 20 pounds off the price so yep yeah, you are essentially getting one for free and the choice is yours that's a lovely thing about this we haven't decided which ones you should be getting we haven't put these into um into to um the the groups for you you choose that bit now what we're going to do in this hour we're having a quick scooch around so you can see the quick scooch but then when i go over to demonstration area we'll show you in a little bit more detail so basically the choice is yours you've got seasonal in there you've got productivity which is fabulous you've got flowers the favorite has definitely been sassy because that's ace Everybody needs a cheeky bit of sassy and nearly 70% of the stock has gone and we've had good stock levels of all of these so almost 70% of the stock has gone on sassy. I will be showing you in a bit more detail. If there's one you want to see, okay, this is a live show. So maybe if there's one you want to see, maybe there's one you want me to use because obviously I can, I can use any of these. Whoop, whoop. Um, so please email in and I'll have a little play. I mean, I'll definitely do that. Oh, well, you want me to use some? Yes, yes, all right. Um, okay, if you do want to go for these, um, you're saving £20. £39.97 pence is your price. You've got your two flexes. The flex is basically paying for one. Your second flex is paying for the other. The other one, no third flex, because it's free. 622142, that's your item number. Um, okay, now that's your one-day special, which we will be looking at in more detail. But we've then got the amazing planner, babe. Now, funnily enough, it's this one I've been using in a lot of my demonstrations. Because, okay, it's about planning, but you don't need a specific planner to plan. This is the thing. You can use one of your notebooks to become a planner. Um, and that's the lovely thing about the whole system. Everything is so interchangeable. Now, with this collection, you're actually getting this for free. You're saving £20. Um, that should be a tenner. You're getting it for free i love it it's got the tabs as usual it's got the laminator cover they all operate on a disc system which allows them to be fully um changeable and customizable and you've got your dots in there so really really nice notebook to start you out if you do want to go for that individually you have still got that option and the details are there at the bottom 80 percent of the stock has gone however individual if it's in the bundle you're not paying for it the other thing you're not paying for is the other little notebook. And this is one of your uh, your beautiful slim notebooks, which is gorgeous. Your skinny one, a little skinny one. Um, and again, you've got your, your lamination. You've got the discs to make it um, to make it personable. And then, of course, you've got your, um, your pages to start going for it. And I, as ever, with the system, you can take pages out of here, put them in there. Do you know what I mean? So again, you can really mix and match them. I know that's uh, what you've done, isn't it, our Molly? You've taken pages out of something like that, and yeah, Molly's got pages out of everything. Hers is fabulous. Um, I love Molly's because it's like, oh, I like that. Put it in my planner. And she wanted it today. I've got it on my, my desk, our Molly's, and she was like, I missed it. I had something to write in my planner. I didn't have my planner. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, especially, I think it's Molly and Katie particularly are like, oh, oh, <laughs> I've not got my planner. If I leave mine at work by mistake, it's horrible. It's like, <gasps> I've left, yeah, I have nipped in before today to work just to pick up my planners. We've all got, oh. We're, we're in it, we're in it, we've got it. And then you've got in here, you've got your refill pages. <clears throat> These will fit in any of your classic. So classic size, obviously they'll fit in there, but they'll fit in your regular classic planners. You've then got in here, now this is fabulous, your extra little bundle. Now what you're getting in here, you're getting, you've 
beautiful little um, sticky notes and they're so cool and obviously they've been designed so they will fit in your planner. You've got um, the little planner accessories here so you've got your little tabs, you've got extra stickers, you've got extra refill pages which is so handy and you've then got two of these wonderful double sided pocket pages. Um, I really like them as well, they're brilliant for, for keeping all your, your little bits and bobs that you don't want to punch and put in your actual planner so really nice set is that one again available individually if you wish but uh, all fantastic in this planner and this bundle you've then got your stickers worth 20 pounds remember so maybe it's this bit that you're getting for free um, and you've got loads of gorgeous stickers beautiful bright you've got all sorts in there accents you've got all your your little prompts you've got dinner how can i be on? oh it's 12 o'clock that's why i can be hungry um so really really cool i love it a sticker that reminds me i'm hungry what is that about? Um, you've then got one of my favourite things. I just adore these, the actual little envelopes. So they'll go in your planners, they'll go in your, your classic size, but actually it'll just it'll fit in your skinny as well, well that one. Um, and these are proper pockets. So you can pop your, your goodies in there, your, you know, all your, your secrets. Um, maybe it's photographs that you don't want to punch. Maybe it's tickets. Maybe it's just your essentials, you know. Could be anything, literally anything that you put in there. But I absolutely adore those. And then you've got, there's more, last bit. You've then got um, your wonderful little tabs again. So these are workers page dividers, but then you've got the little tabs on the top. Um, they're fabulous and you're getting three of those. Now, if you do want those, have we got those still on their own? No, I think they've gone. Okay, so the big kit, over 60% of the stock has gone. If you do want to get hold of that, I love that one. And again, £20 saving, 524238. Now, these are coming from America, so we have got a delayed dispatch. They're going to be sent out for you on the 25th of August. However, you're not paying those. I love this. This is when Leona needs heels. Um, you're not paying American postage prices. At all. Um, because you're paying our postage prices, which means if you're a Freedom member, you're not paying any postage. And I know Happy Planner people, uh, email in how much have you paid in postage when you've bought your stuff from the States. I would love to know. See who's paid the most in postage. Obviously, you know, not for any reason other than I'm nosy. Um, right, next, these are a deal. And these have been really, really busy. Um, these are your wraparounds. They do make your planners look posh, quite frankly. They protect them, but they're just they're beautiful. Now, what do I reckon the most popular is? I'd, I'd go for, well, the ones I go for, yeah, yellow or the lime green, has the rose gold been the most popular? Have they? Yes, you guys. Um, yeah, they're my favourite, favourite, because they're so bright and fabulous. So, you've also got, I'll show you a few of them anyway. So, you've got, for instance, this is the small. So, these are your, your little small ones and minis. So, you've got different ones. They'll have different words on the front. Um, and, of course, you've got your different insides, if you will. So, when you open them up, that's just to help protect them. They've all got pockets. So, you've got loads of room in there. They've got your little thing for your pen as well. It's really, really nice. Really nice. So, that's for your minis, only $9.99. And you've then got your classic size, and I'll show you the white this time. This is the one that our Molly wants. Um, oh, 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 poem. So this is lovely. Have a look in here. So you've got the white, and it is embossed. You've got dots on there. Really posh, this one. And then when you open it up, I wonder if Paula's got this one. Uh, when you open it up, it's got that beautiful rose gold in there, which is gorgeous, very classy indeed is that one. So that's your classic size. Um, and then we have got for you the big size, so the large. And I'll show you the black this time. Because the black, look, inside the black. And I love it that when you look inside, You've got uh, different colours and different prints. Doesn't that look fabulous? I absolutely adore these. They're so posh. Um, okay, and they're only 9 99 
posh but not posh prices quite frankly um which we like we like a, a good bargain now if you do want to get hold of one of them highly recommend them obviously have a look on the website you'll see the drop down bit and that's where you're going to be able to find these uh 264800 so we're going to show you a website so you have a look there's your happy life see that bright yellow is absolutely a bright bright happy life isn't it so you go down you go on your your little options like so flick down those options and obviously then you can see what size you want what color you want etc etc um, so that's how you buy them um, of course with these you have got that extended delivery so do remember about that uh, but it's worth it I mean especially for the postage that you're paying it's absolutely worth it if you've got any questions studio at tachanda.com if you would love to send photos of your fantastic layouts I would love to be nosy so please do that um, okay so so farmhouse let me see have I got farmhouse on here if not I might have to yep farmhouse is one I'm missing um, so if I could have farmhouse that would be super who wants to have a look at farmhouse lovely Debbie we'll show you that one Debbie in just one second's time um, in the meantime I'll start showing you travel okay so I'm just going to whip through a few of these and I'll just keep putting them in and I'll tell you what I'm doing so this is a lovely travel um, so with travel you have got loads of beautiful stickers here see it's things like always take the scenic route you're exactly Exactly where you need to be so although it says travel there are things that they not necessarily have to be travel like rest and relax that's not having to be travel so many av adventures I love that because your adventure it could be anything couldn't it it doesn't necessarily mean you have to be going flying off abroad um, some really beautiful your vacation let's get lost you've got loads of little accents there as well then your itinerary the plan so obviously again this is lovely for anywhere I like these as well how's the weather and it's really nice to look back on isn't it you know when it's your holiday one how was the weather and stuff I just think that is quite fabulous I like this as well your, you know, your, um, your first month, second month. I think that's really quite cool, again, for all your planning. So that's your... Oh, look at them. There's so many cool ones in that one. And this one, I love that page. Look at the little campus, the little caravans at the bottom. Too cute. So that's your travel one. Um, we have got the farmhouse. So the farmhouse for our Debbie. Um, so this is really pretty as well. Um, so... I don't need an inspirational quote, I need coffee. <laughs> I like that. Some days an inspirational quote doesn't cut it. Um, so you've got all sorts in this one, beautiful colour palettes in this one. So things like today's focus, top priority, your to-do list, um, collect beautiful moments, which actually your planner books, they're about that as well, aren't they? Um, do your thing. I love these. Because obviously in here you can put your little notes in there as well, which is really, really pretty. And these are beautiful. I love the florals. And of course you've got um, you've got some animals, and then you've also got um, gorgeous arrows and things. So really pretty. Look at that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? That watercolor effect is lovely. And the foiled ones. Now I don't know if you can tell they're foiled, but they've got a beautiful rose gold foiling on, and they're a clear stickers so they look really really pretty so that one for you Debbie that's your gorgeous farmhouse the next one choose happy so this one really beautiful again bright fantastically happy as the name suggests I love these the little bunting I just think they're fabulous and it says weekend so celebrating live big happiness is an inside job I like that true story um you've got lazy days you've got this you've got i love the block color as well because they're brilliant for for layering um and then you've got i'm in love with today get them tiger that's fabulous isn't it get them tiger and then of course you've got more beautiful flowers and some are foiled you can see the foil in there as well so that is your 
choose happy next one and again email and if there's one you want to see i won't show them your own oh, you can tell i've been using that one with a bit of washing um this is my productivity this one is um the one we've been sharing <laughs> so you will find that this one is quite empty because this is off our desk so you've got all sorts in here you saw um times meeting times in there I really like these where it's broken up into literally the hours, which is fabulous. You've got priority, you've got focus. And actually, yeah, I mean, we've all had this to share. And when you look at it, there's so many left. They do go a long way to these stickers. And there's a group of us now sharing. And, but I suppose we have got quite a lot of choice. Um, and I love productivity. I've used quite a lot of that, you know. Um, next. So our favourites, sassy. Sassy. So, ugh. <laughs> See, just, just that in itself, ugh. Um, what's this one? Um, don't give up on your dreams, keep sleeping. <laughs> um, as, as long as everything is exactly the way I want it, I can be totally flexible. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Hold on, I've got to overthink about it. How many people is that? Yeah, absolutely. My life is feeling kind of like a test I forgot to study for. <laughs> Today's been cancelled. Um, kicked butt today. Cancelled, blah, blah, blah. Um, I love that one. Sassy is absolutely my favourite. Three quarters of the stock has gone. Don't know if that'll find it into the share box. I promise it will. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> oh, mom. <laughs> Tell your daughter. Um, okay, so we have got now the florals. So you've got the beautiful florals. You've got, and these, this is absolutely a favourite. I know I've said it every time, but in fact, this is absolutely going on to my use it book um, section. I just think that is really nice. I mean, look at that. Isn't that pretty? And just the leaves, they're so pretty. Really like the florals. I'm going to use the florals, so that's going there. Let's use florals. Let's use sassa. And then, now, Planner Basics. This is designed for your mini. As I was saying, this is fabulous because, look, you've got six months' worth of numbers. See, I think that is really good. So it means you can take your notebook and make it into your planner, diary, whatever, calendar. And then you've got... Sigh. <laughs> uh, plans for today, me time, urgent, um, laundry. So this is when it's your washing days, pay your bills, um, eat lots of food. Yay. Um, such an amazing weekend. Think happy. Um, uh, so loads and loads of little stickers. But of course, it's up to you. I mean, they don't have to be for your minis. These will definitely fit in your others as well. Hanging out with friends. And I like all your little emojis. There's loads of little emoji stickers as well. I like that. I like that they're bringing sort of your, your everyday into your, you know, into your stickers and into your journals. Um, okay, colour story. And I know this one has been popular as well. So you've got all sorts. I love the, the lemon one. I think that is so pretty. And then the beautiful bag. I think that is really, really gorgeous. Um, there's all sorts in here, actually. I think it's really busy. Uh, really busy. Really pretty. It's because I read busy then. <laughs> oh, it's busy. Oh, look at the camper van. And look at that, your little rain mac. There's so many really cute stickers in here, isn't there? Oh, is that your rain mac? What colour is yours? <laughs> there you go, our M's. Basically, a lot of these stickers are designed just for Emily. <laughs> There's Emily's in one of the other stickers, so Rain Max in here. Um, you've got all sorts in this one. So there is, I do believe it's time for another adventure. Absolutely. Um, you're a limited edition. See, there's things in here that you'll use for card making. You know, they're not just for your beautiful planners. You'll definitely use them for other things as well. That is gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Um, only 18 minutes in. Whoop, whoop. Only a few more to show. Uh, this one's one of my faves, journaling doodles. It's really cool. So you've got your coffee, you've got your beautiful foiled uh, florals. Love them. Your gorgeous typewriter, your reading list, which is gorgeous. You've also got all your little um, 
your little rosettes, of course. This one's pretty because you've got your little phones with your, your texting, your aeroplanes, stickers for your crafters, gorgeous little borders. So you can be filling those in. You know, and I think they're quite inspirational because you'll be doing your own doodles then. You've got foil doodles as well in here. Really, really pretty. Love the doodles one. Nearly there. Household. I know there's a probably couple I won't be showing you because I haven't got them in my pile. But, um, again, if there's anything you want me to show you, just say, oh, look at these. So bath time. So it might be, it might be Sunday bath time for kids. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, the dog. Yeah, shower time. Sunday shower time for kids. Or, you know, Sunday, just spray the kids down. <laughs> Uh, however, however you wash. <laughs> I quite like that. That makes me laugh. Uh, choose your way of washing. Um, there's wheelie bin day. So it's all those prompts. You know, the prompts that are buy toilet roll. <laughs> that should be my prompt for today. It's on my list. Um, so again, there's loads in here. Mow the lawn, you know, do your shopping. So there's a, it's a proper chore one is this one, but it's fun again. You know, it's really cool because it looks nice. Do your meal plan. Again, these don't have to be. I love this one. So you've got wipe down your cabinets, love. Spot clean your walls. This this is kind of the, you know, all the jobs that you absolutely avoid. Do you know what I mean? So it's like flipping the mattress. How many times do you think, oh, I need to do that? You know, wash the car. That'll ne that will be in here forever with me. <laughs> it's okay. We have um, strong, every now and again, it, what, it uh, rains. <laughs> um, clean your windows. Oh, moving on. Um, so weekly menu i love that again all about your planning um laws bills due that's really handy because you might be doing a a tracker of all your ins and outs of your monies um credit card you oh i need that one i always forget that do you find now a lot of them don't send you the bills by post you miss all your payments oh it's really bad isn't it i mean the gas people they write so well they email me and i forget <laughs> If I don't get paper, it don't happen in my head. Um, okay, what's for dinner? And I love this. Again, you might be meal planning. You might be planning all your bills. This is mum one. Um, again, you've got lots and lots of little prompts in here. Lots and lots of little things that you're reminding, you know, like laundry, the boring stuff. Pick up RX. What's RX? Oh, yeah, pick up RX. I don't know. Well, I'm going to have to Google, um, look on, uh, yeah, when she's on it. She's on it. Date night, movie night. Huh? Oh, it's a prescription. Oh, it's your prescription. Oh, fancy that. Um, and then so dang tired like that. It's so dang tired. Mum for your coffee, coffee, coffee. Um, I'd really, yeah, there's loads in this one. Packing list. So there's all sorts. All about family, all about doing stuff and all your reminders. Um, seasonal. This is the last one I'm going to show you for now. And this is lovely. And of course, there is something for all different seasons. You've got something for sunshine. You've got something for those happy bright days. You've also, of course, got something for winter and showers. Um, it really does cover all seasons in there. And more besides, to be honest, it's not literally just about seasons. There's things you can use for anything. Really, really, I love the autumn pages. Really, really beautiful. Oh, the Christmas pages. Um, okay, it is your choice. So you've got 14 of these to choose from. They're all quite fabulous. Um, you choose three of those. You're paying for two. One is absolutely free right shall we have a little play so 23 minutes in let me show you one first of all let me show you a couple of the gorgeous the books that we've got so this one um let me just open this up oh lovely so it's christine who works here it's a lovely daughter who's been filling this in miller and look i really like what she's been doing look at that how fabulous is that? See, she's really, I love it in my head. Are you getting planner envy? <laughs> this is lovely. So she's been on her rolls. They've been on the rolls. So they went um, on the beach. They went in the camper van. 
So they've got all the... And I love this because she hasn't done tons and tons of writing, but the stickers are... Yeah, she's only 15. Um, and the stickers are showing because she's got her look, results day coming up. Uh -uh. Results day. Um, and I love it. So when Christine said, can I, can I have your stickers? She was like, but mum, there's personal stuff in here. <laughs> I love that. She didn't really want to give it. And it's like, it, I love it. I don't know where she's in in the personal stuff because we really look through for it. We're only joking. We're only joking. We didn't. But isn't that lovely? Really, really like that because it's just full of colour. And she's loved this. It's the kind of thing that her mum hasn't had to say, have you done that yet? You know what I mean? Have you have you filled that in? She's literally got this and she's been she's been enjoying the process. And I just love how colourful and fabulous it looks. Doesn't it look good? And she's obviously used everything. You know, she's using all her pockets. Fabulous, isn't it? Shall I show you another one? Show you another one. Um, oh, look, our lovely moles. So, our lovely Molly. Now, this is another thing. Now, so this is one of the, the notebooks that we've had on, the smaller notebooks. And you see, you don't need to. Our Moll has used them for, um, for photos. So, obviously, with things like this, you don't, it's up to you how you use them when this is all over. It's up to you how you use them and all your stickers, completely up to you. You don't need to use them in your planner, which I think is fabulous. Let me show you one more because then in last hour I can show you the last few and I do believe this is our Lottie's so it's our Lottie's now Lottie is definitely she's been a planner uh, girl for years as our lots and actually um, Lottie has, has definitely been one of those who's been like, um, you know, you should do this, you should do this. I think, I think this is Lottie's um, to, to show different layouts because this hasn't got any writing in. So I think oh, Lottie's kept the one that she uses for writing at home so we can't see all the plans. <laughs> um, but I love this. Look at that page. Doesn't it look fabulous? And I really, really like, look, and she's obviously used some of the stamps as well, which look beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I think this is Lottie's for TV one. I think Lottie's real one is possibly at home. Because <laughs> that one, no rice in that. So that one just looks all pristine and beautiful. I really like it, though. Again, really maximising those stickers. Um, OK, I better do some crafting, hadn't I? Um, if you do want anything, check your baskets out right okay let me find mine oh 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 right i'm actually going to use my proper planner so i've got so now i've got my proper planner my day-to-day -day planner i've got my off work planner which doesn't get as much attention and then i've got my notebook which is actually now going to be my proper playing one um so when in october when we get the new planners i'm going to get the when is it Oh, September. Yeah, of course. September. When we get the next one day special, that's when I'm going to get my big one. <laughs> I mean, I'm planning it. OK, so that was my last page. I'm going to do this page. So I've already started stamping in it. Random stamp. Random. Um, do I want to... Yeah, do this one, Leonie. Don't move on. Um, remember, we have got... When you're checking out your baskets, it is going to say to you, would you like some of these? And one of the things it offers you to buy obviously um is your sticker planning guide now these are really handy you've got two different sizes you've got the classic size that'll fit in here and then of course you've got the small size which will fit in your smaller size oh look this is hannah's sorry i'm off again look i love hannah's sorry i've got i'm off yeah they've got the van right so they've bought that i love it because they've bought the van and look they're doing through names van gogh See what she's done there. Vanny DeVito, Jean-Claude Van Damme. And they, so this we were planning which van they went for the really big one. And then, see, she's brilliant because, look, she's, she does all her own drawings. Absolutely fabulous. And they put the photos in. Look at the size of the van compared to the humans. I know, they are the cutest couple in the world. I mean, it is ridiculous. Uh, but isn't that sweet? And then, obviously, this is all the plans for the van, which is brilliant. I mean, they have been seriously on it with the van. Really like that. Isn't it nice? Isn't it nice? And it's lovely seeing how it's coming on as well. They've been actually drilling, like, sewing holes in the side to put windows in. They've been fitting their own windows. Oh, those kids. Um, so what we've got, so this is um, beautiful. So this is um, how to design your pages. So what this will do will help you 
I'll not help you, but rather than going straight in with your stickers, if you're going, oh, I'm not sure, not sure, what these do, you pop it in, and I'm not going to pop mine in. Oh, go on, Leona. So you pop it in, like so. And, of course, the, the whole system allows you to do this. It, all your pages come out, go back in again. Um, so you can pop those in and this allows you to plan your page actually on the page which I really really like now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna mix it up because if I just use my sassy one your sassy one has got loads and loads of sassy sentiments so I need that to sit alongside something else because that's brilliant but it's my sentiments so actually what I'm gonna go for is I'm gonna pick a random I'm not going to look, okay, and just pick a random. And what have I got? So I've got my mini. Okay, perfect. So let's have a little see. So I'm going to go in with my mini. So what this this um, allows you to do as well is actually find some of the elements that you love and pop them in there. So what month am I on? Actually, August. Okay, so that's fine. So let's have a little see. I want some big ones. So I like these big ones, first of all. What have we got in here? Okay, so we're going to have it today. So let's... Oh, I'm being a bit thingy there, ripping it. Okay, so I like my today. Oh, I should have gone on my other side, really. Hmm, let's put him here, right there. Okay, and then... So that, I like that because that's given me plenty of space to write in. I've got my errands and I like mixing up the colours, you know, because then it makes it all bright and, and cheerful and quite fabulous. So you've got your errands there, which I love. Um, the plan. So we've got that. So we've got the little old the plan. So that's going to go there. Can you see how it all starts to come together really, really quickly? It is up to you how you, um, to, Oh, what shall we go? No, not today. It's going to be awesome. But you can, like these ones, like today's going to be awesome. So you can put that so it actually runs down your page. And I quite like that. I quite like I'm running down the actual centre of it and breaking it up. I think that looks really cool. If you've got one running down there, I kind of want some running up there. And that's the lovely thing about this bit, you know, because you can move them. So if there's something you're not keen on, you can just move it. Because I quite like them cutting through each other as well. That looks quite cool, doesn't it? But look, with that one, and it'll even peel off that other one. So you can really play about with it. And it's still sticking, so definitely when you're checking your baskets out, I would actually put those in. I think they're quite cool. And then we've got, um, let me have a little look, see. So we've got my to-do list. So we've got the plan. So we've got plan to do. Let's see, let's do that colour as well here. Like that. So we've got my little list like that. Now, I know what one I want. I want one of the things that's got a kind of... Um, so I can write or start writing a bit of a list. Now, I'm only working at the minute... Oh, I love the hydrate ones. I'm only working on one of them at the minute. And this is actually for the minute. But can you see how it fits? It absolutely fits. So you don't need to think, oh, I can only put that in there. It'll They'll all cross over. And I think that's a beautiful thing about the whole system. So I've got me to do. Yes, I've got my errands. So I can write all my little, you know, all my little things that I need to do. Now, if you like that, if you like the way it sits, I just want one coming up here. That's where I put my sassy one in. So let's start peeling this off. Now, I'm hoping it peels off as one like that so that means now I don't have to restick them all because look at that that's pretty cool isn't it so it's gonna go on exactly how you've planned it I've then got my little the plan because I quite like that one there so that's the plan because it's all these different plans which is beautiful. And then this one I'm going to keep here for a second because let me have a look at my Sassy. So, as I said, I'm using Planner Basics and then Sassy. So, for my Sassy, I want some up here because, <laughs> because I quite like that. Now, um, I would like to confirm that I do not care. <laughs> 
I love that. I love that. And I just think, no, I want something brighter. Oh, I like them all. Majestic as flock. <laughs> oh, oh, this is perfect. So hold on a minute. Hold on. I've got to overthink about this. That's perfect for all my plans, isn't it? So I've got all these plans. But I, before I do anything, I'm just going to do a little bit of overthinking. <laughs> before I actually action any of my plans. I love how that all flows down. And you see, I think he fits in quite well with it. I do want now another little stamp at the bottom, so I'm gonna have to dig out my stamps, put him at the bottom. But I can probably, if I do that, cause I've got a diagonal, so I'm gonna pop one of my, look. So that now, it gives me my diagonal. So I've got dark at the corner, dark there, and lots of bright goodness in the centre. And plenty of room if I want to put more stickers, or of course, if I want to start doing my writing. That's only using a couple of stickers from a couple of books. That's just using Sassy, and then our Planet Basics. I mean, in those you've got almost, well you have, you've got over 2,000 stickers just with those two books. The other one you're choosing for free. Okay, I'll carry on playing. Uh, Kev is going to give you a reminder, but uh, please check out the punch. The punch is so, so handy. You've got the pink one or you've got the black one. Um, they're brilliant. They'll fit in the, the small, the classic. They'll fit in the large one as well. So they are an absolute essential. Um, if you do want that one, that's your pink one. And as I said, we have got the black one in stock for you as well. And the details are zooming in as we speak. Zoom, just like that. Um, yeah, really hand them absolute um, must have. So please do not miss out on your punches. Right, if you do want anything, it is a chanda.com or 01733602000. Over to you, uh, Rachel. Oh, not our Kev. Uh, <laughs> do you know, if people have not seen that episode, I was going to say episode, we're on an American sitcom. If people have not seen the show where Leonie and I were talking about our Kev, because we're from Yorkshire and everybody was called Kev, our Kev. Uh, that's where the our Kev has come from, because people are thinking, why is she called Kevin? Anyway, thank you very much, our Leonie. Uh, so we have got these wonderful stickers for you, as Leonie said, on a brilliant deal, because you are picking any three that you want. We're not making the selections for you, because we don't know who you are. So you want to choose your own. And when you do pick three, in effect, you are getting one for free because you can see the saving on your screen it is nearly uh look at that nearly 60 pounds worth today uh, for just under 40 there or of course just pay 1999 no yes pay that today 1999 is your first of two flexible payments and then we will send it all out to you and you can spread that cost which is very nice indeed so the difficulty you have is choosing which three the thing is you could go for three you could go for six you could go for nine of the 12 it's 14. You could go for 12. I mean, it's up to you. Uh, you could go for the whole lot. Which ones would I go for? Well, I definitely like the sassy. I mean, come on. <laughs> come on. Uh, but there's a mammon one, a mummy one, and that's a good one because I uh, live in a house with a husband and a teenager. She's 15 this Friday. Oh. They say it's getting better. It's getting worse. <laughs> so I keep waiting for like 22, um, a few more years to go. So we've got uh, so we've got the mummy one and I like the sassy one. Um, and you know, I like the seasons. I do like the seasons. You see, I'm a bit of a Halloween fan and I know the Americans are massively into it. And on the seasonal one, you have got, there you go at the end, you have got the old Halloweens. But look, you've got the summer, you've got Christmas, you've got everything there. And I think the thing is, as we go through the year, well, when it's a normal year, we do have celebrations. We do celebrate things and we do get friends over and we do things. It's all going to happen next year, people. It's all going to happen. So um, I think I quite like the seasonal ones. But then again, I like them all. I love the quotes, you see. The gold star quotes are fantastic because they are there to, to motivate you and keep you going and make you smile at the same time there. Um, so they are fabulous. What I will say about these as well is, as you've seen from what Leonie was showing you, they are absolutely jam-packed. I mean, you are talking about thousands of stickers here, not hundreds, thousands of stickers, and all really well designed, really beautifully designed. So if you want to get um, any three, 
of your choosing and get one for free. All you have to do is use that item number, 622142, and you could just pay 19.99 today, get them all home and start playing. And as we were saying, it doesn't have to be for your planner. You could be using these in your card making, using them in your scrapbooking. You know, you can just use them how you wish. Great for the kids as well to play about with. Lovely, that is that one. Let's move on to our next collection here now. So if you are wanting to start to journal, if you're starting to want to make notes and lists and kind of really start playing and using all the interactive elements, you have got a lovely, lovely bundle here. Uh, let's start at the top, actually, first of all. So as you can see here, you have got these sort of notelets here. So, you know, once again, um, if you are using these in your planner folders, they will work with all sizes. That's the genius of these goodies. They do work with the smaller through to the larger planners because of how the holes are. So you can attach those in there. This is a wonderful, wonderful planner here. And this is your notebook here. So once again, you've got your dividers. I just love... The thing is, we're very tactile, aren't we? And it's it's all so tactile. It's like you've got the different, you've got, you know, matte lamination in with your sort of matte cards um, and glossy bits, and then you've got your papers. And this just makes me, it's colour, it makes me want to start writing in there. It makes me want to start planning. And, you know, if you can plan, if you can write, this could be a diary, but if you write things down and you plan or you write lists or you sort yourself out, it makes you feel so much better mentally. There is nothing, I was feeling a bit overwhelmed last week because I run my own business as well as doing this, as well as being a mother and a wife and as well as thinking about holidays and it's my daughter's birthday this week, as I said. And there's a point that I just thought, you know, you're in a whirlwind sometimes and everything's rushing around your head and you just think, I can't actually pick one thing to do because there's too much going on and it gets really really stressful and I start getting a bit overwhelmed so these are fantastic uh, ways of, of just writing down thoughts plans ideas or getting really creative and using the stickers within so you know it, it's a, it's an all-round win-win really it's a good sort of mindfulness uh, thing isn't it to do um, lovely okay what else do we get as well stickers Yes, you do get your stickers in there. Um, and uh, if we have a look at these here, what, which ones is this one? What is this one called at the top there? Planner Basics, is it? Yeah, Planner Base. So you've got all sorts, Planner Bay, brother. So you've got all sorts of things in there that you could be using. Let's have a look, actually. 1,164 pieces. My goodness me, that is a lot. Um, but as we go through here, look, you've got your little, oh, look at those. I mean, I love the colors. And, you know, you just want to peel them off and start playing. Um, but you've got, you know, things here that you can write in if you actually want to write little mini lists. I was saying that you could even use these uh, with card making where I've put little pictures in if you wanted or scrapbooking. So you could use them as frames. But, of course, you can use them as they're meant to be used in your planner. Uh, so you've got your love hearts in there. So you've got all of your planner items in there. Look, planner babe, planner babe. OK, so that's that one. Then, as we go through, what else have we got? Um, these are your dividers, of course. So look, you can put your dividers in there and separate uh, out your pages. Um, you've got your little envelope there, really clever. If you've got train tickets or concert tickets or anything that you want to keep that is, um, you know, needs to be kept in a safe place, you could put that in there. Things like a driving license, or this probably supposed to out with your driving license, but I'm always losing mine. Um, but you could put things like that into your planner and keep it nice and safe. And then once again, you have got more of this little pouches note the holes they do fit in beautifully everything just slots in there's no you know nothing's gonna get you know when you just have paper and things you can get damaged no this is all gonna stay in there nicely so you've got those as well now you also get your skinny notebook as well which is here once again look at the colors it's it's about having fun as well as being um, you know list making and super efficient so you've got your little notebook in there your skinny um, so you can use that as well so all of that as a lovely bundle there for 53.93 now I think that's fantastic because if you went to you know one of your high street stationers and you were to buy a big sort of planner like this that's easily gonna be I would say nudging around the 20 pounds, maybe even more. And then this one is gonna be 10, 15 pounds there. And you get both of these in effect for nothing within this bundle. So that's really good value. 524-238, your item number. And that's 53.93, nearly 70% of that has gone. 
amazing. This is amazing. Now, I couldn't believe it when Leona was talking to me today about these things here and the pricing on these. I mean, just as a gift, amazing, $9.99 for the wraparound covers. And look at them. Look at the colours. I love how you've got the, the words on the front as well. Just do your thing. This lovely sort of silver effect as well. And you've got the gold. And then inside, you know, you've got the polka dots. You've got the different colours on the inside and the patterns. These are amazing. I mean, this these make me want to start my own planner um, because they're just so fantastic. You know, to walk around, to have that with you, pull it out of your handbag and start planning in it and writing in it. They are just extraordinary. I think really brilliant value. $9.99 for the covers. 264-800 is your item number. Remember, the sort of inner workings are coming here to Hochanda in September. So it could be a good idea to get these now and then you can get all the sort of, you know, the big planner items in September. So, yeah, do grab these while you can. They are still in stock at the moment on our website, which, of course, is hochanda.com. So do have a look there. Hochanda.com, you've got everything. And then all you have to do is choose what you want and then start writing and start planning. But you've got those wonderful hard covers there in those colours and then all the bits and pieces to pop inside them. So do have a look. Put it all into a basket. Use your uh, FlexiPay. Take advantage of that. Have a look for some freedom prizes as well because you do get free packaging and posting, even though these products are coming from America, if you have a freedom membership. And and they are on freedom offers as well so yeah do have a good old rummage around that website and have a look at the offers that we have right back to our lovely leone who is going to continue organizing Thank her entire you. life Let me tell you. my life <laughs> this i mean i may have a planner but it hasn't you know i still need to read it actually i genuinely do use mine and i genuinely do read it i, I find and this is no word of a lie i find if i haven't written it down and it's funny actually because for instance i can stick it on my phone but if i can't see it like this i and this is why there's so much green because i didn't realize how much work i'd agreed to and i don't realize this is the God's honest truth. I didn't realise how much work I'd agreed to. It's on my phone until I wrote it down. And when I wrote it down, I went, oh, my good grief, what have I done with my life? <laughs> because it was a wash of green, green are the work days. And, like, purple are my days off. And there isn't many purples. And, you know, and that that is true. I don't see it until I can see it. So, actually, for me, that is really... That's really quite a shock. And this helps me as well because I am invoiced any of these people. <laughs> so I do need to go back and actually invoice. Um, now, oh, my little tote. That's really busy as well. It's lovely as this. And I will just show you quickly um, because when I bring this in, this is gorgeous. It looks really pretty on your desk. Um, it's not just pretty, it is functional. It's very well made. It's going to hold your classic planners. Um, so they're going to go in, what am I sticking to there? They're the side, wasn't it? So your classic planners in the binder, of course. So it's going to hold a fair few of these. There we go. Let me bob that one in as well. So it's going to hold a few of those. I've got another space there. That could be for my planners or my extras, like, um, you know, my bits and bobs that I've got in there, all my stencils. And then it's going to hold loads of your stickers. I mean, what I like about this, it is really sturdy. That is going to weigh some. Now, because of my planners, my planners do weigh some. <laughs> this is my new toy. Um, so, you have got really sturdy handles. This is actually a really good idea. I cart my planners to and from work, obviously, you know, all the time. Because I use my planners in shows when I'm stamping, because I use them literally for these shows, it means that I have to cart them about. So, for me, this is an absolute essential. It's really pretty. It looks good. So, whether it is just going to sit in your living room, whether you are going to be um, taking Taking it to, I don't know if they, how do you have, you do have planner conventions, you have planner meets. Um, 
because Lost has been to a few now, obviously, when everything kicks back up again. But that is just beautiful. If you do want one of those, they do everything so well, don't they? Even storage. Um, if you do want one of those, just £39.99, pence. that is all you're paying. OK, so I was having a little bit of a play. Now, the lovely thing is with... So this is your planner, babe, but obviously I've changed the cover. I've done my own cover for it because I were um, doing my Stamperia show and I wanted to show that you can definitely use your paper as with your planners, definitely. I've then been using the stencils, so you've got all these different stencils when you're checking out your basket that you can use for actually planning. But what I've now been doing is, let me show you, that's Dave. So, so the store, so that's my Davy, and this is my meal planner for my dog. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, because I have to cook his food and I don't like giving him the same vegetables every day. So, and he does have me. I haven't made him vegan as well. Uh, but he's got a dodgy belly because, so I have to do proper food. So, <laughs> seriously, his mummy cooks him food every day. And I obviously have to cook in, you know, in, oh, I cook pans of stuff for him. It's fine, though. It's absolutely worth it. But the poor babe, because he has to sit there, wait for it to be cooked and then wait for it to cool down. He hates that bit, man. Yeah, it's that bit. It's like, are you having a laugh? <laughs> I have to put it in fridge. I even have to put it on a plate because he has a metal dish. Well, a metal dish is no good, is it? So he has to have dinner plates now. <laughs> <laughs> my life. What's my life become? Single woman who cooks for Dave. It's all right. Yeah, but Dave's... I'm not going to lie. Dave's fabulous. I mean... Dave the dog is way better from Dave the boyfriend. <laughs> Sociopath the dog. There you go. Went for the dog. Um, anyway, <laughs> the story. See, it all comes back to the story. <laughs> um, so, what are we using? Someone asked if the pens that our Paula had on earlier today, which are beautiful, will work in these. Um, so, I've used that for for popping my my. Uh, so basically, I'm creating my own planner here. This again, I, I do like food planning. I must admit, I love buying food. Um, and this is my food planner. So this is going to be my leftovers. I'm just going through now for stickers. So these are my different little um, stickers for my knife and fork. Some of my different planning on my meals. So that is that's my food story pledge. But I have used the pens to actually create my own chart. And they don't go through. You can see. I mean, actually, I can see it slightly, but only slightly. So, and you can't see. I mean, I can't. I can't see it proper. But to be fair, if I wanted to, I could then do a plan. And I have done these freehand. And because it's a dot page, you're just following the dots. So it actually makes it. And this is your planner, babe. It actually makes it really easy. I love the dots. It makes it dead easy to create your own little finger chart. What I love about this as well, I like the wobbly lines. I mean, obviously, you can use your ruler. You can use your little... Um, I mean, this is fabulous, so you can use all of those, but I quite like the wobbly lines. I think that makes it look... Um, your own and I think it makes it look a little bit cool and these pens are actually very beautiful for that I mean the pens were ridiculously busy with our Paula um, at nine o'clock this morning so if you do want those please check those out but I know they were very very busy indeed I mean that nib is beautiful and she was saying about the Japanese nib I mean it is absolutely beautiful but you can see now so now definitely I can't see look at that how perfect is that I really like that. Doesn't that look cool? Um, the other thing, of course, you've got your punch, and I'll just quickly talk about your punch. Now, your punch allows you to do a lot of different things. Um, you've got a pink or a black punch. Now, you can punch. So if I get, let me just see really quickly. So I'll just get some pretty paper, for instance. So, of course, I mean, I have got a lot of pretty paper in my stash. So if I just take um, one of these out, and I actually quite like still having this little bit in for some reason. I think that looks kind of cool. Now, with this, I can obviously pop that in there. What I would do, you have got your lines. So if it's the same size, then it'll tell you um, where your middle point is. However, with your middle point, let me just see. Let me just do a full, because I found with my middle point, sometimes it doesn't quite get it. 
Yeah. For a smaller one, don't use your middle point. For smaller pages, eyeball it. So I can pop it in. I can literally see from the side where, and I know that's quite difficult for you to see. There you go. Now, I won't be able to punch it like that. I need to turn it back the right way around. I think but you'll be able to see so you can physically eyeball it it's dead easy to do so you can see exactly where you're gonna punch and this will fit in your classic it fits in your large in the big ones it fits in the small ones that's the lovely thing about the whole system it's just how fabulous they all mix and match you know and look I mean the punches are essential it allows you to put anything in it also allows you to put your photographs in as well and I love that because it really personalizes your book and then with things like this now my beautiful page here I'm gonna put me I know it's sad I know right a bit sad in it keeping my tea bag it's not sad because I tell you I'll tell you for why because I forget I, I have my favorite tea and then I forget what flavor it were and what make it were don't see it again and then I forget so I keep it in there and it still smells nice so it's almost like um, scented a scented book now just because of my posh tea <laughs> um, now if you do want anything obviously I'm just gonna carry on playing um, you've got so much choice folks it is beautiful um, please check your baskets out um, and enjoy the process whether you're gonna be using these for your planners whether you're going to be using them for card making, whether you're going to be, I mean, it might be a calendar you've got at home and you just want to make it more exciting. You've literally got so much choice and so many reasons uh, why you're going to use these. But if, basically, you've just got tons and tons and tons of fantastic little stickers to choose from. And one of them's free. Um, thank you very much. I'll see you at four. If she can tear herself away from her planner and her cardamom spiced tea. Who knew? Earl Grey myself. Anyway, coming up right now, it's Pink Ink Designs. So enjoy yourself and we'll see you again a little bit later. Come and celebrate Mama Makes third anniversary with us this Wednesday at 7 p.m. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals and then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journaling, join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy, and see what you can create with our stamps. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on her channel. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. 
Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, my name's Leona. I've been into crafting for many years now. Um, as a little girl, I'd craft with mum and dad, but then obviously it stuck with me um, that much that it became my, my career. Uh, I think for me, crafting's so fun because there's always something new to learn. There's always something new to play with, and um, it's such a rewarding hobby as well. That's why I absolutely love it and recommend it to so many people. I'm really thrilled to be part of the Hachanda family. Really excited about seeing how it's grown, seeing how it's developed so far, and all the brand new things that I know we've got coming up. I'm really passionate about getting back into demonstrating on TV as well, and actually sharing uh, techniques with you, products with you that I personally love. I hope you can tune into my shows here live at Touch On. Hello, good afternoon. Let me tell you, I'm super excited because the ladies from Pink Ink have brought something a little bit different and very, very special for you. Uh, now, we do have our lovely Kathy who's demoing today. Hello. Hi. And we've got Mel. Hi, Mel. Hi. <laughs> That's so cool. So we have for you, and this is an exclusive to us here at Hachanda. I can't get it on any other website at the moment. Uh, so these first two items, you have got an art journal kit with 12 hand illustrated pages and dim dimensional extras. And then you have also got, which we will come to in a minute, a card making kit with eight hand illustrated pages. But now I just want to come to you, Kathy, because what was the inspiration for this? Uh, well, the inspiration was to, well, first of all, we did the um, art journal, which is yep. very, very feminine and very pretty um, and is really one for the girls, which would be perfect for a wedding mm -hmm. or, you know, like an heirloom, little keepsake. Um, but the, it didn't really appeal to the boys. Right. So we thought we'd do a boys version, but not a journal. Yes. Hence the cards. And they're obviously all male. Amazing. Male themed. Again, we'll, we'll come to that one in a minute. But first off, should we have a little flick through this? I mean, the details here. So you've got so many different elements in yes. here. Uh, in the whole pack, you've got over 150 elements that you can cut out wow. and use. Um, but, you know, you can still add your own, so for that armoire that yep. you've opened, you could put your own photograph in it, Definitely. you could do your own artwork and put it, put it in. Yep. So the idea is that it's a dimensional piece. Um, so there's the envelope, which actually the, the top of that envelope, yep. it, you can know it's a separate element, you can add it in, and so you could put letters in the inside. Amazing. So I'm going to show how to construct all these. Uh, well, Cathy. 10% got No, we're now approaching 20% flying. Gosh. Yeah. Well, thank you, everybody. <laughs> uh, well, well we d I mean, this, this is just absolutely beautiful. How could you not love this? So you've also done some boards for us. We have. So this is what you'll find in the kit. Yes. I mean, it's, pr it's printed on Bockingford paper. Oh, yes. We which is the archival acid free. So it's a quality, quality paper. Yeah. And it's professionally printed. Um, and it comes on A4 sheets, but what I've done here is I've actually cut all the elements out so you can really see yes. what you're getting. 
So, so the main pages are your backgrounds, and mm -hmm. it's what you do with all the elements to make them three-dimensional that you glue and attach on the top. So you've got like little bulldog clips, little, um, what do you call them, like ink it, pots? Yes, yeah, well, we've got a letter page, so we've got ink pots and yeah. pens and Beautiful. Um, things that match together. And then look at this page. That's stunning. A butterfly. I love that. I love having a handmade. Yes, yeah. me too. I love and that. And then you can just write your name underneath or something. And what we've tried to do is a lot of people aren't very keen on fussy cutting, so we've tried to illustrate most things within a circle or a rectangle. Yes. Um, so it's much easier to cut out. There are a few things where that doesn't apply. Okay. Um, but I've actually got a little technique as to how to make it easier to cut out rather than trying to cut out on, on a line. Amazing. This is so super cool. And just going back to the fact that this is Bockingford, on Bockingford, Stress Bockingford. <laughs> the Rolls Royce watercolour paper. Indeed. So yes, like you said, you can um, use your watercolour paints and whatnot on them. Um, now, just while you're looking at this, I need to let you know that we are a quarter of the stock gone. It really is going crazy out there. Uh, so please put your orders in because you can probably gather what is going to happen. So that is your first um, option. Uh, it is, remember, a Hachanda exclusive here to us today. £16.49 for your art journal kit. Uh, and then your item number is 105511. And then, like, like you said, something for the gents. We were, we were laughing earlier, weren't we? Because if you go into a card shop, uh, apparently uh, the only thing men do is fish, play golf, not fish, but play golf, um, drive a car, and um, drink, beer. drink beer, thank yeah. you, yes, yes. <laughs> so we've got something for the chaps. So the inspiration for this? Uh, well, um, obviously it being male themed, but yeah. the cyclist actually came first and that's my husband. Um, it's my husband and my son because they're both really keen cyclists and members of the um, Brigstock Wheelers. Yes. And that's their colours of their, um, their attire that they wear when they go out. So, you know, if you've got a cyclist in the family, you can yes. customise it to be exactly for who you want it to be for. Um, that's a really simple one, but we've got some, and I'm going to show you, where you can add acetate on, so you can have the birds looking like they're actually flying above and around without oh. being attached to the card. Oh, amazing. So we're just having a look here. I love that little seagull with the fisherman there. Uh, and, and they all fold flat, Alex. Yes. So they've all got score lines in. They fold flat, flat so you can fit them in an envelope. M amazing. That's so cool. And then we've got... Um, here, he, here he is, he's coming into, onto the screen, so he's in the wheelbarrow. Yeah. <laughs> love that. See, my dad would love that because he it loves his allotment and everything. Oh, perfect. Yeah, See? absolutely. They're so cool, aren't they? Just look at all of these images. And it's a great price point that you've brought for us. It, it really is. is. It is a good price point. But we just, you know, we just hope everybody likes them because it's something new that Pink Ink has, has done and we weren't really sure. So, yeah, yeah we're really excited. Here he is. I've got to show you him. He's so funny. Uh, look at this. So you can colour them any which way you yes, like. You know, that, that one I think was done with Pro Markers. Ah, right. Yes. Um, but we've got watercolours, got crayons, all sorts of, of samples. But actually, if you show it side on, That's you side can on. see where the yeah, you can see the back and the front, and yep. there's the wheel on there, <laughs> and you can see where it folds. Oh yes, there it is. So you've got a score line. That's it, both sides, and it just squashes. Flat. Excellent, like that. Exactly. Amazing. Sorry, I just squashed you. Sorry there, chap. <laughs> and then um, we've got this one. Cool, isn't it? Now, we are 20% of the stock gone already. What are we on? Six minutes. There you are. Um, of this lovely uh, collection. Your card making kit with eight hand illustrated pages. Uh, Twelve pounds and forty nine pence. One three nine seven seven nine. We are very very busy on the phone line, so please have a look at the website and check out that way. Um, now we've got more goodies for you because we've got stamp and die sets. I always love the names that you give to the stamp and die sets. There is a little bit quirky, which is really nice. These are also all very very busy. So as I said, go to the website. That is your fastest way to order. And of course, do you know what? If you want to send pictures in, maybe you've got some pink ink designs already, then send your pictures to studio at tachanda.com or uh, you can pop the pictures on Facebook because it's really nice to see what you've been doing with, um, with the designs. Oh, right. The art journal, 40% of the stock has now gone. 
Wow, it is extremely busy. I think we'd better pass to you, Cathy, or there'll be well, nothing to demo. Well, exactly, <laughs> because actually the main part of, of what I'm doing is the journal. Yeah. And what I want to show you is just before I go, go to the construction, I'm not doing any colouring today. I'm literally just doing the construction because okay. everybody knows how to colour and they've got their own you know, specifics they like. Yeah. But this is um, what we've done is we've done them in double, double pages. So the fold actually goes on the outside edge and the cut line goes on the inside. But I'm going to show show you how that's done but this is just an armoire um, so it's got a separate 3d door so like I say you can put your little extras in um, and this is the, the um, letter one which goes with the next page that is um, um, the back of the envelope right. so you've got the front and the back yeah uh, this is Gail's she's done hers in watercolor okay painting and she's a she's a superb watercolor artist she is. look at that this is hers again and th this one is my favorite page of all it's the book yeah so we've got a 3d book page that you can decorate you can put your own um, wording on it um, and you can open oh. it up and it's got extra pages. Now, the extra pages are Bockingford. Yeah. But I was thinking if you used a thinner page, you could actually fill that with like three, four, five, six sheets. Amazing. And, and have a, a proper a proper opening book. Yeah. Uh, an envelope with the um, top that folds down and up so you can put things in your envelope. Uh, this is actually is our last page. Uh -huh. And it's got a little pocket. Now, there is an illustration on the pocket, but I've actually... Um, put mine on the inside yep. so if you wanted to do your own artwork you can do right. the, the pattern still applies because you can obviously work on the reverse mm. and you know there's wings and there's bulldog clips and there's <laughs> there's all sorts of little ephemera that you can use um, this is um, actually this is the book without the cover on right um, so this has been used in a completely different way and again the envelope um, I love this page again. Oh, look this, at her. this is a frame which, of course, you can cut out, and hopefully, I can show that as well, so <laughs> that when it's closed, you can actually sandwich in between yeah. your um, photograph or a piece of artwork. A little pocket you can put your things in, mm -hmm. um, and that's the same one again. Um, Gail's put a, a photo in, some, some little loose pages. Lovely. Um, so, that's basically what they look like. Amazing. I need to let you know at home we are half the stock gone in nine minutes. Well, okay. I think Mel might need to get, get organised with some phone calls and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, I'm going to start showing you how the jacket is made. Yep. Um, now, on, when it's printed, it actually comes in three pieces. It comes with the back and the front and, and the uh, spine is separate. This one Maria has knocked up for me uh, knocked rather up. beautifully. <laughs> um, Oh, sorry, Maria, if I explained <laughs> no, I that rather joking. wrong. I was just um, teasing you. So, I've, like I said, I've pre-cut because I don't want to waste time cutting. I just want to show construction. Now, um, I've tried to make it as simple as possible. So, even when it's cut out, there's still little marks on the... Um, um, illustrations where you're going to score yeah. but actually is already on the sheet so you really need to ideally score um, before you cut right. so you follow these lines but if you don't there is still uh, marks yeah. there so you don't um, get lost halfway through That's good. so I pre-scored so you're going to put your um, folds in now I always use a bone folder to get a really good crisp fold uh -huh. I do recommend that how long did it take you to draw all these designs for the art journal? Oh, gosh. Was it a long time? Mm, was it a, yeah, it was. Yeah. was it, it, <laughs> yes, nodding. it was. Yeah. I think it was probably a good couple of weeks, isn't it, Mel? Yeah. Very, very worth it, let me tell you. So, now, for speed, I'm going to use a solvent-based glue, but you could use your um, green double-sided, uh, not green, red double-sided, or uh, a wet glue, PVA, whatever you've got to hand. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> So it is nice and easy, actually. It is really yeah. easy. Absolutely. Really, really easy. So joining the three components together. Uh-huh. And just try and make them as square as possible. Yeah. You want it to ha look a nice professional You finish. do. I mean, I just think it would make a lovely heirloom. Oh, and yeah. And I also was wondering whether, you know, somebody who's perhaps a, somebody of a large family and somebody's getting, wed uh, getting married and having a wedding, oh. whether actually you gave one double-page spread to to one person yeah. and so you could have um, five people contributing to one book that'd be amazing which I think would be really pretty yeah um, we then got an extra piece um, so you could do your artwork straight on or to give it dimension yeah you can add on your um, 
3D piece, which Lovely. just sits over the top. And all the illustration lines up. So what goes here uh -huh. carries on onto there. Um, we are how much gone? Two thirds of the stock gone on the art journal. Quick, quick, quick. Okay. <laughs> so we've, what we've done here is we've added a tab on the end mm -hmm. so you can actually feed it in and close it. So it's, it's held with a little keep. You've thought of everything, Cathy. I, I try to. Yeah, I yeah. try to think of everything. So, again, this is just glued to the back. Um, and you just probably want to mock it up. In fact, I'd probably leave this bit on uh, off until the very end when you can see how thick your pages are going to be. Right. I mean, if you're going to add loads of, you know, things to the inside, lots of photographs, you might want to make it a bit wider, okay. or if it's going to be quite thin, make it narrower. Yep. So I wouldn't bend that to come round the corner until I've done all the contents. Got you. Do you see what I mean? Yes, so that I do. one I've obviously pre-done, but I mean, this might be, um, you know, only that thick, or you might actually have it as thick as the, as the spine. Yes. But there's plenty of room in this tab to do that. And there's all sorts of little extra bits and bobs that you can add on, either as decoration, um, or as a, as a way of pushing this little keep through and underneath to hold it in place. Yep. Okay, so that's basically the jacket, really quickly. Uh -huh. Now the spine that's going to fit into the jacket is printed like this. Um, and on here you've got MV, MMV and so on. M being mountain, V being valley fold. All the instructions oh, are on the ask, side. Yeah. There's a little visual here as well. Um, but I've pre-cut mine and I've pre-scored. Yeah. Um, and I've pre-glued some of them. But because it's 300 GSM, GSM and it's Bockingford, it's quite a weighty paper. Right. So you really have got to put the folds in with bone fold to get a really good crisp um, edge. Yeah. So pop them all in. I haven't done all of them, so I can show just yep. some. Yeah, you're putting lots of pressure on that. <laughs> yes, I am. That's it. You, you just want the whole thing to look really, really tight. Exactly. We are 70% of the stock gone on the art journal. Okay, so we've got... I'd rather go as an up and a down, so that goes that way. Right, so... Um, the dotted lines, um, now I was thinking about this actually after I'd done it, I put um, a valley and mountain. That depends which way round you're going to do it because I've noticed that some of the DTers um, actually, well and my daughter when she was trying it, she had her artwork on the outside oh, so okay. it's then flipped yes. but I like to have my artwork on the inside so you don't see it when the pages right. go on you don't see any pen work okay. so that might vary depending on which side you want to do it but basically you're going to be joining the two together oh, this yes. concertina uh -huh. so we'll do one like this and join um, and the other thing you could do with the spine is color it before you do this as well so it's all matching which would be really lovely. Yeah. And um, this is the last one. No worries. Oh, Cathy, 80% has gone now. Gosh. <laughs> enjoy. You're going to so enjoy colouring this, well, whichever, whichever like medium you like to use and putting it together. Yeah, we're delighted because, you know, it, this is new for us and we weren't sure if people were going to like it or not. So um, that's really Yay. lovely news. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so there we have all the pages of our spine uh -huh. like that okay so this is going to go on next and it goes over you see the the folds that we've put in here there's um, little tabs that yep. we've added in the first little demo that's going to go over the top and and hide that so we'll add that on the top mm -hmm. oh I see yep yeah. yep so you're gluing just the back Yeah. Any particular glue you recommend or just what you've got in well, yourself? Well, I mean, I use solvent because it's quick. Yeah. Um, but, you know, literally anything. Okay. Anything will do. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I always work to speed, so that's really why I yeah, yeah. do that. Okay. So spine goes on. Lovely. Like that. So that's basically the jacket Brilliant. and the spine. 
um, and I just want to show you um, Ruth. Now this one she said to me, oh no, don't, uh, it's, uh, don't use this one Cathy, it's, it's in progress. I said, yeah, but actually it's quite a good idea to show because yeah, you can helpful. see here where Maria has actually added the colour to the spine and the back pages. Yeah, so she's, nice. done, she's done all of it. Mm. And actually while I'm showing, I've just got to show you this one. This is um, the hedgehog on the frame. <laughs> This is acetate she's put oh. on the inside, so she's going to put dried flowers Lovely. on the inside. So again, for a wedding, yeah. wouldn't that be really pretty? I agree. So, so basically, that's how we do the, jack, uh, the jacket and the spine. Right. Um, we've um, gone limited stock on the art journal. It's going to be a fastest fingers first. And I think what I want to do is I'd like to work on the book um, and the envelope. So to do the envelope... You can leave the envelope exactly as it is, or if you actually want to use the inside of the envelope, you need to remove the bit that I've shaded. So I'm just using a scalpel, but you can use a craft knife. Okay. Now, when it comes to cutting out, some people say, oh, I'm no good at fussy cutting, I, you know, I don't like it. I'm actually not very good at cutting out. So my top, top tip is try not to cut on the line you want you want to almost leave the line so it's still there because yes. it just makes everything make sense yeah make, if you yeah. cut into it you're cutting it away and you're kind of losing informa information that makes lots yeah. of sense yeah so i'm going to, i've already pre-scored and again the score lines are actually on the um sheets but there are little tiny marks at the top just mm. so they're there just to be reaffirmed give it a good score good score yep. in the bone folder um, and then um, the envelope, the envelope can sit, the tab can sit up on the inside. That's clever. Like that. Yeah. So that when you open it, you don't see the tab. Good. Or if you don't want to, you can just do it normal, but you will see the tab. Mm. But I just think that's just a little bit of detail that I think looks really nice. Yeah. So we'll add that on to the inside. You're and right, obviously, it's all about the detail. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, this is would be all pre-coloured. You'd colour it all flat first, then you'd do all this construction. Um, it's just easy for me to show you like this. Uh -huh. Then the book jacket, here it is. It's got its little spine on. Again, I have I pre-scored it? Oh, no, I don't think I scored that one. Oh. So I'll put a <laughs> score line in yep. on the dotted line. Again, it's got full instructions. And also on the packaging, it's got um, visual images of every single page. Wonderful, So yeah. if you're lost and not quite sure what you're doing, you can always refer to that. That's good. So this is my page, my book page that I'm going to, uh, book jacket that I'm going to stick on there, and it opens up. If you want to add pages, you add your pages on top of this bit, so it's, it's hiding it. Right. So if you want to do thinner pages mm -hmm. that turn, so you could put, say, half a dozen, or you can put the page in that I've drawn and given you which is um, just one extra page so this one oh, exactly how am I doing for time um 20 Why? minutes if we are um, just while you're sticking that I do need to um, let I do need to let you know that um, we have now technically sold out um, of the art journal so thank you but we've got good news because Mel's here <laughs> and she's letting us have a little bit more but obviously we need to give the ladies time to print some more uh, so it'll be dispatched on Friday so not too long to wait at all uh, the 23rd uh, there you go oh what did I say so it is the 23rd right from the 21st apologies sorry it's my hearing can't see the monitors can't hear <laughs> Okay, so can you see how this has worked? Yeah. So front cover, inside page. Now, because I've glued it down, it, it's just a cosmetic page. But if you um, actually want to, like I say, have more pages, uh -huh. don't glue the back down. Just, right. just make a, an extra little tab so you can actually fold them over. And a little top tip, um, I think this is such, it could look so lovely. If you want to add some ribbon, just add a slice. I hand painted this one this morning with, mm -hmm. with our uh, multi-surface paint. Right. You mm -hmm. can feed it through mm -hmm. and any work you're going to do, you need to do before you assemble the pages um, to the spine because all this is going to be hidden. Sorry. So this will be glued at the back. 
it in half. Lovely. Okay, yep. and then I want to do the same here. So with a little pencil, I might just mark it. I want to do, so now I can tie it with a bow. So we, oh, I'm just looking at the monitor to see what, <laughs> it's really hard being at a distance because I can't see what oh, you're doing. Oh, can't you see? <laughs> I've got the monitor, it's all good. Again, push it through. Yep. Um, now here I would use one of the little elements, like a little flower that comes with it and actually stick this over the end so it's hidden. Uh, you know, I mean this one's yeah. too big but if you can imagine that yeah. was on there. That's a good tip. So when that's dry you see you can tie your book closed. Yeah. And wouldn't that be lovely if you, you know, if you had the words of, say it was a wedding, you had some words that were from the wedding. Mm. Um, like vows you mean? Yes. Oh. Yeah. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to actually join this page together and this is the same principle for all of the pages. Now if you're going to use the envelope here, you mustn't put glue obviously where the envelope is. You can put it around the edge, but if you glue it you're not going to get anything in it. Yeah. Do you see? So now what we have to remember is again in the instructions we're going to leave about a centimetre at the cut ends but we're going to glue the rest and all will become clear in a moment. Yep. So, join them together. Lovely. Like this. Isn't this pretty? This is so lovely. You're going to enjoy doing this at home so much. Now, obviously, you would think that's going to be, because um, uh, it's the fold, that's going to be at the spine. That's yep. not. That's the outside edge. This is going to be into the spine. Okay. And the reason I've left a centimetre at the end unglued, this is the easiest way of actually attaching these pages to the spine. Right. If, you try, if you try and glue that bit and then fold it, oh, yeah. they don't end up square. No. So this is by far, by far the use, easiest way. So when it's dry, we put a little bit of glue on the tabs we've made and literally slot it on. Yep. And then you've, got your, you've got your page. Okay? Yep. So that's that one. Uh, am I all right to carry on or...? Uh, yes, Charlotte says. Okay, right. Let's do the next. Uh, the armoire. This is my favourite one, the is armoire. It? Yeah, I love this one. Um, so again, we've got the fold in the centre, which you pre-score, uh -huh. decorate it up all beautifully, and then the armoire has got um, some score lines in. Yep. Does it tell you that as well? Or you can see it on there? Well, you can see. Yeah, oh, it's, yeah. It says basically everything with a dotted line, you score. Okay. Um, and then this goes, it's all, it's all made to size, so mm. it literally goes over the top. So pretty. I love things that uh, you can move, if you know what I mean. Yes, me too. And open. Yeah. And also on the on the um, sheets, there is a lit this is again one of my favourite bits. You see five and six. Yeah. There's um, a, a little number for every single page. Oh, that's good. I don't know if everybody else has. Oh yes, Gail's used it here. Three and four, and I just love that. Yeah. So every page is numbered. All that attention to detail. Yeah. Mm. So again, we've got the the armoire that goes to the envelope. The envelope goes to the open envelope. So you've got like a letter writing page. Right. And then the book goes to. I think it goes to. I mean, which order you do is entirely up to you. Mm -hmm. um, this one, you would. Well, you could do some artwork on the top, or you could cut this out with a scalpel. Mm. Do the same thing. Fold, but attach your photograph to the inside before you glue it down, right. same as we did before, yep. so that it's encapsulated in. Um, I feel like I'm sort of going through it rather swiftly, but I get, think you get the idea. Oh, but also good old rewind as well. Yeah, there's yeah. rewind. So the um, last page that we've got is the pocket. Um, now, the pocket I have actually illustrated uh, something quite decorative, but if you don't want to um, use my illustration, just flip it over. And use the reverse, so right. the illustrations on on the um, inside. Yeah. But again, it's got little tabs. You're going to glue the tabs, 
I'm going to have it plain because I, I quite like the idea of stamping on it. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. And we've all got lots of lovely background stamps, which would be great. But mm. again, you would do this before um, uh, you do this. Yeah, before you assemble it, obviously do all your stamping and, and colour work. Yes. Because it's yours, you can personalise it. It'd be really interesting, actually, once people have got these and and completed them, just to see what people have done. You know, how, wouldn't it? Yes, yeah. it'd be lovely. So that's the bottom of your pocket. Mm -hmm. And in the, um, you can see on the boards, there's lots of wings, um, wings on, yeah, you can oh, put on, the, on the um, hedgehog and so all sorts of different things like this. There you go. And the ball clips, bulldog clips, there's more wings, bees, they are so cool. Hedgehogs, there's the numbers. Fab. Cool. Okay? Yeah. Um, there's another little pocket here. I'm not going to do all of it, Alex, but I'm just going to show you what there is. Yeah. There's an extra little pocket that um, you can put there and add your own things in. Yeah. And this is just a, an idea, you know, you don't have to cut everything away. You can leave some things. Yeah. And again, I'll show you when we come to do the cards. That sometimes, you know, you feel under pressure to cut go up to the lines and cut everything out, but mm -hmm. you don't need to. Mm -hmm. um, and what else have we got? Oh, we've got a little corner pocket for this one. Which you can add like that. Aww. Um, yeah. We've also got a 3D envelope, so you can leave that as it is, yep. or you can actually make it dimensional with fo foam pads. Mm -hmm. And we've got things like padlocks, um, all sorts of little decorative things to make up your journal. Fab, thank you, Cathy. You're welcome. Bless you. So, look at this. This is another example of what you can be doing, how, you know, you can be colouring it. I just think it is so so beautiful oh, sorry you can't see there look at that and then you've got all those extras like the from me to you and then you can open the little book the little envelope i mean <laughs> tweet tweet that's in there so we've got the birds look some there's a photograph uh and then here's that pocket and this is just wonderful uh, so this is your art journal Hachanda exclusive. It is on extended delivery, but that is flying out the door as well. So please be quick. We're a quarter of the restocked stock gone. It'll be sent out from the um, 21st of <laughs> 21st of August. Uh, it's 16.99. Item number is 105511. Then the card making kit, which I think Kathy is going to demo next. And so, it's just something for the gents. You know, quite often we do say, what, what would a gent like um, on a card? And these are fun little kits as well, aren't they? Uh, so, yeah, good for your mantel pieces. Yeah, they're brilliant. And they will fold flat, as Cathy says. Um, we are 40% of the stock gone on these. Uh, and you've got, you know, the fisherman. You've got our chap in the wheelbarrow. And then you've also got the cyclists fab. So um, I'll just show you the board so you can see all the elements. That one's, um, so we've got the little elements there down there. My special guy, I like my special guy. But then look, we go on to, uh, here's the fisherman. He's fab, isn't he? I'm hooked. And there's even like a hook as one of the O's. That's so cool. Birthday fishes, gone fishing. Holy mackerel, it's your birthday. <laughs> it's so cool. And then you decoupage his arm up and everything. There's loads of fish and he, you can wear, he can wear a hat or you can leave it off. Uh, and then look at these cards with the birds. There you go. And then we come on to our cyclist. You're not over the hill <laughs> or over the hill. Another gear older. You're, you're a genius. You really are. Um, le legend in Lycra. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. You can't buy happiness, but you can buy a bike, and that's pretty close. Yes, indeed. And then we've got birds flying, we've got the cyclist again. You can decoupage up his leg and his arm to make him look 3D. And then here's our lovely gardener. Gardeners don't grow old, they, they just go to pots. <laughs> it's just, just genius. 
brilliant there we go um, so those are the boards and it is just 12.99 we are over 40 percent of the stock gone 139778 is the item number now we've got some more goodies for you uh, we've got some stamps and die sets uh, here on the show um, now first one because i can't see yet ah thanking you so this one is something fishy. Uh, so yeah, you get your stamps and your dies. And now I'm looking for where I put them. There they are. So here's what the stamp looks like. Look at that. And the artwork is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. And I do have, she says behind me, let's pop that there, um, some, where's our fish, where's our fish? Have we still got fish? We have fish. It's <laughs> Sorry, it's because, just let me tell you, some things, some, some of these actually sold out while um, Kathy was um, demoing. So here are some samples of the fish. They're fab. So it's so nice that you don't have to cut them out because you have got the dyes. The um, design team are awesome. I love how they colour them in and everything. They are just superb, aren't they? So that's your first one, 11.99, item number, they, these are all, I think, different item numbers. Uh, 420567 is the item number. Then the next one that we have, this one is the Moths and the Legends. Okay, this one has gone limited stock. Uh, again, you're getting the stamps and the dies. I mean, just look at that sample. Isn't that fabulous? Oh my gosh, I must show these. They're incredible. And I can see, but I can't show you, that this is a well-known drinks That's tin. Yes, yeah. that. I couldn't think of the word. I nearly went to say it then. Uh, they're fabulous. Now, look at the work gone into this. So decoupaged at every single one. So it's got that lovely, they literally are flying. They're fantastic. Look at that. Oh, they've gone. That's it. Technically, those ones have sold out. Thank you very much. Then moving on, <laughs> uh, what have we got next? Ah, thank you, Jitterbug. And again, you've got stamps and dice. I mean, even down to the packaging, I've always complimented Kathy and Mel for their packaging. And you've got inspiration, but it looks so professional and so posh. Here he is. Here's our, oh, there's a nice canvas here. Uh, hopefully you can't tell what that's made of. <laughs> right. And then we've got this one, you decoupage his wings, give him a, um, what, what am I trying to say, give him a little bit of sparkle, because you know I love my sparkle. And here's another fabulous sample. Will we find also lots of inspiration on any pages of yours? Yeah, on the Pink Inkers um, group Facebook page. Wonderful. There's loads of samples on there. Good stuff. Uh, so the details 11.99.839.101. And then our last option that we have got... Oh, we had. Oh, this one's technically sold out. <laughs> okay, which means all the stock is in baskets. You just need to make sure you check out um, to ensure it's yours. Okay, the one that did sell out as well was Pigs Might Fly. Okay, lovely. We've got more, we've got more. Um, a, a lovely pick and mix of fantastic stamps. Uh, these are your Christmas goodies. Right. We have got our fabulous Robin, our Robin Redbreast. And I do have behind here, I can actually show you the, um, what am I trying to say? I can actually show you the stamps, 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 stamps. Here we go. So here is our fabulous Robin. He's amazing, isn't he? Look at that. He's a real focal point, actually. I'm just trying to see which sample has him on. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, we've got one at the front. That would be good. Okay, thanking you. Just so you can see a sample. Um, so he is one of your options for your pick and mix. And then the next option that we've got in, the pear, in a pear tree. Oh, I found a sample for this one. Hang on. It's, this is stunning. Wow. What is this what that they've put on there? It's like they've got really fabulous crystals on there. That's beautiful. Look at that. Um, stamping onto fabric is amazing. Look at that. Oh, right. Okay, moving on. <laughs> so, yeah, we do need to get to the demo. Right. Uh, then we've got our winter garden. Jolly marvellous. Um, maybe then... Oh, I'm trying to find samples, but then I'm going to take too long. So, um, 
We'll show the stamps at the front. There you go. Uh, so you've got your Merry Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas or mouse. Merry Christmas. Uh, then we've got our sleigh bells ring. And then what's the next one? Let's see. Uh, Christmas Carol. <laughs> so they are on pick and mix. Uh, you're choosing any two. Oh, there's more. There's more. Make a wish. Oh, she's beautiful, isn't she? Lovely. Um, £27.98 for any two. Item number is 114285. And then we have the most glorious paper pads for you. Uh, these are also on a pick and mix. Okay, you just choose. Oh, <laughs> uh, Ben just went for a walk. <laughs> okay, have a little look here. These are. I was. I said to Mel earlier that I walked past the our buyer's desk and I immediately stopped and went, "What? These are gorgeous!" And so, I mean, just look again at this artwork. They are absolutely stunning. Oh my goodness look at him and you know why i love this as well because of the colors the colors that um have been oh my goodness he's so majestic wow look at this oh this is cool so you can make a little box oh stunning absolutely stunning with all of these pages good grief they're beautiful i can feel a purchase coming on <laughs> uh, Oh, look, I love it. it, says there, splendidly British design and good. Um, it's uh, acid-free, obviously, so you can use it for your scrapbooking and whatnot. Gosh, I'm trying. Quick, 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 Alex. Be quick. And then I think we're back to the beginning there, actually. Lovely. So you've got this one, which is all things white and beautiful. Uh, sorry, I have, to, I have to duck behind to get this. Um, and then we've also got our uh, elephants and flamingos. Let's have a little look here. They're so pretty. Hopefully the page won't fall off at the back there. But how nice. Look at this. I knew that was going to happen. Sorry. Uh, yes. All right. Let me just show a couple. So you get the idea. But have a little look on the website. They are stunning, aren't they? Hang on. There you go. Okay, next one. And I'll pick that up later. Sorry. <laughs> Blues and hues. So, um, pick and mix, uh, you are choosing any two of these fantastic papers. They are just absolutely stunning. So these ones are your lovely sort of ones for background. I just want to stroke these. They are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so any two for £22.98, 161445 is the item number. Uh, it's still very busy on the phone lines. Do just get, um, go to hachanda.com. Uh, and then I'm going to go back to you, Cathy. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Um, right, we're going to crack on with um, the fishermen first. I'm going to try and get through all, all three of them, but um, I'm a bit mindful of, of about time. But they uh, come to you printed black onto the Bockingford, which isn't white. It's sort of like a, a, a like a uh, an off white, quite a bit a bit creamy. Um, and on the um, illustrations are lots of arrows and numbers, and they are affiliated to the instruction sheet, which actually shows you where to cut, where to score, and what's going to be little slits. Um, and I, what I want to do is just show you how I do my cutting out. Just this okay. one. Ra as I said earlier, rather than actually cutting on the line and losing some of the integrity of the illustration, I try my hardest to cut about a millimetre to two millimetres around the outside edge. Yep. Now, you can get a little bit closer. But actually, if you don't go into all the nooks and crannies, it doesn't matter. And no. um, if we look again, not not yet, but at the end, at some of the um, constructed ones, you'll see that they're not all cut right up to the line. I think as long as you have consistency with your cutting, you see, there's nothing wrong with that, although I haven't gone right up into the inside yeah. of his tail. So if you are, you know, worried about doing the um, uh, cutting, that would be my suggestion. So we've got this now i have pre-colored this with um pro markers okay um and actually somebody on the pink Inkers facebook page said to us um this morning about could they you know could they use the pro markers and yes you can i mean bockingford is a quality paper yeah. and it tends to not go through to the other side unless you are very heavy-handed and you you know leave your pen on for a while then it will come through but generally speaking um it it doesn't um, now, I've pre-put put in the little slits where appropriate, and it's, they're 
ever so small, but they have to be put in. There's two on the front and, and two on the back. Um, I think, I don't know that I put all the score lines in, so any I've missed. Um, and even the, although I've tried to get as close to the line here, even add, adding sort of just like half a mil all the way around, even with the main pieces, you can still add that centimetre around. It won't make any difference to the construction of the piece. So, now these folds have to go in because this is what makes it um, sit flat in an envelope. Yeah. If you're not going to use it for the purposes of sending through the post, you don't need to put these in. You could just leave it as it is. Um, so, and I'd say that of all of them, I think the um, fisherman is probably the more difficult. Only in as much is that before you glue together, we just have to do a little something. Okay. So, so there's the boat. <laughs> There's my fisherman, and what we do, we have to just finish doing a little bit of colouring first. So I'm putting that slot in the bottom, this slot in, because actually when I close them, there's a bit of boat here ah, yes. that you can see. Now what I do is I just mark with a pencil where that's going to come. It sort of comes around like that. So I brought my pen with me. So to finish off, you need to take it back off again and just finish that, that little bit yeah. in an appropriate colour. Mm. This is the only colouring I'm going to do, just to show you <laughs> that it needs to be finished off. Yeah. Because actually, once it's glued, trying to infill is going to be a little bit yeah, um, more complicated. Yeah. Let's just go down a bit here. That'll do. Mm -hmm. So... I now need to put this back in where it came from. So one slot in, other slot in. Um, if you're finding it a little bit tight, which it shouldn't be, but if you are, just take a little bit more out of the V. Right. Um, and then we're going to glue, and we're going to glue the end of the boats together. Yep. See, I'd... I'd because you know everybody's got like um, pens of choice. Mine are my um, uh, sparkle pens, my sparkly pens. Oh, yeah. I make everything sparkly. I mean, you literally could use anything yeah. on this. I mean, B Bockingford is just like a really good all-purpose um, paper. Yeah. So that's how it stands, stands up. There he is. Okay. Um, now we've got to add um, extra pieces on. So we've got a hat. And again, it's all in the instructions. The hat, what I do to fit it on is I just with a with a scalpel, I'm just gonna make a little slit. And then that will accommodate his head underneath it. <laughs> like that, which we can add a little bit of glue to secure it. So that is that's that. Um, he's got uh, an arm. So he's going to be holding his fishing rod. Um, and this is where you re really need to start getting dimension in. So either um, foam pads or you could use um, gel, 3D gel, like that. Um, we've got a little... I also have to say, from the uh, shape of the rod, he's caught something pretty big. Hasn't he? Yeah. There's a weighty fish under there. <laughs> so I'm going to... I mean, where you place these things is entirely up to you, but yeah. I'm going to go there. I used to love going fishing with my dad. Oh, did you? Yeah. I was a bit rubbish, though, because I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't take the fish off the hook and I wouldn't... <laughs> he would have to bait the hook for me, so <laughs> he hardly did any fishing himself. I'm afraid I couldn't do. I, I couldn't face putting a maggot on the end of the yeah, line. That. I just yeah, really yeah, no. Yeah. That's beyond me. Yeah. <laughs> um, so basically, oh, you just want to tail. yeah. You want to go around the sort of position where you you know you want things to go, and don't be frightened of sort of trimming things. Yeah. I do like the tail sticking out the water. It's just so fun. Um, and we've got loads of this. Mm -hmm. Now, these ones I didn't do with Pro Markers. I did these with um, very fine tip pens. Yeah. Um, so, and, you know, you don't have to use all these bits. Now, included in the pack yeah. 
we've got uh, two fishermen, two cyclists and two gardeners, but we've also put four blank cards. Okay. And we put some little, um, little motifs at the top that go oh, yes. with them. But you don't have to use those. If you've got some fish left over, yeah. you could do your own thing. So, yeah, if you look at the, that this one, one. Yes. yes. So there's, there's um, two that fold in half, but you get four of them. Right. Nice. So, um, so, like I say, you know, you don't have to feel that you need to use everything. Lovely. Right, now what I want to do with this one is because I want to have some 3D, um, uh, some fish not attached to um, the actual card, I'm going to put some acetate on. And this is great for all of the designs, actually. I'm going to cut it to just a shape that I think will be suitable. Yeah. So... Okay. Yeah. So now my fish. Aha. Uh -huh. Flying fish. Yeah, I can have them sort of leaping off and leaping on. Again, I can tr perhaps trim this down later. Hee. <laughs> I think these are brilliant. I really do. Oh, and I've got an oar, so I don't know where my oars. Oh, there it is. I've lost my oar. That my oar <laughs> is in with the um, gardener. I've got an oar as well. So you've got all the parts. How am I doing for time? You have oh, got six minutes. Oh, God, right. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to finish this off then because I want to show the construction of the others. But anyway, you get the idea of where this is going. And, of course, you've got all your um, little sentiments as well. Hey. So that's how you'd finish him off. He's brilliant. And, of course, he then folds flat yep. to fit into an envelope. Nice. So that's that one. Um, and then quick construction of the um, uh, gardener. Yep. This is really simple. It, they're, they're actually, uh, you know, it's, it's not difficult to, um, no. to assemble at all. It's really quite simple. As long as, as long as you put your scores in the right line, they're straight, and you yep. put a good, a good fold in with your bone folder, you'll be fine. Yeah, the joy of it is the colouring and the giving. Yeah, I, and I think the joy of it is also just um, creating it with all the elements. Yeah. You know, that's, that's the fun bit for me, I think. So, fold... In, fold out, so a bit like a concertina, folding the back, glue the ends together. Again, uh -huh. this one was done with pro markers. So that's the barrow. Oh, yes, yeah, um, very quick. We've got him. We now put the leg in. Um, you have to do the leg once he's assembled so you can actually see, see where it's going to go. Okay. Um, but we need to put the wheel on. So yeah, you can assemble these really quickly. Yeah, yeah it's the colouring that takes the time. But of course, you know, with this one, if you wanted to, you could actually colour the reverse so, you know, you don't see it white. It's I probably would. Yeah, it depends how far you want to take it. But that's the that part. Mm -hmm. You've got an extra bit for um, this. Again, you would need to colour the backs of them. Yep. Across. So that's the barrow. Yeah. And again, can you see where I've I've cut leaving a millimetre? You've got a, a bit a bit of white uh -huh. going all the way around, but it doesn't matter. The the, la the illustrated line is still um, is still there. Yeah. Um, and then he goes into the middle, so he's pre-scored. He sort of hovers a little bit in the middle, <laughs> like that. Um, and then we've got the arm, which again is 3D. I've got four minutes. Okay. <laughs> Speed crafting. I won't put all the pots and everything in, but which is a shame because that's the fun part. <laughs> Where yeah. are you going to place them? Yeah. And then the leg. You have to sort of think about where the leg... You know, you, you're going to have it up or yeah. in the air. <laughs> that looks good. So that's him without any of the decoration, but that's the, the basic construction yeah. of the gardener. That's fun. Like that. He's either fallen in by accident or somebody's about to push him along. But he's, he's sweet, isn't fun. he? Yeah. Again, like I say, you know, colour the inside as well, so mm -hmm. it's all gone 
um, uh, you, you've got it finished. And then actually the, the last one, Cyclist, is the easiest. Okay. Because all it is is um, uh, folds, which I think I've put in already. Yep. Very nice and easy, actually. Yeah. yeah. And this one, you want to put your, again, colour the inside of it so it's not seen and you're literally just joining it to the back. Yep. Um, and he's got an R, a 3D arm, um, a 3D leg, which you don't have to use a 3D leg because it's there already, but I just think it adds a little bit extra to it. Lovely. So that's how it stands up. And then, oh, that, is, that, is, that, is that his arm? That's his leg. Oh, his leg, sorry. Yes, he's got a 3D <laughs> leg that goes over the other one. That's so fun. And he's got a 3D arm. He's doing Tour de France. He is. And he's winning. He there looks like he's winning. He looks very determined. And then you've and got happy. you've got birds and um, balloons, all three D. If I can get the sticky label on. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yep. Oh, oh right. You see, you can decoupage yeah, those as decoupage well. Yeah, decoupage it up. Nice. Um, and then we've got ducks which we can add in the foreground again you see what I've done is I've actually put them in a square so it's easier to cut out yeah if you don't want the square cut them off okay. but this is you know if you if you um, just want to do it as as an easier project then mm -hmm. you can uh, that a couple of ducks yeah I love that one going on the inside I yeah. think um, there's ducks there's sentiments mm -hmm. um, we've got flying ones which I would put on on some acetate yes how am I doing for time? Have I got time? You have a, like a minute. <laughs> You're not going fast enough, Kathy. I know, I know, it's hard. Bless <laughs> um, you. I should put that one like that, I think. Yeah. And there we go. Yay! Oh, they're just And that's brilliant. my husband on his, on his bicycle. Yay! Thank you so much, Cathy. You're welcome, my um, pleasure. And remember, these two are um, exclusive to us here today at Hachanda. Uh, so if you want to go for the card kit, it's £12.49. pence. Uh, 139778 is your item number. And don't forget, this is Cathy's husband. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Hugh. Hugh. Yes. There you go. Um, it's really pretty. And don't forget as well about the art journal kit because that was um, absolutely flying out the door. It's back on extended delivery uh, from the 21st of August. Uh, thank you once again, Cathy. Yeah, thank you for having us. Thank you, Mel. Bye. <laughs> uh, still your fastest way to order of course is online at hachanda.com it's been a really really lovely hour when you get these home do enjoy colouring them, constructing them um, I know you're going to really really enjoy yourself right, don't go anywhere, we've got more coming up after this short break Next then, we have got Doodle Craft Designs, followed by Be Your Creative Best with Crickets. And after that, we've got the final call of the Happy Planner One Day Special. Hi, I'm Donna, and this is my brother Simon, and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting, and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just a water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays, and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. We've got a fantastic design team who help us with all our designs for the stamps, and we've got a great range of inks which we manufacture ourselves here in the UK. Our pearl sprays and our pearly winks are loaded with mica, so they give you amazing results on your projects. We hope that our products bring you as much fun, creativity and inspiration as they do to us. We love all of our products and we hope you do too. So make sure you don't miss our shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. 
their products range from stamps that coordinate with dies that then coordinate with a paper pad but then we also have storage folders we have decorative dies we have coloring daubers we have insta albums one of the products that really make heartfelt unique are their flower shaping molds where you can make easy quick three-dimensional flowers which are absolutely stunning so i hope you can join heartfelt creations here on the channel Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving and other forms of passamentary. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hojanda. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexi Buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexi Buy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hachanda. Yes, indeed. Good afternoon. The clock has just struck two o'clock, which can only mean one thing. It's a chance for another brand new show. Well, it's a show you may have seen before, but everything I've got on the counter is brand new today. Not seen before, and I'm going to throw it straight in willy-nilly, as it were. We're already busy. I know. People are already shopping ahead for everything we've already got on the counter. What are we talking about? We are talking about Doodle Craft Designs is what we're talking about. Many crafting techniques throughout the show and many different options throughout the show as well. Now, we're going to go with the more of the intermediate base. But, however, don't now, don't be going, well, I'm a beginner. I've never tried this before. Don't worry about it. Even if you're a beginner... I reckon you would still be able to have a little crack at one of these. Somewhere along the line, I think you'd be able to have a little go. It may take you slightly longer, but who cares? You're doing it as a little hobby. You don't mind doing taking it longer, do you? Uh, for all ages as well, we were uh, pre-show, pre we were having a little chat with our, with our Debbie and Gavin, uh, who will chat to you live via Skype shortly, and they were saying they own a little retreat. It sounded very nice, sounded very quaint, to be fair. sounded beautiful, a little B&B. &B. Uh, they had a little family there, and a girl of 12 and 11 uh, wanted a little go, and they mastered the projects you're about to see now. So if they can do it, no doubt you can do it as well. And the mastermind behind it all and all the designs, uh, an amazing one with amazing knowledge about needlework as well. It's Aunt Debbie. How are you, my love? 
I'm good, thanks, Adam. How are you? I'm very well. I'm very excited for this show because the, the things I see here is something slightly different to the norm when you see cross-stitch. Because when you normally see cross-stitch and things like that, you, you immediately think cushions, tapestries, those sorts of things. But now we're talking advent calendars and we're now talking clocks. We're talking usable pieces, aren't we? Uh, that's right. We've tried to design things so that have a use once you finish stitching them. Uh, so d before we go any further and we start looking at the advent calendars, what's a bit of the backgrounds of Doodlecraft Designs? How did it all start and how did you become uh, to do the ideas that we have today? Um, it started about five years ago. I was made redundant for 20 years in a completely different industry. Um, and I was made redundant uh, unexpectedly. And at the same time, my GP said I wasn't really well enough due to the condition that I have, to be going out to work in an office. So I sat here for about two weeks, feeling very sorry for myself, and then thought, right, what can I do? I've done stitching for, for a very long time, uh, and I, I love um, painting and drawing and, and everything in the craft world. So I thought, what I'll do is I'll combine the two, um, and we've come up with Doodle Craft Design. It is beautiful. It's beautiful what you do. Well, then let's have a let's get straight in with what we've actually got here. Well, we've got amazing live demos throughout the hour as well. So do not fear. Also from Gavin as well, um, Debbie's partner. He's going to be doing demonstrations about the clock, and we're also going to be looking at some of the other items that I've also got on the show. But let's first start off with the, with this. this. This is beautiful, and it's something different. We are talking the Advent Calendar uh, Clock Kit Bear Design is what we're looking at at the moment. So as you can see, round the edge you've got the days of December so you've got one all the way through to 24. In the middle you've got the beautiful bear himself and you've got let's count down to the days till Christmas. All hand stitched by yourself. Everything you are getting in the kit the only thing that you will need is the frame that holds it all together. Okay so you are getting instructions galore with this. Everything that you need is in the kit from needles to guides to threads to the woods itself and even to the bolts. So everything is there. Very simple and easy to do. If you've never tried it before, yes, still give it a go. Because necessarily, this doesn't have to just be for Christmas. If you're already experienced in this, maybe you do the numbers around the edge, but you do something else in the centre. You've got a smaller project on standby that you may want to achieve. There might be something else on the show that you want to pop into the centre of that canvas. And you can do that. And more designs are coming for this as well. So you can take it the bear and maybe we'll put birthdays in there. We'll put Easter in there. Those big events, weddings, how beautiful would this be for a wedding? And those designs are coming, but you can be ahead of the curve because you've already give it a go. £40.99. It's also on flexible payments as well. So you split the cost, £20.50 today. 506234 is your item number. Uh, Debbie, this is really, really different. And what, what's the idea and the concept behind it? Obviously, it's an advent calendar counting up or down to Christmas, however you feel. But am I right in saying there'll be more designs on the future? So you're really buying into a long base project? Yes, I've got uh, lots more ideas for designs. Um, the idea came from uh, a friend who's got children who don't eat chocolate or, or sweets. And she was complaining that she couldn't get uh, an advent calendar that, um, that she liked for the children. So I thought, well, if, if we take that element out, the, the parents can decide what treat they give the children as they count down or up to Christmas. Absolutely love it. So the designs itself, you're getting everything in the kit from all the threads uh, to the canvas to the, even the full instructions that are in there as well. Everything is numbered and laboured for you. 506234 is your item number. Two flexible payments on this of £20.50. and pence. You can't go wrong. That also means it opens a flexible basket. Now, the red and black clock is what we're going to look at at the moment. So, what are you getting in this? You're getting everything that you see. Obviously, this is the finished working article, so this is what yours will look like when you've finished, okay? So, at the moment, obviously, uh, we've not got the batteries in this, but obviously your clock will work and go down. So, what are we getting in the kit? We are getting uh, the frame, 
So yours will come with a nice wooden frame. You can gesso it, paint it, and do whatever you wish with the frame itself. You're also getting the mechanism for the clock as well, with all the hands included, obviously. Uh, so you get everything that you need from that. You just need to provide your own battery. And then you're getting the full pattern to create the backing of the clock. £36.99. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, Adam, I don't really want the frame. I'd really just like the embroidery. You can go for that as well if you want to. So if you just want to go for the embroidery kit on its own, which will create the background, obviously, you won't get the hands in there, so you won't get the clock mechanism. You might have your own frame, your own clock mechanism from another project you've been doing. So if you just want the background, we've got that on its own as well. That's £26.99. For an extra £10, now I know what you're saying, where am I getting this £10 from, but for an extra £10, £36.99, you also get the frame and the clock mechanism as well, which is absolutely beautiful. It really, really is. No expense spared here. I wind my own clock. So, um, Debbie, when we're looking at the clock once again, are we talking intermediate or would a beginner be able to give it a bash if we just took our time and we read the instructions? I, th I think a beginner could do this, yes. Um, it, it's quite straightforward and the instructions show you step by step how to do it. I must just say though, um, the piece of stitching that's missing in the bottom was done on purpose. Yours won't, whoever buys it won't have that. Um, it was just somebody accused me of stamping it rather than stitching it. So I wanted to leave a few stitches out so you could see that it had been stitched. Oh, I thought that was the design. I, I, when we were prepping <laughs> earlier, when we were looking down the car, I thought, oh, they've done that on purpose. It's like the hands of time just drifting away like a sand. <laughs> Obviously not, but just to prove that it's not stamped. Uh, so that's what you're going to get in there. So yours will look like this as well. Now, Debbie, for the, all the projects that I've got on the show, is there any hints and tips out there from yourself? For example, I get this home today. I get the full kit, £36.99. I'm sitting in my living room. I'm about to start stitching and I had cloud fog. I get memory fog and I thought, I can't think how to do this. I, I'm stuck now. Where do I start? What do I do? How do I put the hands into the clock? Do I pierce a hole with the scissors? Are there instructions out there further than the ones that we actually get in the kit? There's all the instructions that you need to do everything in the kit. There's further instructions on our website, uh, which, which people can have a look at. And I'm always at the end of an email. So if anyone's got any questions at all, just get in touch. Oh, you can't go wrong. Can't see at the end of an email. Well, that's all it will take. Drop your question down. Debbie and Gabby will be there. Ping it straight back to you. And then you're good to go. These are projects that they don't want you to start and think, oh, I can't do that. Leave it in the cupboard. It's not one of those projects. It's a project that you need to progress to and go on to. And how beautiful would it be? to do the design. Now, if you're thinking red and black's not my scene, it doesn't go with my kitchen, I like a bit of botanics. Well, I've got that as well. Funny you should ask. Uh, we've got the botanics. Now, once again, you've got the two buying options with this. You can go for the full kit for £39.99. 468606 is your item number. This time, we're looking at the bees and the flowers that are here around the numbers. It reminds me of a stately garden what you're looking at here, you know, from an overview. Uh, and in the middle would be a nice fountain that would cascade down. It'd be beautiful. Uh, but then, obviously, it's tapestry, and you've achieved all this. It's all different workings. Uh, Debbie, as well, how many sort of different stitches do we need to learn for these? Is it a same stitch throughout? Is it three or four stitches that we need to master? Um, it's two main stitches, uh, a normal cross stitch, and then the black work is done in back stitch. <coughs> But there are um, some fractional stitches to get the, um, the, the slightly rounded shapes. But there isn't very many, and you get a leaflet within the kit that explains how to do all these stitches. Fabulous. Two flexible payments on this is £20. Pound. Right then, we're going to let Debbie get ready for a demonstration. If you have your own frame, though, you can just go for the stitching kit on its own if you wanted to. So if you just wanted the stitching kit on its own, we've got that as well. So you're going to get all the threads in there. You're going to get the details and the, and the gold thread as well. You're also going to get the backing, but obviously you're not going to get the mechanics behind it. So for £29.99, pence, you get the stitching kit on its own. £29.99, 463716 is your item number. Now, cushions. We all love a cushion. Now, we've got two options in this cushion. Like that. We've got purple or we've got autumn. Now, they come under the same item number. It's a little drop-down menu when you go to the website if you're shopping ahead of me on the web. Um, but these are all, I'm sure these are all, are these all hand-dyed? They are hand-dyed thread. And somehow, you can tell 
the difference. It's the quality, it's the texture of them, and the minute you hold them, you know there's something different and there's something special about the threads you're about to use. We've got those deep purples and the violets that are running through this one. Uh, once again, all the stitches that you need to know are in the full stitch instructions that you get as well, so everything is in the instructions. You also get the backing for your cushions as well. So not only do you get the front, you also get the backing for the back. All you need to do is add your own cushion pad. But look at the quite it looks like a it looks like a doily. It looks like you've put a lace doily over the front of a cushion. It doesn't look printed at all. It doesn't look stitched at all. It literally looks stamped. It's just beautiful, the design on there. So that's your purple option. We've also got your autumn option as well. Now, obviously, your autumn option is a slightly different pattern that we've got in there as well. So we've got some more of your flowers in here and your fleur-de-lis in here as well. Um, loving all of this, but once again, with those hand hand-dyed threads that you've got in there as well. It's a beautiful, beautiful design. Hand-designed threads, £29.99, 184020 is your item number for these as well. Remember, you're buying into quality and they're all brand new today is what we're looking at. Brand new. We've got other cushions as well. We've also got the uh, the chessboard. Have a look at that on the website before I get there. We're going to get to there later as well. Do not worry. Uh, we've also got the heart on there. The quickest and the easy thing to do is look at the website. Everything is on the website for you. Individual kits and also with the clock faces as well, should you need them. Uh, you've also got your Freedom members and we've also got the Celtic Knot. A beautiful, beautiful design. Look at the price on this. Brand new again. £13.99 pence is what you're looking at for the Celtic Knot. Uh, some stunning prices on there. And we've also got some of your seven day savers as well. So now we're talking about your gold, um, your gold gift sets in there. There, your dressmaking scissors and your little embroidery scissors as well. You've also got wool. Now, live via the wonderful world of Skype, we're going. I think we're going up north. I want to say Scotland is what I want to say. Uh, but we'll ask Debbie. Debbie, are you up north Scotland way? We are sunny Scotland. Sunny Scotland. I knew I'd read it somewhere and I've just remembered it. Uh, right then, Debbie, <laughs> what would you like to show me in your first demonstration? The first demonstration, Adam, you're going to see my hands, I'm afraid. Our setup doesn't allow me to flick backwards and forwards. No, so, that's, that um, is fine. We've seen your little face. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the autumn cushion um, and just a couple of tips for stitching it. Um, I think, Adam, you mentioned the hand-dyed threads, and they are at... So, well, we'll sort that, uh, we'll sort the connection out there. It's up in the Highlands. I don't think the weather's, the weather don't help us when we do these Skype things either. Uh, we'll have, we'll try and contact uh, Debbie again and Gavin, so we will, we'll be there shortly. But uh, the cushions that we've got here as well, we've got the two cushion design. We're currently going to have try and demo uh, the autumn cushion that we're looking at at the moment. £29.99. Uh, 184020 is your item number. Right there live via Skype. Let's try again. Scotland, can you hear me? I can. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Here we go. Let's do this. Good. Uh, I was talking about um, hand-dyed threads, and, and these are hand-dyed by my friend Zoe at Paintbox Threads. They're absolutely beautiful, the colours, and they're lovely to work with. So these are the uh, Trees in Main set that we've used for this cushion. And I've got a picture here of the stitched sample that you can see um, on the show, but you really don't need to follow my, my colour uh, layout. You can choose whatever colours you want um, to go into whichever part of the, the pattern that you're stitching. In the, in the kit, you will get a layout um, to show you where I've put certain colours. But that's really just for reference um, if, if you want to use it. Okay, that's nice. So, so starting with, with the threads, uh, a tip here that, that I've been given with, uh, with the way to use them, they come on a, a paper strip there. You take them off the paper strip, and at the end that they were attached to the paper strip, you'll find the loop. If you then cut at that point, 
all the way through. Yeah. And now you'll be able to pull one strand out at a time to stitch with. So just pull it and there you go. Perfect length and it keeps the threads all tidy. So what I'll do now is I'll show you a little bit of um, stitching. So Debbie, do we get any more than more threads than we actually need? If you're saying we can change the colours on the cushion to what we like, so if I didn't want the red up here and I wanted the red in the middle, but I wanted the orange up here, these boxes look two different sizes. So do I get more colours across the spectrum than I actually need to build in the cushion? So I'm going to be left over with uh, threads at the end of the project. Yes, you will do. There's 50 metres um, in each skein of thread, uh, and there will be some left over. Uh, but then you've got it to do another another project. Fabulous. Um, and these threads can be used um, for quilting, or or any any stitched project project. Okay. So what would you like to show me now? Right. I'm just going to show you a little bit of the black work, just to show that. You know, although we, we call them intermediate level um, designs, they can be picked up very quickly. So I've got my, my fabric here, and I've found the centre of the fabric. I usually do it just by ironing in quarters, so in half, and in half again, and then at the centre of that is the centre of your fabric. Now this is the chart that you'll receive. And it's also got the centre marked with the red, red lines. So we're going to start stitching at the centre here. So remember... And to do black work... Oh no, go on Debbie, sorry. So, sorry Adam. To, to do black work it is literally a back stitch. So um, I liken it to painting with a needle and thread or a bit like the old dot to dot puzzles that we did as kids where you join the dots. So each square on the fabric has a, a hole at each corner and each square on the pattern represents that, that square on the fabric. And the, the, the lines in the design are where you're going to, to do your back stitch. So if I'm starting with this Celtic knot here, in the centre of my fabric. It's always more difficult, I find, trying to, to show people how to do it than it is to, to stitch it myself. I have got a straight line here of four stitches. So what I'm going to do is literally Oh. oh, is everything all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm just a little bit nervous, I must admit. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous <laughs> at all, Deb. You're in safe hands. Thank you. So I'm literally doing a back stitch for the first four stitches. There we go. And back again. So how long then, would a cushion like this take you to do, Debbie? If you're an intermediate level, how long would a cushion of this size take take you to do? Um, I would think probably, depending obviously how long you stitch each day, but say you do a couple of hours at night, it, it might take you about two weeks. Oh, nice. Um, but, but what I would say with the black work because of the repeating element of the design once you've worked out how you've stitched one design it's just multiples of the same design so your, your brain seems to take it in and and you remember as you're going along plus the fact you can just look back to the last one you did and, and copy that so although it does look very intricate it's one stitch um, and it's literally the stitch the, the stitch shows you on the chart which direction it is. So diagonal stitches are across the boxes and straight stitches are either vertical or horizontal. 
Beautiful. Right then, back to demonstration, Debbie. Right. OK. Well, I, I'm just going to do the last of those four stitches here for you, if I can find my needle. Um, and then I'll show you the rest of the, the bits that you get in the... In the kit. In the kit. Yeah. So how long have you, uh, to you, have you just been stitching for the five years, Debbie, or is it something that you've done that you, that you were taught when you were a child, or? I started with cross stitch when I was a, a young teenager. I happened to go to a demonstration, um, and I thought it looked uh, interesting, and I started then. Black work I started about five years ago, um, and I am addicted to it now. I absolutely love it. Uh, and, which, and what I'm doing is trying to mix the two um, disciplines, so the cross stitch and the black work. Because with the cross stitch in some of the other designs, you do that with two strands of stranded cotton and the black work with one. So you get real texture to, to your stitching with the, uh -huh. um, with the thickness of the threads that you're using. We're still with you, Debbie. We're, watching, I... we're just watching what you're doing. <laughs> I also stitch um, as therapy. The condition I have uh, causes arthritis, and I have it quite badly in my hands. Um, and I stitch every evening, which means that I'm moving my hands, but very small movements. And I can, I can feel the difference when I haven't stitched at night the next day. Oh. There you go, you see. Saves, yeah. saves having an apple a day, I suppose. A stitch a day keeps the doctor yes. away. Yeah. That's obviously exactly. that's, your, that's Debbie's personal experience. That's we can't claim that yeah. here oh, yeah. on the channel, but that was Debbie's no, personal no. experience of how he helps her along. And it is, and it is one of these things. Once you start a craft, you do lose yourself into the world of that craft. So whatever gone on in the day, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether you think, oh, I just, I just want to get away for ten minutes. Maybe this is where it takes you. Maybe this is your 10 minutes a day of getting away and you do that little bit of needlework, whether it's on the cushion or whether it's on the advent calendar as well. Uh, there is so many more things that you can do. Right then, so we've got the designs. We'll be back with Debbie and Gavin later on in the show as well. Do not worry. Uh, so we've got the autumn cushion that we've got at the moment. This is where we saw Debbie starting. Straight in the centre is what we were doing with a little back stitch and we were creating that centre point just there. Uh, then you'll work your way out accordingly. You're getting full instructions as well so you're getting the full pattern as Debbie showed us on her TV screen via Skype uh, that what you're actually doing is so once you've done it once as Debbie said it's muscle memory you'll remember how to do it and remember all the threads have been hand dyed beautiful beautiful quality time and time again look at that like a hair swatch isn't it what color would you like madam uh, but you've got them in the autumn colors but then We've got them in the purples as well. The two different contrasting colours, but they work together. Uh, they're neck and neck at the moment. You're loving both of them, which is amazing. £29 and 99 pence. 184020 is your item number that we were looking at at the moment. Right then, uh, well, let's go back uh, to Debbie to see where we're up to. Debbie, where are we up to, my love? Hi, Ed. I'm sorry about that. No, it's all right. Uh, I'm <laughs> I was literally going to uh, show you the next stitch on the de this design here, just so that you've seen a diagonal stitch. Okay. So, so this one, you literally come up in the direction that the di diagonal line on the pattern is. Debbie, my love, if you move your work to your left slightly, where that ballpoint pen is, that would be beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Right. And then just back down. So um, a diagonal stitch down there. And that's the, the starting off of the, of the Celtic knot. I love it. I love it. It's quite easy to do. It, it is. It, it's surprising. People just don't believe it um, when you start to actually work with it, just how simple it is to do. Look at that. Uh, right then, is there anything else you'd like to show me before we move on to, to look at other things on the show? Um, I was just going to show you the, um, 
the cushion itself. So in the kit, you get your stitched outer frontage of the cushion. Yep. You also get a little piece of calico. Now, you don't need to use that. If you've got another piece of fabric that matches what you're doing, then, then please do. But we do include the, the calico in, into it. And it's literally just a matter of centering the design. So you've got both the right side facing. Stitch round three edges of the design. Turn it inside out and iron it. And then you can put your cushion in and then sew up the open end. And then that will give you the cushions that you've got there as samples today. It's beautiful, absolutely stunning. And so you're getting everything that you need in the kit. Remember, not only are you getting all the instructions, you've also got the online help as well, which I absolutely love. So you're never on your own. Now, something else that you're absolutely loving, you're really shopping ahead of me, is the beautiful heart cushion cover kit. £27 and £99. How beautiful is this? You've got all the blues and the crimsons, not crimsons, all the blues and the turquoise that are in there as well. Uh, they're stunning, stunning colours. Remember, once again, you get more threads than you actually need. You're also getting the backing fabric as well. So if you're gifting it and people haven't already got the fabric, they've got the fabric in the kit. You get full instructions included in the kit as well. Uh, and and instructions on how actually to do the stitches so all your stitches are there for you so you haven't got to worry if you've never stitched before they're all in the little booklet that's in the kit with you so if you are gifting it to someone what a beautiful little gift because needles are included as well 27 pounds and 99 pence 081603 is your item number for your heart shaped cushion cover then something very different this is the chessboard kit that we're talking about at the moment how beautiful does this look this is your chessboard kit so what is your chessboard kit it think it was that debbie gave to the family that stayed at her b and b one of the girls the one of the young 11 and 12 year old girls uh, got this kit and she was ma she managed it she got through it and with a little help from debbie as well she's took it home and she's now working her way through her chessboard as you can see with the chessboard some of the squares are left blank and you just use that blue. So it's just the detail. If you want to do the same detail in all of the squares, feel free. Do whatever is easiest for you. 520097 is your item number. £37.49. Brand new on the show today as well. And how beautiful does it look? Um, I, I would definitely consider, if you've never tried it before, I'd definitely consider getting your hands on one of these if I was you. 520097. Nine seven is your item number. Now, by popular demand, you are loving these. You've really found this at the moment. This is the busiest on the show so far. At thirteen pounds and ninety nine pence, zero seven zero four one two is your item number. This is your Celtic knot that we're looking at at the moment. So you are getting all, if I turn it that way for you, uh, all of those Celtic knots on the fabric itself. So you're getting uh, the fabric already included. So you're getting that beautiful black fabric in there. Then you're getting the thread and you're also getting the gold thread as well. So you get everything in the kit that you are going to need to create the beautiful Celtic crosses that you see in front of me at the moment. Already a quarter of the stock here has already gone, which uh, which tells me that you are really buying ahead this hour. Uh, we're very busy across the board is what we are. And guess what? If you're a Freedom member, remember all this will come P&P &P free. Yeah, it's all in with that price. Don't believe me? Here's our Janice to tell you more. Hello everyone. I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. 
Over 12,000 of you are already members, and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member, which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts. They tell me when everything's happening. So if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888. So don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hochanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hochanda family. Yes, you will be. You'll be a part of that growing of Hochanda family indeed. Right then, we've got Gavin on the line this time, Debbie's husband, live by the wonderful world of Skype up there in the highlands of Scotland. And our Gavin's going to show us how to put the clock together. Now, we won't see our Gavin. We're just going to hear his manly tones of the raw Scotland. And we'll see his little hands. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Gavin, how do we put the clock together? Hello, Adam. Um... Yes, the first thing is to measure the center of the backing board of the clock. So it's actually eight and a half inches across or 22 centimeters square. So you find the exact center of it and then you can drill a small hole through the middle. Help if my drill was tightened up a bit. Um, so that will then take the center part of the clock through the middle, except I've used the wrong drill bit and it's slightly too small. So what, um, what size drill bit would we have to Which use? always happens on live TV. Well, what so what size drill bit, Gavin, would we have what size drill bit would we have to use? Sorry? What size drill bit would we have to use? Um, basically one that is just the same size as the threaded part of the clock mechanism. Okay. Um, and I've just, I've, I've done one that's the same size as the end of the clock mechanism rather than the one that's slightly smaller. Um, but I can make it a little bit bigger. Sorry, I should have one I prepared earlier. No, still... it, it's fine. No, that's not going to go through like that. Do you, do you um, want to run and go and get another drill bit and I'll do some numbers? Okay. I can do that. You run off to, you pop to the shed and go and get another drill bit, a bigger drill bit, and then you can tell us the size of the drill bit as well, so then we're all, we can get one in if we haven't already got one, because we might have one of the little hand drills, you see, that you can use. Uh, you, don't need, you don't need the big electric box drills if other brands are available. You could have one of them little windy whisk hand drills, like you do for like your little drawery, and so we can work out the sizes then, can't we? So we'll try and find out the size for you uh, while he's rummaging into the shed. Uh, but Botanic Clocks, now, there's two ways you can get the clocks. They're under different item numbers, and they come under two different items, as it were, because you can go for the full kit, that you're seeing here so you can go for the frame you can go for the clock mechanism that we'll see our gavin fit once he gets that tall bit there most people are going for the full kit that we see here as well. So the full kit gets you the frame and obviously the backboard that we have to measure the centre for that we just do there. So I think it's just around there, more or less. Uh, so once you've found the centre, then obviously you drill it and then you'd pop this end straight the way through and that's the bit that your hands will go onto. But before you do all that, obviously you may need to make a little hole in your artwork and we'll, we'll ask Gavin again, how do you do the hole? How do you cut the hole into your, uh, into your artwork itself? Because remember, you stitched it all. Everything has been stitched with all the threads that are here. And not only has it been stitched, I'm going to move all the pouch on, I'll tidy it up when we go back to Gavin, but you get a full colour image. So now you can see 
where you need to put numbers, what colour goes where. And if you want to slightly change the colours, maybe you've got some thread left over from another project that you already have, you can use those threads as well. You haven't necessarily got to use the threads that are already in the kit. It's entirely up to you what you want to achieve. But then you could adapt the design to do a cushion cover. So don't do the numbers. Where the numbers are, maybe pop some more flowers if you wanted to. So instead of the 12 at the top, maybe pop some more flowers in there, maybe put some French knots in there, maybe start bringing in your organza into it as well. Two flexible payments of £20 is what we're looking at here. 468606 is your item number. If you just want the stitching element on its own, so if you want your artwork to look like this that's in the frame, obviously you won't get the frame, but if you want what's on the inside, you can get that now for £29.99. £29.99 today will get you everything that you see here. So it just gets you the kit. But for an extra £10 today, you are going to get that frame and you're also going to get the mechanism in there as well. Uh, so the full mechan working mechanism, all you need to provide is your own battery for that. If, you, if, you're, um, if you're not a fan of the garden, you think I want more of a, a red and black design, we've got that as well. So you've got the same design, exactly the same concept, comes with the frame and the mechanism. This time, you've got the red and black design in there. Now, once again, with those extra threads that you're getting in there as well, you could add different elements. And so maybe you want to add flowers around the edge. Remember, it's your design that you're going for. £36.99. 962-323 is your item number, is what we're looking at. But they are fully working clocks that we've got here. So you, all you need to do is add the battery and this will be a clock that will be in your house. Maybe this is going to be the one that you pass down from generation to generation. This is going to be the one that everyone is talking about, thinking, oh, I remember that clock. My nan knitted that clock. My dad stitched that clock for me and had it in, he had it in the factory. He had it in the shed. Um, it's one of these things that you're going to use time and time again. Remember, it is a real working clock, and you've also got the mechanism in there as well. £36.99, but if you don't want the frame and the mechanism, and you just want the clock, you just want the design without the numbers, £26.99. Uh, 506-163 is your item number, is what we're looking at. Uh, that shed must be a long way away. Uh, something else that we're looking at as well is the advent calendar. Something I've never seen before is the advent calendar. With the, what you've got on the show now is you've got all 24 numbers all the way around the edge with the teddy bear in the centre with the Christmas saying as well. So now, as Debbie told us at the start of the show, she designed this for a family friend with children that didn't like chocolate. They didn't like the sweets. So what else can you put there? Most advent calendars these days have those little doors with sweets behind. Well, you can't open the door and give them a bath bomb, can you, and stuff like that. So now you can provide your own gifts. Maybe they're into Lego or Duplo or stickle bricks or things like that. Give them fruit if that's what they enjoy. You could have an apple behind there or diff try them different smoothies. It's entirely up to you because now you've got the numbers. You can count up or you can count down. It's entirely up to you to you what you want to achieve. 20 pounds and 50 pence across two flexible payments. Uh, right then, let's get back to the clock live via Skype. We're back with our Gavin, uh, found the drill pit, and I think he's drilled the hole and we're ready for the next section. Gavin, where are we up to, bud? Yes, I've managed to get the mechanism through the back and connected the nut onto the screws on the front of the mechanism so that you can see that's perfectly centered in the middle of the board okay um, ready for you to now I have a cheat version of this where we've printed the design onto fabric and what you do is you put a piece of double-sided tape along um, the back or the four sides of the back of the clock the side where the mechanism is and you can then take off the cover of that and position your clock perfectly over the center and make sure that it 
you can feel the edges that it's in the right place and then you bend the fabric over and it sticks to the other side of the frame and then you can do the other end and stretch it down and it will go over that side and then the same on the other two sides to stick the fabric down so that it's nicely positioned. Um, obviously you'll take a bit more care, I'm rushing to try and... No, you're fine, um, don't you rush, we've got more than enough time. Uh, what Do you stitch, Gavin? Are you a, are you a stitcher or are you, are you more hands-on and you like the building element of them? Um, I do do tapestry, I don't do the cross-stitch myself. Oh, um, nice. Uh, but that's because I've got fat fingers and um, poor eyesight, so... <laughs> I prefer doing tapestry, which my grandfather used to do as well. So you can see the knob here of where the center part of the clock is. So you can then just snip through the fabric with a pair of scissors to create a hole for the um, mechanism to come through. And there, oh, just need to make it slightly bigger. So that you can get all the pieces of the clock on. So the minute hand goes on first. And you can push that down you hear it click whoops so that is on the minute hand and um, the hour hand piece you then put the minute hand on the bit above that and then the second hand oh so we get on the top so we bit. get second hands as well yep and then you can use the winding mechanism to show, I don't think I've got that bottom one on correctly, but you can actually see the design, the element go in. You then take your frame and you put the glass in carefully at the bottom. Then you have the spacer element to give you the space for the hands to go round. Then you put your stitched portion in sorry a couple of those if, a couple of these um, holders are a little proud but Then you push these down and there slightly imperfectly is your clock. Um, obviously you position it slightly more carefully than I have there because I've been going for speed. Um, but you can get it perfectly positioned within the frame and then all you have to do is put the battery in. and set it to the right time and your clock works. Oh, look at that, where have we gone? We've got a working clock. Oh, beautiful. Well, there you go, you see, it's as simple and as easy as that. Now, obviously, from the powers of TV, it's, it's work, I'll let you into a secret, it's easier doing this here than it is doing Skype. I dread doing Skype yes. and lives uh, when I'm at home anyway. Uh, so the miraculous work of TV, um, it was, when you get in your own home, you're not on live television, it will all, it's always the way of television, nothing goes according to plan. Um, but it will, you sit there and you're in your own home, you can sit back and relax, and you know it's all going to fit. For the sheer fact, all you have to do is measure. That's it. 
Measure the centre so you know where the centre is of your artwork, so you know where you're going to pierce through. And once you've pierced through, you know you're good to go. Uh, £39.99 is for the clock that we're looking at at the moment. Uh, 468606 is your item number uh, for these as well. Uh, you're looking at brand new today for the clocks. We're looking at absolutely amazing, beautiful clocks. If you don't want them as a clock, you can keep them as the designs that you've got here. Just take the numbers out and pop flowers in if you wanted to as well. 468606 is your item number. We've got the borders and flowers. We've also got the black and white option as well. And we've also got the options on their own. So if you just want the stitching kit on its own without the mechanism and the frame, so you just want to go for what's on the inside of the frame here, we can do that as well. We can do that £29.99, and £29 so £29.99, 463716 is your item number. You're going to get all the threads in there, you're going to get even, uh, you'll get the pattern and your instructions. Obviously you just won't get the frame, but maybe you've got a tapestry hoop at home that you're going to pop it into. And you can take out the numbers if you wanted to as well. It's entirely up to you. Uh, we're busy across the board. We're busy for the advent calendar. You are absolutely adoring the advent calendar because remember you're going to be buying into other things as well. And something else that's busy are our cushion covers that we've got on the show. We've got purple or we've got autumn. Now remember all the threads here are hand dyed. They are hand dyed and you can tell the minute you handle these, you can tell that they are hand dyed. They've got a texture about them. And if you watch back on Rewind as well, our Debbie showed us to take the top and just snip into them so you can get single threads every single time. Uh, they all come on a little loop system at the top. Uh, so you take them off the loop. Let me move each other's fingers. Uh, take them off the loop and snip into that, and then you can pull the skeins away as you go. Also, Debbie said when she was uh, demonstrating the autumn one, you don't have to have the colours of where they are here. Okay? If you read the instructions, I read this earlier. Where did I see it? There they are. Um, Debbie's just left it colour one, colour two, colour three, colour four, colour five, colour six. So that colour could be anything. Then all you need to do is take your colours and you decide where your colours are going to go. So there's no rules or regulations on where you have to do. All you simply do is have to enjoy. Just enjoy and add your own cushion pad on the inside. You're getting the backing fabric in there, you're getting the front. All you have to do is add your own cushion and you are good to go. Uh, we've also got Autumn as well on the show. Same item number, 184020 is your item number for the Autumn. And this time it's all the autumnal colours that we've got on there as well, which are absolutely beautiful, is what we're looking at at the moment. Right then, we're busy across the board. I knew we would be for now. We're also busy for the Celtic knots that we've got on the show. You're loving these, $13.99 you're, you're paying for these. You're not getting the frame with this, though, but you're getting everything you see inside the frame. So you're getting... Uh, the thread, the white thread in there, and you're also getting the gold thread as well. And nearly 50% of the stock here has already gone. 070412 is your item number. £13.99 and they're brand new today. Brand new today is what we're looking at for this. £13.99. If you've never started before, give it a bash. You're getting full instructions included as well in the kit. So once again, you're going to know what you're doing. From there, you're also getting stitching instructions. So you're also getting the stitching guide. So whether you've never tried this before, it's worth having a little go because you've got the guide in there. And you've also got finishing the threads off as well. Right then, we've only got about three minutes left. So Debbie, what would you like to show me in the last three minutes of the hour? Scotland, can you hear me? Hello. Oh, there we go, Debbie. Uh, what would you like to show me? We've got Hi. about three minutes left. Right, I shall be quick then. I just wanted to talk a little bit about metallic threads because we have them in the Botanic Clock and, of course, the Celtic uh, Knot Collection. There's two types that uh, are used. A very fine one, which is used for the wings of the bee in the clock, and then a slightly thicker one, which is used for the Celtic Knot Collection. And really, the main thing with metallic thre threads is don't cut your thread too long. Keep it short. Uh, and that way it, it doesn't split. The, the narrow one, the cork, primate cord that is used in the clock, doesn't split anyway, but the, the slightly thicker ones do. So that's just a, a bit of advice for using metallic threads. 
Okay, fabulous. Uh, so all the advice is there as well, so everything you need. Uh, Debbie, we haven't got long left. Maybe there's people sitting on the fence for these clocks, or maybe the advent calendar, or the Celtic Knots thinking, I'd like to give it a go, but there's something stopping me. What would you say to those people that are putting the barriers up thinking, well, I've never tried it before, I, won't be, I might not be able to do it. What would you say to those sorts of people? I would, I would say have a go on a smaller piece, or even if you like the designs and you want to, want, that's the kit you want to do, you could, if you had a little bit of spare Ada, you could just have a go on a, on a scrap piece of Ada first. And I think everyone would be very surprised that once you started, it all falls into place. It becomes, um, you wonder why you ever doubted yourself once you get started. And we were saying earlier as well, um, with the clocks, well, if you didn't want to turn them into clocks, you could, am I right in saying you could quite easily take out the numbers and put in flowers or make the flowers bigger? Is that possible with these designs? Absolutely. Absolutely. The, the sky's the limit. Um, everything's possible. And if, if somebody's got a, a question and they want to do something like that, but they're not sure, just get in touch. Get in touch. And uh, are you on the social medias, Debs? I am. We're on Facebook and Instagram. Give yourself a little plug. What do we look for? Uh, Facebook is Doodlecraft Designs and so is Instagram. I had to think about that. Fabulous. Uh, we'll look for all of those. We're not meant to, but you know, give you a cheeky plug if people want to go and look and they want the help. The help is always out there. Do check the social media. Uh, Gavin, Debbie, thank you ever so much for being with me for the last hour. It's been an absolute pleasure. Um, I hope next time we do this, uh, you'll be in the studio with me live. They were all live via Skype. Uh, stay safe and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks, Adam. Thanks for, for bearing with us. Not a problem. As I said, you're in safe hands. These hands help babies. Oh, the safest you could have. Uh, <laughs> have a good day. I'll speak to you later. Uh, we're very busy you across too. the board, cracking demonstrations that we've got here as well. Uh, we saw to how to put the clock together. You can watch that back on Rewind as well. And Debbie showed us in the first demonstration how to start off with the cushion as well, that autumnal cushion. And then we just spoke about the threads as well, those beautiful gold threads that you're getting in the kit. Everything is in there for you from beginning to middle to end, from needles to threads to full instructions and online tutorials as well. £39.99, that will get you everything that you see here from mechanism to frame to design. For £29.99, you can find it on the website. You will just get the design that you see here as well. 468606 is your item number for the complete collection. We've got it in this option or under a different item number, though. You can also go for the red and the black as well. It's entirely up to you. We haven't got that long left of this hour. Start checking out your basket if I was you, because I don't want you to miss out either. So, there is so much more coming up. Uh, very busy on the advent calendar and very busy on that Celtic Knots down the bottom as well. Uh, don't go anywhere. There's so much more to shop for here on the wonderful world of Achanda. I will see you in about an hour's time. Yes, indeed, the next three hours look a little bit like this. Um, oh, cricket's up next. You won't want to miss that with another cracking deal. Once they're here, they're here. And once they've gone, they have gone. Then, one day special. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda.
Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work, and at Clarity, we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality, and award winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent, and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we're mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. We also have a great little team of other artist friends who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chanda. one and all I hope you are well oh you are in for a treat of a show for the next hour we're talking everything cricket about making and creating in the comfort of your own home whether you're doing this for your crafty projects and those projects could be fabric projects could be paper projects all kinds of different mediums all kinds of different blades all kinds of different designs not just by yourself but also designs that you can get from the design space from Cricut. This is a superb hour show for you. It is a deal for this hour and it's going to be available for you for 24 hours. But we always have very, very busy shows. So do make your decision fairly quickly, pop it into your basket, and you've got three very easy payments to go by. I'm going to tell you everything that you're getting in the deal, but I do need to introduce you to the other star of the show, and that's the crafty gentleman. And I mean that with the utmost respect. <laughs> thank you, <laughs> How thank are you, Mike? I'm very good. It's nice to be in the studio with you again. Yes, it certainly is. Been now, Mike, time. for anyone at home that perhaps has not seen you or a cricket mm -hmm. show before, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and yes. your association with cricket? Yes. Of course, yep. So I'm Mike. I run a craft company called The Crafty Gentleman, which is kind of a multi-crafting website full of tutorials and um, craft ideas. 
And through that, a few years ago, Cricket um, got in touch with me and um, wanted to do a little bit of work with me. And that has just grown and grown into what now is a really kind of fruitful relationship with Cric Cricket. So I represent them here on her Chanda, doing monthly shows, um, working with the her Chanda team and obviously the Cricket UK team to really just uh, showcase the fantastic Cricket maker in particular and all the amazing things that it can do. Superb. And I know you love cricket. Yes, um, I've yes. seen your blogs, I've seen your posts on Facebook, on Instagram, mm -hmm. all over the social uh, media networks. And it's, it's so lovely to have you here because we've got an expert. Now, if you do have any questions, please do email it. That was a request from Mike yes. in the preparation meeting. It's good to have your questions because we can get those questions answered for you whilst we've got Mike here. So it's studio at hochanda.com. Let's talk about the cricket maker. Let's first of all talk about the machine Mike and why people should go for this because it is rather a spectacular machine. It is I mean not only does it look beautiful you don't need me to tell you that it looks like a spaceship it's amazing but this is the ultimate cutting machine it's the most versatile and powerful cutting machine for domestic use on the market just quite simply um, it can cut everything from the most lightweight paper and fabric so think silks and tissue paper and crepe paper really delicate things all the way through to heavy duty things like chipboard, heavy denim, grey board, which is, you know, that thick back on, the, on notebooks. So anything and everything in between as well. So iron on vinyls, um, adhesive vinyls, sticker paper, paper card. So whether you are a sewist, a soft crafter or a paper crafter or even a model maker, you want to make things for your home, for an event like a wedding, whatever it is you want to do, the Cricut Maker is going to be that tool that will unlock so many new capabilities that right now you either simply can't do at home or you could do, but it's going to take you so much longer and probably have not quite the same level of professionality in, in the result. Now it's easy to use and you can connect this to your Macs, your PCs, you can connect this uh, to the, your tablets, your mobiles and the great thing is you could actually start to play with the software that's available to you, that design space right now at home. So you can get a taster for it in the show as we're demonstrating the cricket for you and then you'll be able to see just how easy that is to use. But you can also use your own designs as well but we'll go more into that into the show. So you've got your maker. Uh, that comes with your blades already in there and it also comes with the rotary blade which cuts it does, yep, so that's through cool. so beautifully. Yes it does, yes. So just to clarify, so it comes with the fine point blade which is just a normal blade. If you imagine a knife it's a tiny little tip. Yep there we go, the silver one there. That's good for cutting paper, card, vinyl, iron on, heat transfer vinyl, all that kind of thing. The other blade that it does come with is the rotary blade, which Janice mentioned, which is, if you imagine, just a normal rotary blade you might be used to using at home. It's a little mini version of those, and that is designed to cut through fabric. So it will glide over your fabric and cut through it without pulling or tugging or fraying or distorting your fabric. So really good for particularly woven fabrics that um, tend to fray and unravel. So if you imagine on the extreme end something like a hessian or a tweed, which is quite loosely woven, or even a knitted fabric like a jersey, which when you cut can kind of stretch or distort or be quite slippy, the maker is going to handle that beautifully using the rotary blade. Yeah, it certainly is. We also have another blade for you in the deal, and that is your wavy blade. Now, we've got a star cut out just at the bottom there, and you can see from that, if I lean over and grab that, there you go, and turn it, you can see that great effect that's on there. Now, that effect can be used with fabric and your other mediums that you put through your Cricut Maker. And in order to put them through as well, you have the two mats. Now, these are colour-coded. You've got the blue mat and the pink mat, haven't you, Mike? What's you the do difference? indeed. Yep, of course. So, um, not only are they just nice looking, but they do serve a purpose so the blue mat goes I like to think it of as it goes with the fine point blade that I just mentioned so the normal kind of knife tip blade so that's where the blue mat is where you want to put your um, card and paper and vinyl all that kind of thing it's kind of your bread and butter mat that's going to probably cut 90% of the materials that you want to use the pink mat is a specialty mat called the fabric grip mat which uh, no prizes for guessing what that's for that's for cutting fabric <laughs> so if you are doing fabric then all you need to remember is use your pink mat and your rotary blade and they'll work together beautifully and just to give you an idea of what you can make and create isn't this adorable <laughs> mm, so you can make uh, your items bespoke to your family and to your customers as well. Remember, you can use this on a professional level as well. Right, so we're also getting some tools as well.
well to help you take your fabric, take your card, and take your mediums off your mat. So you've got your basic, we say basic, but there's a lot of tools in here, isn't there, Mike? Yeah, it's a really handy tool set. So you've got the, the little scissors there with the protective cover, which are really, really sharp, but quite small scissors. So they're really good for cutting down your projects once you've cut out the detailed design on the mat. And I'll use them in my demos later so you can see how I use them. Then you have the scraper tool as well, which is that weird kind of square thing at the top. So that's really good for not only applying things onto the slightly adhesive mat nice and evenly, but also scraping it off. So if you imagine you've cut, uh, let's say, some card or some paper, as you peel it off, you might leave a few bits that you've cut out on the mat. So it's really good for scraping them away. And then there's also a couple of additional tools like the little tweezers, a little kind of spatula thing and a pick. And these are, again, just good for taking things off the mat so you don't need to use your fingers and touch the adhesive and also taking away any little little designs from your design that have managed to just stay in place as you've taken it off the mat. So a really handy tool set there. And here's a lovely example actually of how you can use the tools to take out the pieces you don't need once your maker has cut through. And that, is that real leather or faux leather? That's real leather, wow, yeah. So this is actually cut with a slightly different blade that is extra to this, but it's on the show. It's the knife blade, I believe. Yes. But just to show the sort of things that you can grow into as yes. you use this machine. But I mean, that is fairly thick real leather and yeah. look at the detail that we've cut there you can get that exact level of accuracy with pretty much any material you want to throw at this machine talking of material we've got some fabric for you included in the deal so this is a great way if you are a crafter that uses card and paper for example this is a great way now to launch over into fabric crafting as well if you already are uh, a crafter with fabric a soft crafting person this is also going to give you the chance to now expand your crafting knowledge to other areas areas so we have got some marvelous uh, fabric for you great gorgeous designs as well lovely summer colors in there which is lovely and these are cotton so you can start making and creating maybe your embellishments your appliques for your designs we've also got some vinyl as well included in the show some nice glittery vinyl in the blue and the gold and you've also got some foil now where would we use the foil because that's going to be quite a very light uh, medium to cut yes yeah exactly so it's, it's a decent it's iron on foil so you can use it in the same way that you would use normal heat transfer vinyl so if you want to personalize your t-shirts or your sweatshirts like the one I'm making or even cushions and home furnishings or gifts you could personalize pretty much any fabric that you want to you can even use iron on vinyl on wood so if you want to make wooden signs you can apply heat transfer vinyl onto that as well and the foil is just one of the designs that we've got available but yeah it's that kind of obviously a foil finish so there's absolutely no shed no kind of glitter shed or anything like that it just gives this really really rich shiny effect so it's a yeah, it's a nice, nice one to use. And you can see actually there in what Janice is holding, I've used it in the blue scissors. So you get an idea of oh, how shiny it is. Yeah, yeah. and that is, a, that is a small piece to cut out and mm. get precise. And that's exactly what the maker does for you. Now, we have had a question in, and the question is from Anne. Anne would like to know whether you can cut out stamped images. Cut with your Cricut. Stamped images. Hi, Anne. Yep. So as if you are going to pre-stamp them, like with um, your know, normal ink stamp, and then cut it out, that is definitely possible. So a tool that I, or a feature I would recommend you use is what's called Snap Mat. So if you use um, a device that has a camera to control the machine, so that's your smartphone or a tablet, so it's got a camera on it. If you use that to control the machine, then you can also use the camera feature to take a photo of your mat, so you stamp your design, you put it onto your adhesive mat, you'd use not the pink one, but let's say, put it onto your adhesive mat, then you literally take a photograph of it using the Design Space software and the camera on your device, and you can line up where you're going to cut to basically go around your stamped design, so it would be completely precise. So there's no guesswork, there's no kind of trying to roughly line it up on the screen and sort of eyeball it onto what you've got in real life. You can actually basically import that photo and line it up on the control panel. So it might sound a little bit complicated, it really isn't. If you want to just look for Snap Mat, so all one word, Snap Mat, um, on the Cricut help pages, then they probably do a slightly better job of explaining it than I did. But yeah, to answer your question, you definitely can't do that. Oh, you're doing a perfect job. You're doing a perfect <laughs> job. Right, your details, we're getting busy. 673320 is your item number. You can divide the cost of this over three months. It will pay for itself, in my opinion, because if you start making and creating, it could be gifts. You could turn uh, your makes into a business and sell them online as well because you're going to get that professional finish. People will be calling you more. Your <laughs> friends will be knocking at your door. 
as long as it's safe to do so because they'll want you to make things for them. Uh, right, £484.91, pence, but we will divide that cost over three payments. Give us a call on 01733 or head to the website, £161.64 today. And then another payment in a month's time, another payment a month after that. And then, yes, that's it. That's it. Three months. Um, so pop this into your basket. Don't be disappointed. I want you to get this fantastic deal whilst we've got it. 673320. Right. Can we talk about the Easy Press? This is absolutely fantastic. Um, now, your cricket is going to be dispatched on the 28th of August um, because Cricket is an American company so we have to get the stock first and this will also be dispatched on the 28th. Now your Easy Press, well it's in the name isn't it, it's going to make pressing easy and it's really important to get it at the right temperature and that's exactly what you've got here with the Easy Press but some really cool features with this Mike and I know Mike's mm -hmm. got one with him yeah. so he'll be able to pick his up. If I pick this up mm -hmm. this is all going to go and fall off the table so I let Mike pick the one up that he has because there's some great features on your easy press yeah absolutely so the easy press is um, a heat press basically so if you imagine um, a kind of a domestic iron that kind of technology it's got a hot metal plate underneath and it's used for applying heat transfer vinyl iron on vinyl which we've obviously talked about before in the show bundle um, so really you cut your designer on the maker and then apply it with the easy press but it's not just any old iron or even any old heat press it has got some really special features that do make it easy as Janice mentioned so first up we have got this um, interface at the top so if I just turn this on you can see a really simple interface with a temperature and time setting so if I turn that around you can see it the right way up so we've got a temperature and a time setting on here so we can set this manually to whatever the exact temperature and time that we need for our project and if you're wondering well, how on earth do I know that? That's all very well and good being able to do that, but how do I know that? All the information will be on the Cricut website. If you just search for the interactive heat guide, then all the information is there. You can then input that information and it will get to the exact temperature that you need and you can apply it. So you get basically perfect results every single time. There's no guesswork. And then if I flip that over, just on the reverse, we see we've got this hot plate. Again, not just any hot plate. It's not just a sheet of metal that's going to get hot. This is going to get perfectly to temperature from corner to corner and edge to edge all the way across. So whatever temperature we tell it to go to, it will go to within, I think it's within five degrees of accuracy. So completely perfect accuracy for the project. Unlike a normal iron, if you want to do your heat transfer vinyls with an iron at home, that can work maybe on smaller designs, it can be okay. But if you're going to be doing a lot of them, I definitely recommend this because you will notice over time, if you apply your designs with iron, with a normal domestic iron, they can start to peel away a little bit and you don't get perfect results. That won't be the case with the Easy Press. It's been perfectly designed for that kind of project. It really is a fantastic deal as well. It's available on FlexiBuy, but if you're going with this and the maker, of course, they'll all be on three payments at the same time. Now, you've got your heat mat, which is really important uh, because this has got special technology inside that will allow the heat to go through, but then also come back up as well, which is really important because heat will be maximized for you when you are adding your items to to your clothing. Now you've got vinyl included in this because we want to give you items so you can get started with your projects. So you've got your sports flex which is perfect as it says for anything uh, sporty, for leggings, for t-shirts. It will stretch when you stretch. So you may have had items before that have got something uh, on the t-shirt and it starts to crack a little bit. This will stretch with you. So when you are doing those lunges, it's going to lunge with you. Uh, right, so you've got your uh, sports flex in there and you've also got your fantastic, um, very, very brightly coloured uh, vinyl just at the bottom there, that easy on, uh, easy iron on. Uh, now, you've also got two designs for you right there, ready to go. So you can pop those on to your, well, these look great on t-shirts on jackets, on bags or anything like that. And you've also got your bag as well. This is really important because you can pop your Easy Press in here, you can take it with you, and I do believe you can put it in here even when it's on a warm temperature. You can indeed, yep. yes. So if you let it cool down just for a couple of minutes, then you can put the Easy Press straight into the bag and it'll be completely heat proof and safe.
It's a great deal, £233.92. You're saving £65 on this deal, so if you have been thinking about getting this for a long time, now's your chance to do it. We'll also split the cost. It's only £77.97 today. A considerable purchase, I know, but it's going to be well worth the money when you get it home. Uh, 514119. Now, you can shop by brand on the website. We do recommend you do this. If you already own a maker, we know that hundreds of you already do own makers that you've bought from us here at Hochanda. Well, we've got some great news. We've got some great deals on vinyl and fabrics and transfer and tools and pens on our website so maybe now's the time for you to stock up you've been waiting for the show so here it is so please do go and have a look we've got eight pages worth of products so maybe you've made created and sold and now you need to stock up and you know of course from Cricut you're getting that perfect combination of vinyl of pens of tools whatever it is you buy you have that Cricut name logo to go with it to make of course your own logos right let's head over to Mike who's got Got some demonstrations coming up. Uh, we are busy on the show, so uh, give us a call, head to the website, best way to order the website. So Mike, what are we going to have a look at first? Right, so first up, I thought we would make a little plush toy, because you know, why not? That's, that's always fun to make. So we're going to make this little monster guy here. I don't think you saw this before, John. This is this oh, little guy wow, here, isn't that. he cool? So this is actually one of the existing projects in Cricut Design Space. So this isn't something that I've invented and designed myself. This is already there waiting for me to make. So all the designs on there. So he is a piece of, well, two pieces of fabric. So this cotton fabric, which actually comes in the show bundle today. And then all of this detail, his eyes, his teeth, his little spots, they are all iron-on iron on vinyl as well, which I've applied for a little bit of detail. And then he's even got these felt little horns there and a little pocket. I think he was actually designed as a tooth fairy monster. So your kids can put their teeth in there overnight. And then he'll leave a little treat for you in the morning. So I thought I would show you how to make this from scratch. So first up, I've got the fabric. Now this is 12 by 24 um, size fabric that comes in the show bundle today in the Cricut fabric packs. Of course, if you've got fabric at home, because let's face it, pretty much all of us do, we've got more fabric than we could ever use in our stash. You can definitely use that as well. You're not restricted just to Cricut fabric. Um, but the great thing is if you do use Cricut fabric, it's perfectly sized for you. So you can see how the width of that is fitting my mat really, really nicely. There is a bit of a tail just on the end, but you can get a double size mat as well, which is exactly the same as this, but double the length. So we can cut double length pieces. For this, I don't need it though, so I can just leave this tail hanging here. Now, you'll notice I'm applying it to the pink mat, the fabric grip mat, as I mentioned earlier. And I'm now going to just gently press that with my brayer tool. Now again, this isn't completely necessary, but it is good best practice to get into just to get rid of those little bubbles and wrinkles on there and make sure that you get a good adhesive adhesion across the whole thing so you're not missing any bits that's potentially going to peel off when it cuts. It's rare, but it can happen. So I'm just going to take out the um, piece that I cut at the top of the show. So I'm just going to put that to one side so we can make space for this. Just turn the machine around a little bit. And you also get the brayer included in the deal today. So if you see Mike using Brilliant. that, and you've seen how easy it is to place that fabric on, that brayer is included in the deal, everyone. That's good. It is a handy one to have, definitely. Right, now on the screen, I'm just going to end the cut that I did at the start of the show, and then I'll show you how to cut this. So if we jump onto the screen, you can see there he is, Tooth Fairy Monster. So this was an existing project, as I mentioned, in Design Space. It shows you a few photos of the finished project. He's even got a friend there, so you can make a few of them. Um, and then all I need to do is click Make It. And that will take me over to the matte preview screen. And I can scroll down and see all of these different components. So we've got here his horns. We've got his little spots there for the iron-on design. We've got, what's that one? I think that's more spots for the top. So there's loads of different things there, but the one that I want to cut out is this. So his main body pieces. So these are going to be cut out in the cotton that I've just loaded onto the mat. So I'll click continue. I'll just find the machine. It's just knocked me off there. So I'll find the machine. This is actually connecting through Bluetooth. So you can do this completely wirelessly. So actually right now in the studio, they're probably about two meters apart, my laptop and the maker. So you imagine in your craft room at home, you could have your computer on one side and the maker on the other, or even in a different room if you haven't got much space. So you don't need to have them plugged in. If you prefer to, you can plug them in using a cable and that comes with it though. Now I'm gonna swap the blades 
And is it easy to swap the blades? Super on? easy, yeah, in fact. Yeah, I'm so used to doing it, and it's so easy, I forgot to even explain how to do it. So there's a little door just on the front, this grey door, and I'm just going to open the door, and then I can just slip this blade out. So this was the fine point blade. If I just show you the blade coming out there, see that coming out? So that's the blade that's for paper, card, and vinyl. So I'm going to put that to one side, and I'm going to add the rotary blade. Now I've got a question for that blade actually, Mike, yeah. so I've not seen that before with the blade coming out. Mm -hmm. Do you push it to have the blade coming out in f even further or is that just something you, you no, need no, that's to show only, us? That's, that is to actually change the blade, so if right. I move that again, I don't know whether the camera can pick that up, so actually I can press that out Okay. and so I can press that out and if I wanted to now with my other hand I can gently take that out and replace the blade. Probably so over some time, tweezers, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't mm. recommend with your bare hands, but over time, obviously it will blunten like anything will, but we're talking in the region of years. Yeah, even yeah, with definitely. heavy use. I think, you might never have to change yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. But that, that's a good point actually to show you that because I, mm -hmm. I can be very clumsy, so I'm glad I've seen the fact that if you push it the blade comes out. So that's something just to bear in mind when you are taking it in and out of your maker, mm -hmm. just make sure you don't push that top down brilliantly. Yeah, be very, very careful. And I'm actually also going to put a pen in there as well because this project also draws the seam allowances on for you, which is something we haven't even talked about on the show yet. This can also draw. So it can not just cut, it can draw. So if you're thinking about doing invites or wall art or anything like that, it can draw for you. Whatever you want to type and design or pictures or even embroidery designs, you can draw using the washable pen, the washable fabric pen, which is what we're using now. So I've added that in into the other port and I've added the blade into the, um, the B port so they are ready to cut and draw the seam allowance. I'm now going to press the flashing Cricut logo and that's going to have a little think. It's just going to make sure that I put the right tools in there first. So if I'd accidentally left the previous blade in, the fine point blade, it would have a think and it would say, hold on, this isn't the right blade for fabric, you do need to change that. So there we go, we can see that drawing the pattern on. Now the actual mat comes out the back of the Cricut, something mm -hmm. else to tell you as well because if you yeah. are positioning this in your craft room, yes. bear yeah. that in mind because the mat of course goes through and then it comes back and then it mm -hmm. goes through and then it comes back. Yep, so have a little bit of space behind, you don't want that to hit a wall, it won't damage it but it's just best to be safe. So you can see that's actually drawn the outline of the little monster already and that's the seam allowance. Obviously this is a really simple project, we don't really need the seam allowance drawing on but you can imagine if you're making a much more complex 3D project or a quilt or something like that where you need to be quite precise, having the seam allowances drawn on for you is super handy. And it can also, if you're making, um, say, dressmaking or something that's really precise where the patterns need to match perfectly, it will even cut your notches for you. So it's tailor-made to make sewing a breeze for you. It will do all of that hard work of measuring your project, cutting it out, marking your notches, working out the seam allowances, all of that hard stuff that nobody really enjoys, it will do all of that for you so you can do the fun bit of actually sewing. So Mike, if I had a design and I've come up with a logo or it might be um, a character like mm -hmm. what you're making yeah. right now, how do I transfer that from my thoughts down to paper into a computer and then use it with your makeup? Yeah, absolutely. Well, a good example actually is the design I'm wearing today. This is actually a design that I did myself. So this is based on a drawing that I did and some of my own writing. So I designed it on paper, drew it all, I then scanned it into my computer and I just cleaned it up a little bit in Photoshop. If you're not too comfortable with, doing, with using um, programs like that, don't worry too much. You can just upload a scanned image or even a photographed image and you can clean it up within the Design Space software and it will talk you through all of that. And then once it's in there, it's ready to be resized, to be rotated, to be moved about, whatever you want to do. Or just leave it as it is and then you can cut it out or draw it or whatever it is that you want to do. So it, it really is simple. If you can get a design onto paper and draw it fairly cleanly, then you'll be able to scan it and easily cut it out again and again and again. Wow, it's like having your own artist with you, isn't it? Yes. And your own workforce with you, yeah, there is, in your yeah. craft room. It is, it's Now, if great I wanted to make, create and sell with any of the mm -hmm. designs, perhaps, that are on the design space, is that yep. going to be okay? It is in most cases, yep. So the Angel policy, in general, does allow you to make and sell most of the designs within um, Cricut Access, which is the subscription service. There are some licensed images in there, so if you imagine like the big cartoon franchises and superhero franchises, Obviously you can't make and sell those things, but most of the more generic designs you can make and sell on the Angel policy, but I do always recommend if there is something you want to use, contact the Cricut help desk first before you do it, just to double check, because some of them do have some quirks and they don't allow you to, but in general, yeah, you are allowed to, as long as you cut everything and make everything with the Cricut machine, you're not 
taking those designs and using it with a competitor. Perfect. Right, so we can see now I've cut that out and I'm peeling this away, and this is always the very satisfying bit. I'm literally just peeling that away. So I eased it away using the tweezers, just because I don't want to touch the sticky bit of the mat. And now this just peels away like a dream. I don't even need to be delicate there, really. And you can see it's left those two little shapes perfectly cut out. So I can now pick these off. And is that in the yeah, shape of away. a tooth? It actually oh, looks in the shape is, of a tooth, yeah. even if it is a tooth fairy. It is a tooth monster, yeah. Oh, gee, I haven't even noticed that. Have I missed it? <laughs> really obvious. There we go. We've got a little tooth monster in the shape of a tooth with our seam allowance drawn on. So all we need to do now is, well, in fact, I'm going to cut out some of the iron-on design and apply that so you can see how to do the next step. But you can imagine, obviously, we put these right sides together and then just stitch around the seam allowance and turn it inside out, and we'd end up with our little monster here once we put all of the extra designs on. So nice and easy. And this obviously is quite a basic shape. Obviously you probably could cut this with scissors, but I'm choosing a fairly basic shape for the show today. You can get crazy intricate shapes here, or you can do quite simple designs and repeat them over and over. So if you imagine you're making a quilt and you've got lots of hexes, lots of quilt blocks that you need to cut out to the exact same size and dimension, I mean that in itself could take a day of solid work just to cut the pieces for a quilt stick it on the maker and it will take you an hour maybe and most of that will be just watching the machine and being quite mesmerized by it the actual work time will be so so minimal i think it's going to give you a chance to change your digital artwork as well to go straight into the maker without drawing a template and then taking that template and putting it onto your fabric and then drawing around the template again all you have to do is put that design together within your software and then the maker will do the rest of the hard work for you but it's not just about fabric it's about paper it's using other mediums as well that you can cut through there are other blades that you can buy as well it can use your pens not just the ones from Cricut but you can also use other pens as well so maybe you've got a favorite pen at home uh, you could use that as long as it's uh, like a ball uh, style pen it's, Is that no, it's, right? it's actually just Cricut pens right, yep. so you can't Cricut put pens. other oh. branded pens in sorry yeah just Cricut pens but there's absolutely those to choose from so if you can think of it they probably sell it so you're talking fine liners through to thicker ones glitter pens metallic pens the washable fabric pen that i just used loads of different types and the bundle actually does come with um, a fine point pen pen just a normal black fine point pen so good for writing um actual text and invites that kind of thing and also the washable pen is in the bundle as well so it good to get you going on fabric and um, paper crafts. Excellent. Well, if you've got that pen to start you going, who knows what kind of designs that you're going to come up with. Uh, it really is an incredible deal. We are getting busy, though. I do need to tell you that. Three payments will divide the cost over three months for you. It's interest-free as well. You don't need to do anything or have a reminder. It'll just come out of your bank account automatically. We'll set all that up for you. All you have to do is get in touch. 673320 is your item number. Three payments of £161.64 pence for this fantastic deal that we've got for you today of course starring the maker you've got your two blades there you've got your additional wavy blade included you've got your tools as well to get you set up including the pen as well you've got some vinyl so you can start making and creating some wonderful projects and you've also got some great fabric as well so maybe you want to make and create and design from there uh, right let's head back to uh, Mike and we've got some more demos for you Yep, so you'll remember at the start of the show, I was cutting something out of this white material, which is actually iron-on heat transfer vinyl. So I'm just going to quickly cut out my design, and I'm using these little scissors from the basic tool set. So these are really, really handy to have around. They are super sharp, and they are, I think they're specially designed for vinyl, which is actually quite a thick and sturdy material, but they cut through it nice and easily. Always make sure to put the cap back on because they are super sharp. You don't want to be catching yourself on them. So I'll cut the design out. I'm going to put that to one side for now, and then I'll come back to it in a moment. But the next bit I want to do is the black part of the design. So you'll notice on this little monster, we've got the black eyes and the black mouth, and then the white teeth and the white, white parts of the eye as well. So I'm going to cut all of those out. I'm going to leave the felt designs and these little spots for now, just to show you the basics of his face. So I've cut out the white already. Next bit is the black. 
And I just wanted to show you, you can cut with a tiny little scrap. So you can see this is maybe two inches square with a little tail, quite an awkward shape of iron on vinyl here that I've used in a previous project. This was just the tiniest little off cut. If you do have off cuts like this, keep them in a box and you can always come back to them and use them like I'm about to. You don't need to fill the entire thing with, with iron on just to cut out a little design. Of course you can do, makes it a bit easier for you. And obviously when you get your sheet to start with, then you'll have to cut into a brand new sheet but do not throw away your offcuts unless you absolutely have to, you know, unless they're kind of tiny little pieces, but bits like this I always keep to one side. So I'm just gonna stick that onto the mat, and this time I'm using the blue mat. So in the previous demo I used the pink mat because I was cutting fabric, now I'm using the blue mat because I'm cutting iron on. But other than that, it's exactly the same process. I'm gonna put that into the machine, lock it in place, now I need to swap the blade back again because I've still got the rotary blade in there which is the fabric blade. So I'm going to swap that again for the fine point blade and you can see that takes a matter of seconds to change so it's not, not too much of a faff to, um, to swap it between mats like that but of course you can do all your fabric in one go and then all of your iron on in one go to save a bit of time. I'm going to put the pen away as well just so it doesn't dry out because I don't need it right now. I've got a question for you Mike. Yes of course, go for it. Can you put more than one layer of fabric on the mat? Good question. You can't, unfortunately, because you do need to have the, whatever you're cutting, you do need to have it stuck to the mat. Great. So if you imagine you have one layer stuck down, if you put the next layer on, it's got nothing to stick to. So as it goes through the mat, it's just gonna wobble around a little bit. Perfect. So you can't do, but what you can do is you can line up all your designs and kind of tessellate them almost. So they go together like a jigsaw onto that one mat that's stuck together. And, um, and then you can get maximum efficiency for the space. That is a great idea. Yeah. Keep your questions coming in. It's studio at hochanda.com. Uh, we are taking advantage of our mic whilst he's here today in the best possible way, though. Yes. In the best possible <laughs> way. Uh, but please do send your questions in and we'll get them answered for you. Studio at hochanda.com. Right, so as I was saying before, you can't go wrong with this, it will tell you. So just then, I hadn't changed the material on my machine. So see up here it says everyday iron-on. I had that previously set to cotton and I would forgot to change that back. So I went to cut it out and it said, hold on, you shouldn't be cutting this out of cotton. So just to show that even, even me, I use this every single day and I have been doing for years, can make mistakes, but the machine won't let you. So do not be scared of making mistakes and breaking anything. It's really foolproof. So now it actually is ready. I'm going to pop that back in, lock that into place, and then in a second, this button will flash the Cricut logo. There we go, and that means it's all ready. So I press that, it's gonna have a little think again and just make sure it's got the right blade in there to cut the material that I've told it we're cutting. And then it will cut move over and cut in that black square that I've done because I've aligned the design into where I put my iron-on design there. Obviously you don't need to be that precise if you're cutting out a full sheet, you just move it to the top corner so that you, you, know, you don't cut right in the middle. But with a little shape you do want to be quite precise with where it cuts. I think it's a great idea to be able to tessellate your appliques onto your mat because if you do need to cut out, let's say you need to cut out 10 but it's only, they're only small, you can do that with the Cricut the one time and it will cut all 10 out at exactly. the same time which is so handy for it's fabric. It's so good. I mean not only is that real time saving which is a huge, a huge must um, when we're all so busy but also it's going to maximise your use of the fabric. So if you've got you know, that beautiful fabric that you've been hoarding and keeping to one side because you don't want to use it and you're, you know, you're scared to waste it, then you really can make sure that you get absolute maximum use of it. And also, if you have, um, say, a directional print on your design where you want to have a design facing upright, you can align it on the screen. So even if you've got an awkward shape on the screen, you can rotate your image so that it lines up with it. And I'm kind of giving point after point, aren't I? But another thing as well is if you are making, say, a garment um, that has uh, where you need to align it with the grain line of the fabric, so you need to cut it on the wharf or weft of the fabric, then it will tell you how to align the fabric. So you don't even need to think about that, which normally if you're cutting pattern pieces by hand, can be a bit mathematical, a bit of a headache to kind of line it all up with the selvage edge and think, oh, I don't know, is this the wrong way around? The machine will actually tell you how to do that with the um, preloaded projects in design space. Perfect. Right, so I'm gonna just move this to one side. I'm gonna go back to these two pieces that I've just cut out. So we've got the white and the black parts of the face, and I'm using my Easy Press here, which is the Cricut um, Bright Pad. So this is a non-scratch Bright Pad, which is great for doing the process of weeding, which is what I'm about to do now. And that basically means taking away the negatives 
of your design. So you can see I'm using this little weeding tool, which is like a little hook, like a little dentist tool hook. And that's just going to let me hook underneath the bits of the design that I don't want. And I'm going to peel these away. So now I've got that hooked off. I can just use my hands and I can pull that away and we can reveal the face wow, there. Look at that. Look how there fine. There we go. That, it's super stylish. fine, isn't it? So I'm that gonna is fantastic. Cut these into two goes because they're not perfectly aligned to the white piece. So I need to just apply those in two different um, pressings. And then I can show you the white one. It might be a little bit more difficult to see on the screen the white, but the bright pad here is backlighting this whole thing. So for me, it's actually illuminating it quite well um, in real life here. So without this, it can be a bit difficult. You can kind of squint at it and it's a bit tricky to see. Not impossible, so it's not required. Don't feel, oh gosh, there's a lot of things here that I need to buy just to be able to use this machine. These are just extras that are just going to make your cricket, cricket crafting much easier and more seamless. And I guess if you wanted to maximise the use of your vinyl as well, if you've got a couple of designs, um, you can add those all onto the same space and then you're maximising the use of all of the vinyl that you've got on there. Exactly, yeah, definitely. Great idea. Right, so you can see I've cut those up. I'm just going to get rid of the waste there and then I can turn the bright pad off for a moment and then go back to these fabric shapes I cut out earlier. Now, normally, I would um, sew these together first and then I would add all of my detail in iron-on because obviously when you're sewing it you can make a little wobble and I'd want these designs to be perfectly centred so I'd usually sew it first but we haven't got time for you to sit here watching me sew so I'm just going to add this to the pre-sewn piece. So I'm going to be using the little star of the show I like to think, this little Easy Press Mini. So we talked earlier about the Easy Press 9x9 and I showed you that which I've got just here. The Easy Press Mini is exactly the same technology, but condensed into this tiny, tiny little gadget here, which is great for doing small projects like this, small iron-on projects, where using something as big as this might be a little bit overkill. You certainly could do it, so you can just buy this and you'll be able to apply this small design. But I find it a little bit easier, and you can see what you're doing a little bit better using the Easy Press Mini. It's also great for applying um, iron-on designs around, uh, hold on a minute, I'm doing this the wrong way around, don't I? So if I put the black over that, we won't be able to see. Oh, it's too late. We'll go That's for right, it. We'll go for it. We'll go a for it. It's <laughs> monsters are different it's fine, all the it's time. Fine. Um, so it also, it's great for applying around the likes of buttons and zips. So if you're applying to something like a baby grow or even canvas shoes, that kind of thing, then the Easy Press Mini is great for getting into those little nooks and crannies that otherwise, if you use a larger heat press, it might just melt it. So I've turned this up to temperature and it's got three temperature settings. It's got low, medium and high. So a little bit simpler than the larger Easy Press with the screen interface. I've already looked in advance of the show, so I know that this needs to be on the medium setting. I just let that get to temperature and the light goes green, so it's ready to go. And now I'm just going to apply this, moving it around constantly for about 20 seconds. Whilst you do that, I've got one of the canvas shoes in my hands. And <laughs> this is where you can use that mini easy press to add your designs. How funky is that? I mean, you can pick up um, trainers, pumps, whatever you want to call them. are very cost effective now, but then you can make them uh, personalised, which is Fabulous. Even if you were just to put your initials on there, you know, if you've got two or three children around about the same shoe size and they like the same colour shoes, now you can put their initials on there, which would be absolutely perfect. Unless you've got children with the same initials and then I don't know what you're going to do. <laughs> right, so next up, so I've added the, um, the teeth, so I'm going to add these little black details. So we're going to go for the mouth first, so I'm just lining that up and you can layer different pieces of iron on here. So you notice that I'm putting the black so it slightly overlaps the white. And then I'm just going to cover up the white bits that I did earlier because they are not in the right place. So I'm going to cover those up completely with the black eyeballs. And now we just want to make sure that that first layer that went down is completely covered with this um, plastic, this heat proof plastic, which you can't quite see. On this piece here, maybe you can see a little bit better, this heat proof plastic has to cover your iron on vinyl because if you don't, it will melt if you apply heat directly to it. So just bear that in mind when you're doing multiple layers. Any layer that you've already put on, 
If you're adding a smaller layer on top of it, then make sure that you use the previous piece of heatproof plastic to cover the whole thing before you apply the heat. And I think that's where the EasyPress Mini really does come in because mm -hmm. it's only a small part that you need to use it on and it's absolutely perfect. But that heat distribution will also be absolutely perfect and the same exact heat all the way around. Exactly. Yeah, definitely. So you can be really, really confident that as long as you follow the instructions, which are nice and simple, you can be 100% confident that this is going to last time and time again. It will last through the wash for a long, long time. It will last pretty much as long as the fabric's going to last. It will really fuse into it well. So I'm going to flip that over, just give a little press from the other side, which is quite good best practice just to make sure you really are getting the maximum stick. You'll notice as well I'm doing all of this on my um, heatproof mat. So this is the um, the mat that comes in the Easy Press bundle, and it's designed just to reflect all of that heat back up into the project. So again, if you're using an ironing board or something like that that you might already have at home, a lot of the heat is going to be sunk into your ironing board and dissipated, so it's not going to maximize the concentration of the heat into your project. So you just can't be 100% sure that you're getting it to the right temperature. Now, I'm just giving that a little bit of a fan because we want to do a cool, or oh, a warm peel, I should say, on this. So not straight away, because it tends to be a bit too hot then, and it might not have stuck properly. But now it's cooled down slightly. I can peel that away slowly. So that's the eyeballs. And then let's see if the mouth, yeah, the mouth is looking good as well. So I'm peeling this back on itself, 180 degrees, and I'm just walking that back with my fingers. And then luckily, this is why I always carry spares, I've got another set of pupils here. So I can stick these into the middle, and then suddenly he comes alive. So I can just get those pieces again, so the pieces I just peeled off, just so that we are completely covering the previous layers that I've put on already. So that's the mouth and the teeth, and now I'm covering the black parts of the eyes. Appreciate it might be a little bit difficult to see on screen, but hopefully the way that I've explained it, you understand that I'm just completely covering all the layers. Yeah, we can see that, that's fabulous. And I'm going to apply that again. If you are layering on your, your iron-on designs like this, just keep in mind that um, we recommend that you don't do any more than around four, maybe five layers. Any more than that, and it's starting to get a bit too many to be perfectly um, adhered. It might still work, and it's rare that you'd need to do more than that, but we recommend that you keep to ideally four or less. And if you have anything like a glitter iron-on, then make sure that is always the top layer. So for instance, I couldn't have had say this black layer, I couldn't have made that glittery because nothing can go on top of it. Glitter always has to be the top just because it's a slightly uneven surface. So you, you're not going to get very good adhesion on top of that. But other than that, you can go crazy. You can use your imagination and do whatever designs you want. Let's see, right, that's the first bit. Yeah, see that just starts to peel off a little bit there because it's still a bit too warm. I'm getting a bit too hasty. I'm going to give that a cool. If you do notice, as you peel this away, the bit that you're actually trying to apply is starting to peel back on itself and it's not stuck properly. Chances are it's because you're peeling it too warm and the adhesive, the glue, hasn't actually set yet. So just leave it for a few seconds, just like I am, and it will stick. If you're still finding that it's not stuck perfectly, just grab your tool again and just add a little bit more heat and just keep doing that until it does stick. You, it's very, very rare that you will actually have a proper issue with getting this stuck down. Let me try this one. Gee, I think I've left that to cool too far now. I think it's because I'm applying multiple layers on here. It just takes a little bit of a different temperature to get this perfectly stuck down. Let's just wait for that to cool a moment. There you go, it's the joy of live TV, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> when the camera's on, you always forget exactly how long to leave it. How many times a week or a month do you do your own demonstrations online, Mike? Uh, so most of my work is through um, my blog, which is The Crafty Gentleman, where I do um, not necessarily video demonstrations, yes. but written tutorials oh, and photo great. tutorials. So generally around um, once a week, but lately I've kind of slacked, I've been quite busy. Um, but yeah, generally, and I do lots of different things um, as well as cricket or different types of crafts. 
Um, I also do some work with cricket as well at um, festivals and different events and product launches through the year. Obviously, a little bit quieter lately. Yes, yeah, I'd expect but so. A couple of times a year, as well as um, a monthly show here on Hachanda. Excellent. Oh, well, look go. at Ooh, that. There we go. So you can see how he's just come alive, and I'll show you the more detailed one here. So we've also added the little spots, and we've got the felt, which I've just stitched in. But also this was cut on the maker, and the little felt horns as well, or ears, I don't know what you want to call them. And I've just stitched those into the main project and then stuffed it. So you can see just how quickly that comes together, yeah, and I how detailed that. it is. And of course, you can completely personalise it. You can put initials on it, you can change the colours or from an existing project within Design Space that's just there waiting for you. It's funky and it's fun and it's easy to do and it's going to be bespoke to you, your family and your friends as well. Now I know a few people here at Hochanda that do own the Cricut Maker and they're the ones that we always go to and say, oh, could you just personalise this for me? Or oh, I've got someone's birthday coming up. I'm thinking about um, a, a, a sticker or a card or an, an apron or a logo. Uh, bless them. And they do it and it's fantastic because they enjoy doing it for us as well I mean they charge us a hefty amount no they don't no they don't um, but it's a great tool to have within your home and it's something that's going to be your friend and your companion for quite a few years to come as well and you can add to it there are lots of other tools and additional blades that the more you learn the more you craft the more you create now we've got a fantastic bundle for you with fabric included but you do have the star of the show which is your Cricut maker this will connect to your smart devices via Bluetooth so it's going to give you a bit of space in your craft room and that's what we need some of us don't have a craft room like myself I'll craft in the kitchen so this will be ideal for me because I have, could have this on the table and then I could have my smart device uh, about a meter or two away in fact Bluetooth can go up to about 10 15 meters so give it a try give it a try but if you wanted to if you don't have Bluetooth technology you can connect it with a cable but think about the craft you do at the moment think about about how good you are with your crafting and how you would like to share that and how you'd like to create more this is going to give you the chance to do that and also take your crafting to the next level you've got the tools that you need you've got the brayer for placing your fabric and other mediums onto your mats and you've also got the tweezers as well so that's really going to help you remove the fabric remove those mediums from your mat you've got the essential tool kit as well or oh, whilst we'll stay there sorry you've got your wavy blade and that's going to give you that fantastic wavy effect just by cutting it will cut that wavy effect for you. It'll also do that on fabric as well, so it would do something a little bit different. And I think that's going to be fantastic for some of your appliques as well. Uh, whether you are sticking on or whether you are sewing on, it's going to look superb. You've also got your crafting essential tools right there. So you've got your weed, actually looks like a dentistry set, doesn't it? But it's not, it's not. But you've got your weeder in there, you've got your spatula, you've got your scissors, you've got your tools in there, like your scraper, for example, to make life easier easier for you you've also got your vinyl as well included it's like giving a Christmas present and not including the batteries you want to use it and start creating instantly so we've got some great vinyl for you make your own t-shirt maybe you've got an old t-shirt and now it's time to upcycle it maybe a water bottle or something like that or a sandwich box that you want to put your vinyl on to you've got your glitter vinyl your regular vinyl you've got your fabrics as well you've got your rock star and you've got your on trend as well some beautifully bright uh, design designer colours for you that you can start to make and create. You've also got your blue glitter vinyl as well, very, very funky. And you've got your two mats to use with your fabric and your papers and your different mediums and you get the pen as well. Let me just lift the pen up to show you uh, because it's got that really nice fine point to the pen. Pop that into your maker and it will draw out your designs for you. So maybe you've got a certain font but you're not very good at actually drawing that font yourself but you know what you want to saying you want to put it in a sentiment do it yourself you've got the pen right there to place into your maker six seven three three two zero is your item number three payments of 161 pounds and 64 pence uh, it's an introductory offer and you're saving 50 pounds this is only for 24 hours or while stocks last let's head back to Mike right so in the easy press bundle we have these pre-made iron-on designs here so if you don't have a cutting machine if you don't have one of the Cricut machines maybe it's a little bit outside of your budget right now or you're thinking about it but you are quite interested quite interested in using the iron-on um, 
iron on heat transfer vinyls and the designs, then there are some ready-made designs for you. So these are already cut out and they have a slightly different finish because they've got almost this printed finish. So these different textures, all different colors in there, rather than being a completely solid color using a sheet of vinyl that you'd cut out using the Cricut machine. So you can buy these ready-made. These are either on the show or in the bundle with the Easy Press. So I thought it would be good to show you how we apply these. So I'm going to apply them to just this simple kid's t-shirt, just a plain back black t-shirt, nothing fancy. Because of course the great thing about things like this is that you can just customize shop-bought projects. So you don't need to, you know, you don't need to go to massive effort to make a really special gift. You can buy something from the shop, you can buy a cushion, a bag, a pouch, or a t-shirt, whatever it might be, and add a customized design onto it. And within minutes, you've made a really personalized gift or item for yourself. So I've turned on the Easy Press, and I've already set that just before the show. I'd actually set that to the settings that I needed. So 330 degrees, in fact, I think it was 340 degrees Fahrenheit. Yep, there we go, for 50 seconds. So that has just beeped, telling me that it's ready. So these details I found on the Cricut website. So I said that I was applying to um, a cotton t-shirt using one of the pre-made iron-on designs and it told me, right, this is what the settings that you need to use are. So I'm now just going to gently press the t-shirt to start with, making sure that my um, heatproof mat, the Cricut mat is underneath. And this is just going to do two things. One, it's going to smooth out the surface nicely. It's going to give it a good iron. And actually, that is a nice little extra benefit of this. It is good for ironing all your laundry. It's so big, it makes it nice and easy. I have done that a couple of times. So it's not only going to make it nice and smooth, it's also going to get rid of any um, moisture that might be in there. It might be a little bit damp. If it's maybe just a humid day, just try and dry that out. And it's also going to activate the mat. So we've started to heat that mat up slightly. So when we actually start the proper project, then there's going to be no kind of temperature difference. Right, now that's cooled ever so slightly. It's warm to the touch, but it's not hot. If it was hot, you don't want to be applying this onto it because it will stick straight away. We've got about three minutes left of the show. Oh, okay. uh, Mike is back tonight at seven o'clock. Um, yep. Some more demonstrations, but three minutes left of this show. So it might be an idea to start checking out your baskets now and having a look at the other accessories and other items we've got on the website. Right, so I've, at I've just attached my design onto this. I'm now just applying it and I'm going to press the go button. So actually probably press that a little bit late so I won't let it count all the way down to zero. But this is actually counting down now for the time that I need it to be. I'm just moving that slightly because I think the design is ever so slightly bigger than the plate and I don't think we've quite got enough time to press it twice. But normally you'd leave this static and if it's slightly bigger you then just move it and press the next bit so nice and easy. What I like about the design of that as well, Mike, is that it's ergonomically designed if you want to use it with one hand, but also if you want to use it with two hands, you've got that large handle to yes. do so. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So if you do have any dexterity issues or anything like that, or even if you're working with kids, then this is really easy to hold. You don't need to be particularly strong or anything like that. It's just nice, easy to grip. And also the cradle that it comes with, that I'm just going to rest it in, is going to protect any little fingers from getting in there so even now even if i tried i can't get my finger anywhere near the heat there so it's great for working with kids and it also lifts it up from the surface of your your work tables yes. as well which is ideal yeah good point so that is definitely not it's barely even going to heat my table let alone burn it so you can put that onto pretty much anything you can put it onto your carpet so you can put it onto your antique oak table anything like that and it's <laughs> not going to damage it you can be very confident of that and it fits nicely into the um, storage bag as well the carry bag so you can pop that straight into there and it'll be nice and protected so you can craft on the go or if you're crafting on the kitchen table and then all of a sudden, I don't know, your tea's ready or something and you need to quickly clear it, then you can put it in even when it's warm. Right, so I'm hoping this is stuck okay. I've rushed it ever so slightly because I know the show's coming to an end. But the basic process is very, very similar to the iron-on design that I applied before. Hey, I think it's maybe a little bit warm, but I'm going to try and get that through before the show ends. If not, then I can show this in the next one if it yeah, is a little bit too we warm. We can apply some more heat to that. We've only got about a minute left of the show. We really don't know where it goes. But you know when you're having fun, when you're engrossed in your crafting, uh, time does fly by. But what you've got at the end of it are some fabulous projects. Again, items that you can keep in your home or give away to your family and friends. Have a look at maybe some of the old glass jars that you've got start to cut out on your vinyl and stick them on make them bespoke to you instead of going out and buying new items 
upcycle them with your maker. And in the meantime, go and have a look at the design space online so you can see how to use it, maybe even make some designs so that when you receive your maker, you're all good to go. And that's something that you can do. Uh, Mike, it's been an absolute pleasure. Really Where nice working with you again. It just <laughs> flies by, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, Adam is back with you at 7 o'clock tonight. Yep. So we do have another show. But remember, this deal that we've got for you is only for 24 hours. And it will be dispatched on the 28th of August. So happy receiving your maker, everyone. Uh, we've got more shows coming up. Stay where you are. We'll see you after the break. Goodbye. Right, oh, here's a plan. It's the Happy Planner One Day Special. Next, that concludes. Then we've got Ross Papercraft MDF with myself. And then we've got a brand new One Day Special launching at 6 o'clock with Indigo Blue. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Dreaming of a crafty world, Dorothy and Wasabi slumber. Achanda's fifth birthday will be a time of wonder. Zuri, LeBlanche and Orlan create. Wow and Rowan Dean, it's going to be great. Sentimentally yours, Clarity and John next door. Pink Frog and Daisy Chain, who could ask for more? We'll credit your account with £5 to spend. Seven days of celebrations, the fun will never end. One day specials with all your favourite guests. All at a socially respectful distance from the Wicked Witch of the Haley West. From fabric to paper, to glitter and pencils, pens and stamps, inks and stencils. Join us in August. Nowhere will be grander. Happy fifth birthday. There's no place like a chander. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand-drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture this shows on Achanda. My name is Catherine Sturrock and I bring to a chander my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. 
So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the character craft shows on Achanda. I hope to see you soon. Over the top, that really, isn't it? A little, a little bit, a little bit over the top for then just. Hi, <laughs> it's me. Yes, it is. It's final call. Let's give a big uh, drag a tass, as it were. Uh, it's one day special. Yes, look at the new logo. Have you noticed? No. Uh, one day special time, and it is final call, as you can see. Uh, the deals will end at six o'clock this evening, and yes, I'm not alone. She's happy planning all the way on the other side of the studio. It's Alione. Hello. Hello. That's it. That's <laughs> it's going to be one of them hours. It's going to be one of them hours, I feel. Uh, it is Happy Planner. If you've never heard of Happy Planner before, first of all, where have you been? It's big. It's a big old thing. And it can cater for many different people as well. It's not just planning your day-to-day, -day. it could be planning cookeries, it could be what you do at the weekend, it could be sports, it could be fashion, it could be how you eat and how you plan your diet, uh, it could be the kids, it's how you clean your house, it could just be colourful boxes or just being a generic mum, because that's what it says there on the screen. Uh, so, what are we looking at for your one day special? We are looking at, bless you whoever that was, uh, right down my ear. Uh, we are looking at a set of stickers. Now, when I say a set of stickers, you think, oh, a set of stickers, really? But they're not. They're stickers with a difference. They're stickers that are going to give you the grandeur. They're going to give you the beauty. And they're going to make your planner pop. But very, very simple to do. Now, they're on a pick and mix. You can choose any three. In theory, it's three for two. You pick any three books, but in really you're only paying for two of them here. £39.97 and pence is what you're looking at. Or flexible payments of £19.99 and pence a day across two flexible payments is what we're looking at. Right then, let's get in with the books. Now, if you're clever about this, you can get a fair amount of stickers because there's different amounts in each of the books. But by far the busiest, by far the busiest... I needed, to, I needed to swallow at the same time and I couldn't do it. Uh, is sassy. Now, we've been reading these before we came on air. Oh, there's some good ones in here. There really, really is. Um, you've got things like bite me. Mm, cheeky. Um, punch a day in the face. Let's go towards the back. Um, you've got things like Friday every day. Uh, then there was some... What was the ones I was reading earlier? If there aren't palm trees... I'm not going. That's very me. I do like that. Uh, hold on, I've got to overthink about it. Oh, we do a lot of that here. Uh, don't grow up, it's a trap. That is very true, that is very true. Uh, can I add up today? Let's move on. Uh, can't touch this. Things like this. There is so many different, they are just full of like little, little sassy quips that we all use on a day-to-day -day basis that look, Maybe wine will help. Always helps. Always. Um, I've got 99 bobbin pins and I can't find a single one. This is very true. We have this in our house at the moment. When we do Molly's, when we do our mole's hair in the morning, I must buy 30 bubbles a week. A week. A week. She goes to nursery four days a week. I go back to Monday, I've got three. That's it. So it's so true. Uh, very busy on this. Um, well, well, 80%, 80% of the overall stock of your sass has already gone. And you've got 542 sassy comments in there. And then you've got things like uh, productivity, you've got travel. But if you're clever, look, these one here, look, you've got 1,281 stickers. Then, 1,768 stickers. 
So you can really get a lot of stickers for your money. We've got things like uh, 1,557, you've got 1,372. So if you, if you go for the right bundles, you could have a lot of stickers here. But I want things like journaling doodles, which is an amazing little concept. Then you've got household. We were flicking through the household last night. Uh, where is it? This one here. For the sheer fact, this is the, the your day-to-day. -day. You know when you have a diary and it's dull and boring? Mine's like this. When I ring people, you have a scribble pad. And it's really dull. Well, with this, it now breaks everything down to what you're going to need. So when do you wash the dishes? How do you wash the dishes? Maybe you've got children and you're doing like a little uh, a little chart. So when do the bins go out? Bins bins out Thursday. Uh, then you've got the recycling in there as well. Uh, toilet paper and the mop buckets. And when do you clean the bathrooms? When do you go to your grocery shopping? Then you've got your AMs to PMs and things to clean that's in there as well. Busy across the board, but they're not just plain stickers. Look, these are your meal plans. So maybe you're making meal plans for the week. Uh, microwave meals that we've got on there. There are so many things that you can use these for. Your weekly meal, absolutely beautiful. £39.97 is what we're looking at. Uh, Pick any two is what you're going to pick up. Well, you're picking any three, but you're paying for any two that's on there. £19 and £99. Right then, we're moving on down. Now, this little collection, uh, the Happy Planner Planner Babe. Hmm? Happy Planner Planner Babe. Uh, but what we're getting here, for the price, you are getting these two, so the big planner and your jot for free. You're not actually paying for these two. So you're paying for everything else in the collection. I know, it's amazing. Or you can look at it that you're getting the stickers for free and you're paying for everything else. See how it all works out. So there's an amazing little bundle that you're getting here. £26.97 across two flexible payments. Now, you're really getting everything you need in the kit. So you're getting your planner itself. We only will go into more details about the planners and how all the planners work. But you're getting your planner. So now this is your starting point. This is where you start. Maybe this is going to be your diary for the day. Maybe you wanted to start writing a diary. I always wanted to start a diary, but my life was too dull. I literally, I started when I was abroad, one new year, I was in Fort Ventura, January the 1st, what did I do today? I got up, I went to the beach, I come home, I went to the pub. And that's how my life went as a rep for six months. Uh, so, it was quite a dull diary to read. But that's when diaries weren't really in fashion. Now they've come into their own. So now you've got insert papers as well that you can add into your life. From your insert papers, you've also got your little poly pockets and now you can keep your stickers on the travel, on the go, receipts, if you're going to keep all those in there. You can use that for those as well. You're getting your sets of stickers in there. It's an amazing little kit. If you've not already got your planner, it's one way to start. £26.97. 524238 is your item number. Then, once you've got your planner, you might be thinking, I'm liking my planner, but I want, I want a different cover. Well... You in luck. Uh, we have planners covers galore for all different sizes of planners that we've got. So you've got the big executive planners. I think these are so, so smart. Uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful cover that you've got there. There's something about a... Imagine that on your desk. Just sitting on your desk, waiting for you to write into it. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Maybe you don't want the black, you've got the gold, you've got the blues in there. Then you've got the slightly smaller ones down the front. It's entirely up to you. The options that you want to go for, £9.99. Is that £9 even for the big or the small? Well, you can't go wrong, can you? 264 800 is your item number. Then you have the collection around them. There's so many things that you can choose from for your covers. The easiest way to look at the covers is jump into the website. If I was you, jump to the website. Everything is there, £9.99. Then we've got more sticker books as well. Now, with these sticker books you are getting value for money there. £42.99. Now, it's under different items, under the same item number, but it's down to you which section you want to go for. But you are getting inside of these. Let me just open one up so you can see. Look at this. Ha, ha, ha. How beautiful are these? These are going to take you through all your seasons, vacations in there, falls in there, look, uh, summer loving. <laughs> Happens so fast. Oh. <laughs> uh, then you've got your Christmas in there, uh, your trick or treat, maybe little picnics you're going on. This is going to take you through every single season. Then 
On the other side, you've got sort of your tags that will fill your boxes. You've got your Halloweens in there. You've got your alphabets in there, your ice creams, your lemons, your woodman, your lists in there as well. All of this in one book. So maybe you're going for one of the books and you're going for your planner. You are really good to go. Uh, four different options is what we're looking for as well with these. Uh, I love stickers. Uh, greatest hits. What's in our greatest hits? Let's have a look. Greatest hits. Here we go. Uh, so it could be, oh, you've even got stickers, greatest hits. Which side, where are you, which side are you going? Let's go this one. This is so true. Adulting is hard. It is a hard thing to do. I'm like Peter Pan. But look, these are now, these are sort of your big... These would also make amazing toppers for cards. If you're not into your, into your planners. You could also uh, put these, like, your birthday stickers that are in there as well. It's a the, the lot to do in a small space of time. And if your budget will only go for one set of stickers, um, what a set of stickers that are going to take you through all the seasons. £42.99. Or put that onto flexible payments for £21.51 across two flexible payments today. 792125 is your item number. And last but no means least, as I said earlier, and we'll go through all the details that you need to know, uh, sticker storage. There's nothing worse than buying a set of stickers and then going back to them and they're all crumpled and dog-eared and, and all the corners are folded over. With these, you're getting the stickers as well, but everything will fit in your sticker storage already. So you can't go wrong and you've got a lot of space in there for all those stickers that you might want to be using. Once again, everything is in there for you. So you can get two of the large books in there. I think you could fill... You could get a lot in this sticker storage. So you could quite easily fit, just fill it with the stickers. So if you're going for your one day special and you really are filling everything up, um, you could get a lot of your stickers for that value for money for the one day special is well worth having a little go. And you get your four sticker books in there as well with your sticker store. It's £35 on the nose across two flexible payments. Um, we're not going to flick through any more because our Leone is going to do it and make it easier for you. Uh, save me holding. The quickest and the easiest thing for these sorts of shows though is jumping to the website if I was you. This is the website. You've got all the planners on there as well. You've got inserts. You've even got punches on the show. So if you want a punch and the punch goes through all the kits which I absolutely Absolutely love. So if you do want one of the new black punches, maybe you think pink's not your colour, so we've got the new black one, um, you can pop that in your basket as well and that fits through every plan. So now all the photos that we've got there. Have we still got those bags? We've still got the bags. We had the bags last night on the show as well. Very busy for those bags because it looks beautiful. We also thought it'd make a nice little picnic camper. A little bag, be beautiful. little beautiful. bottle of Prosecco, little, little two glasses on the mm. other side. Lots of sandwiches. Lots of little... Mm. A lo there's the punches, oh. the five-star punches that we've got on screen at the moment. Right then, let's go over to the sticker queen herself. Well, thank Hello, you. Um, I'm having a lovely time, actually. So I'm also prepping for tomorrow because I've got Let Leona Loose. And um, on tomorrow, we've got this fantastic little frame stamp. Look how good it looks in my notebook. Doesn't it look good? So I've got sarcasm is my superpower. I've then got obviously out of sassy. You've got these that you can tick off. Paid the bills, held my tongue, got probably not a lot done or probably <laughs> got quite a bit done. Um, woke up on time. So you can do these. These are good because these are your funny ones. But then you can create your own tick list as well, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. Really like that. And do you know what you've got as well? They're from your sassy. You've also got, when you're checking out your basket, let's find it. So when you're checking out your basket, you have got, I'll put it in here. Did I put it in here? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just find it. Oh, I don't know where I've put it. I see I've put them in one of my journals. There you go. Not that one, not that one. Must be this one, mustn't it? I put it in this one. Look, look, look. You've got your little checklist. Look. So this... And this is as you're checking out your basket. So what you can do with this is get your pens. Where's Leone put her pens? There. So as you're checking out your basket, it'll go, hey, would you like one of these? And you'll go, well, yeah, that's well cool. And what you do with this is, so this is check it off. So you've got to check it off here. So you've got things like um, walk the dog. 
you know, because that's a daily thing. But then on this one, I can start checking it off. Now, the lovely thing with this, you can line it up. So I can line it up. I can see where I'm going because obviously I want to go along my pretend book spine. And then, I mean, you don't have to do the little squares perfectly at all. You can just do nice little wobbly squares because I like wobbly squares. Do all my lines first. I really like these stencils. They're quite cool. Um, the notebook I'm using is um, your thing at Planner Bay Bomb. I've, um, this, I like doing the notebook. The notebooks are interesting because they really do let you just do what you want. You know, your planners are more structured, but your notebooks, you're literally creating whatever you want. So therefore, you've got your own little tick list. So this could be a specific day. You know, you could do one of them per day if you wanted to. Really, really like that. I just think that's fabulous. Now, Obviously, with your stickers, let me show you who I've shown so far. So I've shown you mine. We've had mine. We've shown you um, our Emily's and all the gorgeous cakes. We've shown you Lottie's, of course, because our, we've shown you lovely Molly's. We've shown you um, our Christine's daughter, which is lovely. We've shown you other Molly's as well. We've shown you, ah, oh, no, that one's Lottie's, isn't it? Ah, uh, no way, no, you don't have one, darling. <laughs> oh, Charlotte's like, look, you don't, oh, I don't have one. Right, I've shown you Lottie's. I haven't shown you then. Bear with, bear with, Katie's. I love Katie's. Katie, when I told her there were more, um, more stickers, literally her face, I should have got a photograph. She was like, <gasps> she was so excited, honestly. And it's, do you know what? It is lovely because... Everybody, it's not, no one's putting it on. You know, the, the girls who are into this are into this. It's become a thing. This one's um, lovely Katie's. So Katie um, um, is a horse rider. I say she's a horse rider. I mean, it's our lovely Roger. She, she's got our Rog. In fact, they won the other day, didn't they? they won, and they won't be in here yet because there they are. It won't be in here yet because literally she's just won. But I love it because Katie's really made it hers. So she's putting photos in. She's, you know, she loves all the doodling does Katie, which is just gorgeous. So she's filling her pages with all these fantastic doodles. And of course, it's all about the stickers. There's loads of gorgeous stickers everywhere. That's our lovely Katie's. Absolutely adore it. And you can see all the gorgeous stickers. The stickers because they work with all the, the doodles. They're exactly what you want them to be. So that's lovely, Katie's. Obviously, you can get the wraparound covers. The wraparound covers are beautiful because they just make it look so professional. Now, this one is... Let me see who's this one. Uh, this is our Kirsty. So kirsty has been loving hers as well. And again, all the stickers. These are the beautiful stickers um, that are in... Oh, I can't remember which one now. Probably the florals. But they're absolutely gorgeous. I love what she's done there. Look at all the stickers there. That looks beautiful, doesn't it? She's created that wonderful sort of uh, wreath almost around there, which looks absolutely stunning. Packed for holidays. And again, I love what she's done down the notes, putting all the stickers. And that one, you see, one of the, the uh, temporary little stickers as well, the post-it note type things, which are really, really handy. Again, look at all the stickers there. That looks beautiful. So don't feel that you have to fill all your space in. Your stickers, if you've nothing to write in, your stickers are fabulous because they will allow you to fill those spaces. And I think one more, because it's last hour, I have to show you all the gang. This is amazing, isn't it? This is a big one. This is our lovely Kate. And this morning we were chatting and Kate was like, oh, I really needed my planner this morning because she said I had things to write in. And she said I had to write it on a boring piece of paper. And there's no word of a lie. She actually said that when we were in the kitchen. And this is lovely. I mean, Kate's really filled it. Um, and Kate says at home she doesn't really have anything to write in it. So she uses it for work. But she comes, and I haven't to look before this. <laughs> because there's personal things. <laughs> I love it. It's like, just show that page. Because other things might be. And it's like, we won't go before the page. <laughs> no, we don't go before the page. It's like that book all about grey things. <laughs> <laughs> That's Kate. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, steamy. <laughs> what goes in your planner stays in your planner. That's all we're going to say about Kate's planner. <laughs> um, OK, then. <laughs> I know. I love it. This is why people have stopped giving me their planners. Uh, right, OK, only teasing. Now, your stickers. You can use your stickers in lots of craft, art journals. I mean, that it, because that is one of the see-through stickers, it means you can see underneath it. It looks like a stamp. It looks like that has been stamped onto the page. So use your stickers for all your other crafting. And I'm going to do a card because I thought, you know what, the one thing I haven't done is a card. You can use them for card making. And I just thought, let's mix it up a little bit. Funnily enough, this is me prepping again. Um, this is some of the gorgeous powders because we've got Lindy's gang coming up on Thursday. Very busy. It's very busy. Very busy. And I have to tidy the space yet. Now, OK, so if you're making a card for someone, this is why sassy ones are also funny. Like, have you ever got those cards where in it, you know, you have got your tick off one, you know, so you could tick off and it could be didn't swear today, um, <laughs> did one of the things. And you know what I mean? You, that could be inside the card or you could put your own tick off. That could be on the front like your own tick off. It, and it could be really cheeky. I mean, these are fabulous, fabulous for really cheeky cards. Yes. Yeah, Valentine's one, absolutely. Or this one, or this This is one of my favourite, the oops one. Oops. It, the, the front, it could be um, like, you know, your card could be winning, you bought it, you just did it, and inside it could be oops. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I love it, I love it. Anyway, I'm going to make a pretty card, not a cheeky card. So let's go for... Um, the fun florals are gorgeous, but I do love the, the shoes. Oh, they're all really lovely. OK, so let's have a little see the colour story. Let's have the colour story, because I don't think I've really done much with your colour story. So, OK, now, I haven't planned this, funnily enough. Um, so what I'm doing is just sort of winging it. But, you know, we're used to winging it. Now, there's some lovely sentiments, like this one. In difficult times, carry something beautiful in your heart. See, there's some beautiful sentiments that are perfect for your card making. You've got, oh, and you've got, remember, when you check out your basket, it'll say about, do you want your, your planner uh, guide? Now, this is fabulous, not just for your planner. I have got one open. I'm being really naughty because I'm opening the second one just because I can't, oh, it's right there as well in front of me. I actually, I put it there, right, right there. I'm looking at that instead of that. Anyway, um, the planner guys. Now, obviously, these are brilliant for your planners, but they're also great for your card making because I can put my sticker on here, but um, I can peel it back off again. So it means I can plan my card. I don't need to. See, so I can see exactly where I'm going if I think, oh, no, actually, that fades into the, the background too much, so I can put that back again. Isn't it good? These are really mm. good. They have been designed so they'll fit in your planner, obviously. Obviously, because the Happy Planner people are really clever like that. I mean, they are fabulous. It's also really good because if there is one of the, the stickers you love, then you've got it straight away. You can put it on there. So because you've got so many stickers, it means you don't have to go back through all your stickers. So what I'm doing is I'm finding something that I want to pop on there. I mean, there's so many in here, so it's just deciding what I like. Um, I mean, I love that sunflower. That's absolutely beautiful. That'll go on there. The flowers going on there are really pretty. I do like this as well, but I'm worried that pink won't work with that. I think that'll clash a bit too much. The one day at a time is really beautiful. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. So let's get out. OK, let's start popping some of these on here. So we've got our one day at a time which we could put just down here, like so. We'll have a play with it. You've then got, oh, see now, the, the ones with the gold. Oh, that's gorgeous. So these, now I love these, that don't really have anything on because these are beautiful for layering. So if I pop that there, I remember this is my background, so it means, I, um, sorry, this is the, the sheet that I'm going to lift off, so it means I can just start, I can just play, you know. Today is the day, you've got that one, I really like that as well. 
Oh, I don't know about that, because today's a day on one day at a time. Let's find a lovely sentiment. Oh, that's nice. Make time for what you love. So I'll pop that on there as well, because I really like that. Yep, yeah, I'm loving that. And then let's get a gorgeous flower. So I know where I'm going now. I see, isn't it nice? You've got it, you build it up, and then it's like, yep, I know where I am, I know where I'm going, I know, and now it's like, now I know what I want. Now I know I want a flower. But it's just deciding, because I've got that lovely um, sunflower, but that beautiful pink flower will go really nice as well, won't it? And again, before you put anything down, you can decide what it looks like. So you could put that there, you could have it like that. Now, what you can do is decide to pop that down like that. And no, it has to be down that corner, doesn't it? Like so. Okay, I'm going there. Halfway through the show already. What happens to time? There we go. So that's going there like that. And then you have got a really nice... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I have got the other. I'm giggling because um, Sean is packing up and they thought Adam's standing over there eating a packet of Chris. <laughs> it's actually our Sean are putting things in a bag that were well funny. You can carry on eating your packet of Chris if you want, love. <laughs> <laughs> really loudly. <laughs> Look, I really like that. I think that looks beautiful. Now, this is a cool bit. So because I love it, I can peel this off. But look, I can now peel that off as one big sticker. So it means I've created my own sticker. It means I don't have to faff about. So I can now stick, as long as that one behaves, I can now stick this back on here like so. So that's going down there like that. This one, just lift that back off. Like, oh, I'm messing this up, aren't I? There we go. That's it. We got it. We got it. And then what I do to finish this off is literally go around the edge. Oof, no, oh, maybe that'll do. Like this. <laughs> um, email in. Charlotte's got a very itchy foot. What does it mean? <laughs> Does it mean she's going to get some money? <laughs> oh, that is your hands. Left to leave, right to receive. Your foot is probably just, I don't know, fungal infection. <laughs> email in. Email in to help Charlotte. <laughs> Charlotte's Nan. <laughs> oh, hey, um, lovely Charlotte's Nan. It's Jackie, isn't it? We, we tried to catch um, our Joe today and I missed him by a few seconds. So I am so sorry. Uh, but next time we will catch him. Right, OK, look, I'm going to stop faffing. But how pretty does that look? And then all I'm going to do is glue that onto... A black card and as soon as you pop it onto black card look how cute that is and how much that pops don't that pop and that's what I love about these stickers they're literally for everything and anything you can use them for so much um, you do need to check your baskets out otherwise you are going to miss out shall I just do one more little quick demo little quick demo um, okay, so, um, again, this we're playing, this we're playing on one of my other shows. Who knows what I were doing? Um, but it's on really beautiful paper. Now, this, I love this in a planner. So if I get, I'm going to get my, this planner, because I haven't done this much in this one. So, see, this is my days off planner, so it looks quite empty. <laughs> my day off planner, is like, it looks like I've deserted it, doesn't it? It's quite sad, really. I'm going to catch up on my day off planner. I mean, I like this page, though. It just needs some writing. Um, so what I'm going to do, I want that to sit in my planner because I think that's absolutely beautiful. Now, what I am going to do, can you see, for your classic one, you can line it up. So the lines on your punch, you can see that's your classic and that's your big. So it's got your sizes already there. Um, if you do want your classic punch, and know you've got the punch, it's um, 
<laughs> You've got it. <laughs> You've got your punch either in pink or in black. <laughs> There you go. It's perfect. And the details are zooming in as we speak. I mean, it's absolutely... <laughs> it's how oh, people are emailing in to help Charlotte with her feet problems. <laughs> oh, that's fabulous. Um, <laughs> um, thank you, everyone. It does make me giggle when we all join in helping, helping people with feet. <laughs> Um, if you do want that punch, it's a fabulous punch. Thirty-seven ninety-nine. What I love about this is you can make all your own personal pages. So if you've got something like that, you know, that's got loads of gorgeous colour on it, and I love that, it means that you can punch it and put it in. So if you've done something creative... You've got it, which I absolutely love. And then it means I can put my stickers on there as well. Is there any handy hints for you, love? <laughs> um, Dave and Brig have said, don't Google it. <laughs> yeah, that's very true indeed. Um, Gary? Gary said it means you need to go, it's meant to go on, you're meant to go on a walk. That's good. On strange ground. So go and walk on someone's strange ground. Someone's <laughs> Paula. Paula. Oh, it, Paula says it's something to do with your connection to the earth. The world is itching. <laughs> You're connected to the earth, love. Happy days. Um, there you go. Keep them coming in. Studio at achanda.com. What does Charlotte's itchy foot mean? <laughs> Uh, which foot is it? Maybe this is it. Maybe that means something as well. It's a right foot. <gasps> oh, oh. Um, keep emailing in. I am looking for a sentiment to put on here. There will be one that I'd, I'd say I'm being very specific now. I do apologise. I'm being very, very specific. Um, they are very. It is very, very busy. Um, whether you're using it on your cards, whether you're using it in your planners or. Oh, see, that's fabulous. Or maybe you're going to be, I know, ain't that beautiful? And I want something that's going to fit on here, though. So, bear with, bear with. Um, that one is Choose Happy, which is fabulous. I'll keep that one open because I might go for that one. Um, and <laughs> just in case you are worried, Charlotte has got clean feet. Um, is, are people telling you to, to wash your feet, babe? <laughs> <laughs> Hazel's worried you might have a Veruca. <laughs> uh, this is so funny. <laughs> it's really funny. Uh, let me have a look at my season ones as well, because look, you've got all sorts in here. You see, oh my gosh, look at that one in the seasons. Hold on, where's it gone? Look, 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 look. Oh, they're so cute. Bunnies. Um, okay, what's on here? So we got spring cleaning. Then we got happiness. Love, love, love. There we are. That is the one. Love, 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 love. And I'm going to put it, I am actually going to put it central because I think that is quite fabulous. Isn't that beautiful? Love, love, love. Um, please make sure you get the punch. The punch allows you to create all your own pages. It allows you to put your photographs in there. Maybe you've got envelopes. So much to do. Um, so please make sure you get hold of it. If you do want your happy planner accessory back, <laughs> uh, sauce. Um, so if you do want your pink punch, highly recommend that. Thirty-seven ninety-nine. It's absolutely fabulous uh 214074 or of course we have got the black punch in stock for you as well so if you do want that one same size as the pink obviously just a uh, different color and same price as well uh that is 37.99 um now we're going to make all oh, the storage tote bag this is Gorgeous. I mean, that is so beautiful. It's a big tote bag. I'm taking that up north with me. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous. Only $39.99. Um, we will split that payment into two, so you have got your flexi as well. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, right, I'm just going to play when I'm back over to Adam. Have a little look for dirty feet. <laughs> dirty feet. Oh, Ooh. Charlotte. She's riddled. I just feel <laughs> Holly in this. I feel sorry for Holly in and the same. Room. Sitting next to her. <laughs> Pungent, we're hearing. Oh. oh. She should really change her socks. <laughs> now, 
one day special. Very, very busy is what we're looking at at the moment. You are picking any three from here. Now, once again, if you're clever about it, all these numbers here tell you how many stickers are in the sets themselves. So you've got different sets and different numbers for different themes as well. You've got themes like household. You've got themes like mom in there. You've got the sassy, which is extremely busy. You've got travel. You've got choose happy in there. You've got your planner basics as well. Now, your planner basics are one of these ones that you're going to need time and time again because it just gives you that little hint. You've got the flowers in there, which is beautiful. Uh, that's the Planner Basics that we were talking about a minute ago. So it's got your numbers in there, it's got the bunting in there, it's got those large boxes in there as well, so you can fill in. Like Leonie was saying about her planner, that took, was that limited stock? Sassy Planner is now limited stock, so if you do want the sass, you better check out your baskets. Uh, because it is now limited, so I, I did try and think of a rhyme, but I couldn't think of one quick enough. Give me a bit more time. Uh, so, uh, if you like the sass... If you want the sass, you better put on the gas. If you want the sass, put on the gas. And check out the baskets. Uh, because it's going to go, we've got 10% left. It is limited stock, is what you're looking at. Uh, three for two is more or less what you're getting here. £19.99 and pence across two flexible payments for any of your happy planners. As we said, if you're not into planning... You can make cards out of them as well. You've got lots and lots of stickers in here. Uh, right then, up next, uh, this is your planner, babe. This is more or less a little a little kit that's got everything in. Everything is contained in one little bundle for you. Fifty-three pounds and ninety-three pence. It's also on flexible payments as well, uh, £26.97 and pence across two flexible payments. So you're getting your envelopes in there, you're getting all your dividers, you're getting sets of stickers, extra sheets as well. So you can, and these have also got your stickers in at the bottom. Can I get them out? There you go, look. So once again, it's got all your little notelets ready to go. So if you just want to make your notelets, everything is beautiful in here as well. And it's all such the highest quality. And I like the way everything matches. Even if you're going for different stickers, they'll still all match with what you've already got. £53.93, 524238 is your item number. Then, if you like the book, but you're thinking, oh, I'd love it, but I just, don't, I just don't like the cover. Well, don't worry. Remember, all the covers take off as well, but leave the cover on and pop it in a cover folder. Now, you could also use these, I'm guessing, for other planners that you've already got. I reckon you could use the littler ones for, uh, you know, the standard diaries that you've got at home that with the plain covers that have the gold writing at the top that says 2020 and 2021. I reckon they would fit in there. For the sheer fact, all you do is you open them... <laughs> And then you just pop your covers on the inside of here. So I think they would fit your standard diaries as well. So check your standard the diaries. All the sizes will be on the website for you. Um, even if you're going for one of these for large note pages as well, I think they're absolutely beautiful. It's the quality. It's 9 99 for every size. So start thinking about gifting. If you know someone that's into their diaries, for 9 99 you can get them a brand new folder. Maybe they're just starting a job. You imagine, you know them really boring A4, and they're your feet again, I can hear Charlotte, tippy-tapping on the desk. Maybe that's what, you should use your hands rather than your feet on the desk. Uh, but if you know your, your standard A4 writing pad, you could pop one of those inside as well and you could just use it as one of those because they're very corporate, they're beautiful, absolutely stunning. And £9.99, pounds, £2.64, pounds, is your item number. Then, last but not least, stickers. Now, these are stickers galore. These are stickers that are going to take you throughout all of the seasons. Now, there's four options that you can choose from. Uh, we'll bring the details up on the screen for you as well. Uh, your details are 792125 is your item number. £42.99 is what you are getting for these. Uh, but inside the stickers themselves, as we've seen, there's two pages. So it's basically like buying two little books. And then... You've got so much in there. Both pages are full of stickers. Look at all of these. Every single one waiting to be used in your planner. You can't go wrong. £42.99 pence, or you can put that on flexible payments as well. 792125 is your item number. £21.50. And last but no means least, we have sticker storage. 
Uh, sticker storage with four books of stickers in here as well. £69.99. Uh, your sticker storage is a box. Now, you stick it down the side, so when it all comes, yours will come like this. Flat pack. Uh, here's one I made earlier. And then you pop your stickers on the inside. It'll hold all your stickers that is in there. Uh, that's just the bottom of the box. And then you've got your little compartment. So maybe you have two for stickers and you use a set for your pens. So you've always got a pen to write in your gyro as well. Maybe you've got a set of colours that you want to use throughout your book. You've got that storage in there as well. Beautiful. Uh, two, zero, two, five, two, no, I'll start that again. Zero, two, five, zero, seven, six is your item number. £35 across two flexible payments. Best thing to do when you check out your baskets, you've got the end of call offers as well. Now, oh, we've excelled ourselves on the photos of this. So uh, you've got the Happy Plans journal stencils that you saw Alione using as well. £7.99 pen free delivery on those then you've got now if there's any of these that you're unsure of please email in if we've got them we'll show you them live so you know what you're looking at and you know what you're buying uh, you've got the planning stickers guide is the guide what you showed us a minute Leonie, earlier. Yes. The sticker guide. So that's yes, at the bottom yes, yes. for eight pounds and ninety-nine pence. Uh, you've got the mini sticker plan and guide as well. So I'm guessing that's slightly smaller for yes. six ninety-nine. Um, so and you've got the um, the check it off as well that we saw Leonie using in her diary. Right, and Leonie, it's all yours. Thank you. Do you know what I did forget to do? Oh, um, what? what I were meant to do is actually flip through some of them to show pictures, weren't well, I? Well, I thought you were doing that earlier, but you're doing yeah, it really I quickly. <laughs> I absolutely <laughs> forgot. <laughs> I forgot. I just got a bit carried away, and yeah, I, su I suppose. I suppose that. Oh, oh hey. Karen, that's a good one. And look at the sticker book I picked up. Da, 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 da. It's meant to be. There's We're an envelope on, the on your desk. Hey, <laughs> from, boom, from travel. You're travelling, my friend. That sort of fits in. Um, and so what I thought I'd better do is show you a few, hadn't I, really? Because I was flicking through before, but I flew through that quick. I didn't actually tell you what they were because I weren't. I were only looking for me. I do love this, the world map. I think that's quite fabulous in the travel book. We all your little, you know, your little pinners. I think there is. You have, obviously, because they're American, it has got the American map in there as well. Um, but that's OK. That's cool. I quite like it because it's got all your different states on there I think it's cool. I really like the travel book I put the travel book to one side because I'm going to use it because I love these the car and then the lovely little caravan I love the wed um the wedding I love the the um the thingy ones what to pack and stuff like that I'm keeping that aside because I want to use that one that's your travel one I'll be quick okay there's choose happy Choose Happy is lovely. It's really bright. You've got all sorts in there. I love that you've even got, you know, some of those um, those holographic ones. Absolutely gorgeous. That is your Choose Happy. That's designed for a mini one. The mini ones, although like this one, your Planner Basics, it is designed for your mini one, but it doesn't have to go in your mini one. I mean, that will definitely fit in my, uh, my vertical. I like this one because if you are making a planner out of your notebook, you have got six months worth of numbers and I just think that is fabulous really really cool you've then got productivity we have used a lot of productivity in fact look can you see that that is the size it's meant to be that's the size our gang have used a lot of productivity this has been one of our favorites because we all share we take the pages out and there's this is a really good one because you know it's all about Oh, your to-do list, you know, your lunch appointments. It's a written, yeah, we love that one. <laughs> that has been one of our favourites. Um, the journaling is gorgeous because you've got all your fantastic little dude. I know I love that one. I just think that is so cool, really, really different. You've then got your colour story. Colour story is beautiful. Um, and this were the one I were making the card out of. Lots of different colour palettes in there. And I do love the, um, the flowers and things. And you have got some beautiful sentiments you know live a life filled with love um, which is just fabulous so you have got some really pretty sentiments and I think that's the thing isn't it you've got something for literally everybody this is an absolute essential the flower one this is my favorite out of all of them because I know I can use every single sticker in there that is essential if there's one that you that I do recommend that you have definitely it's that 
and that's a must have. We've also got mum and this is all about, um, it's all about really family and it's all about sort of, it is a little bit about chores and things, but it is fabulous. Coffee is my spirit animal. <laughs> I like these, the background ones, because they're really nice for f f filling a page. Uh, rest and relaxation. So there's a lot of, um, of you know, your, your planners and I like these as well. How many steps have you done today? You know, so if you're doing, if you're um, taking notes of your weight, it's stuff like that. It, I like that one. I think that's cool. That's designed for the minute, but again, you can do all sorts with it. Um, this is your household. Your household management one is real. I love this one because it has got loads of little lists like your grocery list, like when your bills are due, um, your weekly menu so you can plan your actual meals. This one, we've shown this one quite a lot. Because this is the jobs that you avoid like the plague. It's one of those. Wipe down um, your baseboards. Wash kitchen trash can. Ooh, I mean, you know what I mean? It's one of them. You put it in the planner and you go, oh, really? You know, wipe down the knobs and light switches. <laughs> <laughs> That made Adam, <laughs> made him perk up, so he did. Um, so, <laughs> um, so I really, I like that one, actually. I like the household. I think that's quite cool. You've got the seasonal. The seasonal one is fabulous because it has got all your different seasons. It's got birthdays in there, loads of different celebrations. And, of course, not just seasonal. <laughs> I love that. That could be on my cooking page. Um, <laughs> so you've got all sorts in there. The last one that I can show you, because I haven't got them all here, is your sassy plans. And, of course, this is our favourite, most definitely, um, because it's just amazing. As if 90% <laughs> coffee, 10% dry shampoo. <laughs> see, it's so good, in it? It's like, now, you see, I do recognise this, but I can't think where it's come from. Bye, Felicia. Where's that from? Bye, Felicia. Where's that from? It's a thing, in it? But I don't know which one it is. Bye, Felicia. Um, and the, yeah, there's loads in here. I really like it today. It's been cancelled. It's I love that one. That one is my ultimate, ultimate favourite. It's fabulous. Oh, I love this. Single. Married, it's complicated, divorce, tacos. <laughs> and then, obviously, no, Fox Given. Oh, oh, move on, Leone, move on. Um, yeah, that's my favourite. But, 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 I'm going to travel because I've got this week booked off. Yes! Well, I can't quite remember. I think it's from the 8th. I think it's from the 8th I've got booked off. It's summer, yeah, the 8th of September. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I haven't missed it, man. I haven't missed it. So, what I wanted to do with this, right, is um, I'm going to take that little travel sticker off because I want that one there because that one's cute. But I want my packing list. <laughs> I'm going to put my packing list on because I could have done that. This because I'm going up north to visit the fam, so I could have put my packing list. Are you off so, week? no, man. Uh, it's I'm. Off. I'm off for... I think it's the week after you're off. The week after the 8th? I think... I don't, on, no, don't quote me. Oh. Only because I looked, I looked at my oh. days off. Oh. I looked for a day off the other day and you were off, so I couldn't... Yeah. I can't have it off. Oh, bear with. I'll look at my other planner. Look at your think planner, when you are. This. I know you're off the... I know you're off the 14th. Bear with. September. You're what? off the 14th of September. So, I've got... Hold on, I haven't actually written it in here. <laughs> I'm all right. Well, I'm definitely back in for the 16th because I've got my troll factory. I think you're right. Um, so I think I'm off. No, I think it's the 8th. Tuesday to Tuesday. I th no, I've got a few more days than that. I think. <laughs> you're <laughs> definitely remember. off the 14th, I know that. I think I'm off. Yeah, I think it's from the 8th till something like... Oh, wait, something like there. I can't remember. I need to put it in my book. <laughs> need to put it in my book. But it's OK because I'm definitely off that week. <laughs> I'm terrible, aren't I? This is why I need to put everything in. But doesn't that look nice already? These are these are actually from... Um, we had uh, lovely little cards and things the other day. So they were from there. So I just think that's beautiful already. Um, and then what else am I got got on here? I love it. I want... I'll tell you what I do want on here. I'm only travel... Eh? 
It's it's definitely September. I definitely know I'm off in September. I'm off in September. Please let me be off in September. <laughs> I definitely am because um, cause I know I am. But I can't quite. If I mean, if it isn't this day, then I'm going to have to rearrange my holidays to book in with my um, my planner. There we go. I'm going to put my adventure on there. Isn't that gorgeous? I love doing this. This is just fun. I mean, oh, and I'm going on a road trip. So I've got road trip here. Do I know when? No, I don't know when. I'm going around here sometime. <laughs> so when did I say I were back for a Troll Factory? The, the shoot Wednesday. The Wednesday. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, that's... The 15th. So, it's, so the 15th. Well, the 15th or the 16th. 15th. Ah, OK, that's good. So this one is all about my holiday. Boom. It's all about my holiday. There. Got road trip. Oh, look, it's looking gorgeous. What I love about this, I mean, it's literally, I'm playing. Do you know what I mean? You're just playing and it's fun. You can do what you want. You can put in whatever you fancy and it just, it just all looks cool. I mean, you're literally just building it up. Obviously, that page has got... It's sort of split up because I've got my packing list. Then over this side, now I can start to um, I can start to fill in this side because I've got that long sticker. I kind of want something there. I mean, I, it's funny actually because you get that carried away with putting your stickers on. You kind of forget you want to write in it as well. But I will. I mean, there's plenty of space to write in it. So, do I need a guidebook? I'm not going to have a guidebook. I'm just going to hope for the best. Um, now, what else shall I put on? So, I think I might put the itinerary, because this is hilarious, because I don't even know when I'm off. So, having an itinerary is just a joke. But, pop a little itinerary there. See, I love the vacation one, because I think it's I think it's really fun. I think filling in your vacation one... Oh, Paula's emailed in... <laughs> There you go. Paula's told me when I'm off. So, Paula said my holiday is the 3rd to the 14th. Yay! Thank you. So, that means really I should have put that one in this here. But that's okay because I'll just pack when I've come back. <laughs> but that's okay because I'll still be away. And so, I've got my itinerary there. I love that. It's so me, isn't it? Not actually knowing when I'm away. It's so me. This is why I need it. Oh, look at that on the brown. Don't they look beautiful? Um, so I've got my little itinerary. I might also put a second one on. Oh, I could actually now start doing that as well because it's a third. Well, I know it's my birthday there. Oh, I know. It's my birthday then, but I have to come in. I think I'm coming in the day after, and then I'm working that Wednesday because <laughs> I couldn't get out the Wednesday, but I wanted to. So then I'm off there, so I'm off all that. How many days have I got off then? Loads. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13. Ba, ba, ba. 13 days, 13 days, holiday. I am going to stick this book full of holiday <laughs> stickers. I'm essentially going to use all these holiday stickers on my 13 days. <laughs> Even the aeroplane, just because I'll watch them. <laughs> oh, I'm really chuffed about this. Oh, yeah, I'm all done. So, so I'm having a lovely time. It's the coffee. It's the coffee. Um, please check your basket. So I've had a marvellous time. I'm going to carry on sticking stickers. Um, or Adam, what do you think of all of this? I love it. I love it all. <laughs> could you come, could you come back on the 14th? Absolutely, will. <laughs> so of I can, just course. So, just so I can have it off. <laughs> um, I just need that one day. <laughs> so uh, we're looking at happy planners. Remember, though, the prices will go back up. This is your one day special. Is what we're looking at. Prices will go back up. So get them while you can. £39.97 pence for your one-day special price. Let's choose any three of the sticker books that are in front of me. Or, oh, what's that? Sassy Plans Now single <laughs> figures. We're down to the single figures of the sass, okay?
So we're down to single figures of the SAS. So if you do want the sassy plans, I would get in quick. Um, you're getting so many stickers in each of the books for £19.99. pence. you are paying for two, but you're actually getting three books. And the best thing is, you can choose the three books. These are not bundles that we have put together. This is a bundle that you can now pick yourself which is amazing. £39.97.622142 is your item number. You're saving £20 as well. We've been busy across the board. Well, you knew you would be. It was it was going to be a busy show. Uh, thank you for joining us uh, throughout the hour as well. Um, do you know what you're up to tomorrow, Leone? Yes, I've got my dark room door tomorrow. Of Ooh. course I know. <laughs> dark room door? Because Paula that... told me. <laughs> 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 uh, we got Let Loose tomorrow. Paula could be your agent. Could be I know, your little PA. I know. She's a good wife. <laughs> she, what can well, I say? Good wife. There you go. Runs around with your diary. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Miss Leona. <laughs> uh, so don't go anywhere. There's so much more to shop for here in the wonderful world of Achanda. As one door closes on a one-day special, another one is about to begin. We've got MDF next. And then the brand new one-day special... The Indigo Blue magazine, one not to be missed. Uh, I'll be launching that. I've seen glimpses of it next door. It's gonna fly. Check out your baskets for your happy planners, though. Don't miss out on your amazing stickers. Uh, thank you, Leonie, my love. You, it's been a pleasure and a curtsy. Oh, the only problem with a curtsy is I can't get back up now. Uh, Papercraft MDF is up next, an Indigo Blue one day special, and then it's all about the cricket. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family run company, Sam is my sister, and we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different, but what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftescope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftescope. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. 
We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing and our favourite being our crafters carry on. We've really enjoyed being on Hachanda. It's um, made us famous really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Pete from Artisan Design. We're a family run company uh, from the Midlands um, and we have been going for around about a year now. We design handcrafted stamps, stencils and designer papers. Personally, uh, I love crafts and I've loved crafts from uh, childhood, right from when I first won an art competition when I was five years old. I love to inspire and what, what my aim is, is to get the crafters um, to see their own potential. I like them to be uh, in charge of their own creativity. What I hope is that our images um, provide the kickstart to your mojo and help you create your own works of art. Tune into our Chanda, be part of the artisan design world and come and join me on this creative path. Good afternoon. Oh, we're having a bit of a giggle before the start of the show. And hopefully we're going to have a lovely show for the next hour because we have got some fabulous projects for you guys at home and we've also got a fabulous guest as well. So, Pam, hello. Hello. Nice how, to... How are you? I'm good, thank you. Very warm. Oh, yeah, it is warm, it isn't is, it? Yeah. When I came from up north, it wasn't as warm. But was it not? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well, the weather's been all kind of changeable, isn't it? it it's has, been yes. raining, thunderstorms, hot, then it's cold. I never know what to wear when I come out no. of a morning. Uh, so I should just come out in the afternoon, then probably I'd understand and know what to wear. Anyway, it's <laughs> just talking rubbish. It's great to have you company. We've got some MDF kits on the show, haven't we, Pam? We have, yes. Now, for anyone that's not seen you before or heard of Ross Paper Crafts, can you tell us a little bit about them and about your association so, and about yourself, of course? Okay, well, Ross Paper Crafts uh, is a family run business. Um, Terry and his wife run it, and his daughter helps as well. Um, and they're from Geordie Land. Yes. <laughs> and I met Terry at one of his shows. He does the Ross Paper Craft shows that obviously aren't on at the moment. Yes. Um, and that, uh, he asked me to demo. So I'm a freelance demonstrator, but I'm loving the MDF at the moment. It's one of my favourite things. Brilliant. Why is it one of your favourite things? Because you can get messy with it. <laughs> <laughs> are we going to get messy today? We are. I'm Let's afraid. do it. Let's get messy. Now, if you do have any questions about anything, uh, it could be general knowledge, could be mathematics, why don't you just test us for the whole hour? Uh, but we'd prefer it to be about crafts and MDF. And uh, then do email in at studio at hochanda.com. If you've got any kits that you've put together from uh, Ross Paper Crafts, then we'd love to see those as well. But let's talk you through the kits, then we've got some great demonstrations coming up. So, first of all, we've got all things doggies. Let me just bring this in. Ever wondered where you've put the lead? Ever wondered where you've put your dog collar? Mm. Well, this is going to allow you to put them all in one place so you know exactly where they are. And, of course, the dog will know where they are of as well. Course. So every time you go to this, they'll start wagging their tail and getting really excited if it's anything like my dog. If, and my dog, as soon as you say something like, shall I take the dog for a walk, she's there. Really? Why do they understand that? I don't know. You know. Do you know what I say to my dog, Millie? Millie's my little Jack Russell dog. All I say to her is, Lou Withers. <laughs> and she, seriously, we look at we we look at Millie, and I say Lou Withers, and she comes with that. In fact, if she's at home now, I'm going to say it, Lou Withers, and she's like, oh, oh, and she starts wagging her tail, running around the house. It's amazing. So, um, not Lou, <laughs> Millie, my dog. Maybe Lou would if I said that to her. I don't know. Maybe next time I see Lou Withers, Try I'll it. say Millie. Try it. Yeah, we, we could. <laughs> Um, but it's a lovely kit to make and create because, first of all, you've got an interest. It's all to do with your little doggy, uh, but you might have someone else that you might want to make this for as well. £11.99. It's a great price. 320374. Now, you also have um, a little doggy frame or a picture frame for a dog, which is a, in the form of a dog home. Just there. Let me just pull that one in. Uh, it's a dog kennel, a dog house, um, but there it is. And that's a little bunny.
Buddy. It is, yes. I've not met Buddy. No. But I'm assuming it's Terry's dog. Oh. Now, shall we tell everyone at home that we stood in front of this <laughs> for 10 minutes, did we, Pab? And we were saying, what a lovely dog it is. And I said, Pab, what's the dog's name? We were like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes we stood there. And Pab and I were saying, well, I'm not sure. Well, what do you think? Do you think it's somebody's dog? And then, of course, Pab said, well, it's at the top. Maybe it's Buddy. <laughs> It's true, it's true, we actually did that. Um, but this is lovely. Do you know what I like about this as well? If I just bring that forward, yes, you could put your pictures in there, but how about putting your letters in there as well? You could just, you know, Good if you get your letters ideas. through the door or, you, or important papers, oh dear. Yeah. You could pop them just in the top there. Or, yeah, your pet insurance or your reminder uh, for your pet to go and have their japs, dare I say. But lots of little elements there to put together to make and create. So you've got the wall hanger and you've got the lovely frame, only £11.99, pence. you're saving £8. That is so, so handy to have. Uh, 320374 is your item number. Right, another kit for you. Uh, this is interesting because we've got some ribbon and we've got some lace included. And again, the price, oh my word, only £11.99. pence. The berries are included as well, they aren't they, are, yes. Wow, so what do we use the ribbon for, what do we use the lace for? Well, you can wrap it around the rings of the hearts if you want to, or you can make elaborate bows um, if you want, don't want to use it all around it. Yes. Uh, there's a couple of samples. Oh, behind you, behind. yes. Hanging up on the that wall. One there. Now, oh, these are beautiful. There's one in the middle there. And that's got the, can you see how the lace has been ruched? Yes, yes. You've got the giraffe in yeah. the round one. Uh, it's just above Pam's head at the moment. There you go. Uh, we do have that particular kit coming up, but this is just giving you an idea of how you use the ribbon to go around the circle and to go around the hearts as well. Uh, so, with your ribbon, you've got the pink check, you've got the tartan, you've also got the blue check. Is that called gingham? Gingham, yes. Gingham, I thought so. And then you've got that beautiful, delicate lace and the berries as well. And you also get the love hearts, by the way. So it's not just the circles, you get the love hearts as well. So in total, one, two, three, four, five of the circles. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. And one, two, three, four of the hearts. And we'll have a look at the love heart one because that's behind my head. Just there. Isn't that beautiful? Now, if you do like that, oh, that, is that my head? Oh, yeah, you don't want to see the top of that. Um, <laughs> I'm having terrible hair days at the moment. It's the weather. It's, the it's weather. very close, isn't it? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't have a good-looking August. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a good month for me. June and July, I'm all right. I can get away with it. August is not a good look for me. Never has been. Anyway... <laughs> It's not about me, is it? Uh, right, so that, uh, well, there are two fantastic projects for you. Or, of course, one, two, three, four, five projects there and three projects with your love hearts. 847-802 is your item number. That's an incredible price. Don't, aren't these great prices? They, they, it always does excellent prices. They really are. Right, okay. Would you say, Pam, I'd need any glue to put uh, when I'm using this particular kit well, with it, the rhythm? It depends. If you're attaching the ribbon, you're going to have to stick it on somehow. Yeah. I mean, you could use a little blob of hot glue to start yes. you off and then just go around and every now and again just put a little blob just to keep it yeah, you could in do. place. Yeah, yes. good idea. Brilliant, brilliant kits for the money. Right, we're moving on. Uh, remember the giraffe that you saw? Uh, well, we've got that kit right here, but it also includes, look at the little elephant. Oh, so cute. That is gorgeous. I think we need some names emailing in for the giraffe and for the elephant. Sending your names, studio at hochanda.com. We'd love to hear them. We'll pop them onto Facebook. We'll pick them up from there. Um, oh, they're lovely, aren't they? £11.99. So you get both the giraffe and the elephant. You also get the gingham ribbon as well in blue and in pink. You get two hoops, one for the giraffe, one for the elephant. And then you get these beautiful flowers. Are these in uh, foam around? I don't know what they're foam. It's like foam, yeah. but they the sort of come ready-made. They're beautiful. Have you seen those? So you've got those in pink and white and blue. So they go perfectly with 
the ribbon. Absolutely gorgeous. And you saw that earlier on. Uh, maybe a new baby or maybe you just want to put it up in your room because it looks really nice and pretty. So 30 foam flowers included. You don't have to use them with this project. You could use them for other projects. It's entirely up to you. Only £11.99. Something new, something different for you to create. And if you're a Freedom member, there's no P&P to pay. Uh, 243895. Oh, look at that elephant there. It's like it's sitting in the moon, isn't yeah, it? And all these samples were done by Wendy. Oh. oh, they're lovely, aren't they? They are gorgeous. Well done, Wendy. Right. We've got some lamps next, and we're going to be demonstrating these, yes. aren't we, in the first demo. Um, I really like these. Now, with your lamps, you get one of the large ones in MDF. That's it made up. And one of the small ones. And I'll just pop these into view for you because you can put an LED uh, light in there. And I think these are fantastic. Well, didn't the lights actually? I think one of them's on, the other one's not on. I don't know. There you go. Uh, but you can see that one on just there. Um, these are lovely. Yeah, um, and there's another one just behind you there. Oh, the, let me bring that one to the to the front. And what I'll do is I'll I'll. Oh, it's like I'm going round like the gaslighter. <laughs> you know, of an evening. They used to do that, didn't the they? They yes. I, I was going to say something, but I won't say what I was going to say, you know, walking through the town with a lamp. Wee Willy Winkle, there you go. Well, Wee Willy Winkle didn't pick up a whole lamp like this and run <laughs> round, did he? He would, he would more have been the Incredible Hulk. Uh, but yes, Florence Nightingale, Wee Willy Winkle. Or just a lamp <laughs> on your bedside. <laughs> But the nice question, you can make them for Christmas or all year round. Now, the one with the ivy round, that's what I have at home. Because oh. I, I, I made that myself. Yes. And I changed the ivy. So at Christmas, I put tinsel round it. Oh, what a great idea. What a, oh, or some holly yeah. would look really nice. Yeah. Uh, these are fantastic. £14.99. We're getting busy for these now. Um, you can multi-buy because two of the large ones together look absolutely gorgeous. And I think they will complement each other as well if you yes. get a couple of sets of these. And like you say, around Christmas time, if you've got a fireplace, some people take the fires out now and they just have the hole that's left. Yes, yes. It and they lovely. put flowers in there. Something like this would look gorgeous mm -hmm. just at the side. £14.99. Just to clarify, with that, you get the large and small lamps absolutely gorgeous 890365 is your item number right now let's talk about snowflakes uh, snowflakes with a little bit of a difference because when you get the MDF snowflakes home let me just show you this so yes they are made from MDF but on one side they are white but that's not painted is it Pam? it isn't no tell us about these so they're being covered with a self-adhesive sticky so you can peel that off yes. and cover it with glitter. Oh, I can. There you go. My nails aren't very. There you go. So you can take that off, yeah. and then that will have the sticky. Yes. And then just put glitter yes, on. It. In fact, a, yes, just on the side there. I've got some samples here. Are they? Are these stuck on, Pam? Yes, they are. Whew, I got this for that. <laughs> um, aren't these fabulous? Look at those. So this makes it really, really easy to make and create without having to go and get some glue. Exactly, yes. And great for your kids, if you can trust them with glitter. Yeah, 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 yeah that's, <laughs> that is true. Um, this is fantastic, it really is. Something like this at Christmas time, you could make one into a little key ring. You could make them into hangings for the Christmas tree. I'll put them on the window. Put them in the window, that'd be nice. Mm. On one of those little sucker things that yes. you buy, um, and you could hang them down, that would look lovely. Or maybe on the outside, if you get s if on the outside of your door, as long as your door's protected. Yes. You know, people put wreaths on the outside of their door at Christmas. That would look nice when put people come. On the centre of a wreath. Yeah, uh, yeah, that would be absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely. Or, as our director said, Chris, you could make a massive wand. That'd be quite cute, actually. <laughs> yes. A magic wand. You could do um, that. Or pop them onto the wall. You can do anything you like with these. They're so easy to um, put together because they're already made and created. All you have to do is just peel off the self-adhesive. £11.99. Five large and five small snowflakes. Five large and five small. Um, that is an incredible deal. And true, true to style, they're all different aren't they? Of course. Uh, and snowflakes are different. Oh, well, they have to be, don't yeah. they? Yeah, they're all individual. So you've got uh, different ones. Um, I think these are absolutely incredible for the price. Five large and five small. Uh, we're very busy for these. I knew we would be. And the small ones as well. So intricate and beautifully cut as well. Yeah, they're all laser cut. 
excellent and I like the fact that you also have that little hole at the top as well so if you do want to hang these from the tree you can pop your ribbon or your string or your twine through there Excellent. Right, those are your snowflakes. Busy for those though, £11.99, 204 to, uh, eight, 827. Sorry. Now, I love these. These are superb decorations for your home at Christmas time. And you're getting two, not just one, but two. I'm going to show you the kit, then I'm, sure you're going to, I'm going to show you what you can make. Oh, you can see that. I'm going to bring those forward, don't worry. Uh, oh, it's only gone and spoilt it for us now, Pam. <laughs> um, these are lovely, aren't they? they are. Really easy to put together. Very easy. I did that one that you've got hold of there. I did as a Facebook Live yesterday. Did you? Now, let me pop that just there. There you go. Um, isn't that pretty? And you've got the little fairies that go inside. If you don't want to put those inside your bauble, you could actually put something else in there and keep those fairies and use them in a different part of your home for a different decoration, maybe. Um, absolutely gorgeous. You get to make two of these, by the way. So you get two of the Christmas trees, you get two of the baubles, you get one with the fairy, and then you get one with... It's a little reindeer. The little reindeer. Let me bring that forward and show you that. Isn't that cute? But it doesn't have to be Christmas, because the one I did, my friend, she's made a, a fairy garden over the, um, you know, while we've been locked down. Yes. And she's desperate to get hold of that, to put in her fairy garden. Oh, how lovely. So, those two at the front, two very different, one green and one with an ice effect on there. Wow, very Christmassy, gorgeous. Uh, Eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence. That gets you two kits. That is an incredible price. Seven two one nine eight five is your item number. You also get Merry Christmas cut out for you as well. Right, when we were prepping earlier on for the show, and Pam and myself and producer and director were going through all the different elements on the table of the counter. Oh, sorry, no, myself and Pam was going through all the different things on the counter. Uh, we saw these and we just thought. Oh, Oh my word! Added to those MDF love hearts, aren't these That's incredible? Been put on there, yes. Yeah, nine. I was going to say eleven ninety nine, nine ninety nine. Everyone. So the two wreaths there, already made up for you with the roses on. So you could use those on their own, and you also get three of the love hearts that already have the glitter on there. This is incredible value for money, isn't it? It is, yes. And they just look lovely together when you lay one on top of the other. If I take that one, maybe the medium size one, <laughs> or no, the little one. Wreck the set. <laughs> there you go. Just on there like that. So you've got that lovely glitter behind there, and then you've got the roses on the front, or you can use them separately. We've got one hanging up separately at the back just there. Oh, yes. That's nice. So that's decorated with some other MDF embellishments. And then the other one that we've got hanging up has got some lace on with the love heart. And that's hanging up at the back. But the actual colour of the love hearts, well, you've got pink in there, you've got purple. Aren't they beautiful? Three of those, even if you just use those on their own. It's like an iridescent glitter, isn't it? It's like yeah. you see different colours when you're moving it about. That is beautiful. $9.99 for those three and you also get those beautiful rose wreaths as well. 114068. Now we've got some embellishment kits for you. Uh, let's show you those. And these are available. You can head to the website or quote this item number to the call centre. 794889. pounds and pence for that. Uh, might be worth popping those into your basket to go with all the different elements you're buying in the kits today. And then you've got your deluxe. Oh, this is absolutely delightful. These would be perfect for your circle and your love heart wreaths. Absolutely perfect. And even for the last item you saw with those lovely glittered hearts. Lovely. Uh, 820637, only nine pounds and 99 pence. That's a great price. Right, so we're going to go and have a look at some demonstrations. Um, remember, any questions, please email in. Any projects you've done before, I'm sure Pam would love to see those as well. Right, Pam, what are we going to have a look at? I was going to show you how to do the lamp, how to put Ooh, the lamp good. together. So I'm going to assemble the large one. They're both more or less assemble the same. Okay. But I thought if I show you the large one, it, it's better, easier for you to see. Okay, so... These are all the pieces you get. The most important bit I will tell you about is this is the top part and there's two sizes. 
Okay. All right, you need to be aware that there's two sizes. Right. And I'll all become clear in okay. a moment. So to set, I set it out like this so that the two sizes are together. Are they very obviously two different well, sizes? Well, if I lay them on top of each other... That would be the way to do it. Yes. Got you. Yeah. So you can see that they're two sizes. It's just... It'll make sense when yes. I'm assembling yeah. it. So this is your base. So it's like curved. And this is the actual lamp stand. So you slot them together. Now, if you want to, you can put a little bit of glue to keep it together, but be aware, MDF swells when you wet it, you know, put anything wet on. Not when you it. Or if yeah. you're putting glue on, PVA yes. glue and things like that. So sometimes, you know, you've just got to be aware that once you put a glue on, it can expand a little. Okay. So then slot it in the base. It's all very sort of self-expansive, you know, you can see where the bits go. And as usual, when you're on live TV, <laughs> it likes to mess you about. Now, painting and decorating these, you would do that afterwards, would you, I Pam? would, yes, yeah. definitely. So that you know that um, you're not going to get it where you don't want it. There we go. And then you'll notice it sticks out a bit okay. at the bottom because it's going to go in that one. Right. Now, if I was going to glue anything, I would glue this onto there. Okay. So find your slot. And you can feel it. You can almost hear it going in. Yeah, you can, well, yeah, you yeah. can hear that. So then these side pieces, you just slide them on. Now, the large one, you have to slide them on. The smaller one, it's just a single piece. Okay. There we go. Slide that on. And this, now I'm going to t let you into a secret. Molly, oh. I'm going to tell you on Molly. Molly okay. had made one up and she'd done it the wrong way around. <gasps> it was, sorry, Molly. Oh, <laughs> but it, Molly. it was sort of the big piece at the bottom oh. and the little piece at the top, but it goes the other way around. Oh, <laughs> bless her. But you know, at least she had a go. She did. And, and, and because, that's what it's all about when you're crafting, isn't it? Because she hadn't glued it, it was easy enough to take to, apart and yes, put, of course. put right. I was looking, I'm thinking, that doesn't look right. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all it was. But, you know, that is actually a very good point. Um, and probably why Molly did it that way. To I show so. that it, you don't need yeah. glue to put it together. No. Nope. And then it's easy just to take off and just reapply if you need to. So, actually, it's a really good point. Maybe don't glue the first time you put it together. No, I wouldn't. And, and just to make sure everything's together. Right, so now these are your actual light section. So you slot them in. So what you do is the two sides, the, the, the smaller ones put in first, yep. opposite each other. Okay. And then the bigger ones go next to them. Now sometimes you could do with a third hand. Don't press too hard, you, you know, because you... Everything will go together. Could you put the lamp parts on top before you then put it all on Only top? Only if you're going to glue it. Right, got you. So you could glue all the lamp pieces. In fact, I think I might do that. Take that off. Because it'll be much easier to do it on there. Right. There we go. That's it. Much easier. Now, we're really busy, actually, for the lambs. It's great value for money. 30% of the stock is gone, £14.99, saving £8. And you get one of the large and one of the small. I think these are going to be a beautiful addition to your homes. Not just for... Oh, <coughs> not just for Christmas. <laughs> what happened there? Uh, not just for Christmas. Uh, but I think, you know, out in the garden, if you're sitting outside and it's nice and sunny... Don't leave them out, of course, unless no, they're treated. No. But just have them on the table next to you. I think it'd be perfect. It'd be lovely at this time of year if you get if you get in the sun. So then this pit, you just put one piece in at a time. As you're saying. See, if I was at home, I would glue this bit. See, now I laughed at Molly, and now Molly will be laughing at me. I know, she wouldn't do that. I would. Well, actually, I don't know. She's over the other side of the studio. Maybe she's, there we no, go. she's not. There you go. 
I think with any project like this, whenever you put an MDF together, uh, MDF together, one does need that extra hand. But you get there in the end. You it's too, about yeah. patience, isn't it? it is. And when you've got a live TV show, then sometimes we try and hurry it along a bit. But it's absolutely fine. Well, yeah, once it's all clicked in place, it'll it will just click in and then it's yeah. done. Yeah, you can hear it click. And then this bit is the top part. Slot that in there. Like so. And that. Slots into the top. Perfect. And then we will put that. On the top. Now, if you were putting an LED light in there, I'm just having a look. The you larger one, one, you can one actually yes, take yeah. that out. Yeah, that's I'll, why I'll bring this in to show ones, you. Yeah. Just in case you're wondering whether you needed to put it in. I've got one of the big ones just here. So there's the, the tea tree light in there. But you know at the side, you've got that lot tea. I always call them tea trees. Sorry. Tea lights. Uh, so you've got that large area there that you can just and then take it out. There you go. So you can turn you can it on You can actually get the deeper ones in there as well. I've, I've put deeper ones in. Yes. The other one, I think, is in permanently. Yes. Let me just that show you. That one but still looks beautiful. Yeah, I mean, that is gorgeous, that one there. You can see there's an area at the side that you could reach in and take that out and place that in. But what's really nice, that mesh going around there just to make it look a little bit different um, I think these are absolutely fantastic I love the finish on this particular one that I've got on this sample um, that looks really authentic like it's metal it's well weathered love that so that's the large one made up and I've got the small one here as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the small one okay so if, but you do exactly the same to the larger yeah. one I'll just put that there now, is this after you've glued it, you've painted this it? This one's been um, glued, yeah. yes. So this one won't come apart. Perfect. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it in some black gesso. Now, I actually do have some paint that... Uh, what's it called? Jo Channon had it on one of her shows. And it's an outdoor paint that's glittery. Oh, wow. Um, and you... If I had I one think of these, I, I remember could, seeing that. Yeah, I could paint that. You could on the top, and then I could place it outside. Make sure you get everywhere. Yeah, inside definitely. and everything. Yeah, that would be really nice. That and sometimes would be you can you can buy outdoor paint. I mean, you could um, spray it with an outdoor varnish. Yes, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, once you've finished, and then you could put it outside. So I'm just covering it with black gesso. Now, the reason I use the gesso is because it dries very quick. Yeah. And I like the matte finish. And, um, you know, how it just goes flat. I like the flat yeah. colour. But, like I said, it dries very, very quick. But you could do the same, exactly the same, to the big one. Now, I would get a smaller paintbrush and do all the inside as well. Yeah. But for time... I'm just going to do the outside, getting all its little nooks and crannies. You'd pay a lot of money if you actually bought one of these in, in metal. Well, or you wouldn't would even would if you go to one of these boutique shops mm. and they have them there. I mean, you'd pay quite a lot of money for them. Yeah. And you could decorate it to suit your decor. Yeah. So if you've got any leftover paint from your walls, yeah, that's true. Because we all keep it, don't we? I yeah. don't know why. <laughs> just, in, just in case you barge by it and scratch the wall, that's why we keep it. Or the dog brushes by. Well, we tend to repaint everything within a different <laughs> colour when it comes to that, don't you? Yeah. What, what dog have you? What, what's... Well, ours is a rescue dog. Aww. We don't know what she is. Um, what's her name? She's called Roxy. Roxy. She looks like a little fox. Oh. And... Um, Yes, yeah, she was abandoned. A friend oh. of mine, seeing somebody, actually let her out of the car and drove off. Oh, no. So they went and got her. Oh, bless. And I was trying to convince my husband at the time that we needed a dog. Yes. And when I showed him a picture of the dog and told him the tale, 
He said, I bet well, his heart melted. Well, he said, well, we'll go and have a look. I thought, well, we're having her, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> well, she's 11 now. Is she really? Yeah. Oh, bless. Oh, how lovely. So, but, uh, yeah, she's... Uh, She's getting on a bit. I used to work. Um, I used to work as a kennel maid, actually. Oh wow! Well. And one of the dogs that used to come to us was the Lord Mayor of Leicester's dog. Uh, I think it was the Lord Mayor of Leicester. It used to come in the in the big. Show, this this no word of a lie. <laughs> when, when they went on holiday, this huge chauffeur-driven car would turn up. The chauffeur would get out. The door would open and out trot the dog <laughs> like this. And it was a little like a little fox. I remember a little fox style dog. Right. It was a certain breed, probably a fox terrier. Mm. Um, yeah, it used to come out like that. Used to look as if to go, yeah, now you're going to earn your money. And then he'd walk <laughs> into the kennel like that. Um, it was ever so, ever so entertaining. As if it come in a chauffeur driven car. It's, it's true. True as the dare stand here. So what's your, what's your dog? My dog is a Jack Russell, Millie. Yeah. Well, she's a Jack Russell. Jack Russells are all sorts. They're kind of a, they're, they're a breed, but they're a, a whole mixture of terriers. So um, she's yeah. got longer legs and she's very mischievous. Yes. Well, I was just a, some sort of terrier mix. Yeah. So, yeah. I love terriers. Yeah. Does she all smile? She smiles. In fact, I've got a really good picture, a painting picture on the wall of her smiling. Yes. Some, most of the time it's after she's been playing with the ball and then her lips been curled up with the ball <laughs> and then she'll just turn around and look and she's got this big beaming smile on her face. But terriers, don't they rule the roost? Absolutely. Ours, well, if you throw, she wants to play, so you throw the toy and she'll bring it back to you, you throw it again, she'll bring it back, you throw it again, she looks at you as if to say, you think I'm getting that? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, we've actually had a picture sent in, actually. Uh, let's have a look, and this is from Sonia, and she oh, has... Wow. Wow, she has, and now I... Poinsettias. Like, is that the big one? Yes, I think it like, is. Yeah. That is the larger one, uh, with some poinsettias on. Now that looks amazing, I love that. I love it in black. I think it's very stylistic like that uh, 14 pounds and 99 pence one large and one small 890 365 is your item number if you want to go for that uh, busy across the board actually for all the projects that we've got for you um, the first one I love this one if you do own a dog it's absolutely fantastic first of all that great frame built up by yourselves with all the elements that you've got and you've also got the elements to build and create this wall plaque Whoopies! and on there you've got three hooks so you can put the lead on there you can put the dog collar on there if you want to or if you've got a couple of leads or a harness something like that absolutely perfect and it does mean that you've got that to go to each and every time you know where the leads are 11.99 for all of those elements to make those two projects just there three two zero three uh, sorry I'll, I'll get I'll get with it with my numbers in a minute. Three two zero three seven four is your item number. Right next up, we've got love hearts and circles. Um, so let's just pop those to one side. We have got one, two, three, four, five circles for you of different sizes. You can see just there. So you've got five circles and you've got three hearts. So you can make some wreaths. Now these are brilliant because. You've got the ribbon to wrap around them, so you've got the tartan ribbon, the pink gingham, and the blue gingham, which are great. You also get three of the love hearts as well. Let's pick these up to show you the different sizes. That's one, that's two, and that's three. And then you get these beautiful berries that you can place on your wreaths as well. And you get the lace. This is great value for money. It's excellent value for money. Let's pick up the lace and show you that. You get quite a lot. Oh, look at this. That that, to go the that is, yeah, you've got a lot of lace there and enough to go around one of the hearts. Easy to do so as well as you wrap that around. Eleven ninety nine for all of that. What an absolute bargain. And you've got lots of different projects for you just there. Right. Next up, that's eight four seven eight zero two. Next up, we have got your two circles. You've got your blue gingham, you've got your pink gingham, and you've also got alongside that 30 foam flowers uh, you've got your giraffe there's your giraffe or oh, we need some names for the giraffe please email in studio at hochander.com um, Eric for the elephant we've had there you go it could be Ellie Eric the elephant uh, a 
Gerald the Giraffe. Oh, there you go. You can name him whatever you like. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, so you've got your two um, animals there and you've got your two circles. You can use them together to make those beautiful wreaths or you could use them separately if you want to. 243895 is your item number. The most popular are the lamps yes you get one large and you get one small and we are approaching half the stock gone eight nine zero three six five is your item number so you get one large and one small let's just move those out of the way for a moment because i want you to see the finished articles in the large anyway so let's bring those forward just to give you some inspiration and some ideas of how you can make them and also the fact that they look really nice when you multi-buy as well 14.99 one large one small but don't they look fantastic they really really do think about all the different elements that you can decorate them with and if you want to put them outside then as long as you put protection on them or use the right paint or spray them with a varnish you've got the opportunity to do so. Lovely. £14.99 pence. you get one large and one small. So I'll pop the large one there and I'll pop the small one there. Right, next up a really easy project for you but a really effective project for you. You're loving these. These are self-adhesive, so MDF but you've got the self-adhesive layer on there. So you just tear back the paper, put the glitter on and that's it. Very, very easy. You've got five different large snowflakes and five different smaller snowflakes two zero four eight two seven eleven ninety nine don't they look fabulous? They really, really do. This is your Christmas tree, all decorated. You can multi-buy on this as well. 204827 is your item number for that. Now, let's keep in the theme of Christmas. Let's have a look at some Christmas trees. We've got two kits for you. Um, the same initially with the tree and the base and the Merry Christmas as well. You get two of the baubles, but the inside of the bauble, you've got one fairy and you've got one of the deer just there. Now, let me bring these in for you so you can have a look. I've got one green one and one white one, but I've not been to see a doctor yet. Uh, so, oh dear. Uh, right, they look completely different, but look beautiful side by side. These could be in your home for Christmas. These could be a gift to someone else. It could be an item that you bring out year upon year upon year. £11.99, 721985 is your item number. Then we have got exceptional value for money with your love hearts. Oh my word, everyone. Let's take a look at these. Let's move that out of the way. You go over there. Stay there. Right, first of all, let's have a look at the love hearts. Um, beautiful glittered love hearts here. You've even got the ribbon at the top, so you can hand these up. But you'll see there that wonderful, beautiful, gorgeous iridescent glitter that's in there, which is lovely. And then included for $9.99, such great value for money, included for $9.99, you also get your rose wreaths as well let's hold those up you get one large and one small go the right way yeah one large and one small even got the ribbon on the top to hang them up uh, perfect what value for money they are 114068 is your item number if you want to go for those and again of course you can multi-buy let's have a look at the embellishment kits these are items you might want to add to your basket to go with your MDF projects 794889 1199 for that saving eight pounds that's a great deal you've got 87 elements in that set and then you've got your deluxe. Here we go, those beautiful little mini bouquets of flowers. You can separate them, of course, if you want to. And you've got the ribbon in there as well. 18 elements, 9 820 And, of course, you can multi-buy if you want to. Right, let's head back to Pam. Uh, what are we going to have a look at now, Pam? We're going to have a look at the snowflakes. Oh, lovely. So, just a quick mention. I've yes. just finished the light off there. All I did is I did a bit of dry brushing with a cream oh, just excellent. to make it look more vintage and yeah I like that antique fied very good okay so the snowflakes so we do have the small ones and we do have the large ones so I'm going to glitter them okay. to show you how easy it is to do excellent so you just need to peel off the backing see normally we'd, ha we'd have to go and get some glue paint oh, the glue on it gets very messy it, it can do and you'd have to wait till the glue went tacky and if it goes down the sides it goes all over and i've picked the more intricate one and i have no nails either so you just peel off the backing there we go i'm 
I'll tell you what, I'll do one that's not so intricate so it won't take me so long to get the back in off. No, that's all right. It's good to use a pokey tool though, isn't it? It is, yes. I mean, if you, I've got no nails at the moment. I mean, in lockdown, you know, we didn't get our nails done. And yeah. <laughs> so, yep, so just... I think it was just announced today that uh, nail salons and more salons could open up in Leicester, even though most of the city is oh, still on right. lockdown. I don't live in the city of Leicester, so... Is that where you're from? Yeah, but right. we're outside that particular area. Right. But my heart goes out to anyone that's in that situation at the moment, yes. of course. Oh, just bear with. That's all right. Probably the big one would be easy to do. Yes, I yeah. know. that would be more sensible. <laughs> it's always the same though, live TV, sometimes when we're under pressure to get the project done in time, and only under pressure because of time, not because ourselves making poor Pam do it quickly. It's <laughs> all about time. Yes, we're only getting now, and it always flies by. It does, doesn't it? How many shows have you had here with us, Pam? I think this is about my fourth one. Is it? Yeah. I started off before lockdown and then obviously we, I did one from home where I did the demos uh, from my craft room and then um, and what was that like when you were doing the videos from your craft I room? I tell you I have a, a whole appreciation for you cameramen really? <laughs> and everything it took me all day to do just to get it one set up demo and, oh bless you um, well thank you for doing it we really do appreciate it and also, you, you, it was a bit weird because you're not talking to anybody. You just there's just you there. Yes, it's odd, isn't it? Yeah. So that was a bit weird. So it's it's much better in the studio because mm, we can see everyone at home. If we look down the camera, we can, we can see you. <laughs> oh, we, yeah. You no need to cover up now. We've been Too with late. you for forty minutes. <laughs> we saw. <laughs> there's nothing I haven't seen now, so don't worry about that. Yeah. So just peel off the backing. Yep. Once you get going. It comes off quite easy. So I'm just going to do a, a small area first. There we go. Let's get all them bits out the way. So I'm just going to do this area first. So get your glitter. Make sure you've got a piece of paper underneath. Okay. Always a wise idea. Always. And just literally pour it over. Oh, and thanks to Molly for getting us the glitter. Yes, I, I did bring a glitter, but it was a, a, a clear one, which doesn't have a, as nice an effect as this one will. Oh, look at that, everyone. Oh, oh. How easy was that? How and beautiful. do you know what? The coverage is perfect. It, well, you don't need to rub it in yeah. or anything. Just that. There you go. Can you see how easy that was to do? Amazing. What great coverage as well. And looks lovely in that silver. It looks expensive. I think when you've got the glitter on there it looks expensive and you're getting five of the large snowflakes and five of the small ones they're all different as well and that's what's great about this particular kit they're all different I'll just step into shot if I may just to show you how different they are so you've got that beautiful shape there all symmetrical we have got that particular shape let me turn this around really nice as well because you can put your vine through there and your hanging material uh, you've got another particular design there all sym symmetrical remember these are all different we've not seen two the same and I don't think you'll ever see two the same um, of the snowflakes and then you've got your design oh, aren't they fantastic that's just the large ones you've got the small ones then let me just run through the small ones for you because these are beautiful so the smaller ones add these to your Christmas tree look at those two different ones in two different glitters and who's saying you have to put one color glitter on there you could actually put several colored glitters on the same one love that one with the star in the middle make a little mon uh, collage of these a little um, hanging um, I always forget the word not montage mobile I don't, why do I forget that name we could also paint the backs and do some actually it's a good idea back. yeah paint the back and glitter, glitter the, the front. front perfect perfect so 
Five large ones, five small ones, all different. Eleven ninety nine for all ten. It is incredible value for money. Two zero four eight two seven, and they look beautiful when they are um, glittered or painted. Uh, glitter one side, paint the other. Right, let's head back and take you to your plaques for your four-legged friends. Yes, uh, or rather, a plaque uh, from your four-legged friend to their two-legged friends, so that they know where the leads are. Uh, Walkies, isn't that good? I love that. And then you can just pop that onto the wall, on two nails or something like that, and then that can hang there for you. So if your dog wants to go walkies, or maybe he wants a biscuit, uh, <laughs> or maybe he's seen a squirrel, or maybe it's just dinner time. Uh, sorry about that across the nation. Dogs will be going all want over a the treat. place now. Yeah, want a treat. Uh, right, so uh, that's your plaque. And then you have your picture frame as well. Aren't they fabulous? Get all the elements to put those together. You're going to have a lot of fun doing that. 11 99 Maybe a project for younger members of the family. 320-374 is your item number. Right. Oh, we'll go to the demo. Sorry. That's all right. I didn't realise where we were going. Back to you, Pam. OK. Well, I'm going to demo the little doggy hut. Oh, yes. Our frame. OK. So you've got all the pieces. This is your base. It's very easy to follow. And this is your, your back piece. Now, I would paint this black. Would you? Yes. So that you've got an area inside there. And this bit I wouldn't do anything with. I'd just sandwich it in the middle. And then you can ink or paint that one. So just get them together and put them in the slot. I did this at home. What I did is I actually put the back one in, stood the back one in. Yeah. Like. There's obviously a right way and a wrong way, like so. Then the front one. And then I slid, slid the middle one in. Ah, got you. Okay, now if you're going to put a doggy picture on there, you've got a spare door. Oh, that's good. That's your template. Oh, oh perfect. Okay, yeah. But I would also mark in there where you're going to put where the door's going to be yeah. here. So got draw you. a pencil mark round so that you can position your photograph. Yes. Okay, and then once you've got your photograph stuck in, just pop everything in. They'll all line up. You have the roof, which you would stick on to there. Mm -hmm. You have a doorway, which you can put onto there. And then you have two little plaques. One says, my best friend, and one says, best dog ever. Now, you can put them both on if you want, or you can put the little doggy ball in that slot. Oh. And I like, I'm just looking at the doggy bowl. You've got etched in, you've got the dog food, yeah. and then you've got a the, the little the... bone at the front there. Yeah. So that when you're colouring them in, you can do it perfectly. Absolutely. I mean, just do it the same colour as you've got your own <laughs> dog's bowls. Because we all have a set one, don't we? We don't have, they all have their own bowl. Okay. Clash said bowl. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to paint the others. No. Yeah. And best dog ever. Oh. Slotted in there. Now, if you look at the sample, yeah. you can see Wendy's done a little path. Yes. With little paw prints. Yes. And their paw prints are actually on there. Yes, yeah, so do you know why I'm having trouble? Go on. I'm upside down. Are you upside down so you can't see your paw prints? No. I was thinking, where's my <laughs> paw all, prints? That's all right. I was but thinking... they are on there for you. They are on there. There you go. And I like uh, what Wendy's done. I think she's used some glossy accents on there. It just looks lovely. And the dog is called Buddy. <laughs> oh, dear, Pam. We spent ten minutes working oh, that one out, didn't we? I've decided that we set it off because we couldn't find the dog's name that was it yes so what i would do with this one you can either paint it or you can ink it ink it so yes so i'm going to just take that front one off and i'll show you just using your distress inks okay 
Do we gesso it first? You don't need to. Oh. You can if you want to, but no need. So I'm using Distress Oxide in Walnut Stain. And just blend it over. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that walnut stain's brilliant, isn't now, it? Now, you can paint them if you want to, but I quite like the distressed look in case you hadn't noticed. Yes. <laughs> oh, it would have made it so easy to do my shedding now, I tell you. <laughs> Without painting it all up. Yes, I know. We, paint, it, it, we painted our fence. Um, well, it, it's quite a lot of fence. My husband started at one end and I started at the other and we met in the middle. <laughs> Did you meet at the same time though? Well, kind of. <laughs> Took us three days. <laughs> really? Oh yeah. yeah, I've recently painted fences and sheds and... Yeah. But uh, it took some doing but it's done now for a couple of years, isn't yeah. it? So it just t adds a little bit of a shade to it. Yes. If you look, that's it before and that's it after. That is brilliant, and no gessos used. No. Just and that was done really, really quickly. But as I say, you can paint them if you want to, and then just layer them up again. And once you're happy with it, if you want to stick it, you know, glue it in, you can do. But I found, as I say, by putting the front and the back in, and then slot. The middle one in and when would you put your picture in there Pam? I will put it in before you put that's why I said if you sort of assemble it yes draw around where it's going to go on the back got you and if you paint it you see you don't always have to have a picture in yeah but you can then slot a picture inside you know yeah. slide it in or slide it down that way yeah and if you use that template you can cut that out yeah so perfect paint the or not it looks quite nice like that Aww. doesn't it and if you didn't want to put the picture in there, you do have that door template. You could actually put a door in there if you wanted to and just maybe put the name of your dog on the door if yep. you wish. So there's the oh, frame. Oh, that is cute. Reminds me of the uh, Tom and Jerry cartoons with, what was the, what was the, oh, Butch. help me. Was it Butch? Yes, it was, it was, wasn't Butch. it? Butch. Butch the dog. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Other cartoons are available. I don't know, Simpsons South Park. But it was the Tom and Jerry. It was Butch, yeah. Oh, they, they, they made me laugh. Right, uh, thank you very much, Pam, You're for welcome. that. Uh, let's go back to the lamps. Oh, my word, we're very busy. These are the best seller. It doesn't surprise me. These look very effective, and they're going to look absolutely gorgeous in your home, especially if you multi-buy. Um, you can see we've got three at the back here, but what you are getting in your deal is one of the large and one of the small for £14.99. If you want to go for more, maybe you want to be symmetrical, you want to go for two little ones, two big ones, then just choose to buy it twice. 890365 and that price will change accordingly. So let me just lift these out of the way to show you those three beautiful large ones that we've got just here. And Pam is putting some beautiful finishing touches to one of the smaller ones. We'll head back there in a moment's time to see those. You'll see here we've got some lovely ivy running around there, but this could be holly. Um, you could have a distressed look on there. You could have a glossy look on there. You could varnish these, maybe put them outside. Aside. I don't know why I said it like that. Put them outside uh, if you want to. Um, I'll tell you something. Let me just turn this to one side. I've had an idea. So really easy to go in and get your, your tea lights out and put them in again. So how about having these on your Christmas Day table with your dinner? Or maybe Christmas Eve with some mince pies, a little bit of sherry on the side. Sit down and enjoy yourself and have these. Or on your wedding table, that would look a bride and groom. In fact, if you went for two, you could have a bride and a groom or a bride and a bride or a groom and a groom. Or a groom, a groom and a bride. I don't know. It's entirely up to you. We've, well, we've got to mention them all. They're all out there, aren't they? All for one and one for all. So if you want to multi-buy, you've got the opportunity to do so. £14.99. Uh, 890 is your item number. Just have a look at the one that Pam's finishing off there. It's the smaller one. How lovely is that with those lights around it? It's just a little finishing touch. Yeah. Oh, I'll, Pam, I like that. That is lovely. Now imagine that on your table at Christmas time. Or maybe just a, a, like a side lamp exactly. in, in your home, mm. a little area that needs illuminating. 
that would look perfect. Maybe in the window of your mm. home, inviting people in. Only, nice. only people you want to come in, by the way, and are safe to do so. Not just anyone. Um, I love that. That is really, really nice. How pretty is that? Uh, £14.99 pence if you want to go for one large and one small. Let me pop those back in. Now, something else we've been busy for are the snowflakes you saw how easy it was when Pam added the glitter oh my word now you get five large they're self adhesive you just put peel that off um, maybe get a pokey tool start with a few little strands and then it'll all start coming off and then you can just put glitter on and produce and make some amazing snowflakes and then maybe paint the other side if you want to they are different you get five of the large ones and they're all different as snowflakes are all different no two are the same and that's a scientific fact I don't know how they found that out because they would have to count a lot of snowflakes uh, but I'm sure there's some scientific research to make that so, uh, so not snow make it so <laughs> make it so about the snow uh, let me show you some of the ones that are glittered just here are you ready for this are you ready are you ready wow I know that's too much I'm taking it away are you ready <laughs> are you ready now okay remember we can see you at home just put that down because you might be all right you ready look at those wow they are gorgeous and these are really easy to do aren't they Pam? They are yes and as I say you can get the children involved because all they need to do is pour the glitter on. Yeah and that's it under your supervision and I with would paper say. underneath. And yeah definitely <laughs> definitely. 11 99 for your 10 snowflakes that's five large and five small but still good sizes uh, which are fantastic. Now Pam we're back together aren't we? We are yes. At nine o'clock tonight so we've got some more demonstrations yes, for tonight ones. and uh, if you do have again any questions or any projects that you have put together we had a picture earlier on today didn't we it would be nice to see it some more. would yeah it definitely would so make sure you check out your baskets do go and have a look on the website as well because we've got some embellishment kits for you and then you can add those to your basket the lamps are incredibly busy i'm hoping we're going to have some of these at nine o'clock pam let's hope so you can buy in between the hours as well so maybe you want to buy for a friend you just need to ask them first uh, it's a good opportunity to do so fingers crossed we'll have those back for you at nine o'clock uh, but if you do want to put them into your baskets now you're more than welcome to do so uh, stay where you are though we've got more coming up on Hochanda including a brand new one day special launching after the break yes we've got indigo blue one day special oh my word it's going to be a busy one be your creative best with cricket after that and then back to your indigo blue one day special if you love cake and you love to bake we've got something you're going to enjoy here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavouring ideas, baking kits in a bottle and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilise within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on the Crafty Kitchen. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint, and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint, but with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on a Chandu because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on a Chandu.
Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy V shows on Hachanda. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexi Buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexi Buy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Yes, indeed. Good evening, one. Good evening, all. And what a one-day special have I got for you. It's the issue you've all been waiting for, and I'm going to go straight in. A minute and 15 seconds into our launch show, 10% of the stock has now already gone. What am I talking about? I am talking about the Indigo Blue, the second mixed media magazine box kit. You're getting stamps, mini dies, embossing folders, stencils, papers, 68 pages of pure gorgeousness for £17.97. And 97 pence. Yes, that price is correct. 1797 for everything that you're currently seeing on the screen. 20% of the stock now has already gone. I've not even said a number. I've not said a digit. I've just been romancing. 20% of the stock has now 
gone. I'm not on my own. No, no, no. Uh, we will tell you what you're going to get. We'll flick through the magazine. I've got finished samples galore back here. And there's two options to choose from. We are talking a world exclusive, not in the shops. You won't be able to get in the shops for another week. We, here at Achanda Now, have got the only copies of the magazine. They are on an ex they're on an extended delivery, okay, I'm going to be straight with you, from the 21st, which is Friday. Now the only reason it's Friday is because these are the copies at the moment that have only been printed. This is how new this magazine is. 40% um, <laughs> of the stock has now gone. Right then, let's get straight in, otherwise it'll just be on my own. I won't even introduce <laughs> the lady I've got standing next to me, the mastermind behind it all, that's going to take you through the next 24 hours with hints, tips and demonstrations from Indigo Blue herself. It's our Kay. Hey Kay, my love. <laughs> Hi everybody. <laughs> Hi, Adam. 40% uh, of the stock <gasps> has already gone. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. On your brand new magazine. That's amazing. That uh, is really half amazing. Half the stock <laughs> of your brand new magazine <laughs> has now already gone. Right then, before this goes, let's ask, okay, it is a world launch. It's it not is, out absolutely. in the shops yet. It's not, no. We've got it here first. You have. Um, this is the second edition. It is. And I like what you told me before we came on air about this is the first mixed media magazine. So what does that mean, mixed media? Is it going to be all grey board on making tags, on making this, no, that no, and the no. other? No, it's just encompassing lots of different styles. So it's, um, it's home decor, it's card making, it's um, uh, journaling, it's all of those things wrapped into one. So um, this is why it's so exciting, I think, because we're asked to do a mixed media magazine by Practical Publishing. And I I was like, finally, fantastic, that's brilliant. And that's what you've got. You've got 69 amazing projects, all completely different um, and really inspiring. So um, I'm so glad you love it. Thank you so very, very much. Um, and um, yes, we're, we're still going to do some fabulous demonstrations for you. So and just 70%. 70% of the stock has now already gone. We are four minutes and 40 seconds into the live hour. For all you know, you could just be getting a magazine. I've not even showed you what you're actually getting in the kit, up close and personal. Uh, right then, so you've got your kit. We will go through this, do not worry. Everything that you see here, down to a set of A4 stamps down there. You're getting uh, 21 stamps in there. You're getting an A6 embossing folder uh, there as well. You're also getting a stencil. You've also got a die down the bottom as well. You're getting 69 projects in the glossy magazine in the box included. And the two stamps that you see just here are exclusive and are brand new to us. Limited stock. We are now limited stock <laughs> on the magazine. I've not even read the item number. So, we're limited stock. What does that mean? We're now 10% of the, of the stock has now already gone. Remember, we're on extended dispatch from Friday because we are the only people with the magazine. But, but it's about to go. I've also got a... Technically sold out. We are now technically sold out in five minutes. <laughs> We had, I'm not going to lie to you because that's not what I'm here for, I'm going to tell you straight, we had more stock than we had of issue one. Issue one was ridiculous, okay? It flew out the door and I think it sold out in half an hour. Half hour, okay? Um, uh, two the hours? first lot was eight minutes and then two hours for the whole lot. Let's say, let's say two hours. Two hours it all had gone. So, we knew we were busy. But remember, we're the only ones with the copies. <laughs> this is how busy we are. The Friday Dispatch has now sold out. Dispatch is now next Monday, okay? But, and it comes with a warning. Once it's gone, it has now gone. There will be no more stock after this of the one day special. 731572, I must urge that to you. You know me, I'm honest, I wear my heart, my sleeve, I tell you as it is. Once this has now gone, it has now gone of your one day special. So, 
We've also got a big a bundle as well. So the bigger bundle contains your one day special your magazine, your 68 page magazine. It also includes your 21 pieces stamps. It also includes your A6 embossing folder in there. You're also getting that six by six stencil, the 32 pages of paper, and you're also getting those stamps. As well as now, as well as the brand new, now you've only seen this a few times. I think we've seen it once on the channel. I remember launching it last Monday. You're also now getting the stamps, with that amazing garden turtle, the sea turtle that's in there. With the brand new seahorse, these are brand new to collection, and you're getting the fabric as well. So remember, we spoke about this. You can watch this show back on Rewind. It was only last Monday, so if you want hints and tips on this, you can get it. But remember, now it's coming with your magazine, and you've also got your luscious pigments, which will be a lucky dip. You'll get a lucky dip of a random three. I'm that excited I can't even speak. <laughs> I knew I'd get all giddy over this. 30% of this large bundle has now already gone. Case swigging on the gin already. Uh, still dispatched from Friday. I've got this large section from Friday. Okay. So all of this that you're seeing now will be dispatched to you on Friday. Two flexible payments of £29.97. Now, savvy shoppers out there, if you're savvy and you've got, you've got the money to do it, I would be putting a one-day special and this large bundle in your collection in your baskets and I'd be checking it out now if I was you. What's that going to give you? That's going to give you two of everything in your one-day special, which is a cracking little deal. One for you, one from a friend. Gift the magazine if you wanted to and what's in there and you can keep those extra stamps. Keep everything and you've got one for best and you've got one to store in your folders. I know what crafters are like. You like pristine. So you can keep one just to use as a reference and then you've got the magazine. Then you've got everything that you see here as well. So then you're getting the luscious powders. The luscious pigments on the pick are on that um, pick and mix. It, it's You'll get any old three, but they're beautiful. And Kay will go through all this throughout the hour. You're also getting the cloth, which is beautiful, and there's so much you can do with it. Stitch into it, put it onto bags, um, use it on pencil cases, put it on cushions, and then you're getting the stamps as well. We are phenomenally busy. Phenomenally busy for a launch show. You have been waiting for this since issue one. We knew issue two would be busy. Let's look. Now, everything that you see around me is in this magazine. We're going to flick through the magazine. Don't worry. That's what we're here for. We're going to go through everything. If you've got any questions over the next 24 hours, email me in studio at and I'll put them to K for you. But you are getting... This sort of takes you on a journey. It's like a travel edition. You've got your stamps in there with like your trains and your air balloons that we're looking at. So now you can start making cards. You can do your mixed media pieces like your clocks, your tags that we've got as well. So don't just think the minute you see mixed media on the screen, you start thinking, I don't do mixed media. I can't do mixed media. That's not me. It's not. Don't worry, mixed media is simply a case of putting different layers on top of each other. You will learn from this magazine. You really, really will. And remember with that large bundle, you're now also going to get the stamps where you can now create the under the water ocean as well. So, <laughs> let's go. Why I calm down, because I've got a cute angina and low potassium. I could go at any time, the doctor said. <laughs> Get the boy a banana. He did. Well, <laughs> I have to eat two a day. The doctor prescribed me last week when I popped in to see him. Um, Dr. Lobitoff. Now, let's go. We haven't got time for this. Let's flick through the magazine, Kay, and tell why do you think it's so busy, Kay, at the moment? Well, I think it's been long awaited, to be honest. Um, we, we've been wanting a mixed media magazine for such a long time and uh, it's so great that Practical Publishing have been supported of us and um, we're just really thrilled to be working with them. We've worked with them for quite a few years now and um, it's just really fantastic how um, we've been able to put this together. And issue one was such a great 
quick sell out. <laughs> I'm sorry, look at Adam. Just, just I'm look at sweating. Adam. I'm sweating. I can warm. hear how busy we are. It's ridiculously busy. <laughs> I think the phones are on fire upstairs, <laughs> they are. aren't they? <laughs> So, um, yes, they've just said five minute cues. Five minute cues Sorry on the phone. That, guys. Um, so, so, this is just um, a dream come true for me, and to be honest, this is just everything I've wanted in a magazine. And we've got um, the DT from Practical Publishing in here, and we've got the whole of our Indigo Blue DT as well, design team. And the projects are fantastic and they're so technique rich as well so you're going to be learning so many lovely techniques in here um, and you'll find that there's spotlights on things so there'll be a spotlight on the die there'll be a spotlight on the um, uh, uh, this is uh, mixed media um, gone mad this is fantastic just look at the work that Sue Ralph does this is all home decor pieces absolutely beautiful from uh, fabric work to book alterations to the clock um, really really beautiful stuff full instructions um, full um, step by steps they're just absolutely beautiful um, the photography's really shown up here, lovely. Uh, Ingrid is part of the um, practical publishing team. And then we've got Julie uh, Atkinson, who's actually done some of our new stamps that have just been released as well. So you might actually have some of these because they were on her chanda um, recently. So some beautiful projects there, are stamps that you might already have. And then we get into the papers. And these are really nice quality papers. It's not the same paper as the magazine, which is normal magazine paper. This is a lot thicker it's matte I like the matte because it's great for mixed media and for layering and the design team at practical have done an amazing job with all of our imagery um, that we've supplied them with and they've got a lovely coordinated palette um, but a variety of lovely colors so it suits everybody so if you're a blue person like me you've got lots of that you've got pinks and greens absolutely gorgeous um, so there's loads of these and, and there's two of each design as well so you can actually um, use both sides so um, just yeah lovely absolutely beautiful um, we've, there's also um, competition in here as well oh this is Carolyn's Carolyn's work is beautiful um, again we've got all of these on set so we'll be able to flick through and show you all of these beautiful samples as well um, even yours truly has um, done some samples also I will actually be showing you some of these um, demonstrations um, tonight and tomorrow um, so that not only will you get the step by steps but you'll be able to see the um, the live ones as well Joe Rice here old friend there um, there's a competition in there we've got Penny's work um, if you look on Facebook you'll find that I did actually go through all of the samples very slowly um, as well on um, Facebook live Kerry Sturman another RDT lovely work here again totally different you've got ATC's you've got tags you've got all sorts here um, there's a bit of a, 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 a write-up about what to do with various different products as well if you're a little bit confused about mixed media you know what you do with a slappy tom what you do with gesso flister glue all of those are all in here as well our beautiful Julia Watts is in here as well with all her projects um, Mel and um, just just absolutely jam-packed so we've even used the cover actually on some of these so um, yeah that's your magazine really nice and juicy and thick which is what I like about a magazine and um, back to Adam it is indeed now the extended stock of the one day special 10% of the stock now of the extended stock has now gone when I say extended we're talking only next Monday so we're not talking that long. We're not talking weeks away. We're talking the 24th. £17.97. Let's break that what you're going to get for that sort of money. So you are getting the magazine. In the magazine, you are getting in there 69 projects. We've just been through the magazine. From names you know and love, from our Joe Rice to our Helen Griffin that's in there. Uh, there's many more names for our very own Julia that's in there as well. 
and many others. Everything is broken down. If you've never bought the book before, it's a bit like a recipe card. It tells you the steps that you're going to need and what you're going to know, and then it tells you the process along with photos. Everything is broken down and everything you will be able to achieve, all these samples that you see around me and the ones that I've got behind here as well, which we will go through. From the magazine itself, then let's go over to the exclusive stamps. Now, you will not be able to get these anywhere else. I know what you're thinking. Oh, it's on an extended delivery. I'll oh, wait till it's in the shops. You can wait till it's in the shops. That's entirely up to you. But you won't be getting these brand new collector's edition number 42 and 43 stamps. Red rubber stamps. They are cling stamps. You won't be getting them anywhere else. You can only get them here on Achanda on our world exclusive bundle. Okay? Then, you've got the big A4 sets of stamps down there. You're getting 21 pieces in this stamp collection alone. You look how much an A4 sets of stamps are. 21 stamps. That alone is surely worth, what are we talking here, a tenner, 12 quid? Easily. Easily. Well, if, if they were in rubber, you'd, you'd be talking about forty pounds actually. If they're in rubber. Oh, so they're in red rubber. You're talking about yeah. forty pounds worth of stamps. You still get. Well, even in clear form, there we're still talking over fifteen, ten pound, mm. fifteen pound. So even that alone, let's go fifteen pound alone, which means everything else is about two, three quid, two pound for everything else. Then so we've got our A4 stamps, which are this side, Adam. Then we've then you've got your embossing folder, your six by uh, your. Uh, A6 embossing folder. That's what I'm talking about. So your A6 beautiful embossing folder. Look at the detail that's on that embossing folder as well. Once again, you can use that for all seasons. It's not just one of these that you're going to grab and think, oh, I can only use that for Christmas. Oh, I can only use that for a birthday. You could use that for any time of the year. Just literally run it through your machine, bit of flakes on the top, a bit of the paste on the top to pull out the detail, bish bash bosh, you've got yourself a front of a card already. Then we move on to your stencil, your 6x6 six six stencil in there. So then you've got your dots and then you've got your stripes which work wonderfully, can use as backgrounds, can use as texture, bless you. Then you can also <laughs> use, you've got the ink splots down there as well, a really handy little stencil to have if you just want to fill a corner, fill a bottom of a page, you've got that there. Then you've got that large stencil, that frank mark with the butterfly that you'd find in the corner of an envelope, which is beautiful. But as you see, it says Manchester and 17.15 p.m. Well, who was wonder what that's all about? We'll have to ask. <laughs> uh, from there, we then move on to the die. Two dies. You get an innie and an outie of what can only be called... What is it? A, a, a it's book? A, it's like a moth. It's a moth. It's a moth. Yeah. I was gonna go. I was gonna go with B. Then I thought, well, I will dragonfly, but but it, it, moth. Let's go with moth. I like the moth. I still like it. I love it because uh, you could just use that outer edge, and that could be wings if you wanted it to be. It can. Yes. So you could use it now for fairy wings, angel wings, if you wanted to, behind your little creatures, behind your other figures that you've already got. Think outside the box. Remember, if you're going for that large collection, you could give the seahorse wings if you wanted to. You can still do that. From there, from your one-day special, we're still on. We've also got papers at the bottom. You are getting uh, 32 pages of papers. So it's, I think that works out to be 16 of each. So you get two like two sets in there. So you are getting two sets and they're double sided. And don't let this put you off either. Because everyone does it. You, when you get asked on social media, you're oh, them papers you get in that magazine. Is that glossy paper where the ink just slides off? They're not. They're a totally different coating to what the magazine paper feels like. They're proper, proper papers. 20% of the extended delivery now has already gone. 731572 is your item number. If you want the extras, um, yeah, well, if you want the extras, we can do that as well. You can go for the big bundle. Now, the big bundle is going to get you everything that we went through here. And this time, it's also going to get you the brand new, because it was only launched last week, these stamps were, so they're still brand new. Some people may not have these in their collection. The brand new Under the Sea collection. So what are you getting? Let me show you the size of the stamps themselves. You are getting red rubber stamps. Look at the size of those. The detail that you can use with them are absolutely stunning. You can do so much with them. 
stamp them out, you're going to get images that look like this. Stamp them out again, you're going to get images that look like this. Then, not only are you getting the stamps, you are then getting the fabric underneath. Now, your fabric has so many more designs on there. You've got that large seahorse. You've got a different turtle with the paint over uh, the rainbow coming out of your back, like the crafting turtle. You're getting jellyfish and fish on there. Then you get that beautiful dolphin with the under the sea. But look at what you can create. How beautiful are these sort of items when you put them together? And don't just think because it's fabric, you can't mount it onto MDF. Because you can. How beautiful is that? And that is in your large collection. And not only are you getting all of that, you're also going to be getting, getting your pigments as well, the luscious pigments. Now, this will be a random selection. Okay, so it'll be a random selection of any three, but once again, with them, a little goes an awful long way. We're approaching half the stock of this large collection has now gone. We are talking two flexible payments of £29.97. 624737 is your item number. Right. We are busy beyond belief. And that's not, just not one of these telly things that we, that we all say, because if we all said it, it wouldn't make sense. We are really busy. If you want your one-day special or you want to go for that large bundle, I wouldn't delay. And I, I really despise putting pressure on anyone because that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to get you the best possible deals, but by the looks of it and by the sounds of it, these deals won't be around for long. Right then, while you check out your baskets, check everything out, then you can sit back and relax. Uh, let's go to see what we can do with the collection when we get it home. Right, Kate, all over to you. Okay, thank you very much indeed everybody um, it's it's so wonderful that you do like it and you will love it when you get it home um, so what I'm going to do for you and I've got um, a few demos for you so what I've done is I really love these papers I'm so thrilled to bits with them that they are the backgrounds that I sort of will build up in my mixed media so if you want to start off quite slowly um, and just start off by using the papers as your background this is a great way of doing it so I've selected this piece here Okay, and then I'm just going to pop that onto a background really, really easily, okay, before I start with my stamping. So at least then this is done. All right, and then I haven't actually painted this and put the layers on and the stamping and everything because it's already done there for you. I mean, that's a beautiful background already. Okay, so I'm just going to put that to one side and then I'm going to start with um, stamping some of these stamps. Now, the, the quality of these have really come up um, in, in recent years and um, I'm, I'm really impressed with them, to be honest. Um, let me just... Now, I've got a question with new stamps because it seems to be yeah. a, a going trend at the moment with all new stamps. Do you need to prime these? Are these or can you use them straight? Because yours are brand new. We can see now that yeah. you've only just opened them now. So That's we'll right. see what the stamps are like. But do you need to prime these when you get home? Um, I didn't. I, didn't, I just went. You. I just went straight for it. Actually, um, you can if you're a bit nervous about stamping. Sorry, is that me just no, it's all right. jumping the table around? If you're a bit nervous of stamping, use a platform. Okay, it's always good to um, use a platform, and then you can go over it. Um, but I'm just going to go straight for it. Actually. Um, I think maybe once you've inked them up once, then I think they probably do stamp better. You see, I'm used to rubber stamps, and, and our stamps you don't need to prime at all. But, but yeah, I'm just watching the ink on here, and it is pulling away a little bit, actually. So I'm going to put that onto my stamping platform, because it depends what sort of ink you're using as well. Um, it, it just all depends on the ink and the paper and everything so I'm going to put that on there and I'm just going to show you how the ink is pulling away a little bit on that let me just put that down there okay there can you see that it's pulling away so if I put the ink on and then it's just pulling a little bit so now I don't think it did that on my set that I did all my um, 
uh, my samples with doesn't matter that I've got bits of ink on there on my fingers now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink up I'm going to stamp quickly and then I'm going to ink up again so can you see how oh that was me actually there's ink left on there yeah no that's good that's good Oh, I've taken it up now, haven't I? And I've moved it. Aww. That was a bit stupid, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> really? Get a fresh piece of card, Kay. I'm all, I'm all a dither now, you You're see. You're all a dither. I'm you can hear how busy we are, you see. Everyone on the backstage is like going, this is madness out here, madness. But I'm just so, so grateful. I really am. Um, it's something that we've always wanted to do. And can you see how I'm just getting half an image there and I'm thinking oh I know why. why I'm thinking why am I not getting the full image I've actually got it on rubber uh. right because I always use rubber stamps I should turn that over into clear oh, if only I had a brain Oh, let's do another me. one. Let's, let's do, do another. There's a, oh, there's a theme there. <laughs> there is a theme isn't there. Do you want some of my card? No, it's all right. I've got, a, I've got a super smooth here. There we go. We will get, we will get into it. We've got a card on the show as well. You're super smooth. We've got your black, and we've also got your watercolour card in two different sizes as well, all from Pink Frog. Uh, this is your Pink Frog A5 Super Smooth 300 GSM card. 320, G, uh, 320 sheets in total is what we're looking at for thirteen pounds and ninety-eight pence. There we go. Ta-da! <laughs> if only I had a brain, honestly. <laughs> so you can see you get really nice detail there. Um, and that was, it didn't need stamping again. Actually, I just did one. And um, there we go. And what I've done is I've just cut it out here. Okay, but you get lovely detail. So I'm, I'm quite impressed with them, um, with the stamps there. Let's get rid of those out so of my way. you don't need way. to climb them, you just need the right stamping platform. You just need, yeah. That's the you just need it on there. The, the right way around, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> does help, does help. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to colour this in with some uh, blue belt. So this is the translucent paint set, which has got teal for two. I think this is set three. Oh, don't quote me on that. Um, yeah, it's got bluebell in, it's got teal for two. No, it's not. It's the red hot chili one. Red hot chili, lime marmalade, purple rain, all of those. So I'm just going to... And I like the translucent because you can see that you can see the card through it and it won't obscure all of that lovely line work here. Okay, so I'm just putting a really, really thin layer on here. And I'm using Super Smooth of the Pink Frog, so that we're getting a really nice coverage on that. We're not using the watercolour because I'm not doing any um, wet techniques. And I really wanted to show off the detail of this lovely balloon. The details for the Super so. Smooth are currently at the bottom of your screen at the moment. And your one day special magazine is at the side of your screen, £17.98. There we go. And then I'm going to come in with some red hot chilli, but I'm also going to use some of the tiger lily. Is it tiger lily? Let me just check. Yes, it is. Okay. So I'm going to go in the middle with a bit of tiger lily. See, isn't it beautiful, this translucent? It is. Let me just make sure that that is... Carol's sent in an email. Thank you for your email, Hi, Carol. Carol. Uh, what do we mean by priming? Well, we don't actually need to prime these stamps we've worked out now. It was just the way we um, Kay had a stamping platform. But, uh, <laughs> I do it the wrong way around. But there's sometimes you, you just stamp and stamp and stamp, don't you, just to get the stamp used to... Cause, uh, is it true a dirty stamp is better than a clean stamp? Yes. Yeah, definitely. So would you suggest just the first time you stamp them out? Because you want to see what they stamp like anyway, so would you just stamp them out anyway? That's, that's the thing I always do when I get new stamps. I just want to stamp them out and I just want to see what they look like um, and just, um, you know, maybe colour some in and just have a bit of a play. 
Um, also, you know, some people will, um, if you use change your inks as well, that will affect the, uh, the stamp as well. Um, but I, I don't tend to really clean my stamps very much. I tend to just maybe give them a wipe so that I don't get the ink back all over my fingers and everything. Um, but yes, a dirty stamp is better because it's, um, it's seasoned it really. Um, but with rubber stamps you can do virtually anything to them and they're, they're, they're quite robust, shall we say. I hope that answers your question. Okay, so I'm coming in with the orange in the middle and the red towards the outer so you get a nice sort of graduation here and I'm doing the same. Now I'm not adding water to these um, at all because I just want a hint but what I don't know whether you can see but I'm literally taking the tiniest amount on my brush here. You can hardly see it. Details of the paints are on the side of the screen at the moment. A little goes a very very long way so you know don't take too much paint out of your pot. These, uh, as, as Adam said actually the other week, these pack a punch didn't you? Yeah they really do. Are these the same pens when we had that lady email in and said she's still using those from two years ago? Yeah five years ago actually. Five years ago, five I, knew years it, ago. I knew it was a while. Yeah, so yeah uh, well to be honest I've still got um, a couple of pots in my drawer that I'm still using um, and I keep saying, good grief, it's got the old label on this. <laughs> so it must be about five years old. Um, and it has gone a little bit thick. So what I've done is I've just given it a good stir, you know. Um, so they're going to last a long time. So you've got the whole do. balloon, you've only literally used the tip the, of the paintbrush. The tiniest, tiniest amount. And then I'm going to come back in with that blue. In fact, I'm just going to take a slightly darker blue which is Stroke of Midnight from a, the other set and this is very very strong so I'm just going to take a tiny smidgen just to check it and I'm just going to come in with a tiny tiny little bit. I'm using my uh, paint mat here. Can you hear the ticking? I, I, it took me a while to work out what it was. And I realised there's a clock on the front of the set. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I know. Well, I was the same when I got the um, the box of uh, samples back. <laughs> just um, I in the was box. like, "What's that ticking? <laughs> <laughs> Where's that coming from?" <laughs> right. Also, because we are going to place this on here, you're going to get this stark contrast with this background. So what I tend to do is actually fill that in. I'm sure I've got some more bluebell there. Yeah. So. We've had another email in from Kaz. Kaz saying, uh, please oh, congratulate you. Kay on a wonderful one day special. I can't wait for mine to oh, arrive. Oh, bless you. Thank you so much. That's really kind. And we really do appreciate our Indigo Blue fans. We really do. They've they've supported us all these years, and you know, see, looked after us through lockdown and everything, and supported us. And it and it does help um, small companies like ours um, immensely. So thank you. That's lovely, Kaz. Right, your emails so coming in studio to chanda.com just going to colour in the sandbags there and I think we'll have like a, a, a little red flag going on here. But the, the reason why I love these translucencies, we use them a lot in mixed media because then we can layer up over the top of them, which is really cool. Um, but also I can go over the line work and it won't affect it, it won't cover it up at all. So that's my painting of that done. But also because these are fabric paints you can also colour your fabric, your laces, stuff like that. So I'm going to just use what's left on here, I'm just adding a little bit of water, just to put a tiny tiny bit of colour on some of these. And just dabbing it on and it will just give me a little bit of colour coming through just to coordinate everything as well. So, yeah, that's good. That's all I want. Just a little tiny touch. Okay, so, also I've started to put stickers on the top of mine and just painting them as well so that I can see what colour they are. That's a good idea. Um, 
which I don't know why I hadn't thought about that before. So what I'm going to do now is, um, because um, when you're making up layers, um, a lot of, I'm going to turn that round there because I'd like that here. Um, I've cut some things out of the, the papers and I really love this, this edge here. Also, I've got scraps of some of the um, flitter glue that I'm going to be showing you. So, nothing goes to waste. We have another email in from Jane saying congratulations, Kate. She can't wait for her uh, magazine to arrive. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. This is lovely, getting all this. I'm going to, because that's going to be covered up, I might as well take it out and save it for another piece. Okay, and I've got, this is embossed. I hope you can see it. Look at the texture that you get on that. It's beautiful. This is from the embossing folder. And you get a lovely, lovely texture from it. That's a great shot. Thank you very much. That's lovely. You can see. Yeah. There we go. So I think that's going to go round about there. And again, these are just little scraps. I'm going to keep everything sort of round in the middle, like this. And then maybe move that over a little bit. Put this here. and then my balloon on top. Okay, so what I always tell people is, if you've got a phone with a camera on, just take a picture of it before you start gluing everything down. And that way you can actually guarantee that you're not going to get that messed up. And it will need a, a sentiment, I think, round about there. Okay, so we'll do that. So I'll put them back in order. That one, that one, that one then this and then these two so you can use um, foam pads you can use glue whatever takes your fancy and whatever you're comfortable with I've just got some plain PVA um, acrylic glue here and I think I might actually just use some foam pads I've just changed my mind and thought actually you might be able to use some foam pads on here so the stamps that you're getting in this kit, though, you, you're sort of getting a bit of everything, can't you? I've just been looking at them now. You're getting some amazing sentiments. You're getting that balloon, the train, the train track. But then you're sort of getting florals as well that you can mm -hmm. either use with your travel or you can just use them as florals if you wanted a floral card and would work beautifully with the embossing um, folder. Absolutely. It's a really good collection. So there's enough there for male and female um, to go on there. And uh, you've got words as well. The train tracks actually have been re used really um, beautifully by some of the DT. Um, and they've really used the patterns. I'm just going to take that out a little bit. Um, the patterning of it. And also it's like one of the cards has been made up just with the die as well. Um, I love the steam train as well because the steam train can be so... Um, so male but also you know it's it can be for anybody and also it's great for your journaling as well yeah because um it it can say so much for you as well with this imagery i love the um there's a couple of lady ones there lovely um collage of jane that i adore i think that should go around about there okay this would be a perfect starter little kit. If oh, yes. you're just starting out or you don't really know what to do. I think that's why it's been so successful. Um, that you know, you can you have got everything in one package and it's such an amazing price, it really is. Um, and um, you've got as you say, you've got everything you need, you've got the inspiration, you've got um, lots of different um, levels, really, really simple simple uh, ideas but also you've got some lovely complicated ones with different techniques that will inspire um, some crafters that have been doing mixed media for a while so um, I always struggle with this so there's there's loads there to to go at and also it's like it could be a journey for you as well so you might want to start off on some quite easy um, straightforward designs first and then take it 
take it further. Okay. 30% on the extended delivery. I'll just have a beautiful flick through the magazine then. Uh, there is something <laughs> for everyone in there. 30% uh, of the extended delivery. Now, when I say extended, we're talking about Monday. Okay, so that's when it'll be dispatched from now. Um, Monday is our extended date, but 30% of that stock has now already gone. 731572. Get back to demo and read them in book. <laughs> so, um, so the magazine itself is actually printed in the UK as well, so that's what they're doing at the moment. Um, obviously, uh, they've tried really hard to get it to us on time because um, COVID has obviously got in the way of of lots of different um, time scales and everything like that but we've we've managed to get it to you um, and get it in time so I'm going to use I think your destination I think would be Daz has sent an email in saying we're behind you 100% oh thank you guys that's so kind of you Thank you. That's what's um, lovely about um, Hachanda customers. Um, because Hachanda specialises in small companies, family companies, um, we do get really good support from our Hachanda family. And that's why I like the channel, because there are just so many um, really wonderful, interesting companies out there. And um, it's lovely to be represented on here. Otherwise, you'd never see them, would you? On the no, that's on true. The you wouldn't find them on the that. internet because so, it's a big, wide world out there. So I'm just going to finish this off with a bit of um, lineage round. Um, and I've always said, you know, if you can't draw a straight line, don't. Just let the wiggle come out. <laughs> wow. Just let the wiggle loose. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never thought I'd be that on a Tuesday <laughs> evening. Get your wiggle out. Get your wiggle on. <laughs> so I think that's going to go round about there. I might take, no, let's take it there. There we go, yeah. So I talk to myself while I'm crafting as well. I have this conversation. Ben and I were discussing this as well, weren't we, Ben? Saying, um, <laughs> he was saying, do you want something? Were you talking to me? He goes, no, 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 I was just talking to myself. It's all right. I'm absolutely fine. <laughs> no, we like that. You keep talking to yourself away. <laughs> you're just letting us know what you're doing. There we go. So, there we are. And I'd just probably mount it either on a, a piece of board or a canvas or something like that. Or I might actually put it in my journal. But there you go. Look at that. <laughs> You can go from so, that very, to... very, very simple, that one. Oh, but, it's, but it doesn't look simple. This is the thing. I, to look at it, you would think it was, it was really big and flamboyant and it's going to take a while to do. But most of the work has been done for you. The background papers have all been done for you. The line art has all been done for you. Sentiments have all been done for you. Guess what? The so hard work for you. has been done for you. <laughs> but it has. This is what I love about it. Right, I've got ten minutes. Let's whack through some samples, shall we? Here we go. Uh, so who would have thought about envelopes? Oh, yeah, this is not a sample. This is not a card. This is an envelope to match the card. Look, oh, Lord Martin's watching. Oh. Sitting there. Tal K, well done from Lord Martin. This is outstanding from oh, our very own Phil thank Martin. You. Oh, thank you, Phil. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> it's a rarity. He's normally watching Albie City. <laughs> Rare. He's watching at six o'clock. He's normally in well, bed by seven. Say. We're friends. Oh, so. bless him. Yeah. He's Thank missed you, his Albie City for this. Well, I never. <laughs> uh, evening, Lord. Uh, then. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> uh, there, look at the, just look at some of these samples that we've got here as well. Oh, he'll be sitting there in his big chair and his cravat. Oh, I can <laughs> see it now. Oh, I bet he's eating. With his, with his glass of champagne. Glass of champagne. Yes. He's got Julia running round in a little <laughs> pinny, bless her, mopping up. <laughs> She'll be having, he'll be having garlic butter and snails, I'm going for. <laughs> with a pin. Lying there on his chaise lounge, <laughs> looking over his 30 acres. Oh, bless him. And just his cravat. But that's another story. Uh, but look at what you can achieve when you get there. Uh, um, I absolutely adore all of the... I've got so many to show you. I'm literally going to keep going through them all. Um, look at these. And this is only using what's in your one-day special. 
okay? It's only using what's in your one day special. Uh, then, cards like this from our Joe. Look at this, it's got Joe's flair on it, isn't it? Look how beautiful. This one's in the magazine. I've just read this. It's in the magazine, so if you want to create a card like this, it's in the magazine, it will show you how to create it. That's from our Joe. Uh, then you've got cards like this, maybe for the gents. This stamp collection covers a wide run. I absolutely adore that. Then we've got, look at this little nifty little thing. What is it? Oh, it's like a little booklet. Little, Aww. little shaker. Uh, then you open it up and you've got like a little card. I love that. That's smart. By our Sue Ralph. Lovely Sue. Love your work. Uh, then from there, we've also oh, printed onto fabric. You've also got it on fabric here as well. So you can now do it onto fabric. Then we've got your balloons. Absolutely beautiful balloons that you've got there. So you really can go to town uh, with your balloons. Uh, but using your balloons again, maybe it's on the front of a journal. Oh, this, look, uh, wait for this. See, I've not seen any of these samples. I wait for the show, you see. Look at this now. That is beautiful. You imagine getting a little flight ticket in that. Happy birthday. I've got you a little flight ticket. Maybe a little passport in there. Oh, you're being whisked being whisked away. A little map on a treasure hunt that you might be going on uh, for a loved one. Let me take, let me take you up, up and away. Oh, beautiful. Or oh, you could go very traditional as well. I'm loving these samples. There is so many. Oh, look at the shine on that. Oh, look at the shine on her. Love it. I love this one as well. It reminds me of the Go Compare Man. I know it's not, but it does. Um, look at that. Go Compare. Uh, Absolutely love it. Um, I love these. Uh, you are getting so much. Let me give you a quick whiz down of what you're getting, then we're going back to K for another demo. You are getting a 68-page magazine included in your kit. The magazine with 69 projects included. From there, you're getting 21 pieces of stampage. So you are getting 21 stamps in the kit. You're then getting your die of that beautiful moth. You're also getting your 6x6 stencils in there as well. You're getting a 32-page paper pack, and you're getting two special collector's edition stamps. You're getting the uh, issue 42 of the diamond and issue 43 the curly swirly hmm? well I think I had that in Skeggy. Now, uh, so you're getting everything in here. There's a bigger bundle as well. Check it out on the website. I'm curious of the time. Uh, Kay, what would you like to show me? We've got five minutes. Five minutes, no problem. Really, really quick card. So I've got a piece of the um, paper, which is the postcard here. And I'm going to put a the large postmark that is um, on the stencil on here. So I'm just going to get a little bit of the super thick slap it on. I'm also going to get um, some of the Olive Grove Luscious and you'll see that we've got um, I think eight different sets of the Luscious on the show and so when you mix it in it mixes with white but when it dries it goes translucent so you'll just see the lovely gorgeous shiny olive and then I'm just going to put that through the stencil and I keep my knife at a 45 degree angle and I have plenty of the slap it on on my knife there there we go I've splodged a bit but never mind take that off gorgeous put that. that in water isn't that lovely that is beautiful beautiful and this is what it looks like dry Ta -da. let's get rid of that and i've just i found that in my drawer and i thought oh that's great don't know what i'll use it for but so i'm going to use it today just going to stick this on some matting and layering. Well, it does dry a different colour, yeah. doesn't it? It does, yes. This is exactly, you can see the olive, it's a duo tone because it's got gold in it as well. Nice. There you go. So it's lovely, isn't it? I like. Okay, that on the back, this is a little magnet. 